Chapter 476 Jiang Xuing's Awakening No! 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 Those things he did just now were all because Section Chief Li thought he was dead. So Section Chief Li completely gave up on himself. But now it gave him hope of survival. And he suddenly rekindled his desire to survive. However, just when he was extremely hopeful that he could survive, Jiang Lusher no longer wanted to listen to Section Chief Li's nonsense. Boom! A bloody hole appeared on Section Chief Li's head. He twitched a few times and fell to the ground, his body still bouncing. However, he has not been completely controlled yet. So it is somewhat different from those infected people who were killed and continue to attack. Zhang Goha watched this scene in silence. When Chief Li died, a complex look flashed in his eyes. And then he sighed. Jian Lusher was right. According to the rules, he should have dealt with Section Chief Li immediately. But he still wanted to save Section Chief Li's life, which almost led to a big mistake. In the end, it was Jian Lusher who took care of Section Chief Li, which made Jian Goha deeply feel his dereliction of duty. It's all my problem, Jian Goha said solemnly. He was responsible for the security of Area A and had real power. But he apologized to a survivor in front of his soldiers. This was the first time he had ever apologized. Yusin, Jian Lusher said. Li Yusin nodded, glanced at Jian Goha, and said nothing. Jian Goha felt like every second seemed like years. Finally, Li Yusin spoke and shook her head. You are not infected. Jian Goha also felt relieved. Although the skin was not broken, he was bitten after all. Seeing the gun in Jian Liusher's hand, he couldn't help but feel a chill on his back. If Li Yusin had judged that he was infected just now, Jian Liusher might not hesitate to shoot him. And with Jian Liusher's marksmanship, he simply couldn't dodge it. Let the two doctors come in and take a look first, Jian Liusher said. The main reason why he killed Chief Li was because Chief Li wanted to destroy the serum. Jiang Zhuying was lying on the hospital bed. She had been sleeping for some time. Jiang Lusher hoped that she would wake up as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Zhang Gao had quickly asked Dr. Wei and Dr. Chiao to enter the ward. Two doctors came to the bedside. And Li Yusin also returned to Jiang Zhuying's side. She told the two doctors about Jiang Zhuying's condition in detail. Since she didn't need a stethoscope at all. She directly explained Jiang Zhuying's current physical condition. Dr. Wei thought for a while and said, It is indeed evolving. As for why this situation occurs, I'm sorry. We can't explain it clearly. We are also studying the evolution of superpowers. Each superpower evolves differently. And evolution is very complicated. However, we have tried the serum more than 10 times. And it is sure to be effective on those with evolved powers under any circumstances. Dr. Wei's next words convinced Jiang Lusher. As long as the serum works. Dr. Chiao glanced at Zhang Gao. After seeing Zhang Goha nod in confirmation, Dr. Chiao took the incubator to the table beside him, opened it, and carefully took out a tube of serum. Jian Lusher saw that the serum was translucent and light red, with some purple tints under the refraction of sunlight, giving it a very peculiar glassy feel. Li Yusin helped take out one of Jian Zhuying's hands, revealing her slender white arm. The needle is inserted into the vein, and the serum is slowly pushed in. Jian Lusher stood beside the hospital bed and gently held Jian Zhuying's other hand. After sleeping for many days, you should have had enough sleep. Right, Jian Lusher said. As if hearing Jian Liusher's words, Jian Zhuying suddenly opened his eyes and lifted his body up. Her eyes were filled with silver light. But soon, the silver light flashed past like lightning, and Jian Zhuying lay back on the hospital bed. And Jian Lusher, who was holding her hand, not only felt Jiang Zhuying's power, but also her extremely hot body temperature just now. That kind of temperature doesn't even feel like it's touching a human body. Even the hospital bed heard a soft creaking sound. At this moment, Jiang Lusher let go of Jiang Zhuying's hand and shouted, Back off! He grabbed Li Yusin and pulled Li Yusin back. The two doctors and Zhang Gaoha quickly stepped back. At this moment, Jiang Zhuying, who was lying on the bed, suddenly flashed with electric lights, as if he was covered with an electric grid, and the silver-white electric current kept beating on the steel hospital bed. It flickered, making the whole room pale. Everyone present saw their hair flying up, and their skin felt tingling. The two doctors and Li Yusin couldn't bear it at all and hurriedly exited the door. Jiang Gaha also retreated to the door and looked at the girl on the bed in shock. He had no idea that Jiang Liosher's sister had such terrifying power, that such a slender body could burst out with such energy. This type of superpower is very powerful in itself and has now evolved to the second level. They stood outside the door and threw the glass on the door. 
they saw a flash of silver light inside. An electric current spread to all conductive metal objects. Jiang Zhuying's hands, face, and eyes were all flashing with electric light. Jiang Lusher watched quietly. After using the genetic fluid to improve the defense of his skin, he was able to endure the stinging sensation. Seeing the electric light on Jiang Zhuying's body, Jiang Lusher felt extremely happy. When he just found Jiang Zhuying, Jiang Zhuying's electric attack had a thousand volts. One thousand volts was already a very strong number at the time. The maximum output voltage of an adult electric eel is 800 volts, which can easily electrocute an ordinary person. However, now that superpowers are constantly evolving, the physical strength of many superpowers, such as Lu Changfei and Lian Qiong, cannot be measured by normal people's concepts and has completely exceeded the limits of the human body. To them, a thousand volts may be nothing. When Jiang Zhuying was in Wushui County before, he had already felt that his voltage was not enough when facing some very powerful superpowers. But now, she has evolved. Without measuring tools, it is not possible to know how strong Jiang Zhuying's current attack voltage is. But just looking at the voltage in the room, even Jiang Lusher can feel the danger. This attack power will definitely not be weak. The cells in Jiang Zhuying's body mutated into discharged cells. This type of superpower evolves extremely slowly. But the superpower is also very powerful. Jiang Lusher actually guessed that the reason why Jiang Zhuying was sleeping was because she was this type of superpower. At this time, Jiang Zhuying seemed to finally wake up slowly. She stretched out her hand. Suddenly, all the electric currents running around in the room seemed to be drawn and converged towards Jiang Zhuying's fingertips. These currents converged into an electric cloud above Jiang Zhuying's head. The slender fingers and the current containing terrifying energy intertwined into a beautiful picture full of power and beauty at this moment. Chapter 477 Brother I will protect you from now on. Jian Lusher watched this scene quietly and couldn't help but picture Jiang Zhuying's childhood appearance. That cute little girl who acted like a bully in front of other children but followed her like a kitten now has this ability. At this time, Starseed's voice also sounded. Second level mutant energy detected. Secondary mutation energy. Jiang Zhuying is already a level 2 superpower user. A second level superpower can already establish an organization. If she enters the army, she will be a female tiger general. People like Yi Bao, Li Yinqiang, and Lu Chengfei can silence many people just by stamping their feet. Jiang Zhuying has just evolved. Jiang Lusher is looking forward to what level she will reach when she fully masters this power. Boom! All the current disappeared in Jiang Zhuying's fingertips instantly. Jiang Zhuying looked around and then at Jiang Lusher, feeling as if he was just waking up from a big dream. Brother! Jiang Zhuying said. She had not spoken for so long that her voice was somewhat obscure. Xiaoying, are you feeling uncomfortable somewhere? Jiang Lusher helped Jiang Zhuying sit up and asked. No, I feel very comfortable. Jiang Zhuying shook his head and looked at his palm. She had clearly sensed the difference in the release current just now. And powerful power was continuously surging in her body. I have evolved, Jiang Zhuying said with excitement. Her face flushed. Brother, I can protect you now. Jiang Zhuying said with a smile. Jiang Lusher smiled and stretched out his hand. Jiang Zhuying immediately shrank his head reflexively. But this time Jiang Lusher didn't knock her on the head. He just touched the top of her head. Then I will rely on you from now on. Jiang Zhuying stuck out his tongue but said nothing. In the apocalypse, she only has one relative. Jiang Lusher. She and Jiang Lusher have been dependent on each other since before the apocalypse. And they have been together since they were reunited in the apocalypse. What she just said were all jokes. The only person she could rely on was Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher gently touched Jiang Zhuying's head and said with a smile, You are already a level 2 superpower. And you are still acting coquettishly and cutely here. What's wrong with the level 2 superpowers? Aren't the level 2 superpowers humans? Jiang Zhuying said with wide eyes. The two said a few more words. And then let Li Yusin and others waiting outside come in. As soon as Li Yusin came in, she hurriedly came to Jiang Zhuying checking her body and asking about her situation. Jiang Zhuying already knew that she had received a lot of care from Li Yusin while she was sleeping during this period. As soon as Li Yusin came over, she took Li Yusin's hand affectionately. A level 2 superpower and Jiang Lusher and his car. This team is really well hidden. Jiang Doha thought with emotion. Soon, the soldiers of the special brigade cleared away the remaining infected people at the entrance of the hospital. They had to escort the doctors and equipment to evacuate before other groups of infected people surrounded them again. Peng Dinglong waited until Jiang Lusher and his party came down and said with a smile, 
We have to evacuate until the infected people are completely eliminated this time. Your team can go to Xiaowu military base with us. We can no longer stay in Area A. Even ordinary areas in the safety zone are being evacuated. Now Pang Ninglong's military base can accommodate these important personnel. When will the issue of infected people be resolved? Jian Lusher asked. Pang Dinglong looked solemn and said, The insect nest is nearby, and the parasites will lurk, and we cannot detect them with our current methods. However, the Xiaoyuan safe zone has been built for so long, and we cannot give up. There are so many survivors. It is impossible to transfer all of them. When the Zhonghai safety zone was forced to move, there were heavy casualties on the road. Moreover, everything that was originally constructed has now become a ruin due to the ravages of mutated beasts and zombies and strangers should not approach it. We will formulate a strategy to destroy the insect nest as soon as possible. Can Xia Yuan's military power not be able to deal with even an insect nest? Peng Dinglong's tone became more majestic again. It's just an insect nest. With just one car, Jian Lusher was able to stage such a huge battle, allowing those trapped in the hospital to finally get out of the siege. He, Peng Dinglong, led an army. If he couldn't even deal with one insect nest, if you don't, then it's better not to be this commander as soon as possible. That's right. Peng Dinglong's expression suddenly became a little strange. And he said in a deep voice, The radio station was restored just now. And we received a message. Li Inqiang lost one of his arms. He was infected at the time. So he immediately tied his arm. And then gave up that arm decisively. However, he was not infected. And maybe he was a level 2 superpower. It has something to do with it. The physique is stronger than ordinary people with superpowers, let alone compared with ordinary people, Peng Dinglong said. Jian Lusher didn't speak. Li Qian originally wanted him to be a bait. Given Jian Liusher's character of taking revenge, he wouldn't say anything sympathetic when he heard the news. It's a blessing to save one life, Jian Lusher said lightly. Peng Dinglong took a deep look at Jian Lusher. In fact, he had not finished telling all the news he heard. On the radio, Li Inqiang was still looking for Jian Lusher. Judging from Jian Liusher's reaction, it turned out that he was not interested in Li Inqiang. However, Peng Dinglong didn't know why Li Inqiang wanted to find Jian Lusher. He had no idea that Jian Lusher discovered something unusual about Mr. Wang in the town that day. It's just that he accepted Jian Liusher's favor today, so he didn't tell Li Inqiang about Jian Lusher. Just pretend you didn't hear the news on the radio. Peng Dinglong came to his guard and said. He glanced at the radio in the guard's hand reached for it, and turned it off. Back in the car, Jian Lusher told the use in the situation, and then said to Su Guangqi and Su Tong, Mr. Su, Professor Su, you can decide for yourself whether you want to stay here. Think about it first, and then come with me when you have the answer. Say, no matter what you decide, I will support you. Li Yusin looked at Jian Lusher gratefully. He had already arrived in Area A and rescued her relatives. And now he said this, Jian Lusher waved his hand and told Li Yusin not to thank him. He had his own purpose in coming to Area A, and he had originally planned to leave Xiaoyuan Safe Zone in the past few days. All his reasons for coming to Xiaoyuan Safe Zone were already achieved. Jian Lusher was already very satisfied with the serum and what he gained from going to the beast's nest. Peng Dinglong mentioned Li Inqiang just now. Although he didn't say anything, Jian Lusher actually had some vague guesses. At that time, he saw that Commander Wang's abnormality would definitely be noticed by the military, especially Li Inqiang and others who were present at the time. Although there are ways to explain, it is still very troublesome to be questioned by the military. No matter how strong Jian Lusher is now, he can't openly compete with the army. So Jian Lusher doesn't want to cause trouble. Following Peng Dinglong's team, Jian Lusher and his party left the gate of the safe zone without attracting any attention. Peng Dinglong's military base is not far from the safe zone, and used to be the suburbs of this city. Midway, Jiang Liosher's minibus fell behind silently, and then turned into a side road. Peng Dinglong naturally turned a blind eye to this, and pretended not to have seen it. He knew that there were two scientists on Jiang Liosher's car, but if Jiang Liosher came to force him, he couldn't stop them. Even if he wanted to forcefully snatch back the two scientists, it would be a fool's errand. What's more, Jiang Liosher's team also included Li Yusin, who was following his relatives, and would be difficult to stop. So Peng Dinglong just let them go. Zhang Gao had glanced back, pondered for a moment, and said nothing. On the minibus, Jiang Zhuying looked at the map on the tablet. The minibus followed the route on the map and drove to the entrance of a manor-style hotel. Roar! 
several zombies were killed as soon as they pounced out. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun jumped out of the car with guns in hand, dragged the zombie body out of sight, covered it with some weed branches, and sprinkled a little disinfectant to cover up the smell of blood. Although this kind of place is unlikely to attract a large number of zombies, it is surrounded by fields covered with tall grass. Who knows if a few mutant beasts will emerge. But if a mutant beast comes, it will be a good time to eat fresh meat. Zhang Hai said, smacking his mouth. Now if there were two mutant beasts, even Zhang Hai wouldn't be afraid at all. Brother Jiang is driving a car and has even dealt with the mother beast. Why is he still afraid of ordinary mutant beasts? Zero also jumped out of the car and quickly disappeared. However, Jiang Lusher would not interfere with her whereabouts. When she was not fighting, she was either in a daze or she liked to act on her own. Let's rest here tonight. Jiang Lusher said. Jiang Zhuying helped Liu Sun start cooking. And soon the fragrant aroma began to waft out. I usually make barbecue and meat soup. Today I made a meat hot pot. And Zhang Hai and the others got a bag of hot pot seasoning from nowhere. Li Yusin said, This is because you know, boss, that I love hot pot. Jiang Zhuying said happily. Jiang Lusher couldn't help but tease her. Is there anything you don't like to eat? As long as it's edible. You like to eat it. No wonder you were the first to evolve. Brother, you mean I eat the most? How could you do this? I just woke up. Jiang Zhuying puffed out his cheeks and said angrily. Then Zero came back. She had the usual cold and arrogant expression on her baby face and said softly, I've looked everywhere. There's nothing wrong with it. She just disappeared and went to check the situation in the hotel. At this time, Li Yusin stuck her head out from the car. Brother Jiang. Jiang Lusher knew that Li Yusin's grandfather and mother should have thought about it. Xiao Jiang. Su Tong is a very intellectual and beautiful woman who speaks very gently. The first thing that you exion, her grandfather, and I thought of was not to trouble you and Xiao Ran. But after all, something happened to Xiao Yuan. We left in Xiao Yuan. You will worry about whether we will move again like we did in the Zhonghai safety zone. This time Jiang Lusher came to Xiao Yuan. Su Guangqi and Su Tong were very sorry at first. But later they found out that Jiang Lusher was also here for Jiang Zhuying. And they felt better. But if something happens to them again, with Jiang Liusher's attitude toward Li Yusin, will he not come? Jiang Lusher will definitely not hesitate when the time comes. But this is not what Su Guangqi and Su Tong want to see. We are all engaged in research. We are protected by the government no matter where we go. We should try not to cause any trouble to you. You ex grandfather, and I thought about it carefully. Otherwise, you can send us to you ex hometown. It's not far from here. And there wasn't much population before the end of the world. There's also a safe city there now. Although it's not that big. We heard from the radio that they've been building it prosperously. The area around there is also very desolate. It's relatively desolate. It's considered safe. Su Tong said. Su Guangqi nodded. Moreover, some experts who studied evolutionary crystals were transferred to the Zhonghai safe zone. When Su Tong and I were in the Zhonghai safe zone, we were studying evolutionary crystals as well as zombies and mutant beasts. Originally, we had the thought of wanting to go there. We were protected by the government in advance. After the apocalypse, we won't have to worry about food and clothing, and we won't have to fight zombies. Of course, we have to do something we can do. We can't fight, so we can only use it a little bit in the laboratory. The residual heat is gone. Su Guangqi smiled. The research of the two professors and those experts and professors is very important to mankind. How can it be said that it is just a little bit of waste heat? Jian Lusher said. For this, Jian Lusher sincerely admired him. Otherwise, he would not have saved those experts and professors today. Even if it weren't for Li Yusin, he would still be willing to send Su Guangqi and Su Tong there. Jiang Zhuying is able to wake up now, thanks to the scientists who work day and night in the laboratory to develop the serum. In addition, when I go to my hometown, I can look for relatives at home, Su Tong said. Someone will take care of them, so that Li Yusin will no longer have to worry about anything. Going to this place may be of some help to you. I heard from you, Xian, that you need some rare metals? Su Guangqi said suddenly. Jian Lusher was stunned. He really needed metal. Originally, he asked Lu Chengfei to help him inquire about purchasing it. But unexpectedly, an unexpected incident occurred. Lu Chengfei will definitely be fine. But the Blackwater organization is probably in a mess now. In the last days, there are too many variables that no one can predict. We have to wait for news from Lu Chengfei. And we don't know when we will go. That's just right. 
There are several rare metal material companies and new material companies over there. Maybe they will have what you need, Su Guanqi said. Jian Liosher's eyes were filled with joy. That's not bad. But then he also thought that even if those material companies still existed, it would be difficult to find all the materials. But if you can find some, it will be one step closer to upgrading the base vehicle. With so many people on board now, Jian Liosher really felt that it was imminent to upgrade the base vehicle. By the way, what place are you talking about? Jian Liosher asked. Janning City, Li Yusin said. Jian Ning. Jian Liosher was startled. With a look of reminiscence in his eyes, he glanced at Jiang Zhuying and saw that Jiang Zhuying's movements also stopped. And he didn't know what he was thinking. Jiangning City is not far from Jiang Bay where they used to live. And it was only a few hours' drive before the end of the world. It's just that when they go back from here, they have to pass through Jiang Bay. Jiang Liosher's car set out from Jiang Bay at the beginning of the apocalypse. But he didn't expect to return to Jiang Bay now. I have been to Jiangning before the end of the world. And I didn't know there were these materials companies. Jian Lusher said. Even if a person has been living in a city, he will not understand areas that he is not familiar with. Not to mention that Jian Lusher has only been there. Chapter 478 Becoming a Spirit Before the end of the world, people were already accustomed to traveling with navigation. As long as you input your destination, the sweet electronic sound will guide the driver directly to your destination. Even traffic rules and lane changes are taken into account for you. But now, let alone navigation. There is no way to go. From Xiaoyuan to Jiangning. We traveled hundreds of kilometers to find an industrial area. Even Su Guangqi, who had been there before, only had a rough idea of the direction. In order to avoid losing their way, they used a highway as a signpost and drove along the edge. Of course, the highway itself had long been blocked by abandoned vehicles. Many of those once glorious cars had been turned into scraps in the impact. Iron. Stained with black blood. They have been abandoned here forever since the doomsday broke out and will continue to be abandoned. Below the highway, the road conditions were naturally not very good and the road was bumpy and bumpy. At dusk, it began to rain and the gray mist and rain formed a continuous sheet covering the long highway as if it was going to submerge everything in the rain. It's really unlucky. The road conditions were already bad and now that it's raining, I'm running as slow as a turtle. Jiang Lusher said unhappily as he watched the rain pattering on the car window. Brother Jiang, just be satisfied. There are no roads now. We are basically off-road. It's raining so heavily. Ordinary cars would have broken down long ago. We can still drive at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. And even Land Rover off-road vehicles can't. Incomparable. Li Yusin said with a smile that she felt much better now that she could find her family back. Jiang Lusher smiled and said, Since it's raining, we won't be in a hurry. It's getting dark anyway. So let's stop and rest for the night. There are still some hot pot ingredients left from last time. Let's make hot pot again and open a few cans of beer to celebrate you Xian's reunion with her family. Well, thank you, Brother Jiang, Li Yusin said happily. She sincerely felt that she was really lucky to meet Jiang Lusher. Look at the rain outside the car window. It's the cold rain of late winter. I don't know how it feels when it pours on my body. In the apocalypse without air conditioning or heating. Winter is too difficult. I don't know how many survivors are shivering in this cold rainy night. Enduring hunger and cold. Unable to sleep. But they are in a warm RV. With soft beds. Hot pot. And beer. This kind of life is what many people dream of. By the way. Brother Jian. Grandpa has been watching Luluo for the past two days. I told him about Luluo before. And he was extremely surprised. He also said that this kind of mutant bee somewhat subverted their previous knowledge. After listening to Li Yusin's words, Jian Lusha rolled his eyes. When he mentioned Luo Luo, he felt angry. Those were mutated queen ant eggs, and they were eaten directly by this chubby guy. Jian Lusha was sure that with Luo Luo's IQ, he would be able to distinguish what he could eat and what he shouldn't eat. But knowing that he shouldn't eat it and eating it secretly while he wasn't paying attention was too abominable. This guy is still sleeping. He has been sleeping for how long? Apart from rolling around in a cute way and deceiving your sympathy with his pitiful eyes, he has done nothing good, Jian Lusher said unhappily. But at this moment, he suddenly heard Jian Zhuying's voice coming from the bedroom. Brother, Lu Lu just moved. It seems that Mr. Su woke it up. Jian Zhuying's voice was a bit surprising. Jian Lusher was startled when he heard it. What? Is this guy awake? It was already time to rest. 
so Ying found a place and parked the car. The group of people in the base car gathered in the cab, which was also where Luo Luo was placed. Jian Lusher saw that Su Tong and Su Guangqi were obviously a little excited. Jian Lusher could understand the mood of scientists. Even if it was the end of the world, they would still be excited by some new discoveries. Mr. Su, what's going on? This guy, uh, why did Luo Luo wake up? Oh, that's it. Su Guangqi took a sip of water and said excitedly, This little guy is really not simple. His intelligence is the highest among all the animals I have ever seen in my life. I have seen and known more than a hundred people before. I've seen dogs that can't speak words. I've seen chimpanzees that can communicate with humans through picture language. And I've seen crows that use cars to crush walnuts. But none of these animals are as good as this little fur ball in front of me. While Su Guangqi was talking, he touched Luo Luo lovingly. Luo Luo drooped his head, looking pitiful. Smart life has always been a subject of research for us humans. Many foreign papers have done similar research. Ahem. Jiang Lusher had to cough twice to interrupt Su Guangqi. Su Guangqi was obviously very interested in Luo Luo's wisdom. But in Jiang Lusher's view, this not only made it look cute, but also used it to apart from deceiving a girl's sympathy. There is no use at all. Jiang Lusher was more concerned about what method Mr. Su used to wake this guy up, and whether it had evolved any abilities. After eating his mutated queen ant eggs, there must be some reaction. Right? Uh, I'm sorry. Xiao Jiang, I was too excited just now, and said something off topic. Su Guangqi laughed. That's it. In fact, I heard you XI and talk about Luo Luo's experience before. And I was very curious about this little guy. I used a few instruments at hand to measure various physiological data on it. And I found that its sympathetic nerve activity is very high. Generally, in a coma, the sympathetic nerve will be inactive, very slow to respond to various external stimuli, or even completely unresponsive. So I had some ideas and did some experiments, such as orbital pressure tests and so on. Based on some of its subconscious reactions, I found that this little guy was pretending to be comatose. Then it became easy. I heard you XI and said that it likes to eat barbecue. I deliberately put some cut barbecue next to it, and then walked out. Guess what? When I came back, I thought there was no shortage of barbecue at first glance. I my judgment was wrong. And when I took a closer look, I discovered that there were a lot of pieces missing from the barbecue. But this little guy deliberately made the barbecue that he had stolen into a messy and natural look. So I almost didn't notice it. I heard from you XIN that this little guy can do simple communication. So I immediately exposed it. At first, it continued to pretend to be faint. I said that if you don't get up, I will tell you. Xiao Jiang, to bake it, it ended up being scary. After listening to Su Guangqi's description, Jian Lusher was stunned for a long time. Pretend to be comatose. This little guy. Jian Lusher suddenly figured it out. It was because it had secretly eaten the eggs and knew it had done something wrong. He was afraid of beating it. So it didn't get up when it woke up, but continued to pretend to be asleep. This little guy has become a sperm. It seems that when Jian Lusher said he wanted to roast it and eat it, it understood. No wonder. I just thought. There seemed to be some barbecue missing yesterday. I thought someone had eaten it secretly, but it turned out to be Luo Luo, Jian Juing said, happily hugging Luo Luo, without any intention of blaming her, but with a look of love in her eyes. Really? Why are you pretending to be asleep when you're awake? You must have been starving these past two days. Li Yusin also had no resistance to Luo Luo. Luo Luo seemed to have found a protective umbrella all of a sudden, and squeezed hard into the arms of Jian Juing and Li Yusin. While squeezing, she looked at Jian Lusher timidly, for fear that Jian Lusher would really bake him. Seeing this guy acting cute while escaping punishment so easily, Jian Lusher's heart was filled with 10,000 grass and mud horses galloping past. What is this? It ate the eggs of the mutated queen ant and just got away with it. Young man, stop pretending and come here. Jian Lusher couldn't help but pull the dumpling over from Jian Juing's arms. Luolua's two big ears were drooped and her watery eyes looked at Jian Lusher pitifully. Don't act cute to me. I don't want to be like this. I'm talking about foodies. Did you evolve any abilities after eating mutant beast eggs? Quickly show it to me. Do you understand? Jian Lusher is a real person. An investment must be rewarded. You can just eat such precious insect eggs. But the gold bars still make a sound when thrown into the water. You can't eat them in vain. Seeing Luo Luo's big eyes blinking and blinking without any expression. Jian Lusher stared blankly. Damn it. You really ate it for nothing. 
Brother, why are you so fierce? Don't scare Luo Luo. Jiang Zhuying quickly snatched Luo Luo back from Jiang Liuxiu's arms, as if he was afraid that Luo Luo would be hurt. Jiang Liuxiu was really speechless. This Luo Luo relied on having a backer, regardless of whether it was Jiang Zhuying, Li Yusen, or Ran Shi. They all became unprincipled and unreasonable at this time. Ha ha! Xiao Jiang! Don't worry! We are also very curious about this! Su Guanqi said, looking at Luo Luo with bright eyes. This little guy like a fur ball is really interesting. Chapter 479 Please pinch it as you like. Realizing that everyone's eyes were focused on it, Luo Luo crawled into Jiang Zhuying's arms with some fear. Wait for me. It's best not to let me know that you are a freeloader. Jiang Lu warned Luo Luo. He didn't know if this furball hurt it. His big ears flapped and flapped. So he probably ignored it. At this time, there was a muffled sound from the deserted farmland beside the road. Like thunder on a rainy day. But everyone knew that it was definitely not the sound of thunder. As the tall straw spread quickly, the ground trembled slightly. Mutated beast. They had been traveling in this wilderness all the way. It was only a matter of time before they encountered a mutant beast. Even Jiang Lusher was a little surprised that they had just encountered a mutant beast now. Roar! A mutated cow suddenly rushed out from the grass. It was as big as a car, with a skin as rough as sand and gravel. Its two horns were extremely ferocious. It sprayed hot turbid gas from its nostrils and stared at this person with blood-red eyes. A minibus. Grandma! What a leg! On the minibus, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan took one look at the mutated cow. Their eyes suddenly lit up, and they quickly picked up their guns. Beef! Although mutated animal meat is delicious. Mutated beef, mutton, pork, etc. are still easier for people to accept and taste more interesting. After all, they are meats that were often eaten before the end of the world. Luo Luo, who was hiding in Jiang Zhuying's arms, immediately pricked up her long ears. Her eyes widened, and she was almost drooling. The mutated cows that rushed out with great momentum seemed to instinctively sense a hint of danger and hesitated to rush forward immediately. In its eyes, this minibus looked like an entrenched steel monster, not a crispy car. Zhang Hai and Sun Kui were ready to take action, and Ling also pulled out his dagger and came to the window. Wait, Jiang Lusher said suddenly. Don't waste bullets. He looked at Luo Luo suddenly. I just remembered. Aren't you a mutant beast? In this case, it shouldn't be a problem to deal with all the mutant beasts. That mutant cow is just a first-level mutant beast. Luo Luo, although I don't know what energy level the mutant beast is, it eats mutant beast meat every day and also eats mutant queen ant eggs. Even if it can't beat this mutant cow, it should be able to deal with it. As Jiang Lusher said this, he grabbed Luo Luo without any explanation and threw him out of the window. The mutated cow was confronting the minibus more than 10 meters away, snorting and kicking back with a hoof. Suddenly, a fur ball and Jiang Lusher were thrown out of the minibus. A roar. Go Luo Luo! Shiji! Luo Luo landed on the ground a few meters away. When he saw the mutated cow right in front of him, his hair stood up. Although it is also a mutant beast, it can boldly go to the nest of mutant earthworms to steal earthworm eggs for the sake of its belly. But when faced with a mutant beast head-on, it is extremely timid. Even when Jian Lusher and the others encountered zombies, Luo Luo would hide. As a mutant beast, he would not fight head-on. Now suddenly being thrown out by Jian Lusher, Luo Luo and the mutant cow looked at each other, turned around and ran back. What kind of future is this? The face of the mutated beast will be completely disgraced by you. Jian Lusher was really angry. And Luo Luo knew how to take advantage of him. At this time, the mutated cow roared, stamped on the ground with all four hooves, and started running wildly. It rushed towards Luo Luo crazily, pointed its ferocious horns at Luo Luo's body, and slammed into it. This mutated bull is so powerful that even a car will be overturned and flattened by the collision. Luo Luo was so frightened that it had no time to dodge. And it was about to be unable to dodge. At this time, Jian Lusher sighed secretly in his heart, raised his sniper rifle instantly, and pointed the muzzle at the mutated cow. Although this Luo Luo is very useless, at least he has eaten so many things. Even if he boils and stews, he can't cheapen this mutated cow. But at this moment, Luo Luo's body suddenly inflated like a balloon, and suddenly changed from a hair ball to a big balloon. It originally looked like a bear and a cat, but after it swelled up it looked funny and cute, with its four short legs kicking around. However, it suddenly swelled and blocked Jiang Liuxiu's gun muzzle. At this moment, the mutant cow had already slammed into the swollen Luo Luo. 
puff. In the weird impact sound, there was no terrifying scene of flying flesh and blood. Luolua was directly knocked into the minibus, making a muffled bang sound. It stuck to the car window glass, shrank in size with a swish, quickly slipped in through the gap in the car window, and jumped into the arms of Ranshiyu, who was closest to it, without looking back. This, Jiang Lusher was stunned. Even Jiang Zhuying and Ran Shiyu, who liked Luoluo very much, were also shocked. The collision just now was uncomfortable to watch. But this Luoluo, why aren't there any injuries on your body? Boom! Jiang Lusher suddenly pulled the trigger, and the mutated cow fell down with a crash. Its huge body fell two or three meters in front of the car, and even the car body shook as it fell to the ground. Zhang Hai, go take care of it, Jian Lusher said, put down his sniper rifle and came to Ran Shiyu. He grabbed Luo Luo's ears and lifted them up. After what happened just now, Luo Luo obviously had a shadow on Jian Lusher. As soon as he was lifted up, he immediately looked like an eggplant beaten by frost, and his eyes were even more aggrieved. Jian Lusher looked at Luo Luo with great interest. Su Guangqi and Su Tong also gathered around curiously. Su Guangqi even took out his reading glasses and stared at Luo Luo very carefully. On the surface, it still looks like Luo Luo, but everyone saw the way it suddenly expanded just now. Jian Lusher grabbed Luo Luo's ears and pulled them, and suddenly discovered that although Luo Luo's hair felt soft to the touch, his ears seemed to be able to deform at will. He simply tried to pull hard. Brother Jiang, what are you? Even Ran Shi was eager to defend this little guy. However, in Jiang Liusher's hands, Luo Luo's ears were stretched longer and longer. Gradually, even Jiang Liusher's arms were no longer long enough. Looking at Luo Luo's super long ears, everyone fell silent. At this time, Jiang Liusher turned around with Luo Luo in his hand, and unexpectedly Luo Luo's ear hit the armrest of the car door. When? There was a sound like a metal collision. What a ghost. Jiang Liusher quickly took a look. Although the armrest of his car was not covered with special alloy, its hardness was guaranteed. However, looking at it, he found that there was a dent in it. This is just a random collision. Jiang Lusher couldn't care less about his heartache, since repairing the armrest was easy and didn't consume much material. He glanced at the Luo Luo in his hand, then simply lifted the Luo Luo and bumped it against the armrest twice. Bang bang. The armrest has two more dents and is almost broken. Originally, Jiang Liosher's behavior could be said to be cruelty to small animals. But the tragic situation of the handrail showed that mutant beasts will always be mutant beasts. And this Luo Luo is not an ordinary mutant beast. Amazing! Amazing! Su Guangqi sighed as he stared at Luo Luo. With Jiang Liosher's consent, he cut off a piece of Luo Luo's hair and took it for study. After a while, he said, Although this Luo Luo's hair feels soft, it is but very resilient. When it expands, it can block the impact of the mutated cow. Its ears can be stretched so long, and it can obviously be deformed at will. I think this Luo Luo is not useless, but its use is very wonderful, Su Guangqi said without hesitation. Praise. This mutated beast has high intelligence, and now that it has evolved, its strength is also reflected, which makes Su Guangqi find it incredible. As scientists, they rarely have the opportunity to observe living mutant beasts. Those mutant beasts are difficult to trap even in special cages. But Luo Luo can be flattened and rounded. The key is that it can really be pinched and stretched at will. Jian Lusher heard this very interestingly. He pulled Luo Luo and tried it a few more times. Sure enough, he could squeeze it casually and even turn it into a thin piece of paper. His facial features seemed to be printed on it. And his eyeballs were still dripping. Sliding around. That's right. You didn't eat my food in vain. Jiang Lusher felt that he was not at such a loss after all. This Luo Luo was quite special. Luo Luo seemed to see that Jiang Lusher had no intention of roasting it. And her eyes immediately became active again. She swung her tail to please Jiang Lusher. And rubbed her head against Jiang Liosher's palm. Okay. 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 I won't accept this trick. You can go play with Zhuying and the others. Jiang Lusher handed Luo Luo over to Jiang Zhuying. Ran Shiyu and Li Yusin immediately surrounded him. These girls couldn't resist Luo Luo's cuteness. Jian Lusher returned to the cab. Ng restarted the minibus and continued to drive along the dilapidated path. At this time, Jian Lusher saw a road sign on the highway next to him. Among several different place names, Jian Lusher saw an extremely familiar yet somewhat unfamiliar place name. Jian Bay City. Jian Bay is coming. Jian Lusher drove a minibus down this highway and broke away from the group of fleeing survivors. 
today. There is no one alive on the highway. As they continue to drive forward, large areas of abandoned vehicles begin to appear on the highway. There are still traces of the battles on the road and fences. Jiang Lusha remembered that the army asked everyone to abandon their vehicles and walk on foot. It is estimated that many dangers also appeared during the walk. As for the army behind them, I don't know if anyone else is following. Soon, the minibus arrived near the toll station of Jianbei Expressway. From a distance, Jiang Lusher saw the military vehicles blocking the door of the toll station. After such a period of time, the paint on those military vehicles had peeled off and rusted, although the bodies were not visible. The dark brown blood stains on the toll booths were shocking enough. Above the toll station, the large characters, Jianbei City welcomes you, also looked dim. Jianbei has arrived. Not only Jian Juying, but also Li Yusin also showed a look of sadness. Jian Lusher also looked at Jianbei City in the distance. He and Jiang Zhuying once lived together in a corner of Jianbei City and lived here for more than 10 or 20 years. We won't enter Jianbei. We will pass around the city. The city is probably full of zombies, Jian Lusher said. Today's Jianbei City is completely different from the former Jianbei. The once prosperous city has now been filled with zombies. The streets are lined with abandoned shops. It is extremely desolate. The streets are full of zombies with red eyes and dirty tattered clothes giving people a strong sense of crisis at first sight. For Jianbei City like this, Jian Lusher didn't want to see it. It was better to miss it than to see it. But compared to the situation when he was determined to escape, Jian Lusher now has a lot of confidence. Even if he is very close to the city, he doesn't feel any nervousness. It is impossible for an ordinary zombie group to pose any threat to a minibus, let alone harm them inside the minibus. Well, it's better not to go in, Li Yusin agreed. She sat next to Su Tong and gently held her mother Su Tong's hand, obviously feeling a little emotional. Jiang Zhuying was very carefree and soon felt nothing. Instead, she told Lang and Ran Shiyu about the time when she lived with Jiang Lusher. Sure. Ran Shiyu was very interested in this and listened quietly, nodding from time to time, while Ling stood aside with his arms folded and remained silent. So you guys live in bunk beds and bunk beds in the same room? Zero asked suddenly and abruptly. Jiang Zhuying blinked and nodded calmly. Yes. Hmm. Zero said nothing again. Jiang Zhuying showed a look of doubt and asked this. Hey, what's the matter? Why don't you bump beds with me now? Not only bump beds, but also bump beds on both sides. Jiang Zhuying said with a smile. Everyone was silent. Ran Shiyu's expression remained unchanged, but her ears were slightly red. Li Yusin blushed even more immediately. She secretly glanced at her mother. Su Tong, and was so embarrassed that she didn't even dare to raise her head. Only Jiang Lusher glared at Jiang Zhuying who didn't know what was going on, and then said with some embarrassment, The car is too small. The car is really small. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun both slept together in the cab, and Su Guanqi also ran to the cab to make a soft berth, so that there was no space left. There were several people left facing a small bedroom, all looking at each other, no matter how crowded it is. Someone must work with Jiang Lusher to lay the floor. As Jiang Liusher's younger sister, Jiang Zhuying slept on one side of Jiang Liusher's side without being shy, while on the other side, several people took turns silently. This originally gave Jiang Lusher a strange feeling, but fortunately, everyone tacitly understood it. And now it was revealed by the innocent guy Jiang Zhuying's nonsense. Jiang Lusher suddenly felt that the word embarrassment was floating in the air. Hey, if you want to upgrade, you have to upgrade the base vehicle as soon as possible. Jiang Lusher thought to himself. I don't know what the secondary base vehicle looks like. And whether it will be more convenient to sleep then. Actually, it's nothing. It's the end of the world. It's already good to have such a warm and safe place to sleep peacefully. As for the details, don't pay too much attention to them. Ran Shiyu said. As she said that, she glanced at Jiang Lusher. And Jiang Lusher saw a smile in Ran Shiyu's cold gray eyes. Seeing Jiang Liusher's embarrassment, Ren Shiyu lowered her head slightly, pursed her lips, and showed a faint smile. Chapter 480 We were just passing by. The minibus drove along the rural road, intending to bypass Jiabei City. In some places, the road was completely gone, so the minibus drove directly over and forced a way out. But at this moment, some fences and wires suddenly appeared in front of them. This kind of fence has no blocking effect on minibuses. Just when Jiang Lusher was about to drive directly over, Ren Shiyu suddenly said, There is someone here. Jiang Lusher looked around, and with his keen eyesight, 
he vaguely saw several people hiding in a farmhouse not far away, looking towards them through the windows. It turns out there are survivors here, Jian Lusher said somewhat unexpectedly. He stopped the car, looked at the survivors who thought they were hidden, but were actually exposed, and honked the horn twice. Beep! The survivors in the farmhouse were immediately startled. They were still so far apart. There were so many weeds, and the windows were blocked. How did the people in the car find them? A male survivor came to his senses and asked, Could they just be honking the horn randomly? But as soon as he finished speaking, he was glared at by another relatively strong survivor. Are you okay with your brain? Unless you are impatient with life. How could someone make such a big noise casually? Both zombies and mutant beasts are very sensitive to sounds. This strong survivor also frowned and looked at the minibus. Even if they were discovered, the behavior of this minibus was too careless. And they didn't know who was on board. During the period after the end of the world, any living people around here have already gone into hiding. The further back they go, the harder it is to see new faces. Where did these people drive their cars from? At this time, Jian Lusher, who was on the minibus, was impatient with waiting. So he honked the horn twice more. If he didn't come out, he would just break through the fence. The fence built by these people blocked his way. There were no other roads around here. If he really drove into the fields, he wouldn't even know the direction. The survivors were discussing when they suddenly heard two more car horns, which sounded particularly harsh in this wilderness. The strong survivor's scalp exploded. He had just said that he would only make such a big noise if he wanted to die. In the blink of an eye, the minibus honked its horn twice more. Is this the button you press casually? The survivor who was glared at just now said somewhat uncertainly. Go out. It seems that if you don't go out, you will keep pressing the button. You two stay. Don't all come out. Leave some people so that they can't figure out how many people we have. The strong survivor is still a little bit arrogant. He picked up a gun and walked out. This gun was a standard Type 95, which they picked up near the toll station. At that time, a lot of guns and ammunition fell near the toll station. Later, when the number of zombies was reduced, their group of survivors went to collect all these weapons. Otherwise, they would not be able to gain a foothold here. The strong survivor led the two people out of the door cautiously. But just as they were about to step out, the car horn rang again. Hack! The strong survivor is really going crazy. Can you please stop pressing it? What if a few mutant beasts suddenly rush over? Who are you? This is our survival base! Asked the strong survivor. Can this fence be opened? Zhang Hai shouted. The strong survivor saw Zhang Hai holding onto the window with one hand and half of his body hanging directly out. His heart skipped a beat. A superpower? There are also people with superpowers in their survival base who are much stronger than ordinary people like them. Where are you from? Want to join our survival base? Yes, you can. But I have to ask the person in charge of our base before I can decide. The strong survivor replied, There have been survivors before. To be precise, those who are fleeing will come to their survival base to seek shelter. Strong survivors are not surprised by this kind of thing. Moreover, there are people with superpowers in this team. And the strong survivors feel that those in charge should be more welcoming to these people. You have found the right place. Our survival base is one of the best in the entire Jian Bay. When the strong survivors mentioned their survival base, they were very confident. You must have heard about our survival base. You're famous. So you came all the way here. Right. However, before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted impatiently by John High's gruff voice. Damn it! Why do I need to apply to cross the road? You built this road? What? The strong survivor didn't react for a while. We want to go through this road. And you broken fence is blocking our way. John High shouted. It was a simple thing at first. But this guy said he wanted to apply. And then he talked about a survival base. Brotherly, they seem to want to pass by. The previous survivor reminded the strong survivor again. I heard it. Brotherly glared at him again. Are these people passing through? Where are they going? Generally speaking, survivors are fleeing. The place where they were staying has become more dangerous. If they can no longer stay, they change places. When they find a suitable place, they quickly stay together. Why do these people seem to have other destinations? This is rare. It turns out that you have to pass by. But if you go forward from here... It is our survival base. There are so many people in our base. And there are many women and children. We can't let you just pass by like this. What if something happens? It's hard to say. And we didn't block the road on purpose. But it's the end of the world. Who cares about the road? Let alone a country road. Brotherly still kept a safe distance while talking to Zhang Hai. 
It's really troublesome. Zhang Hai was speechless. He had a bad temper to begin with. But he was so verbose just passing by. He was already ready to curse. Jian Lusher frowned while sitting in the car. If it were just these people, he would just rush through. But if there was a survival base in front of him, he would not be such an arrogant person. Zhang Hai! Jian Lusher called Zhang Hai back and opened the car door. Brother Li felt a little more relaxed when he saw a young man about 20 years old getting out of the car. The rough man seemed too irritable and difficult to deal with. But this young man looked quite easy to talk to. The person who just slipped out of the back door of that room went to inform the boss of your base. Right. When will there be a reply? Jian Lusher asked. Brother Li's expression suddenly changed. He just secretly made a gesture for someone to call someone. But in the end, everyone knew about it. It seemed that he had made a mistake. This young man looked calm, which made him even more difficult to deal with. If this young man knows this, he is not a superpower. So there must be a superpower in his car. Soon! Soon! Brotherly had completely given up the idea of taking action. He felt as if every move he made was being watched by this young man. And even his hand holding the gun felt uncomfortable. However, Brotherly will not put down his gun because of this. He will feel at ease only if he has a gun in his hand. Moreover, this is the Type 95 after all, which is full of deterrence. Then let's wait, Jian Lusher said. He could still afford to wait at this time. It didn't matter if he arrived in Jianning earlier or later. These people were making small moves secretly, but they didn't know that all their movements were within Ran Shiyu's mental field of vision. Moreover, Ran Shiyu's mental vision continued to extend forward, and soon even the location of their survival base was detected, and everything they owned was completely exposed under Jian Liusher's eyes. The survival base is only one kilometer away, and the population is relatively dense, like a small village. Soon, several motorcycles and a pickup truck drove over. The pickup truck was modified. A thick steel cage was added to the compartment. The front of the truck was also covered with iron sheets and iron cages. It looked very stylish. Rough. There were several people standing in the steel cage, and two people were sitting on each motorcycle. They roared to the fence. What's going on? The door of the pickup truck opened, and a man in leather clothes got out, frowning and looking at the minibus and asked. The news he received was that trouble was coming to his door. But when he came here, all he saw was a minibus and a young man standing there calmly. Brother Lin Wei, they said they were going to pass by here. Brother Li said quickly. Jian Lusher looked at this man named Lin. He was a supernatural user with pretty good strength. He didn't know if he was the boss of this survival base. But it didn't matter whether he was or not as long as he could make the decision. Lin Wei glanced at Jian Lusher, then at the minibus, and suddenly his brows jumped. Several ways of supernatural power. Are there so many superpowers in this car? Lin Wei originally wanted to refuse. But at this time, he could not make a hasty decision. He originally brought a dozen people over, thinking that it would be more than enough to deal with a little trouble. But he didn't expect that the other party was quite strong. You passed here and caused us a lot of trouble. So we need to give you some compensation. Lin Wei hesitated and said, What do you want? Jian Lusher asked calmly. If this Lin Wei lion opens his mouth, then he won't bother to talk nonsense with these people. And he will be arrogant. Lin Wei thought for a while. And he estimated that a minibus wouldn't be able to carry much. After all, there were so many people on it. But there must be some necessary food. Just 20 kilograms of rice. Lin Wei said. Rice? Jian Liusher's expression became a little strange. What? You think it's too much? Lin Wei said with some displeasure. That 15 kilograms can't be less. Jian Liosher's expression became even weirder now. Did he bring himself to bargain? In fact, there are still a lot of rice storage Jiang Liushi. And rice is of no use to them at all. But look at Lin Wei. Are they so short of food? Jian Liosher didn't care about the 15 kilograms of rice. He nodded casually. Then open the fence and we will give it to you when we pass by. Okay. Loudly. Take someone over and take apart a section of the protective belt first, Lin Wei said, hearing Lin Wei's name for the fence. Jian Lusher paused again. This thing, which is worse than a broken fence, is actually called a protective tape. There were no openings in these fences. So Brother Li and others had to dismantle a section with bare hands, and then had to put it back together again after a while. Jian Lusher also knew this. So he agreed to give the 15 kilograms of rice. Otherwise, even if it is a grain of rice. He will not give it if he does not want to. As soon as Lin Wei spoke, Brother Li and others immediately took down the fence with quick hands and feet. 
after waiting for 7 or 8 minutes. The minibus finally drove through. Looking at this minibus up close, Lin Wei actually felt that this car was quite special. The surface had a technological metal texture, which was different from the minibuses in his impression. However, the car window was completely dark from the outside, and Lin Wei could not see what was going on inside the car. He shouted from across the car, Your car is following us! When survivors with superpowers pass through their survival base, Lin Wei naturally has to follow them. He cannot take too many risks. But what do these people really want to do? Their survival base is not vegetarian. Soon a small village appeared in front of the minibus. It was said to be a small village. But in fact there were only a few two-story houses. And the rest were built like thatched huts. There is a wall made of bricks and concrete outside the village. There are also towers built above the wall. There are guns pointed outside in the towers. Because this village was expanded and built after the apocalypse. All the roads were occupied. Jian Lusher and the others still had to go around a section of farmland to get past. Everyone in the village saw Lin Wei suddenly leading someone out. At this time. They saw a strange minibus following Lin Wei. For a while, many survivors stopped what they were doing and looked over. Jiang Lusher looked around and saw that these survivors were indeed very poor. And none of them could even wear enough clothes. These people are all working. And there are people supervising them next to them. Judging from their arrogance, they are probably bossing these survivors around. However, Jiang Lusher couldn't control these things even if he felt disdainful. It was very difficult for these ordinary people to survive in the last days although they were living a harder life now. They could at least guarantee basic survival, even if these people who have a bad attitude towards them are dealt with. They will still continue to rely on others. This is our base. You go around, and then I will lead you out. Lin Wei stopped and said, Jian Lusher opened the car window and took out a bag of rice. Since you talk about credibility, I'll give you this rice. He came over smoothly, and Lin Wei had no intention of playing tricks. In fact, Jian Lusher is not worried about Lin Wei's tricks. If he really wants to do something, he will only suffer the loss. Okay. Lin Wei waved. And someone immediately went over and took the rice. Just when Jian Lusher was about to close the car window, he suddenly heard a hesitant cry. Jian Lusher? Jian Lusher? It's really you. Jian Lusher looked around and saw an unkempt man rushing over excitedly. This man's face was dark and his hair hadn't been combed for an unknown amount of time. He looked like tangled grass. Jian Lusher didn't recognize him at first glance. Who is this person? It's me. It's me. As he said this, the man quickly pushed his hair away and wiped his face vigorously. Jian Lusher. Look at me carefully. Chapter 481 Beauty in the Car. Huh? It's you. Wang Kuei. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. Unexpectedly meeting an acquaintance here. Wang Kuei was his classmate. And he should have been in school when the apocalypse broke out. Didn't you evacuate to the Zhonghai safety zone with others? Jian Lusher asked. When he was in Zhonghai safety zone, he also met his high school classmates. But he didn't meet any of his college classmates in Zhonghai safety zone. However, it is normal for hundreds of thousands of people in the Zhonghai safety zone to be untouchable. Safe area? Wang Kuei shook his head. No. We were all running for our lives at that time. And we managed to escape. We hid in a dark place for more than 10 days. And then we met other survivors. Everyone we escaped from Jianbei City together. Wang Kuei's expression became ugly when he thought about what happened before. Obviously thinking of a lot of bad memories. Oh. It's really not easy to survive. I catch and eat everything I see. I really experience the suffering I have never experienced in my life. Wang Kuei said with emotion. He could not hide the envy in his eyes when he saw that Jian Lusher was neatly dressed and not skinny at all. He obviously ate well. He had also seen Jian Lusher take out rice just now. A whole bag of rice. Just give it to me. It seems that you are doing well. By the way, Luo Ming is here too. Wang Kuei said suddenly. Huh? Luo Ming is here too? Jian Lusher said in surprise. Luo Ming shared a dormitory with him. When the apocalypse was about to break out, Jian Lusher was in urgent need of money to rent a car to scan base vehicles. He also called Luo Ming to borrow money. However, Luo Ming couldn't come up with the money at that time. And Jian Lusher reminded him to stay in the dormitory and not to move around. I'll call Luo Ming over. Wang Kuei said. Jian Lusher nodded. Looked at Lin Wei and said. There are some of my former classmates in your base. I'll meet them first. The rice has been obtained. And Lin Wei is no longer so wary of Jian Lusher and others. Besides, he can just keep an eye on them. No problem. But don't walk around. 
Lin Wei said. Jiang Lusher glanced around. He could see everything in this shabby village-like place. And there was nothing left to leave. Soon Wan Kui came back. But he not only brought Luo Ming, but also brought back several people. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. In fact, he didn't know many people in the university. He didn't know most of the people Wan Kui brought. However, Li Yusin came to the window and took a look, and said in shock, Lu Shan Chan? And Shen Jing? These people brought by Wan Kui turned out to be from Jianbei University. Jian Lusher, it's really you. Luo Ming shouted in surprise from far away. Thanks to you, buddy. If you hadn't let me stay in the dormitory, I would have died. At that time, he had really been playing games in the dormitory. So when the apocalypse broke out, he blocked the door tightly and hid in the dormitory without saying a word for several days, eating everything he could. Later, he discovered that there were still survivors in the school and escaped with those people. They all finally came to this survival base. It is said that there are other survival bases in Jianbei, and maybe there are some classmates they know there. But in the apocalypse, it is too difficult to get in touch and it is impossible to move around each other. Who can control others? Luo Ming also thought about Jian Lusher, who had inexplicably warned him at that time. He didn't know how he was doing now, but he never expected to meet Jian Lusher again. What a fate! Luo Ming burst into tears when he saw Jian Lusher with his own eyes. The feeling of seeing someone familiar to you after a long time is really indescribable. It can easily remind people of the peaceful life in the past. The other people were not familiar with Jian Lusher, but one of them, a girl named Lu Shan Chan looked at Jian Lusher with a complicated expression. She probably didn't remember Jian Lusher anymore. One of Jian Liusher's friends joked that he would introduce Jian Lusher to her. She was very disgusted and disgusted. When she saw Jian Lusher later, she treated him coldly and didn't even look at Jian Lusher. One glance. In fact, Jian Lusher didn't take this kind of thing to heart at all. It was his friend who wanted to introduce her. Not that he liked the girl. As for the girl's indifference towards him afterwards, he didn't notice it at all. Jian Lusher was filled with emotion to be able to reunite with his former classmates, especially Luo Ming. Luo Ming had a good relationship with him, and he was a nice person, but he just didn't have any money to lend him at that time. You get in the car, and I'll talk to you. Jian Lusher felt that it was not good to talk in and out of the car like this, so he asked Ying to open the car door. Okay. Luo Ming immediately came to the car door, but just as he was about to take a step, his body froze. This car is so luxurious. He originally thought this was an ordinary minibus. But darling, what was in this car? Sofa? Carpet? And the bed and bathroom? This environment is really great. And when he glanced at it, he felt his eyes were dazzled. One, two, three. Why are there so many beauties here? Each one looks different and has a different temperament. But they are all beautiful. Their classmate Lu Shanshan is not bad looking. But compared with these girls, there is a huge difference. These girls are so eye-catching that there is no way people can ignore them. Not only Luo Ming, but also Wan Kue and others standing behind were dumbfounded. As soon as the car door opened, their three views were completely subverted. If everything hadn't been clearly laid out in front of them, they would have thought that there was something wrong with the way the car door opened. Lin Wei was just smoking a cigarette in the distance and staring here casually. But in a blink of an eye, he was stunned. Damn. Why is this interior so luxurious? There are also those beauties sitting or standing. This is a beautiful car. Lin Wei also didn't expect that the inside of the minibus would be like this. He even forgot to smoke cigarettes for a while. Comparing the interior of the car with their survival base. It was like comparing a shabby thatched hut with a mansion. This was really irritating. Luo Ming was stiff at the door of the car for a while. Then retracted his feet. Smiled and said, This accommodation is okay. I won't come up. There are many people here. In fact, he took a look at the soles of his feet and body. There was dust everywhere. How could he get in the car? It's just so out of place. When Jian Lusher saw that Luo Ming refused to come up, he simply came down by himself. Immediately afterwards, Li Yusin also came down. Lu Shanshan had already seen Li Yusin just now. But she was not sure. Now that Li Yusin walked out of the car and came to them, Lu Shanshan was really sure. Shanshan! And Shen Jing! I didn't expect to meet you here, Li Yusin said happily. Every time she sees someone she knows, she feels very lucky. After all, in this apocalyptic world, there are really too few people alive. And even if you survive, you will die at any time due to various dangers. 
Yusin. Lu Shanchen looked at Li Yusin blankly. I didn't expect to meet you here either. She looked at Li Yusin's appearance. Li Yusin was so beautiful. Her mental state was good. And her temperament had become better. After she came down, everyone in the survival base was staring at her. Even Lin Wei got to be a little dazed. In comparison, Lu Shanchen simply felt ashamed. You, why are you with Jian Lu Shi? Lu Shanchen glanced at Jian Lu Shi and asked. Li Yusin was still smiling. This is a long story. Brother Jian, do you know Lu Shanchen and Chen Jing? Jian Lu Shi took a look and smiled slightly. Hello. In fact, he didn't know each other at all. They were probably related to Li Yusin. When Lu Shanchen saw Jian Lu Shi's reaction, she felt suddenly disappointed. Jian Lu Shi no longer remembered her. And how could Li Yusin call Jian Lu Shi so affectionately? Could it be them? Thinking of this, Lu Shanchen felt even worse. She looked down on Jian Lu Shi at first because Jian Lu Shi was an orphan and had a drag sister. If she fell in love with Jian Lu Shi, it would be a drag on herself. But I didn't expect that Li Yusin, a person with such good conditions, would be together with Jian Lu Shi after the end of the world. But seeing how well Li Yusin is doing now, she obviously made the right choice. Lu Shanchen knew that in the post-apocalyptic world, most of the girls who had no fighting ability would become the playthings of superpowers. However, as long as she had some brains, it was possible to live a good life with a superpower. This sounds very sad, but Lu Shanchen thinks this is normal. The weak rely on the strong to survive. She even regarded this as one of her goals, the goal of changing her current destiny. But in this survival base, she didn't have this opportunity at all. Those superpowers were just playing around and didn't care about women at all. Her life had not changed for the better at all. So when she saw the difference between herself and Li Yusin, Lu Shanshan's heart was filled with panic. Luo Ming, how are you doing here? Jian Lu Shi asked. In fact, when he saw Luo Ming's appearance, he estimated that Luo Ming was living a normal life. It's not bad. We have something to eat. A place to shelter from the wind and rain. And we work hard every day and exercise. Luo Ming said with a smile. What about you? Are you a person with superpowers? Luo Ming asked curiously. Jian Lu Shi smiled and said, Well, that's right. Then you're awesome. In fact, one of our classmates at that time became a superpower. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to come out alive. Unfortunately, he died. Luo Ming said sadly. If that classmate hadn't died, they wouldn't have had such a hard time in this survival base. That classmate was still very nice and took good care of them. At this time, a bell rang in the survival base. Jian Lusher saw that the survivors around him had put down what they were doing and hurriedly walked in one direction. Luo Ming and others also looked back. Luo Ming turned around and said, Jian Lusher, please wait a moment. We have dinner. I have to go get the meal. If it's too late, we won't be replenished. After saying that, Luo Ming ran away. Seeing this scene, Jian Lusher couldn't help but smile. They ran to the cafeteria to grab the meal like this. At that time, Luo Ming was still a little fat man, panting behind him. The ground cannot move at all. Soon Luo Ming came back, and Jian Lu saw that he was carrying a bowl of box lunch. There were only a few pieces of meat in it, and there were even fewer vegetable leaves. In the apocalypse, even plants have mutated, and eating vegetables is really a luxury. These vegetables are all shriveled, like those rotten vegetable leaves that are no longer needed. But Luo Ming obviously didn't care about this. He was about to sit down with his lunch box and planned to continue talking to Jian Lu Shi for a while. Wang Kui had already said just now that he heard the conversation between Jian Lu Shi and Lin Wei. And Jian Lu Shi and others would leave soon. After leaving, I don't know when we will meet again. It may be impossible to meet again alive in this life. So Luo Ming wanted to talk to Jian Lu Shi for a while. After all, they were close friends back then. Talking to Jian Lu Shi felt like going back to the past before the apocalypse broke out. By the way, where are you going? Luo Ming asked while grabbing his rice. You're going to eat this? Jian Lu frowned and asked. Hey, it's the end of the world. I'm very satisfied if I eat some. It's not like you don't know that I am a person who is happy with the situation. Luo Ming said optimistically. Jian Lu smiled. Luo Ming's character was indeed like this. We are going to Jian Ming. Jian Lu said. Jian Ming? Luo Ming was stunned for a moment and said, Why are you going to Jian Ming? Something happened. It was troublesome to say it specifically. So Jian Lu Shi just said vaguely, Oh, speaking of Jian Ning, I remember hearing something about Jian Ning. Luo Ming said, 
in their survival base. There is a person with superpowers who escaped from Jiangming with people. And he made some mention of the current situation in Jiangming. Wait a minute. I'll tell you in detail after dinner. Since you are going, you must find out. Luo Ming hurriedly picked up the rice. He didn't know if Jian Lushe and the others were in a hurry. Jian Lushe and the others cannot be left waiting. Luo Ming choked because he ate so fast. It was rare for him to meet Jian Lushe, and he was able to be of some help to this former classmate, which made Luo Ming very happy. Jian Lushe looked at Luo Ming and suddenly took the lunch box over and said, "Don't eat it. Since we rarely meet, I'll treat you to a meal. Let's have barbecue." In fact. Jian Lusher and the others didn't follow any specific meal rules and could eat whenever they wanted. People with superpowers' appetites are inherently terrifying. There's nothing wrong with cooking now. Luo Ming refused to get in the car, so he would eat outside. When they heard that Jian Lusher wanted to treat them to dinner, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan immediately took out the grill and the fresh mutated beef they just got today from the refrigerator. All kinds of seasonings were available, and there was no shortage of fresh vegetables. Originally, Lin Wei had calmed down from the surprise when he saw the beauty in the car. But when he saw Zhang Hai and San Kuan taking out the ingredients in a flowing manner, his eyes almost popped out of his head. This is mutated beast meat. There are also vegetables and fruits. Lin Wei suddenly slapped his thigh. What a shame! He completely underestimated the people in the car and took the initiative to reduce the 20 kilograms of rice to 15 kilograms. Now it seems that this amount of rice is nothing to Jiang Lushe. Luo Ming was also dumbfounded and Zhang Hai and San Kun were very quick with their hands and feet. They quickly set up the grill and started lighting the fire. They grilled the meat more professionally than a professional selling skewers. They sprinkled the ingredients and turned the meat with all their movements. Dazzling. The fragrant aroma burst out all of a sudden. Wang Kui, Qin Jing and others were watching and swallowing their saliva. Even Lu Shanshan felt that the lunch box in her hand was tasteless. And she was staring at the barbecue. Unconsciously salivating. Come on! Luo Ming, eat some meat. Jian Lusher handed a bunch of meat to Luo Ming. Luo Ming stared at the barbecue, hesitated for a moment, then stretched out his hand to take it, and said with emotion, Aha, uh -huh. old classmate, so interesting. He ignored the burning and took a bite eagerly, almost swallowing his own tongue. When had he eaten this mutated beast meat? This is so delicious. Seeing Luo Ming eating meat, even Lin Wei was a little envious. He never dreamed that he, a superpower, would one day envy these ordinary people who were suffering. It is not easy for them to go hunting in this survival base. And there is a boss on top of him. So the mutated beast meat is not enough. They don't even have enough meat to eat. But this ordinary person can actually eat mutated beast meat. He looked at Jian Lusher and thought that he was really blind. He didn't realize that these people were so rich. If this meat can be eaten by ordinary people, they must not be short of mutated beast meat at all. Otherwise, even if they are classmates, who would be willing to part with it? Thinking of this, Lin Wei had some thoughts in his heart. These people have no scruples about being on someone else's territory, and they don't know that wealth should not be revealed. Whatever happened, it was all caused by yourself. Chapter 482 Ambush One or two details were modified in yesterday's chapter, and I'm very sorry for the inconvenience caused. Luo Ming ate so much that he couldn't even speak, but after all, he was an ordinary person and his food intake was very limited. No matter how much he ate, he couldn't eat much. This barbecue meal was completely different from the box lunch he ate. But Luo Ming also knew that it was because he met Jiang Lusher that he was so lucky to have a two sacrifice. He would still have to live his life how he would live after that. Wang Kui, Lu Shanshan and others were watching with envy. At this time, Luo Ming paused. He walked up to Jiang Lusher, smiled and asked, Jiang Lusher. Can you? Let them get some. Jian Lusher said. Thank you. Jian Lusher. Oh no. It's brother Jian. Wang Kui said happily. He knew that Jian Lusher was doing it entirely for Luo Ming's sake. Although they also knew Jian Lusher. They were not particularly familiar with Jian Lusher in school. Wang Kui talked about brother Jian and tried to get close to Jian Lusher. Chen Jing thanked Jian Lusher gratefully and took a skewer of barbecue and ate it in small bites. Lu Shanshan hesitated. She wanted to refuse. But in the end, she could not resist the temptation of barbecue. After getting the meat, she couldn't wait to eat it. The meat was really delicious. Jian Lusher and Li Yusin eat this kind of good food every day? After Luo Ming gave his share of meat to these classmates, he clapped his hands and stopped eating. Jian Lusher, why are you going to Jian Ming? Luo Ming asked. 
Also, where did you come from? Xia Yuan? Jian Lusher said, seeing that Luo Ming didn't know where Xia Yuan was. Jian Lusher continued, It's Sanxiang province. Oh, that's quite far. Luo Ming nodded. Jian Lusher smiled slightly. If Luo Ming knew that they had almost circled Jian Yan, he didn't know what his reaction would be. The superpower you mentioned. What does he know about Jian Ning? Jian Lusher asked. Although Su Guangqi and Su Tong knew through the radio that there was a safe zone in Jiangning, the information they learned from the radio was very one-sided. The current situation in Jiangning. I heard that the safe zone is very strict, but it is not accessible to ordinary people. The surrounding area is very chaotic, with ordinary people and people with special abilities mixed together. The safe zone is a safe zone, and the survivor area is a survivor area. In the survivor area, you can buy whatever you want and you can find a buyer for whatever you want to sell. Even some powerful superpowers in Jianbei will go there to trade. But if you are not strong enough, you will probably be swallowed by others. Luo Ming said. These were the exact words he heard. But they were also said by the person who came with the superpower. So they were very credible. Otherwise, he would not tell Jiang Lusher casually what he heard from Yersei. Like this, Jiang Liusher's expression didn't change much. He wasn't afraid of being swallowed. However, the situation in Jiangning was a bit different from what he imagined. The military zone there sounded very closed. How about this? I'll invite that person over, and you can ask me about it? Luo Ming suggested. That's fine. Jiang Lusher nodded. Luo Ming went to call someone. Jiang Lusher wanted to tell Lin Wei that he would stay here for a while, but found that Lin Wei had turned away and left. But his men remained where they were, staring at them motionless. Shi Yu, be careful. Jian Lusher said. Okay. Ren Shiyu nodded. Although Jian Lusher wouldn't be nervous when he was in someone else's base, he wouldn't really take it lightly either. Even Wang Kuei and others. Although these people are former classmates, they have been in the apocalypse for so long. Jian Lusher will not believe these people easily. Not to mention now, even before the end of the world, he would not easily trust someone he was unfamiliar with. Among these people, only Luo Ming knew him. Lu Shanshan glanced at Jiang Lu Shi, then pulled Wang Kuei and Chen Jing. Let's go too. In the survival base, men and women each live in a Dayton view. Those with a little status live in a few rooms. Only people with superpowers can live in single rooms. And they are also suites. They live in real houses. Not ones built later. Simple room. The person Luo Ming is looking for is in one of the multi-person rooms. In fact, the person he was talking about was a small supervisor. Normally Luo Ming could not talk to this person. All he heard was the content of the small supervisor's chat with other people. Luo Ming also went to beg him. The little overseer was bald and was sitting in the room eating. They were eating stir-fried vegetables, which were placed on the table in plates. There was much more meat than the box lunches that ordinary people eat. Seeing Luo Ming come in, the supervisor and everyone else in the room frowned. What for? Asked the overseer, with a smile on his face. Luo Ming carefully explained his intention. As long as Brother Qing agrees, Brother Qing can send me wherever he wants from now on. Luo Ming said. Brother Qing chuckled and asked funnily. Send you? What can you do? Wash my clothes and shine my shoes? I can do laundry and shine shoes. Luo Ming always had a smile on his face. He didn't know what Jian Lusher sure and the others were doing in Jiangning. But no matter what, it would be safer if they knew more. Even Qing Ji's boss took them to flee to Jianbei. This Jianning must be a place where dragons and tigers are crouching. Land. Luo Ming had never thought of asking Brother Qing. But Jiang Lusher invited him to a meal at this time. This meal was not much of a favor. But it made Luo Ming very touched. He felt that he was working anyway. So who was not working for him? It's nothing to work for this young brother. You are quite loyal. Brother Qing stood up. Walked in front of Luo Ming. Reached out and patted Luo Ming's cheek. Making a snapping sound. Luo Ming was in pain, but he didn't dare to move. After all, we are classmates. At this time, Brother Qing suddenly interrupted him. My classmates are nothing. You don't even look at what you look like. You are also qualified to wash my clothes and shine my shoes? You are only qualified to lick the soles of my shoes. Who are your classmates? Want me to tell him about Jiang Ning? Get out. Brother Qing's saliva splashed onto Luo Ming's face. Luo Ming lowered his head and took a gentle breath. As a supervisor, Brother Qing often scolded them casually. There were countless times when Luo Ming wanted to yell. I've had enough. 
But in the end, he could only lower his head due to reality. This time, it's the same. No matter how excited he was, the gap in status and strength between the two sides made Luo Ming only accept the reality bitterly. But at this time, Lin Wei walked in from outside the door and said, Why don't you go? Go ahead and call Feng Yi. As your boss, doesn't Feng Yi know more about Jiang Ning's affairs? I heard that he was he also made a name for himself in Jiang Ning. Brother Qing was stunned for a moment, but then nodded. Okay. Seeing Brother Qing grabbing his clothes and going to find Feng Yi, Luo Ming turned to look at Lin Wei, but suddenly felt a bad feeling. Although Luo Ming is optimistic, he is not stupid. As an ordinary person, how could he let Lin Wei come to talk about this matter? Do you want Feng Yi to go in person? As for Jian Lusher, Lin Wei didn't know Jian Lusher at all, and he had no reason to do this. Wait, Brother Lin, there's no need for this, Luo Ming quickly said with a smile. Go and call your classmate over, Lin Wei said. Luo Ming's heart thumped, and he completely understood. No, Brother Lin, if my classmate offends me in any way, I will apologize to him, Luo Ming shouted quickly. His heart kept sinking. Was it because Jian Lusher invited him to eat meat? So, isn't it all because of him? Luo Ming knew the strength of these people. Even Jian Lusher was powerful. But after all, one car, several people, and there were quite a lot of people with superpowers here. And there were so many subordinates. And they still used an ambush method. What? You don't want to go? Lin Wei asked coldly. Brother Lin. Luo Ming still wanted to beg. However, at this time, Lin Wei had already slapped him away. The superpower slap hit Luo Ming so hard that stars appeared in his eyes. His cheeks suddenly swelled, and the taste of blood filled his mouth. At this time, Luo Ming saw a few more people coming outside the door. Wang Kui, Chen Jing, and Lu Shanchen are all here. In fact, Lu Shanchen took the initiative to ask Wang Kui and the others to come with him. She could see that Jian Lusher was not a hard-hearted person. He still missed his old friendship with Luo Ming's classmates. Luo Ming was a good old man. And Lu Shanchen wanted to trick Luo Ming into saying good things for them. And let Jian Lusher take them away. They couldn't get ahead in this place. But it would be different if they could follow Jian Lusher. At least being able to live in that clean and bright luxury car is already a world between heaven and earth. But Lu Shanchen didn't expect that they would see the scene when they arrived. Wang Kui and Chen Jing both turned pale with fright and were trembling all over. Lu Shanchen was also trembling. Seeing Lin Wei looking towards them. Lu Shanchen took a quick breath and suddenly said, I can go and ask Jian Lusher to come over. Lu. Luo Ming couldn't even speak clearly. His eyes were filled with shock. Wang Kui and Chen Jing were also stunned for a moment. They looked at Lu Shanchen in disbelief. Lu Shanchen usually felt very weak and quiet. And they couldn't believe that Lu Shanchen would suddenly say such words at such a time. Lin Wei frowned and said, Can you call him here? I don't think you are familiar with him. But I know his girlfriend. I may not be able to trick Jian Lusher, but I can trick his girlfriend aside. I told her that I wanted to ask her for help with something secretive. She told me that she is a doctor. I just said it was a gynecological matter, Lu Shanchan said, her mind spinning rapidly. When I trick his girlfriend over and his girlfriend calls out, can he not come over? It will happen naturally by then. Lin Wei thought for a while. His eyes lit up. He looked at Lu Shanchan with some surprise and said, You have some brains. This method works. Lu Shanchan, what do you want to do? Luo Ming looked at Lu Shanchan angrily, and he wanted to come and stop Lu Shanchan. When Lin Wei saw the scene, his eyes showed disgust, and with a swish of his hand, a wide knife about a foot long appeared. Brother Lin, Lu Shanchan hesitated and shouted, Since I'm helping you, it's better not to kill him. I heard that people with superpowers are very sensitive. It would be bad if the smell of blood is detected. Lu Shanchan, didn't you say that we came to Luo Ming for help and asked us to follow Jian Lusher? Why did you agree to help Lin Wei harm Jian Lusher and the others? After coming out, Wang Kui and Chen Jing asked with pale faces. There's nothing we can do. We heard everything just now. If we don't help, then Luo Ming and we will be killed. Lu Shanchan's expression had regained her composure at this time, and she said calmly. And if you think about it carefully, Jian Lusher doesn't look down on us at all. He has no friendship with us at all. If we follow him, maybe he will abandon us soon. He can't guarantee that we will live a good life. In this case, we might as well seek some status in this base. Don't you see that Brother Qing and the others are already having a good time just being supervisors? 
Lu Shanchan said. Of course. Her goal is not just to be like Brother Qin. I can't. Qin Jing shook her head vigorously. She couldn't do such a thing at all. Just thinking about it made her scared to death. You are really useless. Lu Shanchan shook her head, glanced at Wang Kui, and asked, Wang Kui, what about you? I... Wang Kui hesitated. He looked at Lu Shanchan and felt that this woman seemed to have turned into another person in an instant. But maybe this was the real Lu Shanchan. Wang Kui swallowed and finally nodded. I'll go with you. What Lu Shanchan said did make sense to him. And he also saw that even if they didn't go, Lu Shanchan would go herself. When Lu Shanchan succeeded and climbed to a higher position, would their life be better if they offended Lu Shanchan? Then you go and hold Jiang Lusher steady while I go find Lu Yusin. Lu Shanchan nodded and said, as she walked towards the minibus, Lu Shanchan's heartbeat gradually returned to calm. She knew that what she did today could change her life. Although I changed from wanting to get into Jiang Liusher's car to wanting Jiang Liusher's life. This is fate. Jiang Liusher. You can't blame anyone. Lu Shanchan said to herself in her heart. At this time, Brother Qing had already called Fongi, Lin Wei, and others to ambush. There are five superpowers in total. And there are more than 20 people. With so many people, it is absolutely foolproof to deal with the people in a minibus. Although there were several superpowers among Jian Lu Shi and his party, when Li Yusin was taken to the ambush point, and Jian Lu Shi and others heard the noise and came over, they were able to shoot Jian Lu Shi and others directly from the window. In this way, even if Jian Lu Shi and the others had any abilities, they wouldn't be able to use them, no matter how powerful the superpowers were. They wouldn't be able to block so much firepower from shooting suddenly at the same time. After a while. Wang Kui and Lu Shanshan arrived in front of the minibus. Brother Jiang? Luo Ming went to find Brother Qing. I don't know where Brother Qing went. Brother Jiang? Let me ask you something. Wang Kui came over and said with a shy face. At this time, Lu Shanshan walked up to Li Yusin and lowered her voice and said, Yusin, can I ask you to come to the side and help me see the doctor? That's the one. I feel a little uncomfortable there. Is the sanitary conditions too poor? If it is because of this, there may still be uncomfortable situations. Li Yusin did not doubt him. After all, it is normal for girls to be fragile in this regard. Now is the end of the world. Looking at the conditions here, bathing is probably a problem. However, Li Yusin did not follow immediately. Wait a moment. I will tell Brother Jiang first. There was a gloomy look in Lu Shanshan's eyes. Li Yusin was really willing to listen to Jiang Lu Shi. She had to ask Jiang Lu Shi first about such matters. However, Lu Shanshan felt that there should be no problem. After all, the reasons she came up with were so perfect. After listening to Li Yusin's words, Jian Lu Shi looked at Lu Shanshan and then walked over. It's okay to see a doctor. I'll accompany you. Lu Shanshan's heart skipped a beat. Her face changed and she said, Isn't this not good? Don't worry. I'm not interested in seeing you. I'm just going to accompany you, Xian. Jian Lu Shi said. Lu Shanshan looked at Jian Lu Shi and her uneasiness became stronger and stronger. She felt that the way Jian Lu looked at her was like looking at a clown. Jian Lu said leisurely, Wang Kui, Lu Shanshan, do you think it's because I am your former classmate that you don't think I have any deterrent effect? Lu Shanshan's expression changed. She looked at Jian Lu and suddenly felt a strong feeling. This is no longer the taciturn Jian Lu before. Jian Lu smiled faintly, but there was a natural contempt in his expression. Lu Shanshan's heart was beating wildly, and her face was extremely pale. Facing Jian Lu Shi, she suddenly felt more frightened than when she faced Lin Wei. She forced herself to calm down, forced out a smile and said, How could that be? If you want to go, then go ahead. That's good. Let's visit your survival base. Jiang Juing also jumped out of the car and said, Only Su Guanqi, Su Tong, and Ying, as the base car stewards, were left in the car. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan also stayed in the car. Jian Lu took Jian Zhuying, Ran Xiu, Li Yusin, and Ling, and the group followed Lu Shanshan and Wang Kui toward the core area of the survival base. Lu Shanshan led the way anxiously, but there was nothing wrong with her expression. In fact, she couldn't help but feel a little happy when she saw Jian Lu taking these people with her. Originally, she just wanted to deceive Li Yusin and then use Li Yusin as a hostage but she didn't expect that Jian Lu Shi actually followed him and brought three women with him to stay with him. Jian, brother Jian, you're right in front. I have to go back to my room so that you Xian can see my illness. Lu Shanshan said a little embarrassed. 
with a shy look on her face. Jian Lusher glanced at her, with a smile on his lips, but said nothing. At this time, in a private house, five superpowers and more than twenty people were lying in wait with guns and ammunition, quietly waiting for Lu Shanshan to bring Li Yuzhen into this room. In the corner, Lu Ming was left there. His mouth was gagged, and he could only stare at the door of the room with wide eyes, his eyes full of grief, anger and anxiety. Once the door opens, waiting for Li Yuzhen will be the robber in this room. Chapter 483, Laughing As she got closer to the door, Lu Shanshan's heart beat wildly involuntarily. She exhaled softly and stopped at the door of the room. This is it! Lu Shanshan turned around and was about to say. Jian Luzher interrupted her with a half smile. Don't you want to go in for medical treatment? Open the door! Lu Shanshan shook her head in her heart. Jian Luzher. Jian Luzher. Do you think you can treat her casually if you are better off? Originally, she wanted to say a few more words to Jian Luzher to let them live for a few more seconds. Just for the sake of being classmates. But since Jian Luzher wanted to die so impatiently, she naturally didn't say much. Yusin, I'll go in and prepare first. And then I'll ask you to come in. Lu Shanshan said enthusiastically to Li Yusin. Li Yusin nodded and stood there. Lu Shanshan walked over and stretched out her hand to open the door. One foot already stepped inside. At this moment, the smile on Lu Shanshan's face disappeared completely. And a complicated look flashed in her eyes. A little pity, but also relief. Jian Lusher, even if you are a little kinder to me instead of not even remembering me, I might still have a little hesitation when I do this. As for Li Yusin, you have been implicated but you have passed after living a comfortable life for so long. It's my turn! Lu Shanshan thought to herself. She knew that Lin Wei and others would take action in the next moment. And soon the four people outside the door would be beaten into a hornet's nest. Bang bang bang. Gunshots suddenly rang out. And Lu Shanshan was shaken by the gunfire. But her expression was unusually calm. This is all to be expected. But at this moment, she suddenly seemed to be struck by lightning. And her body froze. With a plop. A corpse slowly fell down in her field of vision. From the door where she was, only the upper body could be seen. She knew that man. He was Lin Wei's right-hand man. And his marksmanship was very good. But at this moment, he was holding the gun. His eyes wide open. Full of disbelief. And from the muzzle of the gun on his head, he was mumbling. The ground was bleeding. Thump! Thump! The sound of heavy bodies hitting the ground continued to sound. And in the blink of an eye, Seven or eight more corpses appeared in front of Lu Shanshan's eyes. These corpses were all gunmen ambushing by the window. Lu Shanshan's whole body was cold, and she couldn't believe it. Only then did she suddenly realize that the gunshots were coming from the direction just now. Behind her, as for Wang Kuei, his legs were shaking involuntarily. Even his lips were trembling. And he was completely uncontrollable. He was one step behind Lu Shanshan and closer to Jian Lu Shi and the others. He felt a footstep slowly approaching from behind. The sound was obviously not loud. But when it fell in his ears, it was like a heavy drum beating on his heart. His heart twitched with each ring. Lu Shanshan stood stiffly on the spot. She watched Jian Lusher walk into the house with the girls and arrived in front of her. They came in so carelessly. Inside the room, Lin Wei and others were shocked. They arranged seven or eight gunmen at the window. And they were the best among them. Not only were the windows thick with dust, but they were also covered by curtains making it impossible to see what was going on inside from the outside. But just when they were about to shoot, Jian Lusher suddenly pulled out his pistol, as if he didn't need to aim. The two guns pointed in different directions and fired at the same time. In an instant, just an instant, the gunmen behind the window were all dead before they even had time to fire a single shot. Everyone was shot in the head. They didn't even have a chance to react before they were already in H. L. This shooting technique, and this weird ability to judge the shooter's location, are so terrifying. Lin Wei couldn't believe it. Things that he thought were easy to grasp suddenly had such changes. So when Jiang Lusher sure and the others walked into the room, Lin Wei still felt a tremor in his heart. At this time, Lin Wei said from the side, Hold on! There are still more than a dozen of us! And there are more people with light powers than them! There are four women around him! What are you afraid of? However, at this moment, a cold voice came to his mind. Who do you think is a bitch? Then he saw a black shadow passing by. In the blink of an eye, several people who had been ambushing near the door suddenly covered their necks. But blood continued to gush out from their fingers. These people twitched and fell to the ground. And the black shadow revealed its true appearance. It was just a girl. 
a girl who looked like a kitten sneaking in the dark night. She stood there quietly. The dagger in her hand was still dripping with blood, and she looked at them with indifferent and calm eyes. Lin Wei's scalp felt tight. Whose voice was that just now? After so many people died, and they were all killed by one person in an instant. Feng Yi and others began to vaguely realize that they were too ignorant. They thought they were foolproof because they didn't know there were such terrifying superpowers. Lu Shanshan also looked ashen. It turned out. It turns out that Jiang Liosher's shooting skills are so terrifying. It turns out that besides the Dr. Li Yusin, he also has such a strong girl with him. At this time, Lin Wei suddenly calmed down. Feng Yi, follow me to deal with that kid. No matter how good his marksmanship is, as long as you and I are close, no matter how terrible his marksmanship is, he can't use it. You too. Go and hold down that Catwoman. And the rest people, go catch the women behind that boy. Lin Wei knew that Li Yusin was just a doctor, and that the other girl, who seemed to have a very unique temperament, was also weak and weak, and her powers were not strong. There was also a tall, beautiful girl who looked like she was just a high school student, maybe 18 or 19 years old at most. Lin Wei sensed that the supernatural energy in this girl was not very strong, and was even weaker than that weak girl. As long as these three girls can be controlled, Jian Lusher will still take action even if he doesn't care about their lives. However, before they could move, the tall girl walked forward on her own. Jiang Zhuying had a faint smile on his face and said, You want to catch me? Why bother with so much effort? Lin Wei's heart skipped a beat. Did she hear it? This ear is also very good. How did he know that not only Jiang Zhuying, but also Jiang Lusher could hear it clearly? They were plotting there, just like they were doing it in front of Jiang Lusher and the others. Sister Ling, thank you for your hard work. Come here first. Jiang Juying said, walking to the middle of the room with a smile, completely exposing her left and right spaces to these people. Seeing this scene, Lu Shanshan, Shan, who was already cold all over, suddenly felt a glimmer of hope in her heart. This girl is too careless. She saw that Jiang Liuxia's attitude towards the girl was very doting. If the girl was caught, Lin Wei and others also had the same idea as Lu Shanshan, Shan, and their eyes lit up. At this moment, Jiang Juying had already shaken the long knife in his hand and the cloth strip wrapped around it suddenly fell off, revealing the shining blade, and the chain wrapped around it rattled. This weapon was already impressive enough, but that wasn't the end of it. Next, a thin stream of electricity suddenly began to pulse on the weapon. Boom, boom, boom. Like a thunderclap, extremely terrifying energy fluctuation suddenly erupted from Jiang Zhuying's body. This energy fluctuation made Lin Wei and others pale in horror. What kind of superpower is this? At the same time, the weapon was already wrapped with electric snakes. At the same time, Jiang Zhuying's body and hands were all pulsating with silver current. Her eyes were filled with silver flashes. She looked at Lin Wei and others as if she was looking at something. Like disgusting bugs, both Lu Shanshan and Wang Kui felt their skin sting extremely. And they looked at Jiang Zhuying in horror. Wow! Their eyes suddenly turned white. And there was no scream. When their vision gradually recovered, what they saw were people whose bodies were burned to black but who still maintained their previous postures. Jiang Zhuying stood there as if she had never done anything. She even curled her lips and said, It's boring. These people are not enough for her to use her true strength. She has not touched her hands after evolving. And now she just discharges some electricity casually and stretches her body. But at this time, someone suddenly jumped up and rushed towards Luo Ming in the corner. This person is Lin Wei. His superpower is originally for defense. And he immediately hid behind the wooden cabinet at the back. Even so, he did not completely block the electric attack, and his hair was still electrified. The skin and flesh were torn everywhere on the body. Jiang Lusher was also a little surprised to see that there were still people alive. It seemed that there were people with some strength in this place. But, it's only a little bit. Bang bang. In such a short period of time, Jiang Liusher's shooting speed was as fast as lightning, and he accurately hit Lin Wei's leg. Ah! Lin Wei fell to the ground and kept screaming. He was hit in the leg by a bullet. The pain was heartbreaking. Jiang Lusher walked over and lifted Lin Wei up. Seeing Jiang Lusher holding a big man in his hand with one hand, Wang Kui could no longer bear the fear and fell directly to the ground. What was terrifying about Jiang Lusher was not just his shooting skills, nor was it the supernatural beings in his team. At this time, Jiang Lusher looked at Luo Ming next to him, stretched out his hand and pulled out the cloth from Luo Ming's mouth. Luo Ming, who beat you like this? Lin Wei breathed rapidly, his face as white as paper. 
Is it him? Jian Lusher asked. Luo Ming looked confused and nodded subconsciously. Okay. Jian Lusher glanced at Lin Wei. Lin Wei's heart trembled. And he endured the severe pain in his legs and said, Brother Jiang, Brother Jiang, Fongi asked me to do this. Fongi? I don't know him. And I'm not interested. Jian Lusher had no interest in Lin Wei's nonsense. Lin Wei's eyes suddenly flashed with a ruthless look. His body suddenly twisted strangely. And he pounced towards Jian Lusher. However, Jian Lusher just swayed slightly to the side, as if taking a leisurely stroll. And a cold light flashed in his hand. Puff! The triangular thorn stabbed accurately into the back of Lin Wei's head from behind. As Jian Lusher pulled out the thorn, Lin Wei faced the ground directly and fell heavily to the ground. Don't overestimate your capabilities. From the beginning to the end, Jian Lusher didn't even look at Lin Wei. Wang Kuei was trembling on the ground. He couldn't believe that in just a minute or two, after Jian Lusher and the others entered the house, all the people in the house died. At this time, Lu Shanchen suddenly burst into tears. She pointed at Wang Kuei and cursed. Wang Kuei, you are really not a human being. You actually take advantage of me? No wonder I said I was going to see you XIN for medical treatment. And you had to come with me. As Lu Shanchen said that, she ran to Jiang Lusher and cried so hard that her whole body was shaking. Jiang Lusher, I'm sorry. I was deceived. It really scared me to death. If you weren't all so powerful, maybe you would have died because of me. He was killed. No. It's not me. I... Wang Kuei's voice was trembling. And he felt that his whole body was weak. Jian Lusher watched Lu Shanchen burst into tears in front of him. Really? Are you crying so sadly because you blame yourself? Jian Lusher asked. Lu Shanchen raised her head and looked at Jian Lusher. A hint of joy flashed in her eyes. And she said hurriedly, Of course. Actually, there is something I am embarrassed to tell you. I... I actually hope you can take me away. But... I'm also afraid that I will be a burden. You may not know how happy I was when I saw you today. Although you don't remember me. I remember that a friend of yours introduced you to me. I was actually very happy. But you never come take the initiative to contact me. I was still very angry with you at the time. But later I regretted it. If I had known it would be the end of the world. I shouldn't have been so passive and should have taken the initiative to find you. As Lu Shanshan spoke, tears fell again. She believed that men would be more tolerant to women who admired them and liked them. Jian Lusher looked at Lu Shanshan and couldn't help but laugh. Seeing Jian Lusher smile, Lu Shanshan was stunned for a moment. In fact, Jian Lusher looked very handsome now, and his smile also had a special charm. She really made a mistake at first. However, when Jian Lusher smiled, Lu Shanshan also burst into tears and laughed. I'm so sorry to tell you this, Lu Shanshan. I really admire your acting skills. As soon as Jian Lusher opened his mouth, Lu Shanshan, who had just thought that she was out of danger, suddenly felt excited. Ah! Lu Shanshan raised her head and looked at Jian Lusher in shock and innocence. I don't know. Do you know that there is a kind of superpower in this world called a spiritual superpower? From the moment you came here, I already know what you were thinking and what you were planning. Jian Lusher said slowly. But every word he said was like a heavy hammer hitting Lu Shanshan's mind. She instantly seemed to have fallen into an abyss. Her legs were shaking involuntarily. And even her lips were trembling. She was completely uncontrollable. He knows. It turns out he knew it from the beginning. Lu Shanshan understood that Jian Lusher really regarded her as a clown and was watching her performance. Until just now. She had performed so hard that even she really believed that Jian Lusher was just watching a joke. And he really laughed at it. Jiang, Brother Jiang, I was just confused for a moment. Please forgive me, for the sake of us being classmates. I am just a helpless woman. Lu Shanshan looked at Jiang Lusher and begged. At this time, her heart skipped a beat. She saw the gun in Jiang Liosher's hand move, and he slowly raised it. Lu Shanshan stepped back in horror, looked at Jiang Lusher with wide eyes, and kept shaking her head. Jiang Lusher, no. Are you going to kill a woman? Boom! With a burst of green smoke coming out of the gun, Jian Lusher watched Lu Shanshan's body fall straight back and said coldly, What kind of woman are you? Chapter 484 Jiangning City Seeing Jian Lusher killing Lu Shanshan without mercy, Wang Kuei was frightened out of his mind. He howled miserably, turned around and rolled out of the door. Jian Lusher looked at Wang Kuei's frightened back. From the moment Wang Kuei decided to come with Lu Shanshan to murder them, he was already destined to be desperate. Boom! Luo Ming. 
Jiang Lusher personally helped Luo Ming loosen his bonds and helped Luo Ming up. Let me take a look. Li Yusin walked over. Sensed it and said, It's just a skin injury. Nothing wrong with it. Li Yusin was able to heal this little skin injury immediately. Li Yusin had a complicated look in her eyes. And she sighed softly. I finally met someone I knew in this apocalyptic world. But I didn't expect it would be like this. It seems that our arrival has turned your place upside down. Li Yusin said. Luo Ming was also a little disappointed. He shook his head. I can only blame them for being too ambitious. Lin Wei and the others are interested in making money. In the apocalypse, it is common to be eaten by zombies and mutant beasts. Lu Shanchan and Wang Kuei do not have to face zombies and mutant beasts living here. But they still have to commit suicide. This is their own fault. Luo Ming sighed for a while and said, Fortunately, Jian Lu Shi, you are so capable. And so are these guys in your team. As he said that, Luo Ming suddenly remembered something and said to Jiang Zhuying and the other girls with embarrassment. I'm sorry. When I first saw you, I thought you were just beautiful. It turns out that you are not only beautiful but also so beautiful. Sharp. Jiang Lusher just said that there was a psychic in their team and that others could know everything they thought. Luo Ming felt that his thoughts might have been seen through. So he apologized quickly. But at that time, he really didn't expect that none of these beauties were simple. At this time, Jiang Lusher came to the door of the room. The entire survival base was quiet, but he knew that the gunfire just now had alerted all the survivors in the survival base. Just out of fear, these people hid and did not come out. Are there any superpowers in your survival base? Jiang Lusher asked. Luo Ming replied, There is one more. But he went out to find medicine. That's it. Jiang Lusher nodded. Luo Ming said quickly, well, there's nothing wrong with this superpower. He doesn't get along with Lin Wei and the others. And he's not too bad for us. At least when Brother Qing and the others hit us. He will stop them. Jiang Lusher said angrily, Do you think I'm a murderer? If he doesn't provoke me, I won't kill him. That's not. I think you are too strong. Luo Ming scratched his head. Jiang Lusher and his party walked out of the house full of dead people and walked to the minibus. Along the way, Jian Lusher and others were keenly aware that in the surrounding shacks, pairs of eyes were looking out uneasily, with some disbelief in their eyes. When the gunfire rang out, they thought that this group of outsiders was going to be in trouble. But ordinary people like them were not qualified to ask about this kind of thing. They could only hide in the house, lamenting that these outsiders were really pitiful for bumping into this man-eating place. But unexpectedly, just a short while later, Jian Lusher and the others walked out of the house in a swaggering manner. Everyone was alive and kicking. But even they could smell the smell of blood and burnt smell emanating from that house. Seeing Luo Ming following Jian Lusher, and Jian Lusher walking forward without looking back, some people boldly walked out of the house, came to the door of the room, and cautiously took a look inside. At this sight, these people were dumbfounded. What happened in this room just now? Brother Jian? When Jian Lusher and the others came to the minibus, Lin Wei's men who had been guarding here also fell to the ground one by one. Lin Wei arranged for these men to be here so that when they heard the gunshots, they would blow out the tires of the minibus and kill the people inside. It's a pity that he couldn't imagine how strong a person with superpowers could be, nor could he imagine how impregnable this minibus was. Jiang Lusher parked the car here without any worries at all. People like Lin Wei are really sitting in a well watching the sky in this place. Moreover, Zhang Hai, Sun Kuen, and Ng had long known that these people were harboring treacherous intentions. Before Lin Wei and his subordinates could take action, they had already attacked, and with the cover of minibuses, they quickly killed these people. Seeing Jiang Lu Shi and the others coming back, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan laughed and ran towards the survival base. Just looking at the way these two men entered the village with guns on their backs, someone who didn't know better thought they were here to rob. It's a pity that Brother Qing was killed all at once. Otherwise, he could have been asked to tell more information about Jiang Ming. Luo Ming said with some regret. He was gagged at the time and saw those people falling to the ground instantly. Including there is that brother Qing. How can he know the real inside story as a minion? What you said is enough. Jiang Lusher said with a smile. After Luo Ming reached the end of the world, he became more optimistic. He was sighing just now. But now he thought about Jiang Ming. I'll leave this place to the superpower you mentioned. There are so many men women, and children in the base. But this place is already very remote. And there is basically no crisis about zombies. You only need to be wary of mutant beasts. And Lin Wei and the others will die. 
their lives will not change much. If we really want to say it, it will reduce a lot of oppression. Luo Ming, come with us to Jiang Ning, Jian Lusher said. Luo Ming did not betray him today, which made Jian Lusher feel warm in his heart. Not to mention that it was the end of the world. Even before the end of the world, it was rare to have a true friend. Jian Lusher wanted to take Luo Ming to Jian Ning and send him to a safe area. As an ordinary person, Luo Ming is still too dangerous to join his team. He is more suitable to live a good life in a safe zone. Going to Jiang Ning? Luo Ming was stunned for a moment. He hesitated. But to Jiang Liusher's surprise, he shook his head. I'm not going. Seeing Jiang Liusher's confused look, Luo Ming said, Well, actually, it's not anything special. I escaped with my classmates at the time. I don't know what happened to my family at all. I stay in Jiang Bei. And if there are one or two relatives alive, maybe we will meet one day in the future. Just like I met you. This is something that God never thought of. Luo Ming actually knew that his thoughts were just naive delusions. But he actually saw Jian Lusher today, which ignited a glimmer of hope deep in Luo Ming's heart. Brother, don't worry. Jin Jing is still here. I know someone here at least. Now that I've told you what happened today, everyone knows that I, Luo Ming, have a cool brother. Who dares to provoke me? Luo Ming smiled and patted Jian Lusher on the shoulder. Jian Lusher was silent for a moment and nodded. Now that Luo Ming has made his own decision, he won't say anything else. At this time, Sun Kuen came back with a depressed look. I thought those bastards would have some possessions on them. But I didn't expect that they were so poor. That's all. Sun Kuen took out a small bag with two mutated crystal nuclei in it. In fact, there are still some guns. But those guns Jian Lusher despises are not as good as the ones he just throws away. Brother Jian, keep it. No matter how small the mosquito legs are, they are still meat. Sun Kuen handed the small bag to Jian Lu Shi, his face still disgusted. What the HL? He turned around the body and found these two things. It's pretty eye catching. It would be nice to have it. Jian Lu Shi said, Where's that guy, Zhang Hai? Jian Zhuing looked around but couldn't find Zhang Hai. At this time, there was a rumbling sound from the survival base, and then a military green off road vehicle was seen driving over quickly. Buzz! The off-road vehicle stopped in front of the minibus. John Hai stuck his head out from the cab window and said excitedly, Brother Jiang, what do you think of my car? Dongfeng Iron Armor. What do you think? It looks powerful and tough. Right? I read the news about this car at the time. And it was said that it was specially designed to transport personnel on the battlefield. And its protective performance was particularly good. This car was probably left behind when the army retreated or died when the apocalypse first broke out. It was picked up by the superpowers in this survival base. I don't know which of the unlucky ones it belonged to. And now it happened to be an advantage for Zhang Hai. It's a pity that this driver is not good at driving. The modifications are average. If I modify it, it can at least block a few ways of zombies. Zhang Hai said fondly, touching the steering wheel. Zhang Lusher smiled. Why did he seem to have seen this scene somewhere before? In fact, John Hai loves cars very much. When he sees a good car, he can't wait to drive it. Unfortunately, his cars never lasted long and were either lost or destroyed. Sure enough, John Hai Gang was excited for two seconds, then looked at Jian Lusher and became decadent again. I've modified it a hundred times, but I'm still 10,000 blocks away from Brother Jian. I don't know how long this car can last. Sigh. John Hai also felt bitter in his heart. In fact, his situation was normal but because he was in Jiang Liosher's team compared with the minibus. It's really incomparable. Try again and add two more layers of steel plates. Jiang Liosher said with a smile. It happened that his car was crowded. So Zhang Hai and Sun Kun drove behind him. Luo Ming, are you really not coming with us? Jiang Liosher asked again. Luo Ming rolled his eyes and said, Okay, buddy, big beauty, don't delay. If you have a chance to pass by here in the future, just come and see me. Let's go! Li Yusin gently pulled Jian Liosher's arm, and the two of them got on the minibus together. As the door of the minibus closed, Luo Ming took two steps back and watched the minibus and the off-road vehicle drive away one after another. He watched the minibus getting further and further away from him, suddenly raised his arms and waved vigorously. Jian Ning. Before the end of the world, Jian Ning was a famous historical, cultural and tourist city, a national high-tech industrial base with a population of more than 1,400. 
and it was very prosperous. Jiang Lusher once visited Jianning during a spring outing organized by the school. At that time, his understanding of the city of Jiangning was just a quick glance. But when Jiang Lusher came to Jiangning again after the end of the world, he felt strange. Has he really been to this place before? Su Guangqi, Su Tong, and Li Yusin were sitting by the window with silent expressions. Minibuses were driving on the road. Abandoned cars appeared on the road. And the houses on both sides were all empty. There are no living people on the streets. Only zombies. Those beautiful scenery are now destroyed by wildly growing plants. This place is no different from other ruined cities. We don't know where the safe zone is yet. Let's find the living people first. Jian Lusher said to Su Guangqi and the others. The total area of Jianning City has reached 8,500 square kilometers. There are so many zombies in the center of the city that it is impossible to just wander around like this. I'll do it. A strange color flashed in Ran Shiyu's eyes. And then her eyes seemed to see through everything in front of her and see a very far away place. Ran Shiyu expanded her mental vision to the farthest limit and prepared to search along the way. But at this moment, she suddenly let out a sigh and said, I discovered a spiritual superpower. This psychic psychic was also detecting outwards and happened to collide with her mental vision. This invisible spiritual energy can only be sensed by those with spiritual powers. Should we go over and take a look? Ran Shiyu asked. She just collided with the other party's mental vision. And the other party immediately withdrew his mental power. But she was able to determine the approximate location of the other party. Of course. Jian Lusher nodded. Although he didn't know who the other party was, there weren't many survivors who could threaten Jian Lusher. And if there is any danger, Ran Shiyu can also give early warning. At this time, he was in a small building in the suburbs of Jiangming City. Ah! A girl suddenly exclaimed and then opened her eyes. This girl is about 20 years old. And she looks a bit glamorous. But she is dressed very conservatively. And her voice is soft and thin. Which is very contrasting. What's wrong? There were more than a dozen people in the same room with her. One of them was holding a rifle and wearing a large windbreaker. Revealing a tight t-shirt and jeans. The girl who was sitting in the corner with her eyes closed also opened her eyes. Asked. This girl is not very old. But her eyes give people a very cold feeling. With a sense of sharpness. I, I was suddenly sensed by a psychic psychic. This girl with psychic psychic powers patted her chest with some fear. She was very impressive in size. And this shot immediately made waves. The psychic powers should be in a team of survivors. Right? I don't know if they will come. But I wonder which of the teams around here is psychic powers. Said another survivor. They probed outside. Originally wanting to ask for help from nearby teams. They were trapped here for almost a week. The survivors present all showed a look of hope. Of course they hoped that this team would come over. So that maybe they could get out of trouble. Chapter 485 Taking Advantage of the Situation But at this time, the girl holding the gun said, Even if they will come, but they also have spiritual powers. Wouldn't they sense what is here in advance? If they know the dangers here, they won't come. When the girl said this, these survivors were immediately disappointed again. Yes, a level 2 mutated zombie is extremely dangerous to most of the survivor team. It is only normal for people to foresee the danger and avoid it. How could this team come here? In fact, they are just trying their luck to ask for help. If they meet a familiar team, they may lend a helping hand. Because they usually help when they meet other teams in this area. And someone may miss them. But even this probability is infinitely close to zero. Let alone an unfamiliar team. There is simply no reason to take risks for them. Thinking of this, these survivors were desperate. Their team is actually quite strong with six superpowers and the rest are ordinary people. They usually work together, working hard to search for food and medicine, hunt mutant beasts, and stay together as a team to survive. Their captain was the girl holding the gun, named Wei Fei Fei, in order to deal with the second level mutated zombie. Wei Fei Fei hardly slept at all. At most, she just closed her eyes and rested her mind. She was almost at her limit. As soon as she fell, no one present could barely block the second level mutated zombie and everyone would die. I'll take a break. I'll launch an active attack later. You don't have to worry about me then. Everyone will escape immediately. Whether you can escape or not depends on your luck. Wei Fei Fei said. Taking out something from her pocket, she ate a small piece of dried meat slowly, chewing it carefully so as to feel fuller. After being trapped for a week, she had basically eaten all the food she could and her energy had been exhausted. If you don't fight hard now, when your physical strength is further exhausted, you won't have a chance to fight hard. Fei Fei. 
The girl with psychic abilities looked at Wei Fei Fei. Her eyes were red. And she couldn't help but cry. Don't cry. It's a waste of energy and energy. When you evacuate later, you will need to lead the way to avoid the zombies. Wei Fei Fei said coldly. She was obviously younger than the girl with psychic powers. But she had an undeniable feeling. The girl with psychic powers was named Taozi. Wei Fei Fei's scolding made her sniffle immediately. She bit her lip and sat back holding her knees. The mental power, just now, was obviously stronger than his own. Taozi regretted that as soon as she encountered that spiritual power. She immediately shrank back in fear. Maybe she should send a message for help to the other party. Trying is better than not trying. In this way, Wei Fei Fei might not have to fight so hard. But now, over the past few days, her mental power has been almost exhausted. And the collision just now has consumed her last bit of mental power. Taozi closed her eyes silently, hoping to calm down and regain some mental strength. But she couldn't calm down. I'm really useless. Taozi buried her head in her knees, biting her lips to keep from crying. But her tears couldn't stop falling down. The atmosphere in the room was very depressing. And many people were wiping tears secretly. They did not dare to look at Wei Fei Fei because they could not help it all. Time passed by minute by minute. And at this moment, a wave of spiritual power swept over. Taozi was startled and immediately raised her head. What's wrong? After noticing her strange movement, a survivor asked quickly. Taozi was stunned for a moment and said, They asked us where we were. So we know this team? Suddenly, the survivors in the room became excited. The other party knew them and took the initiative to contact them. This was really lucky. Who are they? Wei Fei Fei asked. I asked him to talk to you directly. Taozi said, Soon, a voice sounded in Wei Fei Fei's mind. We are from the Tianji team. I heard that your team has been missing for several days. We just happened to come to this area today. The voice had a lazy feeling. Yawning! Wei Fei Fei's eyes flashed with shock. And at the same time, there was also a very complicated look. She knew Yawning. Although her team usually only operated in this area. As the captain, she needed to go to the largest gathering place for survivors in Jiangning City to trade. And there, Hundreds of teams, large and small, gathered together. And this Tianji team was one of them. The leader, Yang Ying, was a terrifying psychic. While at the gathering place, Yang Ying invited Wei Fei Fei many times and was very attentive to her. However, Wei Fei Fei always refused. She had heard that Yang Ying had a bad reputation. He especially liked to attack female superpowers, especially young and beautiful ones. Wei Fei Fei fulfilled his fantasy perfectly. On a whim, I scanned it with my mental power. And I didn't expect to find you. Fei Fei, it's not easy for you to be able to carry on until now. Yanning said with a smile. Wei Fei Fei replied in her mind. Didn't you detect us before? Before? Yanning was startled for a moment and said. How could I waste my mental energy on scanning such a long distance? I only scanned you when I arrived nearby. There is a straw one near you. Is the spiritual body a zombie or a mutated beast? Wei Fei Fei was still thinking about who the mental power could be if it wasn't Yang Ying. After hearing Yang Ying's words, she put the matter aside for the time being. Level 2 Mutant Zombie Wei Fei Fei didn't even bother to lie in exchange for help. Moreover, Yang Ying is very smart and not so easy to fool, regardless of whether Yang Ying came to the neighborhood. Just in time, as he said, Yang Ying is not a simple person. It would be too stupid and naive to think that he is here just to lend a helping hand for free. TSK TSK. That's really difficult to handle. Although our team is already one of the top 10 teams, it is still very difficult to deal with a second level mutated zombie. Fei Fei. Although I want to help you, but I can't let the team take risks in vain. The personnel and the ammunition consumed are all losses. Yanging said in embarrassment. Five boxes of ammunition, five tons of mutant beast meat, and four first level mutant crystal nuclei. Wei Fei Fei exhaled lightly and said in her mind. It is not easy for their team to come up with this. But Yang Ying came here today. And it is clear that he is here to speak loudly. It is impossible for him to take action unless his appetite is satisfied. Fei Fei, are the lives of your team worth such a small thing? Yang Ying said with a half smile. Or do you think our Tianji team is a beggar? Yang Ying, I know your Tianji team is powerful. But these things will definitely be a big deal when they are put on the market. Just tell me. What do you want? Wei Fei Fei has a clear personality of love and hate. When she heard Yang Ying after saying that, he immediately frowned. Yang Ying was not embarrassed to be exposed by Wei Fei Fei. He laughed and said, Fei Fei, you are really quick to talk. 
since you asked me that. I won't beat around the bush. Fei Fei, I admire you very much. And there is another person in your team. Although there are too many ordinary people in the team with psychic powers. They are generally pretty good. What do you want to say in the end? We take action. But then your team will be merged into our Tianji team. Yangying said. Wei Fei Fei's face suddenly became unsightly. Merge? Does this mean that I and my entire team will sell themselves to you? Wei Fei Fei said coldly. Uh huh. Don't say selling is so unpleasant. Your lives are saved. Joining our team is a win win situation. And to be precise, your team takes advantage. I only have this condition. You can decide for yourself. Yang Ying said. Wei Fei Fei didn't believe Yang Ying's words at all. If she really agreed, it would definitely not be as simple as a merger. It is impossible for Yang Ying to take action just for the purpose of merging. Wei Fei Fei was silent for a moment, raised her head, and conveyed Yang Ying's words to everyone. Merge? But I heard that Yang Ying is very domineering. There is also Fang Shengjin in Yang Ying's team. He is very powerful and has a cruel personality. Anyone who provokes him will be beaten to death with terrible methods. The corpses will also be fed to zombies. When it comes to Tianji team, everyone in the team has heard about it. But if you reject Tianji team, the survivors stopped talking. No one wanted to die. But everyone knew that Tianji team had a bad reputation. By the way, at this moment, Yang Ying's voice rang in Wei Fei Fei's mind again. Are you thinking of fighting that second level mutated zombie and letting others escape? Fei Fei, can you? How naive. Wei Fei Fei's eyes turned cold. And Frost seemed to form on her pretty face. Are you spying on my thoughts? Ha ha. I can't help it. I am a psychic psychic. Even if I don't want to pry. Some of your thoughts will be conveyed to me. Yang Ying said. You are so courageous. Logically speaking. I shouldn't pour cold water on you. But to be honest. I think even if you try your best. You team members will not be able to escape. Wei Fei Fei was shocked. She had already thought of a possibility. Are you threatening me? How is that possible? Fei Fei. Please think about it, Yang Ying said. What Yang Ying said made Wei Fei Fei sick. She knew Yang Ying was not a good person, but she didn't expect this person to be so vicious. If she refuses Yang Ying, Yang Ying will not only not help, but will also harm them. With the strength of Tianji team, it is too easy to do this. At this time, less than a street away from the small building where Wei Fei Fei and others were, several off-road vehicles were parked there. Around them, dozens of zombie corpses were lying stunned. None of these zombies shed any blood. Their eyes were wide open and their necks were twisted alive. So that they would not attract other zombies for the time being. Nor would they attract the attention of the second level mutated zombies. Next to these zombie corpses. Stood a big man like a steel door panel. And next to the car. Leaning against the car. Was a handsome young man with a somewhat lustful look. Wei Fei Fei. You are desperate. I don't believe you won't agree. I. Yang Ying. Haven't been able to get hold of any woman I like. Yang Ying chewed gum and checked herself in the rearview mirror. Hairstyle. At this time, Wei Fei Fei was alone and helpless. Just a piece of meat on his chopping board. However, at this moment, Yang Ying's eyes suddenly froze. He saw in the rearview mirror that a small white dot suddenly appeared at the end of the street. The small white dot was rapidly enlarging. And he could already vaguely see that it was a minibus. Jiang Lusher and others were not familiar with the road. So it took them a while to finally come over. Brother Jiang, those people in front are the ones I was talking about. The ones who just came, Ran Shiyu said. That's it. Jiang Lusher nodded. He didn't know these people in Jiangming at all. Whether they were the first to be sensed by them or the new ones. It made no difference to him. As long as he could ask for directions. And Brother Jiang, the second level mutated zombie is still in front of them. Ran Shiyu continued. A glimmer of light flashed in Jiang Lusher's eyes. A second level mutated zombie. To evolve to level 2. A base vehicle needs two level 2 mutant blood cores. The source of this second level mutant blood core is the second level mutant zombie. Compared to meeting a living person. Meeting a level 2 mutated zombie is a real surprise. At this time. Yang Ying and others were already looking at the minibus that suddenly appeared. Behind the minibus. There was an armored off-road vehicle. As the minibus got closer and closer. A somewhat special voice came vaguely to Yang Ying's ears. This voice still sounds a bit familiar. But it also made Yang Ying suddenly have a not-so-good feeling in her heart. This voice shouldn't be. Buzz! Chapter 486 Are you kidding me? ADV2 Damn it! Yang Ying almost yelled. There must be something wrong with this minibus. The engine noise is so loud. 
originally. They would not disturb the second level mutant zombie by hiding here. But now isn't it equivalent to holding a loudspeaker and shouting. There is someone here. Let the second level mutant zombie come quickly. Yang Ying looked at the speeding minibus and heard the sound of the engine getting closer and closer. She wished she had a rocket launcher in her hand and could silence the minibus with one shot. Buzz! The minibus stopped in front of Yang Ying and others' car. Yang Ying's group's car was lying in the middle of the road, blocking the way of the minibus. Yang Ying and the person in front of the minibus looked at each other in confusion. At this moment, the minibus suddenly sounded its horn. F asterisk CK! Yang Ying swore directly, and her whole body shook involuntarily, startled by the sudden horn sound. Honking here? This is no longer a disease. This is crazy. Which team of survivors will blow their horns in this city? This is because I think my life is too long. Before Yang Ying could ask angrily, the window of the passenger compartment had already been rolled down. Ying stuck his head out of the window and said expressionlessly, Can you give way? As soon as she saw Ying Ying, Yang Ying's violence suddenly disappeared. He was stunned. Not only him, but also his subordinates also showed shocked expressions. Yang Ying was already a veteran in the flower field before the apocalypse. He was originally a playboy. Fortunately, he awakened his spiritual powers after the apocalypse, allowing him to play with women more unscrupulously than before the apocalypse. Even those women who were beyond his reach before the end of the world. After the end of the world, he can still possess them through all kinds of coercion and inducement. But compared to the woman in front of him, the ones he had played with before all paled in comparison. This woman has a temperament like ice cubes, and her eyes look like she is looking at the air. But her appearance is extremely perfect, and her figure is extremely hot. Such an extremely beautiful, but extremely arrogant woman is exactly what Yang Ying wants to conquer. Just like the feeling Wei Feifei brought to Yang Ying, it was also this desire to conquer. The more Wei Feifei rejected him, the more he wanted to get Wei Feifei's hand, and then completely crush Wei Feifei's pride trample on the soles of his feet, and wantonly ravaged. But now, for him, Wei Feifei was already in his possession, and his attention was attracted by the woman in the minibus in front of him. The beauty is very pretty. I wonder which team she is from. Yang Ying looked at him intently and asked with a smile. He had never heard of a team driving minibuses around here, and such a beautiful woman had never been mentioned before. There was still no expression change on Ying's face, except for Jiang Lusher. She had no interest in talking to anyone else. Get out of the way. We're in a hurry, Ying said coldly. Yang Ying immediately smiled and looked at each other with his team members and said, The beauty has a lot of character. At this time, the window on the other side opened. Jiang Lusher was sitting in the driver's seat and said with an indifferent expression, Didn't you hear that we are in a hurry? Jiang Lusher was also a man. Looking at the look in Yang Ying's eyes, he could guess 99 of the dirty things Yang Ying was thinking about. Even if he couldn't guess a 100, Which team are you from? I basically know Jiang Ning's team, but I haven't seen anyone like you. The smile on Yang Ying's face suddenly disappeared, and she said slowly, It turned out that the driver was this guy. He was also the one honking the horn. Yang Ying was angry just now, but it suddenly came out again when she saw Jiang Lu Shi. Even if he said beautiful women, this guy who was driving actually talked to him like that. I've never heard of it being normal. This is my first time coming to Jiang Ning since the end of the world, Jiang Lu Shi said lightly. Yang Ying raised an eyebrow. She was so arrogant that she thought they were newly developed members of the top teams. But they turned out to be outsiders. But this is easy to handle. Although Yang Ying likes to destroy women, she knows how to measure. He never messes with teams that are stronger than him. But a team of outsiders. This is simply a lamb at the door. Ha ha. Don't blame me for not reminding you that there is a level 2 mutated zombie ahead. Yang Ying said slowly. He paid attention to the expressions of Ying and Jiang Lu Shi. But to his disappointment, neither of them had any reaction, let alone any look of fear. Then what? Jian Lusher asked. He hurried over just because he knew there were level 2 mutated zombies. So he didn't need this guy to remind him. Huh? Then? Yang Ying was speechless. Is this person really shocked or what? You just honked the horn, which probably alerted this second level mutated zombie. If you continue forward, it's a dead end. Even if you run for your life, it's probably too late, Yang Ying said with a frown. When Jian Lusher heard this, he became a little interested. This man sounded like he was doing good for them. What was his plan? Then what suggestions do you have? Jian Lusher asked. I can't say much about suggestions. However, you can follow us. These second-level mutant zombies are not so easy to deal with. Although I am a spiritual superpower, 
My ability to restrain the second level mutant zombies is limited. You are new here. Yes. You may not have heard the name of our TNG team. But as long as you are in Jianming, you will know it sooner or later. Yangming said. He was not afraid that Jian Lusher and his party would not be tempted. What he said was true. A second level mutant zombie is more difficult to deal with than a second level mutant beast. Moreover, you can also eat meat by hunting mutant beasts and obtain mutant crystal nuclei. But the mutant zombies are wasted in vain. So when they hear that there are mutated zombies, the general team will retreat unless they have to. This group of people is simply lucky to be able to cooperate with their team. However, at this time, Jian Lusher asked again. Then what? Just act with them. I'm afraid I have other plans. When Yangying heard Jian Liusher's words, she was immediately speechless. Are you kidding me? Yangying's face had completely darkened. Get out of the way quickly, or I'll hit you directly. Jian Liusher was too lazy to talk to this person anymore. It was difficult to catch the actions of the second level mutated zombies. And it would be troublesome if something went wrong. Damn it, don't you speak so rudely. One of Yangying's team members couldn't help but throw away the cigarette butt. Yangying raised her hand and stopped her team members. Move the car. Good words can't persuade the damn ghosts. After a while, these people will naturally realize how wrong they are. He wanted to see how confident these people were in themselves when they insisted on seeking death. Although Yangying is cunning and cruel, he is not stupid. He knows very well that there are people outside who cannot be offended. There are also a few teams in Jiangming that are not afraid of the second level mutant zombies. But they are just not afraid. Instead of actively rushing towards the second level mutant zombies even though they know they are there. For Yang Ying, even if Wei Fei Fei agreed to his request, he would not be able to fight the second level mutant zombies head on. At most, he would just find a way to lure the second level mutant zombies away and delay them for a while. This group of people is so confident that their strength will not be weak anymore. But they still want to go even though they know that the second level mutated zombies are just ahead. Which only shows that they are unwise. Yang Ying would not rashly have a direct conflict with them. Since they were going to seek their own death, he might as well just wait by the side to reap the benefits. Several team members slowly began to move the bus. After getting on the bus, one of them looked at the minibus with disdain and spat on the ground. Their team was used to running rampant in Jiang Ning, And a foreign team dared to talk to them like this. And even said that they would bump into them directly. The car he drove was entirely equipped with steel plates. The front and rear were welded with a row of iron teeth like the sharp teeth of a beast. Each iron tooth was a 10 centimeter long cone. Extremely sharp. Those black objects are not rust. But flesh and blood. In Jiangming, this kind of car is called saber tooth Tiger. It is a well-known car used by survivor teams. But not all teams can afford it. He deliberately drove his car close to the minibus demonstration and then turned to the side. However, at this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly stepped on the accelerator. And with a buzz, the minibus rushed past. The car had no time to dodge. And with a loud bang, the minibus hit the rear of his car. The man in the car only felt a strong force coming from him. And the whole car lost control instantly. His eyes were dazzled for a while. Before he could recover, the front of the car had already slammed into the cement green belt on the roadside. By this time, the minibus had already driven away. Grass! The man jumped out quickly and glanced angrily at the rear of the minibus. You're looking for death! He looked at his car, and his expression suddenly changed. Damn it. Saber-toothed tigers have become toothless tigers. A row of iron teeth on the butt of the car were almost knocked out. And the taillight was shattered and even dented. And the front of his car hit the cement. Which looked pretty bad. The man was so angry that he kicked the car hard and uttered several swear words. Yonging also had cold eyes. Which showed that he did not take their team seriously. Let's follow them, and have a look. When they are ready to retreat, we can help. Yangying said coldly. These people had just arrived. And they didn't know that they had offended their Tianji team. Even a team that was stronger than the Tianji team might have been tricked by them. Old Fang, get in the car, Yangying said. Fang Shangjin had been standing by without saying a word until Yangying called him. And then, he walked towards the off-road vehicle like a mountain. Seeing Fang Shangjin walking in front of him. Even Yangying, as the captain, felt a sense of oppression. This Fang Shangjin is a lunatic. His powers are powerful, and his strength is extremely terrifying. Anyone who looks at him will feel like they will be torn into pieces by him. And the women who fall into Fang Xingjin's hands will end up even more miserable than being torn into pieces. They usually can't even survive a night. Even Yang Ying thinks he is perverted. Lao Fang, tear that boy apart in a moment. 
If there is a woman in his car, it will be yours, Yanning said with a cold smile. Fang Shanjin got into the car, and the whole car shook. Let's go. Follow them. Chapter 487 Stable as a Rock. Shi Yu. Lock onto the second level mutated zombie. Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator and grabbed the steering wheel with both hands as he said. Here we are. Ran Shi Yu looked forward, her mental vision expanding around her, searching for the exact location of the second level mutated zombie. At this moment, her pupil suddenly shrank slightly. Found it. Ran Shi Yu had already shared her position with Jian Lusher through her spiritual vision. I saw it. Jian Lusher saw the spiritual light group. In the mental field of vision, the second level mutated zombie was nowhere to be seen. Just the spiritual light group can already make people feel a strong sense of danger. Just like the feeling of an animal seeing a natural enemy. Ordinary people would feel this way just when facing ordinary zombies. If they were facing a second level mutant zombie, they might even lose the courage to escape. Suddenly, the second level mutated zombie seemed to notice something. It's coming! Renshiyu said immediately. The sound of the minibus has attracted many zombies moving this way. And among these zombies, a terrifying roar suddenly came. This roar was like a thunder on the ground. And it immediately made the entire zombie group boil. Roar! The roars of hundreds or even thousands of zombies at the same time, as well as the sound of their running footsteps, caused Yangying and others who were following far behind to change their expressions. Ask Zhang Hai and the others to stay away, Jian Lusher said. Okay. Ran Shi Yu immediately conveyed Jiang Liosher's words to Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan behind them. Their armor cross country can only deal with small groups of zombies. In that small building, Wei Feifei and others were in despair. They had heard the sound of horns before, but could not see anything. But now, this terrifying movement was coming from the street below them. Is it Yanging? Taozi and others' expressions changed, and they quickly peeked out from the gap in the curtains. Seeing this, they were all horrified. The zombies below were rushing in one direction like a tide. This scene was clearly and comprehensively visible from above, which undoubtedly gave people a stronger visual impact. In the direction of the torrent, a minibus was heading towards the torrent. It's not Yang Ying. Wei Feifei knew Yang Ying's team well. This was not Yang Ying's car. And Yang Ying would not drive out in a minibus. It was even more impossible for her to drive out before she gave in. Take the initiative to sound the horn and lure the zombies to his side. Who is that? These survivors were all shocked. Not only did the minibus not turn around, but it continued to rush towards the torrent of zombies. This was simply seeking death. Compared with the entire zombie torrent, a minibus looks too small. Not to mention that there are level 2 mutant zombies inside. Damn, are these people here to commit suicide? Yanging felt frightened. The people on the minibus were all crazy. They rushed in like this and couldn't escape. He originally wanted to get some bargains, but now it seems that he can't get any bargains. Instead, he has to leave here as soon as possible to avoid being affected. As for Wei Feifei and the others, maybe he would take advantage of this opportunity and run away. When she thought that she had lost everything because of this broken minibus, Yang Ying was so angry that she wanted to kill someone. You idiot! You want to die, but you don't know where to go! Yang Ying cursed angrily. In other words, these people are already dead. Otherwise he would definitely not let that boy go. Yang Ying thought angrily. At this moment, the minibus had collided with a group of zombies at the front. Boom! A loud noise suddenly came. Wei Fei Fei's pupils suddenly shrank, and Taozi and others were stunned. They clearly saw that a terrifying airflow seemed to be sprayed out from the front of the minibus. Wherever this airflow passed, all the zombies were knocked away, and their flesh and blood flew everywhere. The originally terrifying torrent of zombies was suddenly split open. Yang Ying, who had just finished scolding, almost bit his tongue. His eyes widened, and they almost fell out. They looked from the rear and saw only the zombies in front of the minibus that were flying to death. The speed of the minibus was not affected at all. At this time, in front of the minibus, the air cannon barrel retracted, revealing a ferocious impact angle, and it crashed into the zombies. Mumbling, I don't know which survivor couldn't help but make a swallowing sound. Yonging watched in disbelief as the minibus rushed into the zombie crowd. Not only did not what he thought happen, but it was like a winch. A meat machine. Basically invincible. Incredible. At this time, among the zombies, a zombie jumped up suddenly. The zombie landed directly on an abandoned car. The whole car shook with a bang. The already flat tires collapsed directly. The whole car fell directly to the ground. And the roof was completely dented. Terrifying power. Immediately afterwards, 
The zombie's figure suddenly disappeared from the roof of the car. Boom! There was a loud noise from the body of the minibus. And countless spider web-like cracks appeared on the cab window. The minibus, that was traveling at high speed, even veered in its direction. Jian Lusher immediately adjusted the direction according to Xing Zhong's prompts. The superior performance of the minibus played a strong role at this time. Amidst the screeching sound of tires rubbing against the ground, the minibus braked in time, and the rear of the bus swept away a swarm of zombies. Mutated zombies! When Yang Ying and others saw the scene, they couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. The strength and speed of this mutated zombie are terrifying. Imagine if they faced this mutant zombie head-on. A car would have been overturned by now. Yang Ying felt that she still underestimated this level 2 mutant zombie. Although it was determined to be level 2, it was probably stronger than the ordinary level 2. Now that he saw the terrifying power of this second level zombie, he had begun to feel faintly grateful in his heart. Fortunately, it was the stupid young man who rushed up first. Otherwise he, Yang Ying, might have suffered a big loss now. However, this minibus also had good performance, and the boy's reaction was fast enough. So he didn't hit the wall, which was really an advantage for him. Especially the team member whose car was hit by Jian Lusher had a look of pity on his face. However, this minibus and the kid in the car have been forced to stop. It is only a matter of time before they are finished. On the minibus, Jian Lusher stepped on the brakes and immediately jumped out of the driver's seat. Film! Ng then took over the driving of the minibus. At this time, the surrounding zombies had surged in like a tide, blocking the minibus tightly. There were zombies outside the window, squeezing so hard that the whole car was shaking. These zombies can tear through iron sheets with just the strength of their teeth and fingers. But for minibuses, this will not cause any problems. Boom! The flames directly enveloped the zombies in front of them, like an explosion. Once the thick and gasoline sticks to combustibles, it can last for more than 10 minutes. And sparks will fly around, drawing more zombies into the flames. The high temperature of thousands of degrees distorted the air around the minibus. I originally thought that the minibus could no longer run wildly. But then this scene happened, leaving Wei Feifei and others, as well as Yang Ying. Stunned again, this minibus subverted their common sense again and again. What kind of minibus is this? It's a weapons loader! Yang Ying's eyes widened when she saw it. The survivors in Jiangming also value the vehicle very much. Whether a team is strong or not, the quality of the vehicle is also a very important factor. Standard. But this car is really ridiculously powerful. Yang Ying's Adam's apple rolled. And she said in a deep voice, But even if the car is strong, it is of no use. It is impossible for the car's attack to attack the second level mutated zombie. That's right. Fang Shunjin also nodded silently. He watched the car ramming among the corpses and a rare change of expression appeared on the dead man's face. But that's about it. The punch of the second-level mutant zombie just now almost overturned the minibus. The second-level mutant zombie was basically a humanoid mutant beast. But it was more cunning and flexible than the mutant beast. When the minibus attacked, the second-level mutated zombie was nowhere to be seen. How to fight this? At this time, a round object suddenly appeared on the roof of the minibus. Jian Lusher appeared in the war room, holding a sniper rifle. In an instant, Jiang Liuxia's eyes became extremely focused. The naked eye cannot catch the figure of the second-level mutant zombie. But in the mental field of vision, it can be locked on the second-level mutant zombie. At the same time, the brain power was turned on. And everything around him became slow motion in Jiang Liuxia's sight. Among the zombies in the distance, Jiang Liuxia's eyes were scanning. Where is that second-level mutated zombie? Wei Feifei's eyes immediately lit up when she saw a sniper coming out of the car. She is a sniper and her powers are related to sniping. Her abilities are the main reason why their team can stand firm in Jiangning. An excellent sniper can kill enemies who are stronger than himself. Wei Feifei's sniper ability is also well known in Jiangning. But they knew from the week they were trapped here that the second level mutated zombie could never be easily sniped. But this minibus had shocked them several times. And she wanted to see what this man's sniper skills were like. Feifei! All the zombies are now attracted to the minibus! A survivor said suddenly. In fact, Many people had noticed just now, as the second level mutated zombies, and the zombies on this street swarmed over. Their siege had been lifted, and they could slip away without anyone noticing. Wei Feifei hesitated for a moment. This was indeed the best time for them to escape. But this minibus saved them. If it hadn't been for this minibus, they would have been eaten by second level mutated zombies, or killed by Yang Ying had to choose between being tortured to death. You go first. I'll stay and help. 
Wei Feifei made up her mind and said, she can support the sniper, which will give her greater certainty. Moreover, she felt that the possibility of the sniper's success was very low. Even with her support, he might not be able to do much except delay the mutated zombie. Then I won't leave either. Tazi shook his head. She didn't want to leave Wei Feifei behind. And she felt that Wei Feifei's approach was right. No matter what. It was said that the minibus saved them. If they ran away now, that would be too much. But at this moment, gunfire rang out. The sniper rifle roared and spit out long tongues of fire. Wei Feifei was stunned and immediately looked out of the scope. Her eyes shrank slightly, as if a small drop of water appeared in her eyes. At this time, in Wei Feifei's field of vision, everything in front of her eyes was changing rapidly. Clear. What about the second-level mutated zombies? Wei Feifei did not see the second-level mutated zombies, but she clearly saw a pool of fresh blood among the zombies. Hit? Unimaginable. She didn't even see the second-level mutated zombie. But the sniper had already hit it. However, Wei Feifei was not sure whether she had hit the second-level mutated zombie. At this time, Jian Lusher was preparing for his second shot. With a shot just now, he had hit the second-level mutated zombie. But it was only a scratch. Although he was extremely focused, he only caused scratches to this second-level mutant zombie. The reaction speed of this second-level mutant zombie was really fast. But even if it's just a scratch, it will definitely have a certain impact on the movements of this second-level mutant zombie. Jian Lusher had used his brain powers to the limit. Everything around him, even the dust in the air, could be clearly seen by him. Suddenly, this second-level mutated zombie appeared in the group of corpses. It stepped directly on these zombies and rushed towards the minibus. Its target was the war room. This second-level mutated zombie has been completely angered by Jian Lusher. Here it comes! Wei Feifei also captured the figure of this second-level mutated zombie. But she was unable to pull the trigger. It was too fast. What she saw was simply the afterimage left in her irises, when this second-level mutated zombie moved at high speed. It will take some time from when the trigger is pulled to when the bullet hits the target. So it is impossible to hit the mutated zombie. Her heart was clenched. With the terrifying power of this zombie, it only took one strike to flatten the round object on the roof of the car. Needless to say, the sniper inside would also be crushed into a meat pie. Wei Feifei's heart was filled with despair and a sense of failure. She wanted to support, but she didn't even have the chance to shoot. As for Yang Ying, who was watching this scene from a distance, his scalp went numb whenever he saw the appearance of the second-level mutated zombies. Only he, a person with mental powers, and Fang Shangjin next to him were the only two people present who could detect this. Only level 2 mutated zombies. The rest of the people could only feel a terrifying pressure coming towards them. And their body's instinct was telling them that they must run away. As if they would die if they didn't run. In the war room, Jian Lusha remained motionless. Like a rock. Remaining motionless despite pressure and threats. Boom! The gun went off. At this moment, the mutated zombie figure just appeared in front of the minibus. Its figure finally appeared in front of everyone at this moment. Because it stopped. This mutated zombie has long arms and legs. And its speed is amazing when using both hands and feet. However, at this moment, its legs still have a few traces of scratches. And in its abdomen, there is a big bloody hole. No matter how strong the body's defense is, it is impossible to block the close-range penetration of sniper bullets. Wei Feifei suddenly raised her head and looked at the figure in the war room in disbelief. All of this happened in less than a second. And Yangying almost jumped up from her seat. What a shame. What's going on? This second level mutant zombie was hit? Real or fake? Chapter 488 Making a Prompt Decision In the war room, Jian Lusha raised his head and breathed a sigh of relief. Finished. Killing this second level mutated zombie was not easy for Jian Lusha. If there is a slight mistake, the result just now may be completely different. However, I got a second level mutant blood core, which is one step closer to the evolution of the base vehicle. Zero jumped out of the car window, dug out the mutated zombie's blood core with his knife, and then quickly returned to the car. As soon as a living person appeared, the surrounding zombies rushed over frantically. But they didn't even touch the corner of Ling's clothes, being able to get in and out of zombies. Zero's skills can be said to be quite agile. These zombies did not catch Zero. They immediately drowned the corpse of the second level mutated zombie. And a chilling chewing sound suddenly sounded. At this time, John Hai and Sun Kun chased him in a car. One of them drove, and the other shot wildly with a gun. The battle just now was too fierce for them to participate. 
So of course they have to show off now. Suddenly, another burst of gunfire came from behind the zombie group. Jian Lusher looked from the war room and saw a group of survivors rushing out of a small building with guns in hand. The leader is a girl of 17 or 18 years old. Her movements are very neat. She raises her gun and shoots while running. Every shot can hit a zombie. Her marksmanship is very accurate. Ran Shiyu sensed that there were two groups of people here before. And this should be the other group of people. When Wei Feifei saw Jian Lusher kill, the second level mutated zombie with one shot. She led her people out of the small building and launched a counterattack against the zombie group. That Tianji team just now ran away secretly. Ran Shiyu said suddenly. Jian Lusher turned around and saw that the group of people were running really fast and now they were gone. He ran very decisively. Jian Lusher said with a sneer. Before, Yang Ying and the others secretly followed behind. What was their plan? Did Jian Lusher know? It was just that there were second level mutant zombies in front of him. So he didn't take these evil minded things seriously. Unexpectedly, they ran away as soon as the second level mutant zombies died. At this time, on another street, Yang Ying was sitting in the car, driving the entire convoy at a furious speed, wishing to stay as far away from the minibus as possible. What a hacking ghost! Yang Ying's face was so ugly that she couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. Now things got serious. He met a random team on the road. And the other party actually killed a level 2 mutated zombie in front of him. The terrifying marksmanship and the monster minibus with endless weapons made Yang Ying dumbfounded. Fortunately, although he was dumbfounded, after all he had been struggling in the apocalypse for so long, he still reacted quickly and immediately ordered to run away. He had just sensed that there was a person with psychic powers in the minibus. Although he didn't know whether his previous murderous intentions and thoughts were noticed by the other party. But facing an enemy that was much more powerful than himself. It was best not to harbor any suspicion. There is no chance of anything happening. Brother Yang, what should we do now? Asked a team member responsible for driving Yang Ying's car. Not only did Yang Ying look bad, but all the team members also looked pale. Hearing the team member's question, Yang Ying came back to her senses and glared at the team member angrily. What should I do? A strong dragon cannot suppress a local snake. When I came to Jiangning, he had to control the dragon and the tiger. I'm lying down. Let's go back to Jiang Town. With such a group of people here, many people should be very interested in them. Yangning said. There are so many teams in Jiangning, and the strongest teams among them are definitely not willing to see another competitor that threatens their vested interests. The fierce fighting lasted for more than 10 minutes on the street. It was not until the street was filled with corpses that the fighting finally ended temporarily. However, a large number of zombies will soon arrive from further away. So the tranquility here is only temporary. Wei Feifei panted lightly. The little physical strength she had finally recovered before was completely exhausted again. Taozi sensed the spiritual energy diffused by Ran Shiyu. And she immediately determined that it was this spiritual force that collided with her. Although she didn't have time to call for help. The team still saved them. I am Wei Feifei, the captain of this team. Wei Feifei walked near the minibus and said loudly. Taozi also followed, bowed gratefully, and said, Thank you for saving us and driving away Yang Ying's group. Otherwise they will definitely do harm to us. And otherwise we will too. Blocked by that zombie. When talking about these peaches, she felt scared. No matter what the consequences were, they were extremely miserable. Even she couldn't tell which consequences were more terrifying. Jian Lusher opened the car window and looked at the two girls and the survivors behind them. I'm not here to save you, Jian Lusher said. Then we should also thank your team, Wei Feifei said insistently. Jian Lusher stopped talking. What the other girl said was correct. Shi Ying's team had indeed saved them unintentionally. There was nothing he couldn't bear with this bow. That's right. I want to ask you something, Jian Lusher thought for a while and said. What's going on? Wei Feifei's cold little face showed a look of expectation and surprise. She felt that Jiang Liosher's team was too strong. And their team couldn't come up with anything that would impress them. A team that can kill level 2 mutated zombies has such a high level of vision compared to scum like Yang Ying that they don't know where they are. So how can they take a fancy to such a little bit of mutated beast meat? So Wei Feifei thought about it and didn't know how she should repay Jiang Liosher and his group. Now that Jiang Liosher had taken the initiative to ask something, Wei Feifei was of course delighted. No matter what Jian Lusher asked, she would tell him everything. Where is your military safety zone? And where is the place where survivors trade? Jian Lusher asked. There are some special materials companies in Jiangming. But the Shuring team alone may not be able to find all the materials needed to upgrade the base vehicle. 
it would be much more efficient if they were traded. The military safety zone is not within Jiangning City. It may take more than an hour to get there. The place for the transaction is Hejiang Town, just on the outskirts of Jiangning City. We can take you there. If you want to go to the military safety zone, it is best our route also has to pass through Hejiang Town first. Wei Fei Fei offered to be a guide for Jiang Lushu and the others. Jiang Lushu turned around and asked Professor Su Guangqi and Su Tong for their opinions. Should we go to Hejiang Town first? Su Tong immediately smiled and said, Don't worry about us. Of course, you can take whatever route is more convenient. Okay. Jiang Lushu nodded and said to Wei Fei Fei, I'll spare your trouble. No trouble. Wei Fei Fei said, By the way, I wonder what your team is called. Team Shuring. I am Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher said. Okay. Jian Lusher. Wei Fei Fei silently remembered the name. The figure of Jian Lusher when he fired the gun just now has been imprinted in her mind. If she had Jian Liosher's marksmanship, nothing like what happened today would have happened. And she wouldn't have been so powerless when Yanying threatened her. Fei Fei. Hurry up. Let's go drive. Taozi came over and grabbed Wei Fei Fei. And then waved to Jian Lusher. By the way. My name is Taozi. After saying that, she immediately lowered her head in fear and embarrassment, pulled Wei Fei Fei and ran back. Their team still parked their car under the small building. Although they were surrounded by zombies these days, the condition of the car was not affected and it could still be driven. Jian Lusher had a good impression of Wei Fei Fei and the others. Like Yang Ying and the others, this team could sneak away while the minibus was surrounded by zombies. There was no need to come down and fight together. For this reason, Jiang Lusher felt that Wei Feifei and the others were relatively reliable. So he agreed to let Wei Feifei lead the way. Brother Jiang, here! Ling handed a blood red crystal to Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher took it and immediately felt that his palm was holding a beating heart, which gave people a strange feeling. Even the heart seemed to be synchronized with the second level mutated crystal core. This feeling disappeared only after putting the secondary mutated crystal core into your pocket. Feifei, that Jiang Lusher is so young. I think he is much more handsome than Yang Ying. Taozi took Wei Fei Fei's arm, turned to look at the minibus, and said with a somewhat admiring tone, although she was a little scared when she faced Jian Lusher just now. She also witnessed the scene when Jian Lusher fired. She felt that Jian Lusher was about the same size as her. So how could he be so powerful? And indifferently, seeing that Fei Fei and she didn't show any of the lewd expressions like other men. This made Taozi think that Jian Lusher was cool. Why are you talking about this? Wei Fei Fei frowned. She looked at Tao Zi with her heart in her eyes and said speechlessly, Flower. Tao Zi smiled and didn't mind Wei Fei Fei's words at all. You'd better wake up, Wei Fei Fei said. In the apocalypse, there is never a shortage of women for powerful superpowers. Even many women who were extremely arrogant before the apocalypse would eagerly stick to them. Wei Fei Fei didn't want to see the same with those around her. Tao Zi curled her lips. Yes, yes. Why don't you let me talk about it? Fei Fei, you are too serious, and you won't be able to get married in the future. It's the end of the world, and I didn't want to get married. If I'm strong enough, I don't need to rely on others. Wei Fei Fei said coldly. Oh my god, you are only 17 years old. Why are you so cold? Besides, we are relying on other people's talents today. Ugh. Taozi couldn't finish her words, because Wei Fei Fei had already used one hand with a cold expression. He covered her mouth and dragged her into a car. Drive to Hejiang Town. Chapter 489 Trading Market. Captain Jiang. Hejiang Town is just ahead. Taozi's voice was conveyed to Jian Lusher through Ran Shiyu. This psychic psychic named Taozi is far inferior to Ran Shiyu in terms of mental strength. And what she is good at is not the ability to transmit sounds from the mind. So in order to send messages, she has to go through Ran Shiyu. Jian Lusher looked into the distance. At the end of the road, a group of buildings was vaguely visible and many vehicles could be seen in the distance. It was already sunset. The temperature began to drop. The sky became gray, and the thick clouds seemed to be pressing down on the buildings, making the town look a little dark, like a dormant beast, in front of Jian Lusher and the others. There were still some convoys heading towards the Jiang town. According to Tao Zi, these convoys were either survivors coming from other areas of Jiangning to trade, or they had just returned from hunting or searching for supplies. A Jiang town is not only a trading market, but also has some powerful survivor teams and some teams that rely on them to live here. The entire Hejiang town market is also supervised and maintained by these powerful teams. 
The military safe zone is just north of Jiang town. Taozi passed on the news. Jiang Lusher looked at the town in the distance and nodded. I understand. It's getting late today, and we can't reach the military safety zone. Jiang Lusher and his party arrived in front of the town. Before the car stopped, they saw some people surrounding them. Most of these people are women. Dressed very revealingly. And ask in a bored voice. Are you here to trade? Do you need to provide market information for today and tomorrow? But as soon as Wei Feifei got out of the car, her cold aura immediately caused the women gathered in front of her car to disperse in a hurry. Captain Jiang. Wei Feifei came to the minibus. The car door opened and Jiang Lusher appeared inside. What do these people do? Jiang Lusher asked. They are residents of a Jiang town. The goods and acquisition information that appear in the trading market change every day. They sort out this information and sell it to the teams that come to trade. In addition, many men in the team also like to be accompanied by women. If the price is right, they will not refuse to do other transactions with men. Even if the price is higher, it is not impossible to buy them back directly, Wei Feifei said. Jian Lusher felt a little uncomfortable listening to Wei Feifei talk about these dirty transactions with a grown man like him so calmly. This Wei Feifei looks like an underage girl no matter what. And it's not appropriate to talk to him about these things. Call someone to come. We don't have much time. So we might as well find a guide. Jian Lusher coughed dryly and said. At this time, some women had already heard Jian Lusher's words and gathered around him. Jian Lusher is good looking and very young. He is much better than those big men who are cruel or impatient at first sight. These women are all vying to choose Jian Lusher as a high quality customer. Little handsome boy. Choose me. The information I get is always first hand. Captain, I knew we were destined to be together. A woman with heavy makeup pushed her way to the front and winked at Jian Lusher. You tell everyone this. It's cliche. You should choose me. I'm cheap and good. Another one said even more explicit. Jian Lusher saw these women crowding in front of him. And he felt as if he was in a trance. When he came out of the train station or bus station, a group of women swarmed up holding signs chasing after each other and asking, Do you want to eat? Do you want accommodation? Yes. It's not like taking a taxi. You? Jian Lusher had a headache from being surrounded by noisy people. He glanced over and his eyes rested on a young woman who was squeezed behind by these women. She seemed to want to promote herself like these women, but she hesitated to speak. The young woman was stunned for a moment, as if she still didn't believe that Jian Lusher was calling her. Don't look. It's you. What's the price for hiring you? Jian Lusher asked. He estimated that this woman had just joined this industry, and she seemed relatively honest. Half a caddy of rice. The young woman was stunned for a moment, and then replied in a voice like a mosquito's hum. If Jian Lusher hadn't had sharp ears, he might not have been able to hear clearly. Then it's you, Jian Lusher said. When the young woman saw that Jian Lusher had really chosen her, her eyes suddenly lit up and a happy look appeared on her face. Half a kilogram of rice is nothing to a team of survivors. But it is enough for ordinary people to eat for a day or two. However, these people may not be able to get business every day, and they will probably go hungry when there is no business. Hearing that John Lusher had made a decision, the other women dispersed in disappointment and continued to wait for other groups of survivors to arrive. The young woman hurriedly walked up to John Lusher. From a closer look, she was probably in her early twenties, probably about college age. She was dressed fairly cleanly, and her face and hair were washed clean. Although she didn't put on any makeup, she looked already. She tidied herself up as best as she could. This boss? My name is Lin Jia. The young woman introduced herself with some trepidation. No need to bother. If I have anything to ask you later, just tell me. Jian Lusher interrupted her. Yeah. Lin Jia nodded and quickly added. Thank you. Boss. You don't have to call me boss. Just call me Captain Jiang. Jian Lusher always felt a little awkward hearing the word boss. Ah, I'm sorry. I got it. Captain Jiang. Lin Jia was a little timid when facing Jiang Lusher. By the way, Captain Jiang, you have to pay an entrance fee to enter the town. Lin Jia said. Why do you have to pay for the ticket? There was no such rule before. Wei Feifei frowned and said. Lin Jia quickly explained. This is a new regulation that was implemented half a month ago. It's been half a month. It's true that I haven't been to a Jiang town for half a month. But when everyone comes to a Jiang town to trade, a Jiang town can become prosperous. How can you charge us for admission? It's too unreasonable. Wei Feifei said somewhat angrily. This, this is all decided by the big shots. 
I'm just conveying it. Lingia said nervously. You don't have to be afraid. It's not against you. How much is the ticket? Jian Lusher asked. A team is five kilograms of rice. Lingia said. Then we will count as a team and give them five kilograms of rice. Jian Lusher said. Jian Lusher wants to borrow the trading market in a town. And he doesn't want to cause any trouble as soon as he comes. Just five kilograms of rice is nothing to him. For them, rice is only used occasionally to change the taste. And it doesn't matter at all. Considered a staple food. Then let me go! Wei Fei Fei insisted. And Jian Lusher went with her. She took five and a half kilograms of rice and handed it to Lin Jia and asked Lin Jia to hand it over to the gatekeepers at the entrance of the town. Lin Jia's salary was also paid in advance. Lin Jia was overjoyed to get her own half a caddy of rice. She carefully put the rice into a canvas bag she carried with her, and then gratefully said to Jian Lusher and Wei Fei Fei, Thank you both. You're welcome. Don't you deserve this? Jian Lusher said. Actually, we don't have any guarantee when doing this, because we are all weak. Some people won't pay if they say they won't pay, and we can't do anything about it. Some customers will have some evil intentions. Lin Jia lowered her head and said, It can be seen that she is very afraid of that kind of thing happening. But even if she is afraid, she can only do this kind of guide work. Otherwise she will really have to starve to death. You go and pay the ticket, Jian Lusher said. After paying the tickets, vehicles can also drive to the parking lot in the town. Those who are unwilling to pay the tickets can only gather outside the town. Jian Lusher took a look and found that most of the people outside the town couldn't afford or were reluctant to pay the tickets. The things that could be sold were also very limited. And there was nothing he needed. Most of the survivors who set up stalls were ordinary people. Wrapped in thick cotton jackets or down jackets and squatting on the ground or next to a certain car. The parking lot is less than 200 meters after entering the town. There are already a large number of stalls set up in the parking lot. Although it is almost evening. In this safe area, the stalls will be set up until very late. These roadside stalls have many small things. But if Captain Jian wants to do some big business, there is no need to waste time at these roadside stalls. After getting a salary in advance and finding that Jian Lusher was easier to talk to, Lin Jia spoke he also gradually became more generous and fluent. Wei Fei Fei only brought Tao Zi, and Jian Lusher only brought Jiang Juying, Ran Shi Yu and Ying. The rest stayed in the minibus. Although it seems peaceful here, Jian Lusher will not take it lightly. Professor Su and the others are safer under the protection of minibuses. Jian Lusher nodded after listening to Lin Jia's introduction. At this moment, he felt his pocket move. Huh? Jian Lusher immediately looked around cautiously and pressed his pocket. What's going on? Even Ran Shiyu didn't notice anything unusual? However, Jian Lusher knew what was going on when he pressed it. And there was a chirp, sound coming from his pocket. Lul Lul. This guy didn't know when he got into his pocket. When Jian Lusher opened the pocket and took a look, he saw a furry little head buried desperately. With a pair of long ears still swaying, Jian Lusher was also convinced. Could it be that he couldn't see it if he buried his head? That's the biggest market over there. Big business is done every day. And those who go into trade are all powerful teams. Along the way, Lin Jia led Jian Lusher and his party to a restaurant-like building. Outside the building. What is being traded here today include guns and ammunition. As well as some grenades. Explosives and other thermal weapons. The territory of zombies has been cleared. Information about the division of mutant beasts and female slaves, etc. Speaking of the last word, Lin Jia's expression became a little complicated. She was very reluctant to mention this kind of transaction information. However, in Hijiang town, the trade of female slaves was very prosperous, and it was not something that could be encountered every day. Is this information also for sale? Then maybe you can also buy information about second-level mutant zombies. By the way, are special metals also traded here? Jian Lusher asked. Special metals? I don't know much about this, but if Captain Jiang is interested, he can publish purchase information at the trade fair. Generally, as long as the purchase information is not very troublesome, someone will take it, Lin Jia said. That's good. Jiang Lusher nodded and was about to go in when he suddenly saw a man walking over in a hurry with a fierce look on his face. And he was coming towards them. Chapter 490 VIP Room Jian Lusher watched the dark-skinned man approaching with a calm expression. Next to him. Wei Fei Fei had already put her hand on the gun on her waist, with a vigilant look in her eyes. However, this strong man did not come towards Jian Lusher and the others. And Jian Lusher noticed that Lin Jia, who was originally beside him, 
showed a scared expression and hid behind him. The strong man came directly to Lin Jia and said in a sullen voice, Just in time. Come with me. Lin Jia trembled all over and whispered, Captain Jiang, I have something to do. Please wait for me a moment. Then Lin Jia timidly followed the strong man to the side. I haven't seen you submit your commission in the past few days. As soon as the strong man opened his mouth, Lin Jia said quickly, I didn't have any business before. Then didn't you get some business today? The strong man said and glanced at Jian Lusher and others. Take it out, the strong man said. Lin Jia showed a look of distress, pinched her bag and said, Brother Yen, can you wait for two days? My sister is only 12 years old and is still growing. Stop talking nonsense and hurry up. Brother Yen reached out impatiently, grabbed Lin Jia's bag, opened it and took a look. Then his face darkened. Is that all? There was only half a caddy of rice in the bag, which was naturally very little. Lin Jia felt very distressed when she saw Brother Yin carrying this small amount of rice unhappily. The bag was not tied properly, and the rice almost spilled out. This small amount of rice was nothing to Brother Yin, but it was nothing to her. Very necessary. Brother Yin, why don't you leave this to me for now? And I will make more friends in a few days. Lin Jia begged. Go, go. You can't talk to me about this. You have to talk to Sister Qian. Besides, if you really want your sister to eat more, go and coax the sponsor. How much can you make just by selling information? Brother Yin said playfully, which made Lin Jia's face change slightly. She is not a child anymore. So of course she knows what Brother Yin means. Otherwise, you can accompany me. Brother Yin chuckled and looked Lin Jia up and down. Lin Jia looked very quiet. Brother Yin had long wanted to attack Lin Jia. Seeing Lin Jia take a step back with a very resistant look, Brother Yin dropped the smile on his face and said coldly, Where did those guests you brought come from? That man looked very strange. How many of you? Introduce him to some of that kind of business. Lin Jia's face changed greatly. She knew what kind of business Brother Yin was talking about. It was a business run by Brother Yin and his friends. The profits were very high and they were robbing people. If some people resisted, they wouldn't mind killing people directly. It was nothing like robbery. The difference. However, Brother Yin and the others also drugged people based on their opinions. If it was a team of very famous survivors, they would not touch them to avoid causing any trouble. A new face like Jian Lusher is just right. I'm not very good at doing this kind of thing. Lin Jia shook her head desperately. Not good at it. I see that you are such a waste. How can you support your sister? Why don't you let your sister come out to work as soon as possible? Maybe she will be more knowledgeable than you. Nowadays, younger girls are quite popular. Brother Yin had a dirty smile on his face. Lin Jia lowered her head and trembled all over. Her sister was only 12 years old. And Brother Yin actually said such things in front of her sister. Brother Yin, what you said is too much. My sister is still young. Lin Jia said in a low voice. Excessive? Brother Yin's eyes darkened. Lin Jia's heart trembled. Brother Yin has always been a very vicious person. People like them are afraid to show off in front of Brother Yin. Bitch, have you given me face? You really need to deal with it. As he spoke, Brother Yin raised his hand and slapped Lin Jia hard. Lin Jia was trembling all over, but she didn't dare to hide. If she did, she would only be dealt with worse. She closed her eyes and tensed her body, preparing to bear the blow, compared with Brother Yin's fan-like slap. If it hit her already pale and thin face, it would probably be terrible. However, the slap did not fall. Lin Jia opened her eyes and saw that Jiang Lusher came to her side at some point and grabbed Brother Yin's wrist. Although Brother Yin is just an ordinary superpower, he is very strong. Unexpectedly, Jiang Lusher has no superpower fluctuations and his muscles are not very developed. He can easily grab him with one hand and his five fingers are like iron. It was like a clamp, making Brother Yin's wrist seem to be broken. What do you want to do? Brother Yin's face suddenly changed. Fortunately, Jiang Lusher quickly let go of his wrist. Can you handle your matters privately? I'm still in a hurry. Jian Lusher said calmly. Brother Yin is probably a kind of manager who is responsible for managing guides like Lin Jia. So that's it. Brother Yin's face was a little dark at first. But after thinking about it, he smiled again. When I heard that there was no Lin Jia, I quickly brought the guests in. There is a good trade fair in the VIP first hall. The guests may would be interested. He glared at Lin Jia calmly and signaled Lin Jia to hurry up. I'm a little interested. I came all the way here just to do some big business. Why don't you take me in? Jian Lusher said with a slight smile. 
Brother Yen was stunned for a moment, then nodded with a smile and said, It's easy to talk, but brothers are not ordinary people. How can ordinary people have such a striking beauty by their side? As he spoke, Brother Yin blinked at Jian Lusher, looking envious of Jian Liusher's good fortune. Jian Lusher had a sneer on his lips, but said nothing. Brother Yin diligently led the way. Lin Jia followed Jian Lusher and others. Her face pale. She wanted to say something to Jian Lusher, but Brother Yin was right in front, and she did not dare to speak at all. Wei Fei Fei, don't you know much about the trade fair here? Jian Lusher asked Wei Fei Fei. He found that Wei Fei Fei and the others didn't seem to come to a Jiang town often. We are relatively self-sufficient. And since I am not old, there will always be people who want to take advantage when doing transactions. So we rarely trade, Wei Fei Fei said. In fact, there was nothing that could be traded with a group of ordinary people. She could only ensure food. So there was nothing extra that could be traded. Even if there is a transaction, it can be settled at the street stall outside. Well, maybe we can see something interesting in a while. Jian Lusher said. Wei Fei Fei didn't understand what Jian Lusher meant for a moment. But Jian Lusher looked very calm, as if he was really visiting the market. At this time, Brother Yin had already led Jian Lusher and his party into the trade fair. The first floor here was like a big market. It was no longer stalls, but tables one after another with guns and ammunition. Next to them were 35% group of survivors. There was also a table with two mutant beasts that had just been hunted. These survivors were all familiar faces here. When they saw Brother Yin coming in with a group of strangers with a smile on his face, they already had suspicions in their minds. Please come here. Don't worry. You will definitely be satisfied with the things in the VIP hall, Brother Yin said. Really? That would be great. A smile appeared on Jian Liusher's face. Seeing Jian Liusher and his group following Brother Yin upstairs, many people in the hall shook their heads. Some people also showed an expression of gloating as if they were waiting for a good show. There are several VIP halls in the trade fair, and the first VIP hall has been reserved by Yen Laolu and his group for a long time. They are not specifically used to do this kind of shady business. Sometimes they also have serious transactions, but those transactions have nothing to do with Jian Lusher and his party that Yen Laolu brought today. When he came to the door, Yen Laolu winked at the bodyguard standing by the door. The man immediately understood. Open the door for Jian Lusher and others and went out. Jian Lusher quickly walked away as he listened to the footsteps of the bodyguard. And he, Jiang Zhuying, and the other sat down leisurely on the sofa. Wait a moment. Everyone. Yin Laolu sat across from them and said, There's no rush. Jian Lusher said. At this time, Ng handed a can of coke to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher opened the coke can and drank it happily. Yin Laolu's eyelids twitched when he saw that beautiful women were waiting on him, and he could drink at any time. This boy really knew how to enjoy it. But he also sneered in his heart at the same time. The more this happened, the more it showed that Jian Lusher was a fat sheep. And it would be fun to slaughter it like this. Soon more footsteps approached. The previous bodyguard opened the door, then bowed his head respectfully and stepped aside. A man with a fierce look on his face came in with a group of people. These people basically all have strong supernatural power fluctuations. Their bodies are basically bulging and they all obviously carry guns and weapons. But this is normal in the apocalypse. And most people won't say anything about it. As soon as this fierce man entered the door, he directly locked his eyes on Jian Lusher and others. But he only glanced at Jian Lusher and ignored them. Instead, he stayed on Jian Zhuying and the three girls for a while. As soon as the fierce man arrived, Yen Lao immediately went up and said a few words. Well, not bad. The fierce man said in a deep voice, and then sat down opposite Jian Lusher. I am Wei Lahu. What do you want to buy or sell? Wei Lahu sat down. His eyes were indeed like a ferocious tiger, with a cold light that chose people to devour. There are a lot of things I want to buy, but they are basically special metals. Do you have any? In addition, I also need a second level mutant blood core, which can be found from the heart of a second level mutant zombie. Jian Lusher just relied on it. On the sofa, he spoke slowly. Wei Laohu was stunned. Special metals are okay. But second level mutated blood cores? Who would want this? Of course you can buy it if you want. But what price can you pay? Wei Laohu asked. Do you know how difficult it is to obtain the second level mutated blood core? You just accepted it? Jian Lusher asked. Of course I know. But as long as you pay enough, we will naturally complete it. We will not ask you to pay in advance. 
but you need to deposit enough assets with us to complete the transaction after the matter is completed. Wei Laohu said. Wei Laohu wanted to get to know Jiang Liuxiu's background first. They couldn't kill people openly in the market. It would be best if they could get Jiang Liuxiu to trade honestly. If not, then they would go after knowing how much money Jiang Liuxiu had. Interception is also possible. If Jiang Liuxiu had really paid in advance, there would be no further worries. In fact, the money paid in advance will not be refunded at all. But they have the final say on this matter. Chapter 491 Don't Understand the Rules Jiang Lusher looked at Wei Laosher and suddenly smiled lightly. Really? But why do I feel that you don't know how difficult it is to obtain a second-level mutant blood core? As soon as he finished speaking, Wei Laohu's eyes suddenly blurred. However, Wei Laohu and the people behind him reacted quickly. Wei Laohu roared and pounced like a leopard, while those behind him drew their weapons. But in the midst of this flash of lightning, Jiang Lusher had already drawn his gun and fired. The muzzle of the gun flashed and the huge gunshot sounded like thunder in the VIP room. Bang bang bang. Wei Laohu's men were hit one after another before they even had time to react. As for Wei Laohu, as soon as he stood up and pounced, his movement suddenly stiffened in the middle. In front of his eyes, the cold blade was steadily stopping there, and he didn't even dare to blink. The one holding the knife was the woman wearing tight clothes and a ponytail. She had no supernatural powers on her body, and was completely an ordinary person. But when she took action, it was so fast, accurate, and ruthless that people couldn't predict it. Jian Lusher held the pistol casually, looked at Wei Laohu, who seemed to be fixed on the coffee table, and said calmly, Do you understand? You and your men are too weak. You guys figure out where this place is, ah! Wei Laohu warned. However, before he finished speaking, the three-edge military thorn in Ying's hand stabbed down hard. The blade not only left a ferocious blood mark on Wei Laohu's face, but also pierced his palm heavily, making him truly nailed on the coffee table. Even though he was a person with superpowers, the feeling of his palm being nailed and the blood flowing across his hand still made Wei Laohu scream in pain and break out in a cold sweat. The blood flowed continuously from the wound caused by the three-sided military thorn, and it quickly covered the entire coffee table. At this time, Wei Huha still didn't dare to move because Jiang Liuxiu's gun was right in front of him. You're like you. And you still want to kill level 2 mutated zombies? Jian Lusher said sarcastically. Taozi didn't dare to express her anger at the side. Jian Lusher and the beautiful woman in black started to move without even blinking. Lin Jia was a little stupid. She was worried about Jian Lusher and the others just now. But she didn't expect that the situation would be reversed in the blink of an eye. Wei Lahu held back the pain and said, I am not strong enough. So I admit defeat. But my boss is Sister Qin. If you do business with us, Sister Qian will naturally have the means to kill a second-level mutated zombie. Then please ask your sister Qian to come over and talk to me in person. Jian Lusher leaned back on the sofa again. Behind Wei Lao Lu, Yin Lao Lu got up from the ground with a pale face. He was hit in the arm, but he was still alive. Hearing that Wei Lao Lu had been restrained, he originally wanted to lie on the ground without saying a word. But just after Jian Lusher finished speaking, he clearly felt a coldness covering his body. If he didn't get up, he was afraid that he would lose his little one soon. Dead. Go and invite your sister Qian over. Jian Lusher said. Yin Laolu hesitated for a moment. But he glanced at Jian Lusher and then at the gun in Jian Liuxiu's hand. And his scalp suddenly felt numb. I'll go right away. Yin Laolu walked out of the room tremblingly. At this time, someone in the trade fair had already heard the gunfire. Shooting here? This is such a big fuss. At this time, a group of people had just come downstairs and heard the noise. Seeing this group of people, the survivors downstairs took the initiative to get out of the way. The leader was an elegant young woman in her thirties, wearing a deep white floor-length dress, revealing her perfect body curves. Behind her were at least twenty bodyguards, all of whom were people with superpowers. Two steps behind her, there were two superpowers emitting powerful energy fluctuations. But these are not as good as the man carrying this beautiful woman. This man had dark skin and a tall build, with bulging muscles exposed under the clothes he wore. Just walking this way, these survivors felt like a ferocious beast was approaching, and they were a little suffocated. Is he Ju Hong? A survivor had been in Hejiang town for a while, but this was the first time he saw He Ju Hong. Shh, keep your voice down. If Brother Hong hears you talking about him, he'll be in trouble. Another survivor who knew him quickly lowered his voice. Brother Hong's team is definitely the number one in Hijiang town. 
and it also has one-third of the control over this trade fair. A portion of the entire Hejiang town's income and transaction commissions must be handed over to Brother Hong. That enchanting woman is Sister Qin. She is Brother Hong's woman. She usually helps Brother Hong take care of his business. She is always protected by people sent by Brother Hong. No one dares to provoke her. Sister Qian is just an ordinary person. But no one dares to treat her as an ordinary woman. This is all because of Yi Jiuan Hong's energy. I didn't expect Brother Hong to be here today. Maybe to accompany Sister Qian. I don't know what happened with that gunshot just now. But this is a place under Brother Hong's control. And no one thinks anyone will cause trouble here. In Hejiang town. The strongest teams are the biggest. Among them. He Jun Hong is the strongest. Who doesn't sell his face? Why are there gunshots? He Jun Hong paused slightly and asked. Sister Qian turned back and glanced upstairs. Then smiled charmingly. It shouldn't be a big deal. Aren't you busy? You go first. I will handle this matter. He Jun Hong glanced at the charming Sister Qian and pinched her waist without leaving any trace. Don't you always blame me for not accompanying you? Are you driving me away in a hurry today? Don't you miss me? Sister Qian snorted and then rolled her eyes at Yi Jun Hong. I don't think you are of any use. I don't know you yet. You have so many women. And you don't like me? It's all just for fun. How can I compare to you? Yi Jun Hong said. Sister Qian smiled slightly and moved closer to Yi Jun Hong. A look of satisfaction flashed in Yi Jun Hong's eyes. He just liked this about this woman and knew how to measure things. Of course, those women who don't know how to behave have been killed by him long ago. And he will not leave them as an eyesore. Maybe it was Yen Laolu and the others who fired the shots? Those fat sheep should have been slaughtered just now. What one survivor said was heard by He Jun Hong. What fat sheep? He Jun Hong glanced over and asked. The survivor's heart tightened. And then he showed a flattered look. He hurriedly came to He Jun Hong and described the situation of Jiang Lu Shi and his party in an embellished way. A man with five beauties? That's really impressive. Sister Qian pursed her lips and smiled. With a look that was full of meaning. You dared to go out with so many beauties. You have to be powerful. Otherwise you would have been swallowed up to the point where nothing is left. He Jun Hong said in a deep voice instead. Then He Jun Hong glanced at Sister Qian. Doing such a robbery at the trade fair and letting so many survivors know and see it will have a very bad impact. But since it was his woman who did this and Sister Qian did earn him a lot of resources allowing him to steadily improve his strength. He Jun Hong naturally wouldn't say anything. As for the impact. The rest of the people simply don't have the strength to establish another market. They can only come here if they want to trade. If a new market is really established, it won't matter. It will just be bulldozed. Who is handling this matter? He Jun Hong asked. A person behind Sister Hong replied, It's Wei Lahu. Wei Hu Hu. He Jun Hong thought for a while and said, Send someone up to take a look. In any case, since the gun was used, it can't be said that everything went smoothly. Don't kill those women. Don't hurt their faces. Sister Qian added on the side. Don't worry. Sister Qian. Brothers know this. Sister Qian smiled sweetly. She didn't care at all how many women He Jun Hong had. She often took the initiative to find women for He Jun Hong. As long as she could keep her position. And even if He Jun Hong doesn't catch a cold. Beautiful women will still be valuable. Hot commodities. In the last days. And can be sold for big prices. At this moment. Yin Lao came down from upstairs. Seeing Yin Lao coming, the survivor who had taken the opportunity to please He Jun Hong immediately smiled and said, Brother Yin is here. It seems that the matter has been settled. There is no need for Brother Hong to worry anymore. And there is no need to trouble all brothers. He Jun Hong also stopped the people he was about to send up, looked at Yin Lao Lu, and said in a calm tone, If this happens again next time, don't make such a big fuss. These people don't understand the rules. Just deal with them. With so many survivors watching, He Ju Hong was training people so openly and without any cover up. An understatement of, I don't know the rules, can come out of his mouth. No matter how you say it, many survivors present also felt chills behind their backs. Fortunately, they all kept a low profile and there was nothing to arouse the interest of He Ju Hong and his men. At the same time, they also felt that this is everything that strength brings. No matter how dark and unfair it is, no one dares to stand up and say, no. The man is dead. Right? Where is the woman? Take us up to have a look. After He Jun Hong finished speaking, he saw Yin Lao Lu standing there stupidly. He frowned and was about to curse when he suddenly saw Yin Lao Lu showing a look of surprise and rushed down. Brother Hong. 
I didn't expect you to be here today. You came just in time. Yin Lao was still very scared before. Because he didn't expect Yan Lu Shi, who seemed stupid, to be so decisive and ruthless. Fortunately, Jian Lusher was so arrogant that he actually asked him to find Sister Qin. Moreover, he Jun Hong happened to be here today. Yin Lao was shot forcefully, and his arm was broken. He was scared to death just now. How could he don't want revenge? Looking at Yin Lao's reaction, and the wet patch on the black coat Yin Lao was wearing, it was obviously soaked in blood. However, the light where he was standing just now prevented him from seeing it at a glance. The survivor before shut up and stopped talking immediately. This is really a flattery slap on the horse's leg. The survivors in the hall also looked at He Jun Hong with a look of shock and amusement. Now Yin Lao Lu talked about the matter. He Jun Hong glanced at his gunshot wound. His expression getting darker and darker. He's waiting for me up there. In that case, I'll go meet him. Chapter 492 I Am The Rule If something like this happened on his own territory, it was not necessary to think about how He Jun Hong would deal with that group of people. In the VIP room, Wei Lao whose face turned pale with pain. He looked at Jian Lu Shi, who looked calm in front of him, and said, Brother, it's too late for you to let me go now. You probably don't know who our sister Qian is. What's behind her back but Brother Hong? I just arrived in Jiangming today. I don't know any of the sister Qian or Brother Hong you mentioned. Nor am I interested in them. Jian Lu Shi said. At this time, the door opened and a group of people walked in from the door. So you don't know me? and are not interested in me? A dark-skinned man came over and sat on the sofa opposite Jian Lu Shi. He seemed not to have seen the corpses on the ground and the people in front of him. Like Wei Hu had nailed to the coffee table. The people he brought stood around him, and they looked very imposing at first glance. A charming woman in a white dress sat next to the man. After scanning everyone, she curiously stopped at Jian Lu Shi to look at him. Stand up. I thought the person who did such a thing was some fierce person. I heard that you wanted to see me by name. I am Sister Qin. Sister Qin said with a smile. That's right. I was invited by your subordinates to discuss business. Since it's business, what's the point of talking to these handymen who don't know anything? Only when the boss comes to talk in person can he be sincere. Jian Lusher said calmly. The entire room was filled with Hiju at home's people. In comparison, the number of people on Jian Liusher's side was too small. Lin Jia had never seen such a scene before. Her palms were already sweating nervously. Even Taozi was beating a drum in her heart, secretly reaching out and pinching the corner of Wei Feifei's clothes next to her. But Jiang Lusher had a calm expression on his face. Even Ran Shiyu and Jiang Zhuying who were sitting next to him could not see the tension and seemed to be disinterested in the situation in front of them. Business talk? Killing all my men and injuring them. What kind of business talk is this? Sister Qian was still smiling, as if she was talking and laughing, not questioning. If you seek death, of course you will die. If you die, don't blame others. Jian Lusher said. Sister Qian's expression froze slightly, while He Jun Hong on the side smiled. This boy dared to say that in this situation. He Jun Hong's smile suddenly dropped, and he said coldly, Boy, you dare to break my rules. You are seeking death today. Here, my words, my people, that's the rule. He didn't even look at where this place was or what the current situation was. Rules? Who do you think you are? You deserve to have rules. Jian Lusher sneered. He Jun Hong knew that Jian Lusher must have someone to rely on if he was so crazy. But he was also very confident in his own strength. Jian Lusher stepped on his face so openly. If he was timid, then his brother Hong wouldn't have to hang around here. Boy, when you come here today, you will never be able to walk out of the door again. He Jun Hong suddenly shouted angrily. Kill him. Several superpower users behind He Jun Hong immediately looked at Jian Lu Shi with evil intentions. Two of them had a powerful superpower energy suddenly erupting from their bodies. Among He Jun Hong's many subordinates, they are second only to He Jun Hong in strength. They are He Jun Hong's right hand men and gold medal thugs. With countless blood on their hands, He Jun Hong asked the two of them to deal with Jian Lu Shi together, which already showed his caution towards Jian Lu Shi as their bodies began to expand. One of the superpowers became like a brown bear, with hair like steel needles and crackling bones. The other superpower quickly approached three meters in height, like a giant, and slapped Jian Lusher directly with his huge palm. He wanted to flatten Jian Lusher with a slap, and the whistling wind and terrifying power enveloped him like a hill. The brown bear roared loudly and rushed over with open arms. His arms alone were thicker than other people's thighs. 
His favorite thing was to hug people and then let them be squeezed to death. Even their eyes. They will all explode. The two superpowers started attacking at the same time. While he Jun Hong was still waiting, Wei Fei Fei and the other's expression suddenly changed. Wei Fei Fei immediately reached out to draw her gun. While Taozi couldn't help but explained, Captain Jiang, get out of the way. The strength of these two people is close to that of level 2 superpowers. At such a close distance, it is very difficult to resist. But they didn't have time to help Jiang Lusher. Because at this time the other superpowers pounced directly on the girls. He Jun Hong didn't show any mercy when dealing with these women. Even if he wanted to ravage or sell them, he had to make them honest first. Sister Qian smiled sweetly and stood next to Yi Ju Hong, accustomed to such scenes. At this time, Jian Lusher also showed a smile. Boom! A bolt of lightning suddenly flashed in front of everyone, turning everyone's vision into silvery white for an instant. Wei Fei Fei, who was about to take action, was also stunned for a moment. The superpowers who pounced on them were covered by an electric grid right in front of them, and they let out shrill screams as their whole bodies twitched. These electric currents also made the two powerful superpowers freeze up. Immediately afterwards, a sword light mixed with lightning struck towards their heads. The sword light fell and blood splashed everywhere. He Jun Hong's expression changed drastically, and he felt numb all over, so that he could not take action immediately. Ah! Sister Qian also screamed, and then was pushed by He Jun Hong. He Jun Hong roared and his muscles bulged. But at this time, a bolt of lightning had already hit him. I advise you not to move. He looked at the girl standing next to Jiang Lusher. Electric light was flashing on her palms and the long knife she was holding. Small electric currents were spinning between her slender white fingers like a swimming fish. Two, level two superpowers. He Jun Hong was simply in disbelief. This girl is actually a level two superpower. You also know about level two superpowers. It seems you have seen them before. Jiang Juying said with a smile. He Jun Hong's heart had completely sunk at this time. He was a level 2 superpower. He is already very close to a second level superpower. But he is still far behind a real second level superpower. And so far, Jian Lusher and the calm girl next to him have not taken action. He Ju Hong no longer thinks that girl lacks strength. This Jian Lusher is not alone with a few beauties. He is not easy to mess with. And everyone around him is surrounded by roses with thorns. And he was the only one left who could barely fight. The people he had just brought were either dead or seriously injured. Unexpectedly, in just a few seconds, the situation would reverse like this. Sister Qian had just been stunned, and now she woke up again. But seeing such a scene, she almost fainted again from fright. She looked at He Jun Hong. Originally, He Jun Hong was her backer. With He Jun Hong around, she didn't pay attention to others at all. Captain Jiang, this was all a misunderstanding. He Jun Hong's voice was trembling from the shock. If he hadn't been in good health, he would have been electrocuted to death by now. Even now, his skin and flesh are all bruised. Faced with such a powerful threat, He Jun Hong immediately lowered his head. Really? Now you know what the rules are? Jiang Lusher smiled and glanced at Yen Lao Lu in the corner. When Jiang Juing took action just now, he deliberately ignored Yen Lao Lu. Yen Lao Liu's face suddenly turned pale. And at this time, He Jun Hong also turned to look at Yen Lao Lu. He immediately understood and walked towards Yen Lao Lu. Yen Lao Lu trembled violently all over. Although He Jun Hong looked embarrassed now, his strength was there after all. Yin Lao Lu watched He Jun Hong walking towards him, and he had vague suspicions in his heart. A huge feeling of fear filled his heart. Squeeze it tight. Brother Hong, Brother Hong, I have been following Sister Qian for so long. You can't just sell me to protect yourself. Will anyone dare to follow you in the future? Yin Lao Lu's voice stopped suddenly. He Jun Hong pinched his neck and twisted it violently. As a clicking sound came, Yin Lao Yo's eyes widened and his mouth opened wide. And then he was thrown to the ground by He Jun Hong. He Jun Hong walked back to Jian Lusher and said, I wonder if Brother Jian is satisfied with this. Seeing that Jian Lusher was just looking at him in amusement, He Jun Hong's expression remained unchanged and he said in a deep voice, Although Captain Jian is very powerful, he is not familiar with Jian Ning after all. There is always something that he can do to help. It would be better to just kill me like this. Wouldn't it make more sense for me to help Captain Jiang? And speaking of it, I don't have any grudge against Captain Jiang. Captain Jiang has killed dozens of my people. And Captain Jiang has not suffered any losses. I wonder if Captain Jiang can consider my suggestion. After all, He Jun Hong was a local snake and had been the boss of this party. Although he knew that he was likely to die. 
he was not scared to death. He has also killed many people, and knows that begging for mercy is the most useless thing. Only by showing value to the other party can he possibly impress the other party. Jiang Lusher smiled. Let's do this. I will make a list for you. If you can find everything on my list, I will spare your life. Jiang Lusher said. He Jun Hong turned his head and glanced at Sister Qian. Go get paper and pen. Sister Qian was stunned for a moment and stood up quickly. However, due to fear and the sequelae of the electric shock, her calves were still shaking. It was very difficult for her to run to the door and ask someone to get paper and pen. Soon the paper and pen were brought back and Sister Qian carefully placed them in front of Jiang Lusher. She really didn't dare to look at Jiang Lusher now. Even Yi Jun Hong wanted to be humble in front of Jiang Lusher. She, an ordinary person, was like an ant, not even daring to breathe. Jiang Lusher looked at the required materials prompted on the star seed panel, wrote them down next to each other, and then threw them on the coffee table. Sister Qian quickly and carefully picked it up, but was snatched away by Yi Jun Hong. Yi Jun Hong took a look and said, I will ask people to go to various factories to find metal materials. But the second level mutant zombie crystal core. This is very difficult. I will ask people to find out the location of the second level mutant zombies and buy them on the way. Jiang Lusher said nothing. He Jun Hong said nothing more. He knew that if any of these materials were not found, he would not survive. As for escaping, how could Jiang Lusher give him such an opportunity? Therefore, there is no need to think about this kind of thing. Chapter 493 The Tumbler He Jun Hong wrote down the list and then gave it to Sister Qian. Ask your people to inquire about it. Don't do anything else recently. First, take care of Captain John's matter wholeheartedly. Sister Qian also knew the importance of the matter. So she quickly took the list and placed it carefully on her body. Even now, her whole body is still soft. That's it. Jian Lusher stood up from the sofa. I'll have someone arrange accommodation for Captain Jiang and all of his friends. Yi Jun Hong said. Jiang Lusher had already walked outside. No need. Then he stopped again and said, Let's arrange a few rooms. Unlike Jiang Lusher, Wei Fei Fei and the others were already very comfortable sleeping in the car. Just now Jiang Lusher also saw Wei Fei Fei preparing to take action. Although she did not have the chance to take action, Jiang Lusher was still quite satisfied with Wei Fei Fei's approach. So he asked for this room for Wei Fei Fei. Okay, I'll make arrangements right away. Sister Qian immediately smiled and said proactively, Wei Fei Fei and Tao Zi were still a little unresponsive. When they saw Jiang Lusher and his party had walked out of the room, Wei Fei Fei pulled a handful of Tao Zi and they quickly followed them out. Lin Jia looked at the corpses in the whole room and felt a little dizzy. What she brought today was not a guest, but a terrifying evil star. But when she saw Yin Lao die just now, she felt happy. There were also the aloof Sister Qian and the arrogant He Jun Hong. Both of them had to bow their heads and turn pale. When they need someone more powerful than them, these two people behave no differently from ordinary people. Although this matter had nothing to do with Lin Jia, Lin Jia felt happy to see this scene. You? Sister Qian suddenly glanced at her and said, Go help Captain Jiang and others arrange a room. You must have the best room. If anyone says anything, just say it was me. No. Just say it was Brother Hong who said it. Of. Okay. Lin Jia suddenly came to her senses and nodded hurriedly. As Lin Jia also left the room, only Sister Qian and Yi Jun Hong were left in the room. Wei Lahu, who had been nailed to the coffee table before, had been electrocuted to death by the electric shock just now, and his body was still in the same position as before. Sister Qian's whole body went limp, and she slumped down on the sofa. Yi Jun Hong's expression was gloomy. He vaguely felt that even if Jian Lusher and others left the room, he still felt like he was being watched. By the way, Brother Hong, Fanny Tong and the others will be back early tomorrow morning. Sister Qian suddenly remembered something and hesitantly spoke to break the silence. Them? He Jun Hong frowned. Suddenly, He Jun Hong thought of something and said, It just so happens that Captain Jiang wants to purchase supplies. You can ask them. But isn't Fanny Tong at odds with us? Sister Hong said worriedly. He Jun Hong occupies one third of this trade fair and even the entire Hejiang town market. And the other two-thirds are occupied by two other teams, one of which is Fanny Tong. This Fanny Tong is very capable, and the other team has already obeyed his advice. They are now uniting to slowly swallow up He Junhong's interests. So what's the matter with the Discord? I'm not the one buying supplies from him. How can he not sell them? He Junhong said coldly. I will go find them early tomorrow morning and discuss the acquisition with them. 
Shi Yu, please pay attention during this time and keep an eye on this He Jun Hong to prevent him from playing any tricks. Jiang Lusher said to Ran Shi Yu after leaving the room. Ran Shi Yu nodded slightly. Back on the minibus. Jiang Lusher smelled the aroma of barbecue as soon as he opened the door. Whoosh! A white shadow suddenly jumped out of Jiang Lusher's pocket and then rushed towards the kitchen with lightning speed. However, still in the middle, Luo Luo was caught by Zero. No entry into the kitchen. Ling looked at Jiang Lusher, still with an indifferent expression on his baby face. A very strong smell of blood. Jiang Lusher smiled. Something happened, but now we don't need to buy it ourselves. We have found a local snake to do it for us. Professor Su. Jian Lusher came to Su Guangqi and Su Tong and said, Things have changed a bit now. I can't send you to the military area right away. You have to stay here for a few days. If Su Guangqi and Su Tong are sent to the military area, the minibus will leave. There are people in Shuring's team who can restrain He Jun Hong. Jiang Zhuying is naturally fine. And Ling should be able to. But no matter who is left here, Jiang Lusher was not worried. Moreover, the separation of people and vehicles will also make Jiang Lusher feel that there is a lack of safety. So after thinking about it along the way, Jiang Lusher felt that he could only let go of those who sent them to the military area. Don't worry about us. As long as you don't mind us being in the car and making you crowded, Su Tong said with a smile. Su Guangqi also nodded. He basically reads books and studies materials in the car every day. Or he studies Luo Luo without being bored. The next day, as soon as Jian Lusher got up, someone was already waiting respectfully outside the car door. Hello, Brother Jiang. I'm Xiao Yu. Brother Hong asked me to invite Brother Jiang. This man was a lean man who seemed to have good skills. However, he respected Jian Lusher extremely. He had heard everything about what happened in the VIP room yesterday. I originally thought he was a scary and murderous man. But when I saw him face to face, he turned out to be a young man. He didn't look very dangerous. But he had a unique temperament. Yu Yu looked at Jian Lusher and stopped looking around. He can't mess with anyone who can make Brother Hong bow his head. Invite me? Has he already purchased something? Jian Lusher was a little surprised. If this is the case, then he Jiu Hong's hands and feet are too fast. Brother Jian, please come over. Yu Yu said. Um. This time Jian Lusher didn't just walk away, but drove the minibus directly over. The rules of Hajiang town are that vehicles are not allowed to drive freely in the town. But these rules can no longer restrain Jiang Lusher. But this time, the meeting place was not yesterday's trade fair, but another restaurant. This restaurant was abandoned for a period of time after the end of the world. After the Hajiang town market was established, it was reopened. The only people who can enter the restaurant to eat and drink now are the prominent figures on this side. And ordinary survivors cannot enter at all. At this time, at the door of the restaurant, he Jun Hong took Sister Qian and a few of his men, and there was a group of people beside him. One of them was very short, with squinted eyes, and his legs were as short and thick as carrots. At first glance it looks like a tumbler, but if anyone thinks his character is as funny as his appearance, he is totally wrong. Fanny Dong. He was able to climb to where he is today step by step. His methods were naturally not weak, and he killed a lot of people. Hey, Brother Hong. Are the guests you were talking about yesterday the same ones? I heard they had a good exchange with you yesterday. Fanny Tong said with a smile. Today is business. Fanny Tong, don't get into trouble. He Jun Hong interrupted him coldly. TSK. TSK. I'm quite curious. I wonder who can make our brother Hong bow his head and beg for mercy. Fanny Tong said. He Jun Hong's face was ashen. Helping Jian Lusher find materials was at stake for his life. So He Jun Hong could only endure it. Seeing He Ju and Hong's reaction, Fanny Tong found it even more funny. Fanny Tong, you said you have what I want. You didn't trick me, did you? He Jun Hong suddenly asked. This Fanny Tong is very treacherous, and He Jun Hong has suffered a lot from him overtly and covertly. He is worried that this Fanny Tong is telling lies. He came to Fanny Tong today and planned to buy the supplies listed by Jian Lusher from him. Unexpectedly, Fanny Tong took one look and said that he had the goods in stock. He Jun Hong immediately went to call Jian Lusher over. But now he felt that he had been a little hasty. If Fanny Tong was tricking him, it would be difficult for him to explain it to Jian Lusher. Ha ha. Brother Hong. I see what you said. I, Fanny Tong, have always been a child. Fanny Tong turned his hand. And a crystal clear blood crystal appeared on his fat short hand. And this blood crystal looked like it was like a life. Beating up and down. Like a miniature heart. 
Mutated Zombie Blood Core. Sensed Energy. It is indeed level 2. He Junhong's eyes lit up when he saw this blood core. It seemed that Fanny Tong really didn't bluff him this time. The second level mutated blood core was originally the hardest thing to find. But he didn't expect that Fan Tong actually had one on hand. At this time, the sound of an engine appeared in the distance. And a minibus appeared at the other end of the street. Chapter 494 Waiting for Price Captain Jiang is here! As soon as the minibus stopped, He Ju Hong and Sister Qian immediately greeted him. When Jiang Lusher got out of the car, he noticed the short and fat man looking at him. You called me here! Have you found the materials? Jiang Lusher asked He Jun Hong. Yes! I have found a second level mutated blood core! Jian Liusher's eyes lit up. With the one in his hand, there were two second level mutant blood cores, and half of the conditions for the evolution of the base vehicle were met. Captain Jiang! Before He Jun Hong could speak, Fanny Tong had already walked over with a smile. Is this Captain Jiang? Fanny Tong smiled and glanced meaningfully at He Jun Hong next to him. Unexpectedly, He Jun Hong fell into the hands of such a boy. I originally thought that although He Jun Hong was being cannibalized step by step, he still had strength. But now, Fanny Tong didn't think so. It's just a lost dog. In order to protect itself, it has to run errands for others. Jian Lusher glanced at He Jun Hong and saw He Jun Hong's ugly face. He had already guessed Fanny Tong's identity. This is He Jun Hong's enemy. I heard that Captain Jian wanted to acquire the second level mutated blood core. What a coincidence, Fanny Tong said, turning his hand. The mutated blood core appeared in his palm. As Jian Lusher glanced at the mutated blood core, Star C gave a hint. Level 2 mutation energy detected. Jian Lusher's eyes remained unchanged. But his heart felt slightly certain. Since there really is a second level mutated blood core, it's easy to say. Captain Jian, come in and talk? Just in time to have some tea, Fanny Tong said. Captain Jian, please. He Jun Hong took the initiative to lead the way. He had already arranged tea and other things. After passing through the lobby of the restaurant, they arrived at the backyard of the restaurant. There is a small bridge and flowing water here, and in the middle is a pavilion with tables and chairs inside. Several neatly dressed girls were standing nearby. As soon as they saw Jiang Lu Shi and the others coming, they immediately walked over gently and opened the seats for them. After helping them sit down, they brought tea. Jiang Lu Shi held the warm tea cup, glanced at the clear tea, and said, Make a price. Ha ha. Captain Jiang is really impatient. Fanny Tone smiled heartily. He was sitting on the chair, with his toes just reaching the ground. It looked funny, but a girl took the initiative to kneel next to him, and he stepped on her thin back. Footsteps. The girl lowered her head and remained silent, with no expression on her face. Fanny Tone stepped on the girl's back and knocked on the table with one hand, saying, This thing is not easy to get. In order to get this, I killed five people and destroyed a car. Captain Jiang must also know that no survivor team will specifically hunt down the second level mutant zombies. Even if Brother Hong helps you let this news out, if there is not enough price, no one will be interested. What's more, I'm not bragging. There are only a few teams in Jiangning that have the ability to hunt down level 2 mutated zombies. My team is one of them, Fanny Tong said very leisurely. It doesn't make any sense for you to hold this second level blood core. Since it is useless, just charge a reasonable price. Do you mean to charge a high price by saying this? Jiang Zhuying frowned and said. Fanny Tong's posture made her very unhappy. And his tone was also uncomfortable. Beauty, what you said is wrong. As long as there is demand for a product. It has meaning. As for setting a high price, I can honestly say that this thing is not easy to come by. And the price is indeed not too cheap. If you are not interested in my products, you can post the news and see if any team is willing to take your order. Fanny Tong, the old god, sat on the ground, snapped. Fanny Tong was stunned for a moment and watched Jian Lusher pat something on the table. What is it? Fanny Tong suddenly became vigilant, watching Jian Lusher's every move. Jian Lusher took away his palm, and a mutated blood core was placed on the table. Fanny Tong's heart skipped a beat, and he quickly reached for his pocket. It's not his mutated blood core. His is still in his pocket. Fanny Tong looked at the mutated blood core that Jian Lusher took out strangely. This blood core was obviously more powerful than his one. This is from a level 2 mutated zombie I just killed yesterday. Jian Lusher said with a calm tone and a calm demeanor. As if he was talking about what he ate last night. He Jun Hong's eyes narrowed slightly. If he had known that Jian Liusher's team had this kind of strength. When what happened yesterday? 
he would not have gone in to ask questions, but would have gone in and apologized sincerely. Fanny Tung's expression froze a little. This person actually has a mutated blood core? He looked at Jian Lusher and had an updated judgment on the strength of Jian Lusher's team. The mutated blood core is not that difficult to get, Jian Lusher said lightly, and put the mutated blood core away in front of everyone. Fanny Tong was silent for a moment, then suddenly laughed and said, Captain Jiang is really awesome, but buying and selling is a matter of your own free will. In fact, there is a buyer today, and he should be here soon. Right. Are there any buyers? Jian Lusher frowned. Who else would be interested in the mutated blood core? Jian Lusher looked at He Jun Hong. He Jun Hong's expression also changed. When Jian Lusher took out the mutated blood core, he thought Fanny Tong would be suppressed. But he didn't expect that he would have a buyer. No wonder it's so laid back. Captain Jiang, I don't know, He Jun Hong said in a low voice. Fanny Tong, a treacherous man, had already found a buyer but did not tell him, which made Jian Lusher unhappy. Jian Lusher knew that Fanny Tong was waiting for a price. At this time, there was a rumbling sound of an engine outside the gate. After a rough inspection, he found that there were three vehicles in total. One was a small vehicle, and the other two were estimated to be of large tonnage. Hey, I'm here now. Captain Jiang, please wait a moment. Fanny Tong stood up and walked out of the pavilion with a smile. Soon, a burst of powerful footsteps approached. Jiang Lusha raised his eyes and paused slightly while holding the teacup. The group of people who arrived were all loaded with guns and ammunition, wearing camouflage uniforms, with straight backs and cold eyes. At first glance, they were different from the survivors inside and outside the pavilion. The difference between regular troops and motley crews. The leader was an officer who was walking like a dragon and a tiger. He looked about 40 years old and exuded a tough aura. It turns out to be the army. Jian Lusher understood clearly. Apart from him. The only people who were interested in the mutated blood corps were the army. These officers and soldiers who came should be from the Jiangning safety zone. Jiang Lusher originally thought it would take a few days before heading to the safe zone. But he didn't expect to meet people from the Jiangning military region so soon. Still in this way. Chapter 495 Lu Tianyu It's Lu Tianyu! He Junhong's expression changed. Do you know him? Jiang Lusher asked. He Junhong nodded. The Jiangning safe zone is very closed. But the troops inside will also come out to perform tasks and conduct transactions with us. Among them, Captain Lu Tianyu is the most famous. The serious regiment under his command is actually more than 2,000 people. And their own strength is also very strong. It is said that they tore apart a second-level mutant beast without any damage. He Junhong said. A trace of fear flashed in his eyes. Lu Tianyu is here to purchase the second-level mutated blood core on behalf of the army. Captain Jiang. I think the situation is not good. To the military, the team of superpowers are nothing more than survivors. Not on the same scale at all. He Jun Hong said this to excuse himself. He couldn't be blamed for not getting the second level mutant blood core this time. Jianning's army is very intimidating to survivors. And ordinary survivors cannot even enter the gate of the safe zone. If a team of superpowers wants to join the safe zone, in addition to going through layers of review, they also need to fully obey the command of the army. It is equivalent to joining a non-staff team and being controlled by the army. This is completely different from other safe zones. Whether it is Zhonghai safe zone or Xiaoyuan safe zone. They are both forms of cooperation between the army and the team of superpowers. People with superpowers have gone from ordinary people to possessing unimaginable abilities. Naturally, few are willing to be restrained by this. Therefore, there is the Hejiang town market. And there are many survivors living in other corners of Jiangming. Captain Lu! I have just brewed a pot of good tea. I am waiting for Commander Lu to arrive. Hurry up and sit here. Fanny Tong greeted him with a smile. Lu Tianyu was tall. And Fanny Tong was even shorter in front of him. Lu Tianyu looked coldly and just nodded. A waitress brought tea to Lu Tianyu's seat. Lu Tianyu picked up the tea cup. Drank it in one gulp as if drinking wine. And then placed the cup heavily on the table. How is it? I wonder if Commander Lu is satisfied. Fanny Tong asked with a smile. I'm not here to chat with you. Lu Tianyu had no expression at all. He doesn't really pay attention to these survivors at all. When these people have a little bit of power, they inflate themselves. But in Lu Tianyu's eyes, their power was nothing more than wild tricks. Fan Tong laughed indifferently. He saw Lu Tianyu glance at Jiang Lusher and said quickly, Captain Jiang, this is Captain Lu of our Jiangming safe zone. Like you, we are all looking for the second level mutated blood core. 
Come. Lu Tianyu glanced at Jian Lusher unexpectedly, then snorted coldly and said, Fanny Dong, you don't need to play such tricks. This method will only make people laugh. He thought Jian Lusher was the one who was summoned by Fanny Tong. The mutated blood core currently has no effect on people with superpowers. So why would anyone with superpowers want to buy it? Captain Lu, you don't have to believe it. Captain Jian is really here to buy the mutated blood core. As for who will buy it, I can't say for sure. Fanny Tong said with a smile. Lu Tianyu smiled coldly, obviously not believing Fanny Tong's words. He didn't even bother to look at Jiang Lusher. He wanted to see how Fanny Tong wanted to show off. You? Jiang Zhuying was a little unhappy, but was stopped by Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher just smiled and didn't bother to refute. He didn't come here to convince Lu Tianyu. Being blocked by Jiang Lusher, Jiang Zhuying still felt uncomfortable and muttered, You are the one who cares. Lu Tianyu heard Jiang Zhuying's words keenly. He glanced at Jiang Zhuying and his eyes changed slightly. Level 2 Superpower Jiang Zhuying has not yet reached the point where she can control her whole body's aura like Lu Chengfei. People who are not much different from her in strength can sense the strength of her powers. And Jiang Zhuying's superpower strength is exactly level 2. There are real level 2 superpowers in Hejiang town. And they were actually invited by Fan Yitong. Lu Tianyu was still a little concerned about Jiang Zhuying. It seemed that Fanny Tong really wanted the lion to open his mouth, and even specially found a second-level superpower to come and take charge. But just a second-level superpower who wants to resist the entire serious group? This is absolutely impossible. Just based on Lu Tianyu himself, he has the confidence to fight Jiang Zhuying. Since both of you are impatient, let's not beat around the bush. The highest bidder will get this second-level mutated blood core. You two can set your own price. Lu Tianyu glanced at Jiang Zhuying, and saw that neither Jiang Zhuying nor Jiang Lusher said anything. He said in a deep voice, Five rifles. Two thousand rounds of ammunition. This price is already very high. Captain Lu, the price of the second level mutant crystal core is more than this. Fanny Tong shook his head. Before Fanny Tong could finish speaking, Jiang Lusher had already spoken. Five guns. Five thousand rounds of ammunition. Plus five tons of mutated animal meat. In his storage space, he collected a lot of guns and a lot of mutated beast meat. Lu Tianyu raised his brows, and his fierce aura suddenly broke out. He held the teacup and paused on the table. Suddenly, a circular depression was left on the marble tabletop, and the teacup in his hand turned into powder the moment he let go. Fanny Tong, just tell me the price and don't make any nonsense, Lu Tianyu said slowly. Jiang Lusher glanced at the depression lightly, with a smile on his lips. This move was to intimidate him and Fanny Tong. Fanny Tong smiled. This was his territory after all. And there was no way the military would come and rob it or buy and sell by force. In that case, I'll tell the truth. What I really want is more than weapons and the like. It's the crystallization of evolution. Fanny Tong said with a smile. Lu Tianyu snorted. The army would not take out the evolutionary crystal easily. This Fanny Tong was really ambitious. Jiang Lu frowned. Are you kidding me? He gave a higher price. But Fanny Tong proposed the need for evolutionary crystallization. Captain Jiang, what you said is too much. Since it's a sale. Of course, I have to put forward my own requirements. Captain Jiang, you don't have what I want. Is that my problem? Fanny Tong still said with a smile on his face. Said, how could the survivor team get the evolutionary crystal? Uh-huh. Jiang Lusher smiled coldly. He stretched out a hand and slowly opened it. There were several crystal clear crystals lying in the palm of his hand, exuding powerful energy. Fanny Tong's eyes were suddenly dazzled, and he stared at these crystals intently. Lu Tianyu was also stunned. The crystallization of evolution? It is true that the average team of survivors cannot produce evolutionary crystals, but Jiang Liosher's base vehicle has an energy extraction laboratory, and these evolutionary crystals can be produced at any time. These evolutionary crystals were produced by him in the past few days, and have not been distributed to the team members. Unexpectedly, they were taken out at this time. Chapter 496 I Want Something Fanny Tong found it unbelievable. Jiang Lusher just took out something like an evolutionary crystal? And there's more than one. He, Jun Hong, and Sister Qian were also watching dumbfounded. Wondering what else Captain Jiang didn't have. He actually has secondary mutated blood cores, and even evolutionary crystals. A trace of pride appeared on Jiang Zhuying's face and she looked at Fanny Tong with disdain. How could this man know what his brother was capable of? Although Jiang Zhuying didn't know where this evolutionary crystal came from, 
There were already many secrets in her brother's body. She was not interested in knowing these secrets. As long as her brother got stronger and stronger, she would be satisfied. Fanny Tung looked at these evolutionary crystals with great enthusiasm, and then glanced at Lu Tianyu. Ha ha! Captain Jiang is really rich. How about Captain Lu? Captain Jiang has already produced the evolutionary crystal. Fanny Tung's fat face almost burst into laughter. Lu Tianyu withdrew his surprised gaze and said in a deep voice, I will produce an evolutionary crystal. Although the number of secondary mutated blood cores is rare, they are only used for research purposes by the military. But the evolution crystal is different. There are many people with superpowers in the army, and the evolution crystal is simply not enough. How can it be easily taken outside and used to trade with these survivors? What about Captain Jiang? Fanny Tung rubbed his hands and looked at Jiang Lusher with a smile. Like a hungry ghost seeing fat. He had already seen that Jiang Lusher was determined to obtain this second level mutated blood core for some reason. Jiang Lusher glanced at Fanny and said lightly, I'll give you two. Fanny Tung rolled his eyes and asked Lu Tianyu, Captain Lu, if you are not more generous, this mutated blood core will belong to Captain Jiang. Lu Tianyu looked coldly and said nothing. The two evolutionary crystals had exceeded the army's budget. So Lu Tianyu naturally withdrew. Seeing this, Fanny Tong showed a satisfied smile and said enthusiastically to Jiang Lu Shur, Okay, deal. Since Captain Jiang is so happy, then I, Fan, must also be happy. Ha ha! Fanny Tong couldn't help laughing. He Jun Hong watched from the side, feeling blocked in his heart. Two evolutionary crystals made Fanny Tong feel happy. Lu Tianyu looked on with cold eyes. This second level mutated blood test was completely useless against survivors. He didn't know why Jian Lusher paid such a high price to buy it. Captain Jiang, let's complete the deal quickly. Fanny Tong said impatiently. Snapped. Two evolutionary crystals were thrown on the table. Fanny Tong's eyes lit up, and he quickly reached out to grab them. Wait a minute. Where is the mutated blood core? Jiang Zhuying stretched out his hand and said rudely, Ha ha. Give it to Captain Jiang. Here it is. Fanny Tong took out the second level mutated blood core and handed it to Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Zhuying glanced at him disdainfully. After taking the mutated blood core, he gave it to Jiang Lusher as if it were a treasure. Brother, here you go. With the mutated blood core in hand, Starseed immediately started scanning. Level 2 mutation energy detected. Jiang Lusher was convinced, and a smile appeared in his eyes. With two second level mutant blood cores in hand, the hardest part is ready. The evolution of the base vehicle is just around the corner. Fanny Tong eagerly grabbed the two evolutionary crystals and actually felt the energy contained in the evolutionary crystals. Fanny Tong smiled so much that his eyes narrowed into slits. Captain Jiang, happy transaction. Happy transaction. Fanny Tong held the two evolutionary crystals, but his eyes couldn't help but glance at Jiang Liosher's palm. Jiang Liosher's hand still held several evolutionary crystals. Now that Lu Tianyu was present, Fanny Tong only glanced at him and then withdrew his gaze as if nothing had happened. Lu Tianyu watched from the side, shaking his head slightly in his heart. Jiang Lusher has survived in the apocalypse for so long, but he doesn't know that wealth cannot be revealed. I have something to ask you. Lu Tianyu suddenly asked Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher glanced at him, a little surprised. What could Commander Lu have to ask him? Where did you get so many evolutionary crystals? Where did you come from? Lu Tianyu asked. Hearing Lu Tianyu's words, Jiang Lusher had no reaction. But Fanny Tong's heart skipped a beat. He actually also doubted the origin of Jiang Liosher's evolutionary crystals. It was difficult for the survivor team to obtain so many evolutionary crystals. Of course, this did not mean that it was impossible to obtain them. But because the amount was very small, they usually ate them after they got them. How could this happen? Save so much in your hands? Now Lu Tianyu suddenly raised this question. If these evolutionary crystals really came from a wrong origin, Fanny Tong is not worried about being affected. He just paid the money and delivered the goods. He will never take out the evolutionary crystals he got. But what's left in Jiang Liusher's hands? Isn't he unable to get his hands on it? Jiang Liusher looked calm and composed. I don't need to tell you where my evolutionary crystal came from. Right. That's right. Why should my brother tell you? Jiang Zhuying also frowned. Someone actually wanted to explore Jiang Liusher's secret. And Jiang Zhuying was very wary of this. Lu Tianyu's expression changed. He suspected that Jiang Liosher's evolutionary crystals had been stolen from a certain safe zone or robbed. But he also felt that the army was heavily guarded and the possibility of such a thing happening was too small. So he did not immediately ask a question. 
but he didn't expect Yang Lushu to speak so disrespectfully. In Lu Tianyu's eyes, these groups of survivors have always been a mob. The place of Hejiang town was in a state of chaos caused by these groups of survivors. Lu Tianyu looked down upon these survivors at all. So how could he tolerate Jiang Liuxiu's arrogance? As for the little girl, Lu Tianyu would not get angry with the girl. Seeing that Lu Tianyu was about to get angry, Fan Yitong quickly intervened to smooth things over. Captain Lu, if you have this thing in your hand, it belongs to you. Why are you asking about its origin? The safe zones are all integrated. If it is really related to other safe zones, I will not sit idly by and ignore it. Lu Tianyu looked at Jian Lusher and said solemnly. Fan Yitong coughed and said, Captain Lu, after all, this is a Jiang town, a place built and managed by us ourselves. Although Commander Lu has great hands and eyes, it's not easy to interfere with things in a Jiang town. Right. Are you saying that I have nothing to do with your affairs in a Jiang town? Lu Tianyu asked sharply. Fanny Tone smiled. That's what you said. He said this but stopped talking, obviously acquiescing to Lu Tianyu's words. Lu Tianyu smiled coldly. Okay. He glanced at Jiang Lu Shi. But was glared at by Jiang Zhuying. What are you looking at? Didn't you hear what he said? Jiang Zhuying said unceremoniously. Fanny Tong also sounded depressed. He had already offended Lu Tianyu. But this girl was even more angry. For fear that he would not offend him hard enough. He had secretly decided that all the losses this girl had caused him would be repaid to him. From the looks of it, it will definitely fetch a high price. Many superpowers are obsessed with strong and beautiful female superpowers. At this time, Jiang Lusher spoke. He played with the evolutionary crystal in his hand and said, If that's the case, then I'm relieved. Fanny Tong chuckled, thinking that this boy was still too young. He just choked Lu Tianyu with his words, and Jiang Lusher was really relieved. Fanny Tong would feel sorry for himself if such a person was not shady. Captain Jiang is now my guest. Fanny Tong, if Captain Jiang needs anything, just ask. I will never neglect Captain Jiang. Fanny Tong said with a smile. Jiang Lusha raised his head and looked at him. Then I really need something. Ha uh ha. -huh. Captain Jiang. Just say it. Jiang Liuxia's eyes suddenly turned cold. Your head. Fanny Tong's expression suddenly changed. At this time, a pistol suddenly appeared in Jiang Liuxia's other hand. And the black muzzle was pointed at his head. You are looking for death. Fanny Tong yelled. But his reaction was not slow at all. He suddenly turned over the marble tabletop in front of him and blocked it between him and Jiang Liuxia. The tabletop landed heavily with a loud noise. But Jiang Lusher had already jumped back to avoid it. Ah! Amidst the screams of the waitresses, Fanny Tong's men raised their guns and started shooting. What are you doing? Lu Tianyu reacted immediately and took his people to the side. Watching the gun battle between Jiang Lusher and Fanny Tong, Sister Hong also screamed in fright and was quickly pulled aside by He Jun Hong. He looked at the scene in front of him in shock. He didn't expect that Jiang Lusher would take action directly. Jiang Zhuying hid behind the pillar. She didn't need a gun, but raised her hand, and there were already pulses of electric current in her palm. This electric current surged through the crowd, and everyone who was touched by the electric current screamed and fell to the ground in convulsions. Very strong! Lu Tianyu frowned. He thought that this girl was Fan Yidong's backer before. Although his guess was wrong now, it only changed from Fan Yidong's backer to Jiang Liuxia's backer. Jiang Liuxia has such a sister. No wonder he is so arrogant. However, at this moment, Lu Tianyu glanced at Jiang Lusher and was stunned. Jiang Lusher stood in the pavilion, shooting under the cover of the pillars. From Lu Tianyu's point of view, Jiang Lusher was just shaking his body at an extremely slight angle at will, without even locking his sights on the enemy. However, every time Jiang Lusher fired a random shot, a muzzle would appear on someone's head and they would collapse to the ground limply. In a very short period of time, Jiang Lusher had fired continuously and he had killed more people than Jiang Zhuying. Although Jiang Zhuying is a level 2 superpower, her strength cannot be truly reflected in such a place lacking cover. No matter how strong she is, her body cannot stop bullets. Lu Tianyu was surprised. This Jiang Lusher had only slight fluctuations in supernatural powers. But his marksmanship was so terrifying. It was as if he could see where others were moving. As soon as he fired, the enemy seemed to bump into the muzzle of his gun. Depend on! Fanny Tong hid in the corner and cursed in his heart. He brought so many people here. But as soon as they fought, they were suppressed by the two opponents. What a h l. Moreover, one of the opponent's marksmen is incredibly good, while the other's electric current kills him and hurts him when he touches it. 
The superpower on his side doesn't even have a chance to take action. But this restaurant is his territory. He has always been cunning. So why would he only bring this few people here? Bang bang bang. Bullets flew in front of the pavilion. And the bricks above suddenly fell continuously. Jian Lusher quickly glanced upward and saw a dozen more figures at the window upstairs. At this time, two figures suddenly jumped out of the window, landed directly on top of the pavilion like dexterous apes, and then punched down hard. Boom! Bricks and tiles fell wildly, and two superpowers jumped out from the debris. Still want to make a sneak attack? Jiang Zhuying reached out and grabbed the two people, and a power grid immediately wrapped them around them. The crackling electric light flashed, making Fanny and others outside feel numb. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Jiang Lusher had already raised the muzzle of his gun and fired a burst of shots upward. Several figures immediately fell from the window, and blood spattered on the glass window. A sneak attack not only failed, but also killed several people. Hold on for a while. Someone will come to support us soon. Fanny Tong shouted. A Jiang town is so big, and the gunfire here will soon attract his accomplices. Moreover, although Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying were fierce, they were still trapped in the pavilion and could not get out. If this continues, neither side will be able to do anything for the time being. It's not that easy to take advantage of others. Lu Tianyu looked at Jiang Lusher and shook his head. He had already stood in a safe place with his officers and soldiers. And he now knew what Jian Lusher meant when he said, Then I'll feel relieved. Since the military would stand by and watch, he could feel free to take action. But Jian Lusher was too confident in himself. And the two of them wanted to kill dozens of people on Fan Yi's side. Once the bullets are empty, Jian Lusher will lose his combat effectiveness. Fanny Tong clearly knew this. Although the sneak attack just now failed, Jian Zhuying and Jian Lusher had more targets to avoid and shoot and the space for dodge was smaller. If this continues, the situation will reverse sooner or later. At this moment, Fanny Tong's ear suddenly moved. He turned his head and looked at the wall behind him. Why did he seem to hear something? At this moment, a huge sense of crisis suddenly struck. At the same time, Lu Tianyu also noticed something and suddenly raised his head and looked at the wall behind Fanny Tong and others. Boom! A loud bang that shattered the eardrum suddenly came. Along with a loud noise, bricks and stones flew, and the wall seemed to be pushed inwards by a huge force. And this huge force instantly penetrated those fanny domes men closest to the wall. They were thrown out like rag sacks, hitting their companions. These people didn't even have time to scream, before they turned into puddles of flesh. On the ground, a mark appeared as if it had been plowed by a giant beast. Lu Tianyu's expression changed drastically. He looked at the white object that appeared behind the collapsed wall in disbelief. As the dust dispersed, the white object revealed its true appearance. The front face of a minibus was facing the courtyard coldly. Chapter 497 I Am Innocent Fanny Tong fell to the ground and groaned. Stunned by the sudden attack, he looked at the minibus. Isn't this Jiang Liosher's car? Is it this car that caused such a big battle? If he hadn't experienced it himself, Fanny Tong would really not believe it. Lu Tianyu looked at Jiang Liosher in surprise when he thought that Jiang Liosher's trump card was that he had a sister with a second-level superpower. He showed his own strength. When Lu Tianyi recognized Jiang Liosher's marksmanship, another car appeared. A team of survivors would actually bring him so many surprises. He clearly saw a gun barrel slowly retracting on the front face of the minibus. The terrifying attack just now was a terrifying air current. Although he was standing in a safe place, he still felt the air flow. If it was a head-on collision, he was not confident that he could completely avoid it. But if there was a collision, Fanny Tong would be the end of it. Fanny Tong was like a leaking blood bag. His whole body was stained red with blood, and the internal organs in his body seemed to have been displaced. At this time, the figures upstairs suddenly screamed, and behind them, a figure appeared like a ghost, and a sharp dagger instantly slashed across the back of their necks. Bang, bang, bang. A burst of intense gunfire appeared immediately. And Sue? John Hai and Sun Kuan held guns, stuck their heads out of the window, and shouted at the bottom, Brother Jiang, it's done! These grandsons think they are safe hiding here! John Hai and Sun Kuan's abilities can be directly used to climb walls. Zero, on the other hand, sneaked in directly and was faster than them. Hearing the noise coming from upstairs, Fanny Tong's eyes turned completely gray. He watched helplessly as Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuing walked over. You are cruel enough, ah! Fanny Tong's wrist was suddenly stepped on by Jian Lu Shi. Under the severe pain, his fingers opened involuntarily, twitching and shaking. 
and two evolutionary crystals rolled out. Under the witness of Fanny Tong, Jian Lusher picked up the two evolutionary crystals. Jian Lusher glanced at Fanny Tong and sneered. You don't even want to see if you have the ability to speak like a lion. Fanny Tong was so greedy that Jian Lusher could see the greed in his eyes without Ran Shiyu needing to sense him. Jian Lusher didn't feel anything wrong in attacking such a person. Jian, you, brother, I'll kill him. Jiang Zhuying interrupted Fan Yitong directly, seeing the electric current appearing on Jiang Zhuying's palm. Fan Yitong struggled desperately to crawl back, with a look of fear on his face. Zitzi. Ah! At this time, Jiang Lusher turned and looked at Lu Tianyu and others. Lu Tianyu had already put away his surprise. When he saw Jiang Lusher, he said calmly, I won't care about the business of you survivors. After saying that, Lu Tianyu waved his hand and prepared to leave with his soldiers. Wait! Jian Lusher said. Lu Tianyu frowned. What else could he say to Jian Lusher? I just have something to ask you. What do I need to enter your military area? Jian Lusher asked. When I was in the Star City Base City before, an accident occurred because I didn't understand the local warlord separatist situation. Having this experience, after thinking about it, Jian Lusher did not directly tell the story about the two Professor Su, but raised this question to Lu Tianyu. Lu Tianyu was stunned for a moment and then said, I thought you wanted to do something. Do you want to join the safe zone? So be it. Lu Tianyu twitched the corner of his mouth and said, The safety zone is strictly managed, and not just anyone can enter. The army is not a place where filth and evil are hidden. There were many people who wanted to come in because they had some ability. They all failed. Don't waste your efforts. Jian Lusher had just struck decisively, fiercely and neatly. But Lu Tianyu didn't think there was anything wrong with him taking advantage of others. This is what happens among survivor teams. However, because of this, Lu Tianyu looked down upon the survivor team even more. There are too few survivors who can actually join the army. Although Jian Lusher has some strength, it is not easy to join the army. You must know that in the army, like Lu Tianyu, there are many people who are dissatisfied with the survivor team. Otherwise, how could the Jiangming safety zone be so closed? What do you mean by that? You can at least apply? That's okay. As for whether I can join, you don't have to worry too much. Jian Lusher nodded. Jian Lusher just needed a chance to enter the safe zone and see the situation. But when Jian Lusher said this, Lu Tianyu suddenly felt even more dissatisfied with him. It seemed that Jian Lusher didn't take his word seriously at all, and really thought that the safe zone was a place where he could enter at will. If you are too young, you will not know how high the sky is. Just applying is still far from entering the safe zone. Lu Tianyu said coldly. Retreat! Lu Tianyu strode away with his soldiers. It's none of his business whether we want to go to the safe zone or not. He didn't open the safe zone alone. Jiang Zhuying walked up to Jiang Lusher, made an unhappy face at Lu Tianyu's back, and said, Okay, our main goal is to send the two professors in safely. Jiang Lusher said, What Jiang Zhuying said just now is quite right. The safe zone does not belong to Lu Tianyu. So Jiang Lusher doesn't care much about Captain Lu's attitude. Captain Jiang. He Jun Hong and Sister Qian came over together. At this moment, He Jun Hong was completely convinced of Jiang Lusher. And he was convinced. He has no other thoughts at all now. Captain Jiang, you have dealt with this piece of shit Fanny Tong. Now as long as Luo Feng is obedient, Captain Jiang has the final say in Hijiang town. From now on, I am willing to work hard under Captain Jiang. He Jun Hong said excitedly. He had been suppressed by Fanny Tong and Luo Feng for a long time. And now he felt very happy to see them unlucky. And holding Jiang Liuxer's thigh tightly will definitely bring only advantages and no disadvantages. Not only he Ju Hong, but also Sister Qian's eyes were shining when she looked at Jiang Liuxer. And she moved closer to Jiang Liuxer intentionally or unintentionally, exposing the deep white ditch and dangling in front of Jiang Liuxer. You are mistaken. Jiang Liuxer frowned. I have no interest in the Jiang town. Huh? He Ju Hong was stunned. Does Jian Lusher really want to enter the safe zone? However, he was not qualified to ask about this kind of thing. I will find materials for Captain Jiang as soon as possible. And the news has been released now. He Jun Hong bought it at a high price. And of course, he would subsidize part of it himself. Only in this way can everything be collected as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. Jian Lusher nodded. That's right. Jian Lusher suddenly thought of someone. But then he said nonchalantly. It's okay. Please pay more attention to the two girls who were with me before. And their team. Jian Lusher still admires Wei Feifei. 
He Ju Hong nodded quickly. Captain Jiang, don't worry. From now on, they can live anywhere in Hejiang town without paying any commissions or tickets. I will always reserve the best house for them to stay in. Since she was the girl next to Jiang Lushe, how could Yi Jun Hong dare to neglect her? Captain Jiang got what he wanted today and saw Fan Itong. How about I cook in person tonight and invite Captain Jiang as a guest to relax? Sister Qin said with a smile. Her pair of big breasts were squeezed on Jiang Liuxer's arm, and the fragrant breeze filled his nostrils. Honey almost flowed from Jiang Liuxer's eyes when he looked at her. He Jun Hong watched from the side. His eyes flashed, and he said quickly, Yes, there is a local wine in Jiangning, which is very strong. I also saved a box. Captain Jiang must try it. One or two women. He didn't care at all. As long as Jiang Liuxer likes it, he can send all the beautiful women here to Jiang Liuxer's bed. No need. My taste is relatively light. And when it comes to food, I'm more accustomed to eating what we cook ourselves, Jiang Lusher said. Ha ha. That's true. The food we have with Captain Jiang is definitely incomparable. He Junhong laughed. Sister Qian showed a hint of disappointment in her eyes. At this time, Zhang Hai and Sun Kun had already carried down the guns of those people upstairs. When they got to the yard downstairs, they were gearing up again. Hurry up and put everything away. Don't throw away the damaged ones. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun rushed towards the gun scattered on the ground as if they had seen two beauties. Fanny Tung's body was not spared and searched. After this transaction, Jiang Lusher not only got nothing, but also got a bunch of guns and ammunition, and the most important second level mutated blood core. Fanny Tung was so angry that he came to life after hearing this. Elder brother! Jiang Zhuying followed Jiang Lusher to the minibus and said mysteriously, I think that Sister Qian is very interesting to you. She can't wait to throw herself into your arms. As for He Jun Hong, I think he is quite happy. Jiang Zhuying was still young, so she could clearly see these things from the sidelines. What's wrong? Who wants to throw himself into Brother Zhang's arms? Li Yusin stood at the door of the car and asked curiously. It's nothing. It's all Zhuying's nonsense. He's a kid but a ghost. Jiang Lusher said angrily. I'm too young. Jiang Zhuying immediately protested. Ran Shiyu's beautiful figure appeared faintly at the side. A pair of gray eyes seemed to have seen the depths of Jiang Liuxer's eyes. She said lightly, Zhuying is not lying. That woman really wants to throw herself into his arms. Not only wants to throw herself into his arms. To give you a hug. She even thought about treating you to dinner and drinks. And then while she was drunk, she would spend time with you. At this point, Ran Shiyu was so thin-skinned that she couldn't continue talking. So she turned around and went back to the car. Jian Lusher was embarrassed. Even he himself didn't know that Sister Qian had such detailed thoughts in her mind. It seems that I need to discuss with Ran Shiyu and decide not to use this mental telepathy all the time. Li Yusin also felt shy and blushed after hearing this. I, I'm going to help Zhang Hai and the others get it. There seems to be a lot of stuff. Jian Lusher was even more embarrassed. No matter what. He is innocent. He didn't do anything. Chapter 498 Seeing a Ghost Early the next morning, the minibus left Hejiang town and headed for Jiangming safety zone. The off-road vehicle followed behind, and the two vehicles drove smoothly, one behind the other. It will take some time to collect materials, and Jiangming safety zone is not far from Hejiang town. Hejiang town is considered a suburb, while Jiangming safety zone is located within the urban area. In less than an hour, the two cars drove into the vicinity of Jiangming safety zone. When they arrived here, they immediately felt that it was different from Hejiang town. The atmosphere was even colder. The tall buildings on both sides were silent. And nothing else could be seen on the street except abandoned vehicles pushed to the side of the road. There weren't even zombies. Just blood stains on the walls. At this time, a high cement wall suddenly appeared on the road ahead. This cement wall seems to separate two worlds. One side is the post-apocalyptic ruins. And the other side is the safe zone where many human survivors gather. The high cement wall is still under construction, and scaffolding can be seen in the distance. The gray-white cement wall was almost covered with bloodstains. There were two entrances on the wall with heavy iron doors. There were many firepower points on the cement wall. Through the square holes, Jian Lusher felt that there were many guns aimed at them. There are also gun ports above the wall. As the two vehicles gradually approached the gate, the gun ports also moved with them. Stop! What are you doing? A voice asked from behind the gate. Learn about joining the safe zone. Jian Lusha replied in the car. Through the windshield, he observed the thick cement wall. 
There were many bullet casings scattered at the base of the wall, and the ground was covered with a layer of coagulated plasma so that the original color could not be seen. Wait a moment. After a while, another door opened quietly. After the minibuses and off-road vehicles drove in, several soldiers inspected the vehicles, counted the personnel, and then waved them in. After the vehicle drove in, Jian Lusher discovered that they had only arrived at a parking lot. There are all parked cars here, most of which are military vehicles. Many soldiers are busy here, repairing vehicles, unloading goods, and preparing to set off. Behind the parking lot, there is a taller cement wall. Behind the wall are the buildings, where the real safe zone is. The security is quite high. There were some miscellaneous vehicles where they parked, seeing people standing or sitting next to the car. Jian Lusher guessed that these people might also want to join the team in the safe zone, except for those teams that have established a firm foothold in Hejiang town. The other survivor teams should have a normal life. And joining the army is also an option to survive. A female officer and a group of soldiers were talking to these teams. The officer also saw the newly arrived Shuring team. She made a gesture to the Shuring team to stop and wait. At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly raised his eyebrows. I didn't expect to meet someone I knew here. What a point! When the minibus drove into the parking lot, one of them glanced over casually, and his expression suddenly changed. How could you meet him here? He has escaped here. This person was Yang Chio. When Jiang Lusher came to Jiangning and hunted the second level mutated zombie, he met Yang Chio and his Tianji team. Yang Chio originally wanted to wait for Jiang Liusher's team to be crippled by the second level mutated zombies, and then take advantage of the situation. Unexpectedly, the fighting power of Shi Ying's team was so terrifying that he turned around and ran away on the spot. He fled back to Jiang Town in one breath. But after thinking about it, he still felt uneasy. So he simply fled to the safe zone. You must know what a painful decision it is for people like Yang Chio to join the army. Once he enters the army, his old days of domineering power are over. But when he thought about how Jiang Lusher beat a level 2 mutated zombie to death, Yang Chio was so frightened that he couldn't sit still and finally made this difficult decision. However, this was of no use. Because here he actually met Jiang Lusher again. This is really a ghost. The ghost is still there. With such strong strength, can't you just be a local emperor outside and have to follow him to the safe zone? Yang Chio was going crazy. What's wrong? The female officer frowned when she saw Yang Chio's face turn pale and asked. This Yang Chio has been here for a day, and he always talks in the same way. I have never seen him show such an expression like a mouse seeing a cat. Is he afraid of the new people? Major Wan, I know the new team. Yang Chio thought for a while and said, That's it. I met that team the day before yesterday. They were blocking a team of survivors in a small building. The captain of this team looked gentle and gentle. But in fact he is a big pervert. Look at the beauties he collected in his car. After staying here for a day, Yang Chiu was a psychic psychic. And he had already figured out the character of Major Wan Lan. Who was in charge of the rookie team. Yang Chiu rolled his eyes. And vividly placed all the things he had done on Jiang Liusher's head. As for himself. He said that he acted bravely. And was the target of Jiang Liusher's hatred and pursuit. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, many details would not have been able to be described so smoothly. He doesn't need one lawn to believe everything. As long as he believes a little, it will be enough to save him. Sure enough, one lawn's expression became uglier and uglier the more she listened. Just stay here and don't have any other thoughts, one lawn said coldly. She didn't really believe what Yang Chiu said, but where she was responsible, no one was allowed to cause trouble. Then Major One Lawn walked up to the minibus and asked, who is the captain? Jian Lusher opened the car window. I am. Here. It's best to put away your habit of shouting and killing among the survivors. Major Wan Lan said. Jian Liusher's eyes darkened. I don't know what you heard. It's best not to believe other people's words. Jian Lusher could guess what Yang Chio said without even thinking. He mistook Yang Chio for a fly and did not sweat it immediately after seeing it. But things like flies, even if you ignore them, will dangle in front of you and make some noise which is disgusting. This is an order, not a discussion with you. And I don't need to listen to your explanation. Wan Lan said with a serious expression. She didn't want to know what happened between these groups of survivors. But when you come to the safe zone, you have to be honest. I haven't joined the safe zone yet. Why do you order me? Jian Lusher said calmly. You enter the safe zone and come to me. And you are within my jurisdiction. I give you one last warning. Don't make trouble. Wan Lan said coldly. Jiang Liusher's attitude towards her made her feel unhappy with Jiang Liusher. 
among the remaining survivors. Which one does not have a soft and submissive attitude? You want to join the safe zone, and you still have this temper? And thinking about Yang Chio's fearful reaction, it was definitely not fake. He later said that Jiang Lusher had a cruel character. Now it seems that even if it is not completely true, it is still partly true. Why did you warn my brother? Jiang Zhuying opened the car window and asked angrily. The female major looked at Jiang Lusher like she was a bully, which made Jiang Zhuying very unhappy. Major Wan Lan glanced at her and snorted dissatisfied. She really saw several beauties through the car window. The beauty and temperament of these girls, she thought, were not even comparable to her own. Such beauties are all gathered in such a car. And this car looks like it has a luxurious interior. And it is still a RV. Wan Lan immediately thought of many bad things in her mind. And she even felt that Yang Chiu was not completely talking nonsense. You can get off the car, Wan Lan said. Her first impression of Jiang Lusher was very bad. A total of four teams came in the past two days. In addition to Wan Lan, there were two other officers responsible for the review. What's wrong? Lan Lan, why do you look unhappy? Who provoked you? One of the officers asked with a smile when he saw Wan Lan angrily walking towards the minibus. We are not those survivors yet. I really don't understand why we should accept the survivor team. Wan Lan said speechlessly. That's okay. If you see who you don't like, I'll help you review him. The officer assured him, patting his chest. Everything must be done according to regulations. It cannot be decided just because you don't like it. Another officer said solemnly at this time. Hearing this officer speak, the other officer immediately put down his hand. This officer was about 30 years old and was wearing a thin camouflage uniform, which could not cover his tendons at all. His bronze skin looked like it was made of steel, with scars all over it. He is actually the main person in charge of this review. Captain G is right. After all, the higher-ups have also said that the general trend is that even the survivors who are not accepted into the army will eventually be included in the safe zone. We humans cannot keep shrinking like this. Sooner or later we will have to rebuild. Civilization. The officer said with emotion on his face. Wan Lan pursed her lips, glanced at Ji Xiangming, and said, I'm not saying that I want to deliberately punish him. I just think that person has a bad attitude and is difficult to control. If he doesn't obey orders, joining the army will harm everyone. Isn't it? These survivors believe that the strong is king. As long as they can be convinced, they will naturally obey orders. Commander Ji, give them a good beating in a while. Don't worry about them being dishonest, said the officer. Well, Commander Ji is the most powerful in the first army, and he is not comparable to those wild men. Wan Lan also said with a smile. Don't underestimate these survivors. They have survived in the apocalypse and have accumulated a lot of life and death combat experience. If you underestimate them, you will only suffer yourself. Ji Xiaoming said coldly. How is this possible? Commander Ji, I believe you. Wan Lan blurted out, seeing the strong muscles on Ji Xiaoming's exposed chest. Wan Lan couldn't help but lower her head, her face turning slightly red. Nothing is impossible. Also, Major Wan, don't bring your personal emotions into your work. We are only responsible for reviewing these people. Ji Xiaoming glanced at Wan Lan and said with a frown. He vaguely guessed what happened. This was not the first time. It's just that this time the survivor didn't buy into Wan Lan's fault. He didn't bow his head and obey Wan Lan honestly as she thought. I, I know. Wan Lan's face turned pale. She didn't dare to express her temper to Ji Xiangming. Wan Lan turned around and glanced at the minibus. Jian Lusher and others had just gotten off the bus. As soon as she saw Jian Lusher, Wan Lan's eyes turned cold again. Unexpectedly, she was scolded by Ji Xiangming because of Jian Lusher. How can he compete with Captain Ji? Ji Xiangming was also among the top 10 in the individual combat strength competition held in the army. Not to mention ordinary superpowers. Even the very strong ones may not be able to defeat Ji Xiangming. Ji Xiangming received professional special forces training. And combined with his own abilities, his strength was terrifying. Originally, Wan Lan was just unhappy with Jian Lusher. But now, she couldn't wait to see Jian Lusher receive a lesson. Chapter 499 What A.H. L. Ha ha. What a coincidence. We meet again. Yang Chiu said with a smile when he saw Jian Lusher and others walking over. Some people are really stupid. They offend people as soon as they come here. How can they hang around here like this? Do you think so? Yang Chiu and his men said in a strange tone. As soon as Yang Chiu finished speaking, he saw Jian Liusher's eyes sweeping over. The cold eyes suddenly reminded Yang Chiu 
of the second level mutated zombie that was killed. He couldn't help but feel a shiver in his heart. His face changed slightly, and his body trembled involuntarily. But he quickly came to his senses and said, What? You want to do something? Yang Chiu felt a little angry. Was he still afraid of Jian Lusher in this place? Jian Lusher was already one step behind him. He offended people as soon as he came. Even if he could enter the safe zone, he would be suppressed by him in the future. Sooner or later, he would deal with him. What are you afraid of? It's really pitiful. A dog is fighting against a man's power here. Jian Zhuing said lightly. Jian Lusher just glanced at him. I may not care about the place you desperately want to get in. Don't use your thoughts to speculate on me. Stupid. Seeing Jian Lusher so calm, Yang Chiu felt a little nervous. But seeing Wan Lan and others, he gained confidence again. Here, Jian Lusher didn't dare to take action. Wan Lan also heard the phrase, a dog fights against the power of a man, and suddenly became furious. These people speak so unscrupulously. During the next review, she hoped that Jian Lusher would be beaten to pieces. Otherwise, he would not know how high the sky is. At this moment, the door made a heavy sound and the ground seemed to be shaking slightly. Then, a fleet of steel dragon-like convoys filed in from the gate. There are hundreds of vehicles in total, as well as tanks and armored fighting vehicles. These vehicles were all stained with blood, and the carriages were filled with mutant beasts. The ferocious beast teeth and huge bodies made people frightened at first glance. Huh? General Zong is back! Wan Lan immediately showed a look of surprise. With the return of this army, Jian Lusher is nothing. Ji Xiangming's eyes also lit up, and he directly abandoned the group of survivors and strode towards the army. Jian Lusher and others watched from the sidelines. The vehicles of the convoy were all covered with pits and pits. The people in the vehicles were all tanned and dusty, and their military uniforms were stained with blood. And a general personally leads the army. For some reason, Jian Lusher suddenly thought of the scaffolding in the distance. Before he came here, he thought that the Jiangming safe zone was a small place. But now it seems that it is under construction in full swing and heavily guarded. Su Guangqi and Su Tong probably chose this place not just because it was their hometown. But of course, they wouldn't hide it from Jian Lusher on purpose. They just knew very little information and couldn't be sure of anything. After all, they are scientists, not people in politics or the military. They have no way of knowing the truly secret information. By this time, the soldiers had jumped out of the truck in an armored fighting vehicle at the front. A general in straight military uniform got out. The old general took off his hat. His hair was completely silver. But he still looked energetic. Ji Xiangming came to the old general and immediately gave a straight military salute. Ha ha! Xiao Ji! Why are you reviewing the new team of survivors? General Zhang asked with a smile. Looking back to the commander. Yes! Ji Xiangming replied. Then I'll go over and have a look. I just came back to change my mood. I deal with those mutated beasts and zombies every day. And my heart is heavy. Old General Zhang said. As the old general walked over with Ji Xiangming. Wan Lan suddenly showed a nervous expression. She is just a logistics officer. While General Zhang is a high-ranking officer. Who deserves respect both in terms of status and ability. Seeing the old general coming. Wan Lan immediately cast warning eyes on Jian Lusher and others. The general is here. You'd better be honest. She gave Jian Lusher a special look. Seeing Wan Lan's disgusted eyes, Jian Lusher frowned. He didn't argue with the female officer. And as a result, the female officer became more and more aggressive. The way he looked at him was as if he was looking at something dirty. I work really hard to please you, Jian Lusher said lightly. What did you say? Wan Lan's eyes suddenly widened and she asked angrily. Jian Lusher was openly mocking her in front of her face. Without organization and discipline, survivors like you just gain a little ability and then become lawless. You? At this time, Jian Lusher pointed behind her. Wan Lan's heart skipped a beat, and she immediately closed her mouth and turned away quickly. She looked at Ji Xiangming and General Zhang standing not far behind her with an ugly expression. Why do you hear people being trained as soon as you come here? Who is unorganized, undisciplined, and lawless? Old General Zhang asked with a smile. At this time, General Zhang turned his attention to the survivors. When he saw Jian Lusher, General Zhang was stunned for a moment, and then showed an incredible look of shock. When Jian Lusher saw this old General Zhang clearly, he was also surprised. This is true. What a coincidence. At this time, Wan Lan had already performed a military salute, and then pointed at Jian Lusher and said, Old General Zhang, 
This person is still trying to cause trouble in the safe zone and ignores my warnings. I think this kind of person is not suitable to stay here. Our safe zone. Jian Lusher came to his senses. He looked at Wan Lan with a cold look. I intend to cause trouble? When? Is it making trouble to raise objections to your groundless warning? Do you represent the safe zone? Or do you think you represent authority? Jian Lusher asked. Wan Lan's face became even more ugly. In front of General Zhang. He actually dared to say that to her. You still want to quibble. You are clearly trying to cause trouble. Wan Lan said urgently. How can a person like you help the army? You will only become a rat droppings that spoils the pot of soup. So, you think this team will not bring any positive effects to the army. So you are opposed to them joining the safe zone? Old General Zhang also understood and asked. Wan Lan hesitated for a moment. Then stopped hesitating and nodded. Yes. She was extremely angry. Yang Chiu looked on and gloated. Jiang Lusher spoke too wildly and didn't know how to give in. He offended this woman and now he is finally going to be kicked out. However, Wan Lan's character is really bad. She feels that everyone should listen to her as a matter of course. And no one should be questioned, let alone say bad things about her. Of course, Yang Chiu could easily deal with this kind of woman. He felt more and more that he was lucky to meet such a person who managed the rookie team. Now Jiang Lusher was kicked out, and he could no longer threaten him. Instead, he stayed in the safe zone and grew stronger. Jian Lusher could only take a detour when he saw him in the future. If given the chance, he would kill the fallen stone and avoid future troubles forever. But this team has given me a lot of help. General Zhang walked up to Jian Lusher with a smile and stretched out his hand. Xiao Jiang, we meet again. Old General Zhang. Hey! General Zhang frowned. Old Zhang. Jian Lusher smiled and said again. Only then did General Zhang show a hearty smile and said with a laugh. The end of the world is so chaotic. I didn't expect you and I to meet again. I haven't thanked you properly for your help back then. Those scientists were all delivered safely. Star City. Thanks to you. Thank you. No need. Jian Lusher said. This old General Zhang had cooperated with him in the Zhonghai security zone. Jian Lusher had a good impression of this old General Zhang. Later, after leaving the Zhonghai safety zone, he heard in Star City Bay City that General Zhang personally led the army to conquer the beast's nest and was seriously injured as a result. Judging from General Zhang's condition now, the injury should have healed. I just don't know how he came to Jiangning safe zone. Jiang Lusher thought that everyone in the Zhonghai safety zone had evacuated to the Xiaoyuan safety zone. Seeing Jiang Lusher reminiscing with General Zhang, Wan Lan was completely petrified. Yang Chiu was also petrified. His eyes widened, and a sentence emerged in his heart involuntarily. Really? What the H? L. Chapter 500 Blueprint. At this moment, Jiang Lusher turned to look at Yang Chiu. You and the Major must have arranged a good meal for me. Right. Jian Lusher said lightly, with a trace of murderous intent flashing in his eyes. Yang Chiu's heart thumped, and he quickly said, What do you want to do? In this safe zone, do you still want to kill people? Even if you know the general, you can't act so wantonly. Right. Ji Xiangming, expel them from the safe area. Old General Zhang said. Ji Xiangming's expression changed, but he had to listen to what Old General Zhang said. Wan Lan's face also became very ugly. She did not expect that General Zhang valued Jian Lusher so much. Captain Jian has made considerable contributions to mankind in the apocalypse. Just because he has rescued and escorted scientists, he has passed all inspections. There was anger hidden in old General Zhang's tone. You? Yang Chiu's face turned pale. But no matter if he leaves the safe zone, he will immediately flee far away, even leave Jiangming. At this time, not far behind Jian Lusher, the minibus made a roar. Yang Chiu was extremely horrified. Was he going to hunt him down directly? His legs were completely weak now. He had witnessed the horror of that minibus with his own eyes. But if he didn't leave, Jian Lusher would be in front of him. General, isn't it good to do this? We can't include such a team in the army. Ji Xiangming said to General Zhang. General Zhang shook his head. You don't understand. Even if Yang Chiu's team joins the army, they can't stop Jian Lusher from killing him. The original commissioner Chu was hiding in the core area of the Zhonghai security zone. But he was on Jiang Liusher's blacklist and eventually died suddenly. Get lost. Jiang Liusher looked at Yang Chiu and said calmly. Yang Chiu looked panicked. A trace of killing intent suddenly flashed in his eyes. And he roared. Old Fong. His top thug. Fong Shengjin. Suddenly rushed towards Jiang Liusher. 
Fang Shangjin was tall, and his attack was like a thunderous force. His hands grabbed Jian Liusher's head like giant claws, trying to tear his head off alive. Jian Liusher was already prepared. He dodged slightly to the side and raised the muzzle of his gun. Without looking, he aimed two shots at Fang Shangjin's legs. Blood flowers burst out, and Fang Shangjin groaned suddenly, and his huge body fell to his knees heavily. Yang Chiu didn't even look at the fight between Fang Shangjin and Jian Lusher. A ruthless look flashed in his eyes, and he pounced directly on Wan Lan, who was closest to him. Wan Lan only felt a trance and stood there motionless. At this time, Yang Chiu suddenly screamed. His eyes suddenly blurred, and he collapsed to the ground holding his head. Wan Lan was also knocked to the ground by Yang Chiu and woke up after screaming. She looked at the scene in front of her in disbelief. She felt severe pain everywhere in her body, and her head felt dizzy. At this time, Zhang Hai and Sun Kun had already arrived. Each of them put a gun to the heads of Yang Chiu and Fang Shangjin. And all of Yang Chiu's men looked pale. These people are the first to attack in the safe zone. If we take them out to deal with it, there should be no problem. Right? Jiang Lusher asked. Ji Xiangming had just seen Jiang Liusher's attack, which was swift and decisive. There was also a spiritual power user in his team who firmly suppressed Yang Chiu. Yang Chiu and others are not from the safe zone. As long as they don't kill people in the safe zone. Ji Xiangming has nothing to say. Let's go. Xiao Jiang. We want to have a good chat today. Old General Zhang said. And you. Apologize to Xiao Jiang for what you just said. General Zhang gave Wan Lan an unhappy look. Wan Lan trembled all over and looked at Ji Xiangming for help. Ji Xiangming sighed secretly in his heart. He knew what Wan Lan usually did. I'm sorry. Wan Lan lowered her head and said. This job is not very suitable for her. Let's find another job. General Zhang continued. Wan Lan's body trembled and her face turned extremely pale. Jian Lusher got into old General Zhang's car. A simple military off-road vehicle. The vehicle drove into the gate of the safe zone. Followed by Jian Liusher's off-road vehicle. In the vehicle were two Professor Su. As well as Ran Shiyu and Li Yusin. It turns out that this time you came to our Jianling safe zone to escort scientists again. Old General Zhang said. Thank you very much. There is no doubt about the importance of the two Professor Su. No matter which safe zone they go to, they are extremely valuable assets. General Zhang also felt that his decision just now was correct. Otherwise, Jian Lusher would not invite these two Professor Su. I can't say escort. Jian Lusher shook his head. In fact, if you really want to say it, it was snatched from the Xiaoyuan safe zone. So you're not here to join the safe zone? Old General Zhang asked. After receiving a positive answer, General Zhang showed a hint of disappointment. What a pity. But Xiao Jiang, it is a general trend to join the safe zone in the future. This future may not be too long. Old General Zhang said. Jiang Liusher's heart moved. Is Jiangning safe zone different from other safe zones? While in the car, he also saw construction sites everywhere on both sides of the road. The green belt before the end of the world has been opened up into fields. And many survivors are planting vegetables, fertilizing, and turning the soil. It's not the Jiangming safe zone. But many safe zones we can contact are doing this. Construction. Construct a safe area in a city into a larger area that can accommodate more survivors. Fight for more living space for mankind. General Zhang said expectantly. Region? How big is it? Jian Lusher asked. A super city. Even a province. And finally the whole of China. Old General Zhang's voice was resounding. Jian Lusher showed surprise. When he was in Zhonghai's safe zone, he knew that Zhonghai wanted to counterattack the city. In the Xiaoyuan safe zone. This has been realized. But a crisis occurred in the process. But for the entire safe zone. The crisis is not fatal. Now it seems that safety zones everywhere are constantly expanding. Humanity is really going to counterattack. Old General Zhang said with a sigh. I came to Jiangming safe zone because I obeyed the deployment. Human beings cannot remain passive and beaten. We must reestablish civilized cities and regions. Restore schools and production. And allow ordinary people to enter a normal life order. This process may be difficult. But it is better than not trying at all. I'm already old. In my lifetime. I don't know if I can see the end of the world being eliminated and everything returning to normal. Jian Lusher said nothing. But General Jean laughed to himself. Ha ha. Just kidding. It's impossible to get back on track. The mutations of animals and plants. As well as the mutations of human survivors are all irreversible. Jiang Lusher just nodded after hearing this. It's not that he doesn't believe what General Zhang said. 
It's just that he has seen those zombies and mutant beasts in the end of the world. The powerful ones that have evolved among them are already very difficult to deal with. And these are only discovered by humans. In the heart of those populous cities, in the oceans and rivers, and in the deep mountains, there may be stronger mutant zombies and monsters. And their terror is unimaginable. However, the superpowers among humans are also constantly evolving. But no matter whether he can establish a large area or not, Jian Lusher will always have a foothold if he has star seeds and base vehicles. But Lao Zhang, what do you mean by obeying the deployment? Jian Lusher asked doubtfully. In his impression, there will be no unified government after the end of the world. Only local security zone governments and the military. Only when you have soldiers can you have power. Without soldiers, you can only have a false name at best. And you cannot even hold real power. Although the Zhonghai security zone has fallen, with the prestige of General Zhang, he should still have a lot of military power. Who can deploy him? You don't know yet. But that's right. It hasn't been long since I received the order. This news has not spread to the major safety zones yet. But it should be soon. General Zhang said. Actually, the first region has been established. Jiang Lusher was stunned. The first region has been established? This region is located near the capital before the end of the world. The Huaxia region. Jiang Lusher has been active in the Jiangnan area. It seems that he still knows too little. The capital is located in the north. Before the end of the world, it would take one or two hours to fly from Jianbei, and only five or six hours by high-speed rail. But after the end of the world, it is extremely far away. Unexpectedly, the first human region has been established in the north. Yes, Jiangning's progress is relatively slow. Among the major safety zones, Shunan safety zone has the fastest construction speed, and Yinyun and Xiaoyuan are both pretty good. Although Zhanghai safety zone has fallen, there is also an opportunity for reconstruction. Reconstruction after that, there may be a new region. It will include Jiangning, Xiaoyuan, and the Xingqing base city. There is nothing to hide in this information. General Zhang seems to be drawing a grand blueprint. With an excited look on his old face, Jiang Lusher also has some expectations for these blueprints. But what he was more curious about was the Huaxia region. Even Ran Shiyu showed a look of surprise. Unable to imagine what a large district would look like. But the Huaxia region is too far away. And Jian Lusher would not risk going there just out of curiosity. On the contrary, the human safety zone is developing rapidly. And the base vehicle should also speed up its evolution. Jian Lusher thought to himself, By the way, when I saw you, I thought of your special ability. Mechanical modification. General Jean suddenly said, In the construction of the region, there is a great need for vehicles with superior performance and outstanding defense and attack capabilities. But there's still no way to compare our car with yours. This time, a group of people from the Huaxia region came. Just in time. I want you to meet them too. My modification power. Jiang Lusher frowned. His power was not actually a power at all. So it was naturally impossible for him to help others modify their vehicles. It doesn't matter. It's just a meeting. They also want to know what the status of our survivors is. You should also want to know about the situation in the Huaxia region. Right? Old General Zhang asked. Chapter 501 Jiangning Safe Zone Thank you, General. But there is really no need to communicate with me specifically. Jian Lusher thought for a while, but still rejected General Zhang's proposal. He had no idea what was going on in the Huaxia region and how far the superpowers in it had evolved. Moreover, the other party was not General Zhang after all, and he was interested in his non-existent, modified superpower. So he didn't want it. Good contact rashly. The current strength of the minibus and Shuring team is not enough to fight against the army. Ha ha. Of course, this is based on your personal wishes. General Zhang was a little disappointed. But he had no intention of forcing Jian Lusher. Then you can live in the safe zone with peace of mind. Although it is a bit boring and stuffy here, at least it is safe. If you have any needs or problems here, just come to me and don't have to worry. Old General Zhang said with a smile. Live? Jiang Lusher had no intention of living permanently in the Jiangning safe zone. He handed over the two Professor Su to General Zhang, and he was relieved. As for living permanently, he was relieved. Even the human area is under construction in full swing. How could he just live like this and waste his days? But there is something I really want to ask General Zhang for help with. Jiang Lusher said. Talk about it. General Zhang said immediately. Jiang Lusher said to Professor Su over. Jiangning safe zone is currently lacking such intellectual elites. 
General Zhang wanted to thank Jian Lusher. It would be better if he could help Jian Lusher. I remember there is an airport in Jianning. Right. I want to find some materials on the plane. I just don't know how far it is from Jiamei Airport. Just provide me with the route and situation, Jian Lusher said. In the list of materials he gave He Ju Hong, there were several composite materials that were relatively difficult to find. Although He Ju Hong had tried his best to find it, Jian Lusher still felt that he should be prepared. Now that he met General Zhang, he just brought up this matter. This type of composite materials are widely used in aircraft. As long as you find an aircraft, you have a lot of materials. Now is the second evolution. In the future, more materials will be needed for evolution and upgrade. Jian Lusher feels that it is time to replenish his storage space. It was not easy to collect materials this time. Materials will only become more scarce in the future. So preparations should be made in advance. When passing by Jian Bay, Jian Lusher considered going to Jian Bay Airport, but gave up because of the distance. Jian Bay Airport and Jiangming are completely opposite. Now that others have arrived in Jiangming, Let's go to Jiangning Airport to have a look. You mean Jiangning Airport? General Zhang was stunned for a moment, showing a look of embarrassment. Jiang Liosher's heart moved and he asked, Is Jiangning Airport in use? After the apocalypse, most cities have instantly turned into HL, and airports have naturally lost their function. Jiangning Airport has resumed use? Not completely, but almost, old General Zhang said. Next, General Zhang explained the situation to Jiang Liosher. Now in order to establish a major zone, the first step is to strengthen the connections between the major safety zones. The previous broadcasts were too single, and not every safe zone would publish the real situation and all information on the broadcasts. Now, direct personnel exchanges are carried out through airplanes, and large numbers of survivors can also be transported. The latter is still just an idea for the time being due to aviation fuel and safety reasons. But there is no problem in just transporting some people. Jiangning Airport has been occupied by the army and is being repaired. Moreover, Jiangning Airport is not a big airport to begin with, and air traffic control has been in place before the end of the world. So there are not many planes staying at Jiangning Airport. Nowadays, no place has the ability to build airplanes. So of course the airplanes inside are not allowed to be touched. Jian Lusher nodded to express his understanding, feeling a little disappointed. Now it becomes more difficult to collect the materials. As for the Jiangbei side, we will soon start to recover it. This day will not be far away. It's a pity that the high-speed train from Jiangning to Jiangbei cannot be restored because it cannot provide enough power, said General Zhang. In the apocalypse, transportation is a big problem. Otherwise, General Zhang wouldn't be thinking about Jiang Liosher's modification ability. It would be great if this ability could be used in army building. It's a pity that Jiang Liosher has already expressed his refusal, whether he is unwilling or really can't modify other cars. So Jiangbei will also belong to this region in the future. Li Yusin said in surprise. This is normal. Jiangbei is also considered a medium-sized city with many facilities and industries. There are many survivors. By the way, when the army regains Jiangbei in the future, I hope to take care of a friend I know. Jian Lusha remembered something. He talked about the situation of the small settlement he encountered when passing by Jiangbei and mentioned Luo Ming's name. That's all he could do to help Luo Ming. Luo Ming, I've written it down. Don't worry. Old General Zhang said seriously. General Zhang was a man of great promise. Jian Lusher was relieved when he said this. In this way, Luo Ming will be able to live a better life in the future when the regions are merged. In the last days, it would be good for ordinary people to have such a life. Although I can't help you with going to the airport. If you are just looking for a plane, I can give you some news. Old General Zhang changed the subject and said, Um, a moment later, Jian Lusher and Ran Shiyu left the Jiangning Safety Zone headquarters with a map of the Jiangning area. The two professors Su were personally sent to the Institute of Biological Sciences by General Zhang, and Li Yusin also followed. In Jiangning, there is more than one research institute, and there are several various research institutes, all located behind the general headquarters and under the protection of the military garrison. In terms of safety, Jian Lusher was relieved. There are patrol teams everywhere in the Jiangning Safety Zone. In addition, ordinary survivors coming and going are engaged in cleaning the streets, cleaning up ruins and houses. There are also people who are sorting out clothes, looking for all the clothes in the mall warehouse, picking out clean ones separated by gender and number, and putting them aside. As for brands that are not included in this election, clothes worth thousands of yuan and clothes worth dozens of yuan are piled together in the Jiangming safety zone. Except for the sick, 
the elderly and children who are unable to work. Everyone else cannot be idle and must participate in construction work. When passing by those who were sorting their clothes, Jiang Lusher glanced at Ran Shiyu's eyes and stopped. Are you selling this scarf? Jiang Lusher asked a person who looked like a manager. It's usually allocated. The person in charge shook his head and said. Jiang Lusher thought for a while and took out a piece of chocolate from his pocket. Selling? The steward's eyes lit up. He nodded and said, Sell. Sell. It seems that even in this relatively complete safety zone, food like chocolate is still rare. Even if it's just a small piece. Although clothes are no longer valuable in the end of the world, they are still valuable compared to food. Especially now that it is winter. Warm and clean winter clothes are not easy to come by. And you need to take risks to search in dangerous areas and transport them back. But with this piece of chocolate, you can still buy several items of clothing including this scarf. Jian Lusher picked out a few sweaters, packed them in a bag, and put them in Ran Shiyu's arms. When you XI and comes back, you can choose the color you like, Jian Lusher said. Well, Ran Shiyu hugged such a big bag, like she was hugging a big bear, which made her body even more petite. This, Jian Lusher wrapped the white scarf around Ran Shiyu's neck, the soft scarf wrapped around her fair neck, covering her small ears making her face look even smaller. Ran Shiyu looked at Jian Lusher quietly. Thanks. There's no need to be polite between us. Jian Lusher said with a slight smile. Ran Shiyu felt her ears were a little hot. She just glanced at the scarf. And Jian Lusher thought of a way to buy it for her, and even wrapped it around it for her. A faint throbbing lingered in Ran Shiyu's heart. Only. By the way, Ran Shiyu suddenly asked. Is there anything on the map that General Zhang gave you just now? Oh. This is it. Jian Lusher unfolded the map and showed it to Ran Shiyu. There is a circle drawn on the map. Two helicopters crashed here, and the wreckage should be in this area, Jian Lusher said. Helicopter rotor blades are made of composite materials. Although there is a size difference from the large passenger plane that I imagined to a helicopter all of a sudden, it is better to find the materials than not at all. And according to what General Zhang said, the two helicopters were not flying at a high altitude at that time. So the preservation should be relatively complete. Is this place dangerous? Ran Shiyu asked. Two helicopters crashed down at once. Which is not a safe zone no matter how you think about it. It can't be said to be very dangerous. Jian Lusher said. That place is within the city limits. But not yet the city center. If it's just zombies, there won't be any problem in the minibus. The minibuses have been upgraded so many times. Jian Lusher is still confident in the safety of the minibuses. We won't stay in Jianning for too long. Since there are two ready-made helicopters waiting for us to pick them up, we shouldn't miss them, Jian Lusher said with a smile. Yeah, Ren Shiyu nodded slightly. Since Jian Lusher said this, she would naturally not raise any objections. She also believed in Jian Lusher. The two of them walked slowly on the road in Jianning safe zone, as if they were shopping on the streets before the end of the world. Ren Shiyu hugged the clothes and Jian Lusher walked beside him. He couldn't help but feel a faint sense of warmth in his heart. At this moment, a voice suddenly came from behind. It is indeed you. Chapter 502 The world is so small. There were many people on the street. Jian Lusher and Ran Shiyu didn't pay attention to the people in front and behind them. Unexpectedly, a voice suddenly appeared. From afar. I thought I was wrong. But I didn't expect it was really you. Ran Shiyu. A young woman ran up to Ran Shiyu and said excitedly. She reached out and grabbed Ran Shiyu's hands. Looking at Ran Shiyu in disbelief. This woman was two or three years older than Ran Shiyu and Jian Lusher. She had good facial features and could be considered a beauty. But she was dressed rather bulky and wore an apron. Ran Shiyu was startled. She calmed down and looked at the woman in front of her. And suddenly said in surprise. How could it be you? Shiyu, do you know each other? Jian Lusher asked. She is the daughter of my father's friend. Jian Shaoqiu. Ran Shiyu said. Jian Lusher understood. Ran Shiyu is the crown jewel of the Ran group a true wealthy princess. Her father's friends must be either rich or noble. And the woman in front of her is naturally white, rich and beautiful. Ran Shiyu was really surprised. Jiang Xuchu's father was the CEO of an internet company before the apocalypse. This company was also very famous before the apocalypse. It stands to reason that their family should have been protected and moved in advance. But now look at Jiang Xuchu's appearance. Dressed like Jiang Xiaochu. There were many female workers in the shops on the roadside who were busy such as the ones they saw picking and cleaning clothes when they were buying clothes. Ran Shi, I really didn't expect to see you here. It seems that you are doing well. Great. 
You are even more beautiful than before. Jiang Xiaoqiu said with red eyes. Were you transferred to the Jiangning safety zone? How come I didn't see you until now? Jiang Xiaoqiu asked doubtfully. A hint of sadness flashed in Ran Xiu's eyes. No, there was an accident in our family. Then she shook her head and said, Let's not talk about this anymore. I have now joined a team of survivors. Survivor team? Jiang Xiaoqiu was a little surprised. In her impression, Ran Xiu was still the fragile and proud girl of heaven. How could she join the survivor team that lives on a knife's edge every day? Those teams appear in dangerous areas every day, fighting zombies and mutant beasts. For ordinary people, it is a terrifying and fearful existence. Even the survivors in the Jiangning safety zone, ordinary people would not dare to contact them. Of course, those survivor teams usually don't pay attention to these ordinary people. Jiang Xiaoqiu looked at Ran Shi worriedly. She was so beautiful. Wouldn't she be bullied in the survivor team? Well, yes. Ran Shiyu nodded, showing a rare smile. Jiang Xiaoqiu looked at Jiang Lusher and asked, Then this is your boyfriend? Aw? Ran Shiyu was stunned for a moment, glanced at Jiang Lusher hurriedly, shook his head and said, No, he is the captain of our Shuring team. His name is Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher looked at Ran Shiyu's panic reaction with some amusement. He usually saw Ran Shiyu with an indifferent look, but he didn't expect that she still had such a side. So the captain is your boyfriend. Then I understand. Jiang Xiaoqiu looked relieved. By the way, what's going on at your house? Where are the uncles and aunts? Ran Shiyu changed the topic with a blushing face. Me. My parents are here and live nearby. Jiang Xiaoqiu said. In this case, then I should go see my uncle and aunt. But in this case, who are you? Ran Shiyu felt relieved and then asked doubtfully, since both parents are here, Jiang Xiaoqiu should still be treated as an elite now. Right? It's nothing. I also have hands and feet. I can earn some food by myself. You have joined the survivor team, and it is much harder than me. You still have to risk your life. I am just showing off my strength, Jiang Xiaoqiu said. By the way, do you remember Zhang Haojing? Jiang Xiaoqiu asked. Remember? Ran Shiyu frowned and asked. Why are you asking him? It's nothing. It's just that he is also in the Jiangming safe zone. You should be careful not to meet him. Ah, I have to go back to work. You must come again. I still have a lot to say to you. By the way, this is for you. Secretly, Ran Shiyu felt a heavy weight in her pocket. And then Jiang Xiaoqiu ran back in a hurry. Ran Shiyu watched Jiang Xiaoqiu run back to his shop. Then picked up a bag of dirty dry food and began to clean the outer packaging. I don't know what those dirty things are. I can smell the faint odor from such a distance. It should be unbearable if I get close. Jiang Lusher glanced at Ran Shiyu. Ran Shiyu freed up a hand, reached into his pocket, and then took out a small bag of gummy candies. Jiang Xiaoqiu probably secretly slipped it out after seeing her, and then gave it to her. She was living a very bad life herself. And they gave her candy. Maybe she thinks it's difficult for her to be in the survivor team? If it were an ordinary team of survivors, it would indeed be difficult for a weak girl like her. However, she is not the same Ran Shiyu who had no power to resist before. And she is not an ordinary survivor team. Brother Jiang, can I take out some of the mutated animal meat and grain for my share? Ran Shiyu turned around and asked. Of course. Jiang Lusher nodded. My uncle took good care of me back then. And the relationship between our two families was also good. Things are really different. Ran Shiyu couldn't help but sigh. But it's good to be alive. Don't worry. I'm just trying my best. After all, we won't be able to stay for a few days before leaving. They will still have to rely on themselves in the future. Ran Shiyu said. Who is Zhang? Zhang Haojing? Jiang Lusher suddenly asked, looking at Ran Shiyu's reaction just now. It seems that she has some unpleasant memories with this Zhang Haojing. It's a relative and brother of Jiang Xiaoqiu. It's nothing. Ran Shiyu seemed reluctant to mention this person. So she said it casually and stopped talking. Jiang Lusher couldn't keep asking further. But since they were relatives and their parents were there, Jiang Xiaoqiu didn't know what happened. But Ran Shiyu was right. It would be good to be alive in the apocalypse. And Jiang Lusher would not take the initiative to lend a helping hand. Ran Shiyu sent some food over, which was already a sign of friendship. This world is really small. When the big districts are merged in the future, the world will be even smaller. In such a small world, I really don't know how many people I knew back then are still alive. Ran Shiyu exhaled softly and said, to be precise, the scope of human existence has been compressed so much. Let's go back. Get ready. 
I'm going to pick up the plane, Jian Lusher said. In two days, he Jun Hong should have the materials ready. After returning from the helicopter crash site, I happened to stop by Hajiang town. Jian Lusher felt excited when he thought that the minibuses were about to be upgraded. Maybe the world is small to ordinary people. But as long as minibuses continue to become stronger, the world is so big that Jian Lusher can go anywhere. Chapter 503 today is different from the past. Old General Zhang had already ordered people to prepare a place for Jian Lusher and the others. Someone found Jian Lusher and Ran Shi on the road and took them to a community. This community was considered a mid-range community in Jiangning before the end of the world. The environment was very good. The rooms assigned to them were four bedrooms and two living rooms with fine decoration. They had electricity. Briquettes were used for cooking and heating. And the furniture and other items were very clean. I didn't expect to see briquettes after so many years. Zhang Hai couldn't help but sigh when he saw these briquettes. There are coal mines in Jiangning. After the end of the world, energy was scarce. So briquettes began to be used again. Ran Shi used specially made more for dinner. Packed it in a box. Picked up another bag of rice. And went out with Jian Lusher. But when we arrived at the place we passed during the day, the female workers had already changed. We have a shift system here. And everyone who works during the day has already finished get off work. The manager said. Can you tell me Jiang Xiuqiu's address? Ran Shi asked. There was nothing confidential about an ordinary person's address. Jian Lusher handed out a cigarette to the steward and successfully obtained the address. The steward was reluctant to smoke the cigarette and clamped it carefully on his ear. If he knew that this kind of loose smoke was of no use to Jian Lusher and could just take out a bunch of it, he didn't know what it would be like. Even if it was a transaction, Jian Lusher didn't bother to use cigarettes for any transaction. The amount was too small. According to the address mentioned by the steward, Ran Shiyu and Jian Lusher came to a relatively remote residential area. The more I walked, the more I felt the difference in the environment. The electricity lights began to decrease. The houses on both sides became older. And they were closer to the construction site and the place where the city wall was built. Even the streets became dirty. And there was a smell. An indescribable smell filled the air. Ran Shiyu looked at the house number and finally came to the downstairs of a unit building. Who? After knocking on the door, a woman's voice came from inside. I am Jiang Xiuqiu's friend, Ran Shiyu said. Then a woman opened the door. This woman looked to be in her late twenties. She had lipstick on her lips and was dressed well enough for the apocalypse. She looked Ran Shiyu up and down and frowned. Are you looking for Jiang Xiaochu? The woman asked. Yes. Is Jiang Xiaochu here? Not here. What about Uncle Jiang and Aunt Jiang? Ran Shiyu continued to ask. No. No. The woman said impatiently. At this time, another voice came from inside the house. What are you doing so noisy? A man of about 30 years old walked out of it. This man was wearing a uniform and looked a bit oily and powdery. Originally, this man looked irritable. But when he saw Ran Shiyu, his expression changed. Huh? Isn't this Shiyu? Zhang Haojing? Why are you here? Ran Shiyu was stunned. This is my home. Zhang Haojing said. Come on. Shiyu, come in quickly. Don't stand outside. Zhang Haojing said enthusiastically. Ran Shiyu frowned slightly. Where are Jiang Xiaochu and his uncle and aunt? Isn't this their residence? Oh, they were taken in by me. At this time, they are making briquettes in the coal yard. Zhang Haojing said casually. Making briquettes in the coal yard. Although Ren Shiyu has never been exposed to this kind of work, Jiang Lusher has some understanding. It was really dirty and tiring physical work. According to Ran Shiyu, Jiang Xiaochu's parents should be in their 50s and still working late at night. And Jiang Xiaochu was still working during the day and then went to work again at night, which was basically a non-stop job. Why are uncle and aunt like this? Aren't they protected in advance? Ran Shiyu asked. That was what happened before. Now that I have come to Jiangning, there is no such kind of treatment. Now I am the one supporting the family. Shiyu, it is rare for us to meet each other and come in for a meal. Why are you still standing there? Go and cook. Zhang Haojing turned to the woman and said, No need to cook. We have already eaten. Ran Shiyu said. The woman glared at Zhang Haojing angrily. But then she saw the lunchbox Ran Shiyu was carrying. Why did you bring something here? Are you so polite? These things are for Jiang Xiaochu and his uncle and aunt. Ran Shiyu said. Actually, no. I didn't treat Jiang Xiaochu and the others badly in terms of food. John Haojing said with a smile. At this moment, there was the sound of someone going up the stairs from behind. And then Jiang Xiaochu and the Jiang couple came up. 
Shi Yu? Mr. Jiang? Jiang Xiaoqiu was stunned for a moment when he saw Ran Shi Yu and Jiang Lu standing at the door. Ran Shi Yu had a cold face just now. But when she saw Jiang Xiaoqiu appear, she suddenly smiled. Xiaoqiu! H. Lo! Uncle and aunt! When we meet again after the apocalypse, the Jiang family and his wife look much older, with tired faces. But they still have a good temperament. They also looked surprised when they saw Ran Shi Yu. It was estimated that Jiang Xiaoqiu had already told them about Ran Shi Yu's situation. So they didn't mention anything about Ran Shi Yu's relatives and were just asking about Ran Shi Yu's living conditions. Shi Yu, why did you join the survivor team? The survivor team has no future. You have to join the military and government to have real stability and future. And girls only need to be stable. I think you still leave the team and live with us. And I will arrange a good job for you. John Haojing said from the side. Ran Shi Yu didn't even look at him but handed the things in her hands to Jiang Xiaoqiu and the Jiang couple. These are my thoughts. This is. Don't refuse. Ran Shi Yu said. Jiang Xiaoqiu had no choice but to accept it. She opened the box and was stunned. The box contained roasted mutated beast meat. And a charming aroma immediately hit his face. Jiang Haojing and his woman were stunned for a moment. Mutated animal meat. He is also a superpower now and works for the government but the amount of mutated beast meat he can get every month is also limited. And this is not ordinary mutant beast meat. It is clearly the fattier and tender part of mutant beast meat. And it is not some shriveled meat, but fresh mutant beast meat, carefully cooked. But after all, they are a team of survivors. They always have to hunt mutant beasts. And it is not unusual to get some mutant beast meat. Just giving it to ordinary people to eat is too wasteful. This is just the first layer. When you open the second layer, there is a layer of vegetables inside green and fresh vegetables. Zhang Haojing's eyes widened at this time. The most lacking thing in the apocalypse is not meat, but fruits and vegetables. It's not that you can't grow fresh vegetables and fruits anymore. Plants are mutating now, but you can still eat them anyway. It's just that there is too little land, and the vegetables and fruits grown are given priority to the scientists. And even the military bosses are ranked behind. At his level, I don't know how far he has reached. Ordinary people, if they can eat a little soup cooked with diced dried vegetables, that's already pretty good. How about eating fresh vegetables? This is really something I dare not even think about. Jiang Xiaoqiu and the Jiang couple were also in disbelief. And these? Jiang Lusher handed the rice to the Jiang and his wife. Jiang and his wife were still in shock. They quickly pushed away. But Ran Shiyu forced it into his hands. 50 kilograms of rice. That's too much. Too much. They work every day and they don't get much rations in exchange. These 50 kilograms of rice have been their ration for more than a month. Also, Ran Shiyu took off a small backpack behind her. These things were collected casually by the Shuring team on the road, including honey, canned fruits, and the like. These things have a shelf life, and it would be a pity if they expire. Ran Shiyu thought of this when she wanted to give Jiang Xiaoqiu something this time. There are many things like this in Jiang Liuxiu's warehouse. There are many places that ordinary people can't go. And there are minibuses there. So they can easily go there. And naturally they can collect more things. Seeing Jiang Lusher and Ran Shiyu taking out so many things. Zhang Haojing and his woman were a little stunned. This is too generous. Come on. Come on. Shout you. I'll help you carry it. Oh Shiyu. You're really wasting your money. Zhang Haojing reacted and quickly reached out to lift it. At the same time. The woman also hurriedly reached out to grab the box Jiang Shaoqiu was carrying. But at this moment. The woman suddenly swayed, and her eyes seemed confused. Don't touch it, Ran Shiyu said. Her voice seemed to be a command to this woman. She nodded blankly, then slowly walked to the side and stood there honestly. I don't dare to touch. I don't dare to touch. The woman muttered in a low voice. Zhang Haojing was stunned for a moment. He didn't expect Ran Shiyu to be such a weird superpower. And it seems that the strength is definitely not weak. Shiyu, what are you doing? Zhang Haojing said. Ran Shiyu's temperament became cold again. She looked at Zhang Haojing and said, These things are all given to Jiang Xiaoqiu and his uncle and aunt by me. If you dare to touch them, I will not spare you. In addition, if I find out, you if you treat Jiang Xiaoqiu and your uncle and aunt badly, I won't let you go. Also, don't call me Shiyu. I'm not that familiar with you. Ran Shiyu felt very uncomfortable whenever she heard Zhang Haojing calling her, Shiyu, affectionately. She has a very proud character. John Haojing was stunned for a moment. Looking at Ran Shiyu's eyes, he felt like he wanted to nod in agreement immediately. 
But then he reacted suddenly and said angrily, Ran Shi, why do you lecture me? Before the end of the world, you were so high-minded. After the end of the world, do you think you will still be the superior princess of the Ran group? Let me tell you, today is different from the past. You are just in front of me. But at this time, he could no longer speak. Because before he could see the situation clearly, the young man next to Ran Shiyu had already put a gun to his head. He didn't know exactly how it happened. As if the gun was already there. A creepy feeling immediately sprang up from his back. If the other party wanted to kill him, would he have a chance to react? You, what are you doing? You can't kill people casually here. John Haojing said. I don't care. Jian Lusher said calmly. John Haojing felt that what Jian Lusher said was not a big lie. His eyes were very cold and calm. And he would really pull the trigger. Who is this guy? People in the safe zone dare to ignore the military's intimidation and dare to say the word. Kill. Ran Shiyu. No. Miss Ran. I understand. I listen to you. Let your friend calm down. Zhang Haojing said quickly with his Adam's apple rolling. He gave in. He felt that Jian Lusher would really kill him casually. Ran Shiyu looked at him coldly. Then glanced at Jian Lusher. And said softly. Brother Jian. Let him go. Zhang Haojing. You are right. Today is different from the past. I used to hate you. But I couldn't do anything to you. But now, if you do something that disgusts me again, I won't do it without Brother Jiang. Keep you. Ran Shiyu said coldly to Zhang Haojing. Shout you. Let's go. If anything happens, you can come here to find us. Ran Shiyu told Jiang Shout you where they lived. Zhang Haojing listened with even more horror. The people who live there are all the elites of the safe zone and belong to a protected community. Although it is not as good as the real core area of the safe zone. It is not something someone like him can live in. He originally felt that after the end of the world, he would be at a higher level than Ran Shiyu. And he could finally make this proud woman of heaven bow her head in front of him. But I didn't expect it. Ran Shiyu is still so many levels higher than him. And, still dismissive of him. The boyfriend she brought was also infinitely better than him. Chapter 504 Star Seeds Warning After Ran Shiyu and Jian Lusher left, Zhang Haojing finally breathed a sigh of relief. And his woman suddenly came to her senses, with a trace of horror on her face. What just happened? She was actually conscious just now, but she was not under her control. This feeling is really terrible. The girl looked so weak, but recalling her eyes, the woman felt shuddering. At this time, Jiang Xiaoqiu glanced at her, carried the box, walked around the woman and entered the house with the Jiangs and his wife. Hey, you? The woman suddenly stared and wanted to say something, but was stopped by Zhang Haojing. Zhang Haojing, didn't you see that look in Jiang Xiaochu's eyes? Did she think someone was supporting her? Where did those two people come from just now? Why were they so arrogant? The woman shouted. She is quite pretty. And she was an 18th tier model before the end of the world. It was with these assets that she fell in love with Zhang Haojing. Although it was far from her life before the apocalypse. She was already living a pretty good life in the apocalypse. But Ran Shiyu's attitude towards her today made her feel despised again. Even Jiang Xiaochu, who was originally downcast and submissive, actually dared to look at her with that look. And it was obvious that they really didn't want to hand over the things in their hands. Jiang Xiaochu will not be allowed to change the world in the future? Are we going to let them bully us like this? Okay. Shut up! Zhang Haojing said angrily. He was also very frustrated. In Jiangming's safe zone, he had never seen Ran Shiyu before nor the young man next to Ran Shiyu. If they were some powerful people, it was impossible for Zhang Haojing not to know about them. However, Zhang Haojing was still very cautious. After all, the place where they lived was not accessible to ordinary people. I'll go and find out where they came from first, Zhang Haojing said with a frustrated look on his face. He used to be very interested in Ran Shiyu. But when he met Ran Shiyu today, he was originally very pleasantly surprised. But he didn't expect that it would turn out to be so unlucky. Ran Shiyu and Jiang Lusher left the unit building. She stood downstairs for another minute before saying, Let's go! She wanted to make sure that Zhang Haojing didn't seize the things she gave to Jiang Xiaochu's family. Who is that Zhang Haojing? Jiang Lusher asked. It could be seen that Ran Shiyu seemed to hate him. A dandy in the previous circle, Ran Shiyu said. Zhang Haojing had been pursuing her at the beginning and was one of her many suitors. But Ran Shiyu never paid attention to him. This Zhang Haojing had a bad reputation and had no ability. He just ate and drank in Zhang's company and used Zhang's reputation to show off. Uncle Zhang and the others were transferred early as elites at first. 
They must have taken John Haojing with them out of kindness. After all, John Haojing is the son of Uncle Jiang Xiaochu, Ran Yu said. In the early days of the end of the world, it was definitely Jiang Xiaochu and the others who were taking care of Zhang Haojing. Zhang Haojing awakened his superpower in the apocalypse. But until now, his superpower is not considered strong. Needless to say, he used his superpower to protect Jiang Xiuqiu's family. Judging from the situation just now, Zhang Haojing is actually arrogant and trying to exploit Jiang Xiuqiu's family. Ran Xiu already knew Zhang Haojing's character very well. And now that he had mental powers, it was not difficult to make a judgment. Let's mention this to Professor Su and the others later, Jiang Lusher said. Jiang Xiuqiu's father was originally an elite in the internet field. Although the internet is not yet in use. With the restoration of the region, the restoration of the internet may also be on the agenda. Jiangming's safe zone should not reject such elites. It doesn't matter how much preferential treatment they're given, as long as they can be assigned some technical jobs and given a separate apartment. Their lives will be much better than they are now. Yeah, Ran Shiyu nodded, except for her younger sister. All her relatives were gone. Ran Shiyu was very happy to be able to help people she was close to before. After a night's rest at his residence in Jiangming Safety Zone, Jiang Lusher slept very comfortably. The Jiangming Safety Zone is very quiet, and everyone is sleeping without being crowded. In his ears, he could vaguely hear the light and even breathing of Ran Shiyu and the others. Unknowingly, Jiang Lusher fell asleep in the darkness of night. However, in the morning, he suddenly sat up from the bed, with a look of horror on his face. Jiang Lusher felt his heart beating wildly, and his back was covered in cold sweat. Star Seed! Jian Lusher hugged his head. He summoned the Star Seed, and his message was projected on the Star Seed's panel, and everything else was normal. But Jian Lusher remembered that he heard the message from Star Seed just now in his sleep. Warning! Danger signal detected! Danger level! Highest level warning! Jian Lusher had never heard of this highest level warning before. But just from the words, it could be seen that it was a strong life threat. Star Seed has never detected any danger signals before. At most, it detected special energy or the like. What exactly is this red flag? Star Seed, what is the danger detected? Jian Lusher asked. Soon, Star Seed's mechanical voice sounded. Unable to tell. Then at least tell me what kind of threat it is. Is it a zombie? A mutated beast? A female beast? Or some kind of plant? Jian Lusher guessed that it might be a large scale insect nest? No. The source of danger detected so far is aimed at Star Seed itself. Star Seed responded. Targeting the Star Seed itself? Jian Lusher was instantly shocked. It can be said that Jian Lusher relies on Star Seeds and base vehicles to survive in the apocalypse and continue to survive in the future. Now that he heard that even Star Seeds were in danger, Jian Lusher couldn't believe it. The Star Seed is in his brain and has been bound to him. If the Star Seed is in danger, it means that his host is also in danger. What is the source of the danger? Where is it? Jian Lusher asked quickly. The accurate information is still being detected. So we can't tell you at the moment. Zingseed still replied coldly. Boom. Jian Lusher punched the bed. One night later, he was awakened by such news. Jian Lusher was wary and uneasy. But gradually, Jian Lusher calmed down. Since Star Seed has not yet been able to detect the exact source of the danger, it means that at least the danger will not come in the next moment. I still don't know what the danger is, but I have improved a lot. Juing is already a level 2 superpower. The other team members are also very strong. Even Zhang Hai and San Kuan have made great progress. Jiang Liosher's eyes gradually became firm. His improvement, as well as the improvement of his base vehicle, are his capital for self-protection. Instead of worrying, it is better to seize the time and upgrade the base vehicle to the second level as soon as possible. Jian Lusher thought to himself. When the base vehicle is upgraded to level 2, its combat effectiveness will rise to another level. By then, Jian Lusher would have the confidence to fight no matter what the threat was. Jian Lusher stopped thinking. He jumped out of bed and started dressing quickly. At this moment, Ying's voice came from outside the door. Brother Jian, are you up? Ying asked. As soon as he finished speaking, Ying opened the door and walked in. Ying's figure and appearance were customized by Jian Lusher himself and were perfect. But there was never any change in expression on his face. Even when she opened the door and saw Jian Lusher without putting on his pants. She still looked indifferent. Brother Jian, Starseed has sensed danger. You already know that. Right. Ying asked. As the base car steward, she naturally learned the news. 
Yeah. Jian Lusher nodded. He lifted up his pants and glanced at Ying awkwardly. Can you go out for a while? Okay, Ying said obediently. But she still looked at Jian Lusher calmly and then stepped back. Seeing her like this, Jian Lusher felt that his concern was quite boring. Forget it. Just close the door, Jian Lusher said. I will handle the matter of Star Seed. By the way, do you know if Star Seed has encountered similar things before? Jian Lusher asked. Before he got the Star Seed, Jian Lusher had no clue as to where the Star Seed came from. I don't know either. Ying shook his head. Okay, is this why you came to me? Jian Lusher and Ying had the same mind. And he felt that Ying had something to say. There is someone outside the door looking for you. Ying said. Jian Lusher. Someone was looking for him. But it turned out that he had to take the initiative to ask before Ying could tell. It was really tragic that the person looking for him was Ying, who happened to be the one who opened the door. Who is he? Jian Lusher asked. People in military uniforms, Shadow said. Jian Lusher came to the door and suddenly frowned slightly. Zhang Haojing? There were more than a dozen people standing at his door, and one of them was Zhang Haojing whom he met last night. Zhang Haojing was wearing a military uniform, and so were the others. There was also an officer among them, and they all exuded a very fierce aura. Do you want to cause trouble? Jian Lusher asked calmly. Zhang Haojing heard about their residence last night, but he didn't expect to find them early this morning. Although there were so many people piled at the door, Jian Lusher had nothing to be nervous about. Inside the house, Jiang Zhuying and the others also heard the noise and walked out of the room one after another. Seeing Jiang Liosher's reaction, Zhang Haojing cursed in his heart. The officer next to Zhang Haojing said, You're right. You're very arrogant. You're talking like that in a safe zone. Are you trying to cause trouble? More than a dozen of them came. But Jiang Lusher saw that not only did they not feel guilty at all, but they said this with a calm expression, making them all feel that they were being underestimated. Naturally, these people will not feel comfortable. Ha ha. Brother Guan. Maybe there is a misunderstanding. Zhang Haojing said quickly. He looked at Jiang Lusher and said, Captain Jiang Lusher. Right. You really misunderstood. I came today with Captain Guan. Captain Guan has the rank of colonel and is only in his early 20s. The order from above is that you are going to search for the helicopter. Right. We need to recover some data in the helicopter. So we have to go with you. Captain Guan said in a very formal manner with a cold expression. After he received this order, Zhang Haojing took the initiative to tell him about the situation of Jian Lusher and his party. According to Zhang Haojing, this Jian Lusher is quite capable, but he has a bad personality and is rather arrogant. However, it is understandable that at such a young age, he is in such a complacent state in the apocalypse. There was a car full of beauties, hugging each other. Captain Guan came over to take a look, and sure enough, the one who woke him up was a beautiful woman. Moreover, Jian Lusher had obviously just dressed up. In addition, Jian Liusher's attitude was exactly the same as what Zhang Haojing said. Captain Guan was very depressed as he acted with such a team. Together? Yes. But just act together and cooperate, Jian Lusher said. He also saw that Captain Guan had a very arrogant personality and would definitely try to overpower him. How could Jian Lusher abandon him? The reason why Jian Lusher agreed was because General Zhang provided him with this information. Captain Guan frowned. Jian Lusher actually refused to cooperate? Does he think they really want to cooperate with him? Okay. Don't ask us for help if you need anything then, Captain Guan said coldly. Leave in an hour. Captain Guan left after speaking. With the strength of his team, there was no need to be with any team of superpowers. He knew that the order from above was to let them lead the way for Jian Lusher. It's really outrageous that the mighty Black Panther should lead a team of survivors. In the end, Jian Lusher refused without knowing what was good for him, which was just right. Captain Guan, is it easy for the Black Panthers to complete this mission? Zhang Haojing asked, walking beside Captain Guan with a smile. The Panthers are a special team. Captain Guan leads such a team, and it can be said that it has a bright future. Zhang Haojing naturally wants to be friends with them. The recovery mission is of course simple, but there are other detection missions to be carried out at the same time. We are also preparing to recover that area, Captain Guan said. In addition to the Panthers, there were two other teams operating in the area at the same time. After recovering the data, he will join up with the two teams to cooperate. So, Jian Lusher and the others just need to go together, and that's it. Captain Guan felt that he would admit it just by pinching his nose. 
Then if we can complete the detection as soon as possible and recover one day ahead of schedule. That will be a meritorious service. John Houjing said with a smile. He will also go on this mission. If he can make meritorious deeds, he will naturally rise to prominence. John Houjing actually has no interest in working hard on the front line. What he wants to do is to cultivate connections and relationships. In the future, he will work in the headquarters or take over some logistics powers. John Houjing took the initiative to go there this time. Partly because the task was simple. And partly because of Jiang Lusher and the others. Ran Shiyu is actually a spiritual power user. The spiritual power is very rare. If I can find a chance to convince her, I will have a good card in my hand. John Houjing turned his head and glanced at the residential building, thinking to himself. After Ran Shiyu and the others left last night, he questioned the woman carefully and finally came to the conclusion that Ran Shiyu was a spiritual superpower. Mental superpowers are the rarest of all types of superpowers. A mental superpower may be able to create high tactical value. And Ran Shiyu's mental powers are obviously very strong. Chapter 505 Shock Wave Truck Before departure, Li Yusin also came back. Fortunately, I came back quickly this morning. Otherwise you would all have gone out and I would be the only one left. Li Yusin said a little aggrievedly. When she came back, Jian Lusher and the others were gathered downstairs. You don't have to go. Jian Lusher said with a smile. That's not possible. I'm also a member of the team. Li Yusin got into the car and sat down firmly on the sofa. She helped her grandfather and mother settle down last night. The conditions in the Jiangning safe zone are no worse than the original Zhonghai safe zone and Xiaoyuan safe zone, but not as good as the Huaxia region and other major regions that are about to be established. But in the future, the Jiangning safety zone will also be a large area. If the two professors who stays here, their personal safety and life will be guaranteed. Jiang Lusher smiled slightly. And when he boarded the minibus, something strange flashed in his eyes. I don't know when the crisis for Star Sea will come. Let's go! Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan also followed behind in Dongfun Iron Armor and drove towards the gate of the safety zone with the minibus. There are already five or six military trucks parked in the parking lot at the gate of the security zone, as well as two off-road vehicles. The car was painted with a black cheetah running in pursuit of its prey. Captain Guan, Zhang Haojing and others were standing next to the car. As soon as the minibus and Dongfun Iron Armor arrived, they all turned to look over. I heard that this minibus is very powerful, John Haojing said. He had already inquired about everything he could about the situation of Jian Lusher and his party. What happened in this parking lot yesterday has already spread throughout the world. Jian Lusher and his car were highly valued by General Zhang. But I think it's just average. Compared with our cars, it's nothing special. As he spoke, John Haojing reached out and patted the compartment of the military truck next to him. The carriage is reinforced with thick steel plates and steel bars, and there is also a layer of anti-collision material. Even if it is hit by a mutant beast, nothing will happen. The engine has also been specially modified to accelerate and run very fast. Even in the Jiangming safe zone, not all teams can be equipped with this kind of vehicle. The minibus looked ordinary. Nothing special about it. Our car is nothing special. So there must be something weird about the minibus. Captain Guan said. His pupils suddenly shrank slightly. But the really powerful thing is that car. Rumble dash. A low roar came. Jiang Lusher couldn't help but turn around and see a very cool looking red painted truck driving over. There are two chimney like things on both sides of the front of the car. And there seems to be a missile on the back. Smoke is coming out of the chimney. And black smoke is also spraying from the rear of the missile. What kind of car is this? Jiang Lusher was also surprised. This was the first time he saw such a car. I seem to have heard that this should be a shockwave truck. Zero suddenly said. The shockwave truck uses three aircraft engines and can reach a speed of more than 600 kilometers per hour. Jian Lusher was shocked. The speed was more than 600 kilometers per hour. How much fuel can this car carry? A tank of oil may burn out in more than 10 minutes. No. Ran Shiyu shook her head and said. I have seen a real shockwave truck at an air show. That truck was used to show acceleration compared with airplanes. This truck should just be modified like this. So that's it. Jian Lusher nodded. If it was a real shockwave truck, it could only be used for performances. The speed is more than 600 kilometers per hour, which is really scary. Jian Lusher became somewhat interested in the real shockwave truck. Just talking about speed. For example, the speed of a certain supercar before the end of the world reached 400 per hour. But the supercar would be of no use in the end of the world. 
It would be terrifying if minibuses and trucks could reach such speeds. Brother Jiang, only one shockwave truck was produced. It came out in 1984 and has been modified based on this truck. Ran Shiyu saw Jiang Liuxer's thoughts and said with a smile, There's only one. Jiang Liuxer was a little disappointed. It would be difficult to get this shockwave truck. Even before the apocalypse, it was very difficult. And after the apocalypse, I don't even know where the car went. Jiang Liuxer looked at the fake red truck. It was estimated that the person who modified it was also thinking about the shockwave truck. Buzz, the imitation red truck made an exaggerated turn and stopped under the astonished gazes of Zhang Haojing and others. Then the door of the truck opened and two people jumped out. The driver's attire was surprising. He wore glasses and looked very elegant, which was completely incompatible with the car. The other person came down and glanced around casually. He was carrying a weapon on his back, wrapped with a strip of cloth. It looked like a big knife and his eyes were cold and cold after experiencing life and death battles time and time again. It's quite a powerful power fluctuation, Jiang Juying said. Even Jiang Juying felt strong. These two people were not level 2 superpowers. But at least they were infinitely close to being level 2 superpowers. I just don't know who he is. Captain Bai. Mr. Min. Zhang Haojing reacted immediately and stepped forward with a look of wonder on his face. Is this the Growler? These two superpowers from the Huaxia region specially brought the Growler, here. The Growler, is a vehicle modified by Captain by himself. It is precisely because of his presence that planes from the Huaxia region can safely reach various safety zones. After they arrived at the Jiangming safe zone, although Zhang Haojing had already inquired about the two of them, this was the first time they met the famous, Growler. Bai Jiayin and Min Chang are not soldiers. They are just people with superpowers. But in the Huaxia region, there is a cooperative relationship between superpowers and the military. Yes, this is the Howler, Bai Jiayin said with a smile. He had seen the shocked expressions on these people's faces many times. Bai Jiayin wears glasses and looks easy to talk to. Captain Guan, I heard that you are going to carry out a detection mission in the city. It just so happens that we haven't gone to the center of the city to learn about the situation in Jiangning. We will go with you, Bai Jiayin said. Captain Guan was stunned for a moment. Bai Jiayin asked, Is there any problem? Jiangning Safety Zone has stated that it will cooperate with our mission. Don't worry. We will not affect your work. That's not the problem. Captain Guan said and glanced at the minibus. There is a team of survivors here. We need to work with them to recover the two crashed helicopters. Well, there should be no problem with this. Bai Jiayin said, But drive a minibus. It was really rare. Even in the Huaxia region. He had never seen a team of survivors driving minibuses. Speaking of which, Captain Zhang's superpowers are related to modifications. That minibus is said to be very powerful, but I don't know if it can compare with the Growler. Zhang Haojing suddenly said with a smile. Bai Jiayin's superpower is said to be related to the Growler. Zhang Haojing brought it up on purpose to see Bai Jiayin's reaction. He was still looking for a way to get Ran Shiyu out of the Shuring team. It was certainly a way to make Ran Shiyu disappointed with Jiang Liuxer's strength. Really? Then I'm a little curious. Bai Jiayin said with a smile. But after all, he just glanced at the minibus. Bai Jiayin is very confident about the Growler. No matter how powerful the minibus is, it cannot compare with the Growler. Let's go! Let's go! Captain Guan yelled and waved his hand. And all the Black Panthers immediately entered the car. Captain Guan himself got into an off-road vehicle. And Zhang Haojing got into another vehicle. Boom! The gate then opened. And vehicles drove out of the safety zone and headed towards Jiangming City. They are from the Huaxia region, Brother Jiang. You didn't want to come into contact with people from the Huaxia region. But you still did, Ran Shiyu said. General Zhang had previously proposed to let Jiang Lusher meet people from the Huaxia region. But Jiang Lusher refused. However, a group of people came from the Huaxia region. And these two people were only two of them. Judging from their reactions, they had never heard of Jiang Lusher. Old General Zhang has never told them about me. It's just a walk. It doesn't matter, Jiang Lusher said. Arranging a team to lead him down the road was also General Zhang's kindness. The Growler truck took the lead and opened the road at a speed faster than a military off-road vehicle. It sprayed thick black smoke on the empty streets. Adding to the apocalyptic feeling, Jiang Liusher's minibus drove at the back. It was not far from the central city, and Jiang Lusher was not in too much of a hurry to get there. He was always paying attention to Star Seed. But after giving him a warning in the morning, Star Seed had not made any unusual movements. Zhang Hai! 
Jian Lusha rolled down the car window and said to Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan inside the Dongfeng armor. As soon as we recover the helicopter, we will go to the Jiang town immediately. He Jun Hong should have collected all the materials he could, plus the helicopter materials they recovered. And the materials needed to upgrade the minibus were almost there. Okay. Zhang Hai responded loudly in the car. Well, be careful, Jian Lusher said. Although this convoy was not small in size, it also made a lot of noise. As they gradually moved away from the safe zone, the number of zombies on the road began to increase rapidly. Ho ho ho! Zombies kept rushing towards the convoy one after another. On the growler at the front, a machine gun was set up and fired at these zombies. When there were zombies hanging on the car, Min Chan directly took pictures of them. The speed and strength of the zombies exceeded the limits of the human body, like wild beasts. But Min Chong slapped these zombies away like an adult slapping a child. He looked very casual, but his power was shocking. And he was fast and accurate. And he was not touched by the zombies at all. Inside the military truck, black gun muzzles protruded from the gaps left in the carriage. Aiming at the zombies outside and pulling the trigger, the convoy roared forward, accompanied by constant gunshots and the roars of zombies. There were splashes of blood and fallen zombies along the way. Many zombies were not dead at all but were swarmed by their own kind and torn into pieces in an instant under the eyes of everyone. Chapter 506 Danger is Approaching The helicopter crash area marked on the map is located near a commercial street in the center of Jiangning City. As the convoy approached the city center, the pressure quickly increased. This is also the first time Jiang Lusher has seen the scene in the city center after the apocalypse. There were vehicles colliding with each other everywhere. The roads were densely packed with zombies. The glass of the sightseeing elevator in the shopping mall was covered with blood, and human figures could be vaguely seen inside. At the end of the world, there was a power outage throughout the city, leaving people inside trapped. The same situation occurs in countless places at the same time. Roar! A heart-stopping roar could be heard faintly in the distance. It's a mutated zombie, Zero said while looking out the car window. At this moment, there was a muffled bang, and a zombie slammed against the car window. The face of a young woman was extremely ferocious outside, with blood-red eyes almost staring out, looking inside the car. People, however, this face only appeared for a moment and was already thrown out by the speeding minibus. Ho ho ho! More and more zombies rushed out from other streets and surrounding buildings and rushed towards the convoy. The Black Panthers are not as comfortable as before. There are constantly zombies hanging on their cars. Even if they are shot, the zombies will not let go in pain but will crawl into the car even more crazily. This gives them it brought a lot of pressure. At this moment, the growler, truck at the front suddenly made a thunderous engine sound. A thicker black smoke suddenly spurted out from the truck's chimney. And then with a boom, a hot flame swept out from the exhaust pipe. The whole truck looked like it was bathed in fire. Bai Jiayan grasped the steering wheel tightly with both hands and pressed the accelerator to the bottom. The growler, roared and rushed towards the densely packed group of zombies in front of him as far as the eye could see. The zombies were dense and crazy. But the growler rushed in like a mad dog and tore a hole in the zombies. It's amazing! Captain Guan's eyes lit up. No wonder it's called the roar. The momentum is so amazing. It's so fierce! The zombie swarm can't be stopped at all! Zhang Haojing also exclaimed loudly. He turned around and glanced at the minibus at the end. The minibus was following him. But nothing happened. It's quite comfortable. A hint of gloom flashed in Zhang Haojing's eyes. If this continues, his idea of letting Ran Shiyu give up the survivor team and Jian Lusher will be in vain. Jian Lusher was sitting in the minibus and watching the scene. But he already knew that this growler was just a replica of the shockwave truck. Even the speed at which the growler was now firing at full power was not even close to the speed of the shockwave truck, which was more than 600 kilometers per hour. The speed is far different. It's not even as fast as a minibus when it starts sprinting. Boom! Led by the growler, the convoy quickly rushed through this section of road and stopped at a relatively calm place. Take a quick rest. We can't stay here for long. Captain Guan immediately jumped out of the car and shouted. Several Black Panthers also quickly got out of the car and used the cover of the building to stand sentry not far away. Captain Bai, thanks to you this time. Zhang Haojing smiled and went up to compliment. Bai Jiayan smiled and nodded. Min Chong, who was with him, sat silently in the car without moving. He just took out a bag of dry food and ate it. He dealt with the zombies with his bare hands. And he had never used his sword until now. Even when Zhang Haojing looked at him, he couldn't help but look at the sword behind his back. 
It's already so strong without weapons. But I don't know what will happen if weapons are used. They have been relaxed all the way. So I just want to say thank you. Zhang Haojing looked at the minibus and said. Bai Jiayan also looked over. This minibus was much stronger than he thought. Zombies kept jumping on it. But there was no damage to the body. What it was like when we set out is what it is now. No need to thank you. I'm just leading the way anyway. Bai Jiayan said nonchalantly. Although this car has good defense. It is not enough to catch his eye. Growler was built by himself. Full of kinetic energy. And related to his superpowers. After repeated modifications. The Growler has become very powerful. There is no way ordinary vehicles can compare with the Growler. Naturally. Jian Lusher would not get out of the car specifically to say thank you. Without the truck. Captain Guan and the others. The minibus could also have come here. Zhang Haojing felt that the minibus was taking advantage. But Jian Lusher didn't feel this way at all. Xi Yu, pay more attention to your surroundings. Jian Lusher said. After all, this is the city center. Jian Lusher doesn't agree with resting here. But that truck can't keep driving at high intensity. And the Panthers are taking a break. Okay, Ran Xi Yu said. Her eyes sparkled like the Milky Way. I also feel it's quite dangerous. But there are too many zombies. And I can't determine the exact source of the danger yet. I'm sensing. The light in Ran Shi Yu's eyes became brighter. Her gaze passed the minibus and looked into the distance, constantly scanning and searching among the dense groups of zombies. Hearing what Ran Shi Yu said, Jian Lusher felt that he should not stay here any longer. Zhang Haojing. Jian Lusher opened the car window and shouted. Zhang Haojing looked over angrily. Jian Lusher really didn't take him seriously and called him by his name in front of so many people. After all, he is also a minor official in the government, not an ordinary citizen. In the apocalypse, as long as you have a little power in your hands, you can control the life and death of others, but you just don't usually do that. But others must respect his status. Jian Lusher had pointed a gun at his head before. So how could he care who he was and call him by name politely? Captain Jian, what's going on? Jian Haojing walked over slowly and asked. He is not afraid of Jian Lusher now. No matter how arrogant Jian Lusher is. Bai Jiayan from the Huaxia region is there, and the Black Panther team is there. It's been five minutes. We've almost rested. Let me tell you, Captain Guan, to set off immediately, Jian Lusher said. Captain Jian, you don't have to worry about this. Captain Guan will take care of it, Zhang Haojing said. Captain Guan also looked over at this time. He heard the conversation between Jian Lusher and Zhang Haojing. This is the city center. And Ran Shiyu's mental induction is not very good, Jian Lusher said. The surroundings were quiet, and there wasn't much sound. This kind of silence made Jian Lusher feel uncomfortable. You also said that this is the city center. It's normal to feel that the induction is not good. Danger is everywhere. But Captain Jian, you can rest assured that with Captain Bai and the others here, you will not be in danger, Zhang Haojing said. There was something in his words, and a teasing look on his face. I'm not talking about the danger of zombies. Not only Ran Shiyu, but I also feel something is wrong. It's better to be careful and leave here first. Jian Lusher frowned and said patiently. He also felt vaguely panicked. This feeling even brought a little uneasiness to Jian Lusher. This reminded him of the danger Starseed sensed this morning. The panic he felt at this moment was similar to what Starseed felt when he sensed danger. This forced Jian Lusher to pay attention. After all, these people were from the Jiangning safe zone. Although Jian Lusher couldn't stand Zhang Haojing, he still warned that he couldn't tell these people about the Star Seed. Oh, Captain Jiang, don't be so nervous. It just feels wrong. Besides, you can't let everyone run away just because of your feelings. Zhang Haojing said with a smile. The implication was that Jian Lusher was neurotic. Jian Lusher glanced at him coldly. Then at Bai Jian and Captain Guan, who were watching the excitement without saying anything. Although they remained silent. Their expression showed a hint of smile. Jian Liosher's performance was completely unnecessary in their opinion. Now that we are here, we should have been prepared for all kinds of dangers. There is really no point in being so nervous. I've said everything that needs to be said. In that case, let's go on our own, Jian Liosher said. Originally Jian Liosher just warned them. But seeing their reaction, Jian Liosher lost the idea of fighting with them. Might as well go their separate ways. Only then did Captain Guan finally react. Captain Jiang, what are you doing? One of the tasks he received was to lead the Shuring team. If the Shuring team left midway, he felt it would not be easy to explain. Jiang Lusher said calmly, We are not cooperating. 
We are just going along the way. Now that I leave early, I don't need anyone's consent. Right. If someone asks, just tell the truth and say, okay. Dot. After saying that, he had already closed the window. And the minibus left the parking lot and drove towards the street with a low buzz. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan, driving the Dongfun Iron Armor, rolled their eyes at Zhang Haojing and Captain Guan, and sneered. You are really confident. After saying that, Zhang Hai stepped on the accelerator, drove past the two people with a puff of black exhaust, and followed the minibus. Bad luck. Zhang Haojing waved his hands twice to push away the black smoke in front of him. Good intentions are misunderstood. Captain Guan was also a little angry. He persuaded Jiang Liuzhi's team to stay. But Jiang Liuzhi didn't buy it at all. Without the protection of them and by Jiayan, Jiang Liuzhi's team might not be able to move in the city center so easily. However, his task was only to lead the way, not to protect him. Since Jiang Liuzhi insisted on leaving, he had nothing to do with it. We'll leave after staying for about 10 minutes, Captain Guan said. It's true that you can't stay here for long, but you don't have to be too nervous. With so many people, even if mutated zombies come, they can still be dealt with. He looked at the minibus and Dongfeng iron armor. The two vehicles were almost out of the parking lot. At this moment, a scream suddenly came. In the northeast, a black panther, who was responsible for guarding, there was suddenly thrown high into the air. Then a black image passed by like lightning. The black panther's limbs were separated instantly and turned into a ball of blood mist amid the screams. Captain Guan's expression suddenly changed. Fight! What the H? L is that black shadow. The Black Panthers were all warriors with special powers. How could they not have the ability to resist at all? They didn't even seize the opportunity to fire a warning shot or delay the attack. Bai Jiayan also immediately started the growler. At this time, everyone's attention was directed to the minibus that was still roaring forward, and the Dongfeng armor following behind. With all the vehicles moving closer and there being buildings as cover, only the minibus and the Dongfeng iron armor were left alone in the open space. And not only did they not turn around and come closer, they continued to drive forward. The Black Shadow is very fast. How can they outrun them? Captain Guan said. He thought Jian Lusher and the others were planning to run away, probably relying on the good defense of the minibus. It's stupid to do this. Many survivor teams often lack wise judgment. Bai Jian also said. The Black Shadow gave him a very bad feeling. The moment the Black Shadow appeared, he felt a strong sense of threat. At this moment, a scream came, and a black shadow suddenly jumped down from the tall building and swooped towards the minibus. It's a mutated bird beast. This time everyone saw it. The black shadow turned out to be a mutated bird. Its wings were spread several meters wide. Its long beak was like a steel cone, and its two sharp claws shone coldly in the sun. How? There was more than one such mutated bird, and in the blink of an eye, a dozen more appeared around, circling around the minibus. So many. Captain Guan's expression changed drastically. These mutated birds and beasts came towards them silently. And there was such a large group. Chapter 507 Accident Why are there a group of mutated birds here? Zhang Haojing's Adam's apple rolled up and down, and he said with a bad expression. Jian Lusher was indeed right. There was indeed danger. Under those mutated birds, the minibuses and Dongfeng armors had no protection and were simply targets. When Zhang Haojing saw this scene, he felt gloating and lucky again. Fortunately, Jian Lusher lured these monsters out in advance. Otherwise, they would have suffered heavy losses if they were suddenly attacked. Zhang Haojing thought to himself, Get ready to fight. Captain Guan raised his gun and said, Although he didn't like Jian Lusher, they set off from the Jiangming safe zone together. But at this moment Zhang Haojing hurriedly stopped him. Captain Guan, take a look at the situation first. It's too late for us to rush over. And it's dangerous. The mutated birds are very difficult to deal with. Cover them when they run back. Faced with this situation, Jian Lusher and the others would definitely turn around and run back in despair to seek support. Bai Jiayan drove the growler in the direction facing the minibus and said, When they come, those bird mutants will definitely follow. Then Captain Guan, you guys shoot. If they rush in front, I will drive the car attracts their attention. Min Chong, it's up to you. Min Chong nodded. This. A trace of hesitation flashed in Captain Guan's eyes. To put it bluntly, this is letting Jiang Liuzhi and the others be used as bait. Now it turned out that Jiang Liuzhi's warning was correct. But Jiang Liuzhi was in danger. But they were watching here, waiting for them to lure the mutated birds over. 
Of course. This is the safest method and the most cost-effective. With Captain Huan's hesitation, he had already missed his last chance to issue an order. How? Those avian mutated beasts suddenly let out a scream, which was like a sharp needle being pierced into the brain from the ear canal. The weaker superpowers immediately felt dizzy and even had a splitting headache. If it were an ordinary person, just hearing this sound would have paralyzed him to the ground, and he would not even be able to escape. Immediately afterwards, the feathers of these bird-like mutant beasts suddenly opened, and with a scream, they suddenly rushed towards the minibus and Dongfeng armor below. Their claws are so sharp that ordinary iron sheets cannot stop them. Coupled with the mental impact of the scream just now, it is enough to make many people unable to react. At this moment, a huge roar came from the minibus. Psychic superpower. Ran Shiyu. Zhang Haojing pressed his head and stared at the minibus. When those birds screamed, Ran Shiyu's mental power had already opened a domain around the minibus and Dongfeng armor. Ren Shiyu's powerful mental power was able to block the screams of more than a dozen birds at the same time above their heads with just one person. Jiang Lusher and others in the car were not affected at all. It's really an advantage for them. Zhang Haojing thought to himself. Now Jiang Lusher and the others really might rush back. As a plume of black smoke erupted from the rear of the minibus, a robotic arm suddenly appeared and tightly clasped the crash barrier on the front face of the Dongfeng armored vehicle. Immediately afterwards, boom! At the moment when those birds were about to pounce, the minibus rushed out like an arrow, dragging the Dongfeng armor behind it, and rushed directly to the gate of the parking lot. Let's go. Jian Lusher looked back at Captain Guan and others and said, If these people had taken action just now, he would not have made this decision. But they have made their choice. What is he doing? Captain Guan's eyes suddenly widened. Bai Jian was also stunned for a moment. His car was ready, and he was waiting for Jian Lusher to rush over. But what was going on? Am I stupid if I go? Zhang Haojing was also stunned. But that's okay. I hope they run faster and lure these mutated beasts away. Zhang Haojing thought like this and couldn't help but sneer. The minibus did not live up to his expectations. It did run quite fast. And the speed was amazing. That's it. Run faster and get farther away. Zhang Haojing thought to himself. However, at this moment, the minibus roared again and its speed suddenly increased again. Sprint! When the minibus is sprinting, it consumes a huge amount of fuel in an instant, and the speed increases to an extremely terrifying level at this moment. Even the speed of that, Growler, when it was at full power was far inferior to the sprinting state of a minibus. Only real shockwave trucks can surpass current minibuses in speed. Boom! The minibus made an engine roar like a top-notch sports car, and rushed out crazily while dragging a Dongfeng armored vehicle. Seeing this scene, Zhang Haojing's eyes almost fell out. Bai Jiayan was also stunned. This. What speed is this? In order to get the. Growler. To reach that speed, he used the aircraft engine, which consumed so much fuel that his car only had two seats. And the rest of the space was used to hold fuel. He already knew that the interior of the minibus was an RV. ARV was actually faster than the Growler? What an international joke. How? How? The sprinting speed of those birds was also extremely terrifying. They angrily chased the minibus. Their sharp beaks and terrifying claws eager to tear the car apart. The silhouettes of these birds were almost blurred, leaving streaks of black lightning in the sky. Jian Lusher was probably planning to use the speed of the minibus to rush out. Right? Captain Guan and others all thought so. But these birds are too fast. At this time, two of the birds caught up with the minibus. In the blink of an eye, their claws had already reached for the roof of the car. Laugh. Dazzling firelight rang out. But what made John Haojing find it incredible again was that the SH. L of the minibus was still intact. This defense. Bai Jiayan said to himself. This minibus had good defense. But he didn't expect it to be so good. Warning. The SH. L of the base vehicle is damaged. The damage degree is 3%. Jian Liosher's eyes narrowed. Raise the war room. In front of everyone's eyes. A round object with a very sci-fi feel suddenly rose from the roof of the minibus. Jian Liosher's figure immediately appeared among them, holding a sniper rifle and aiming it in the air. Boom! There was a flash of fire, and a cloud of blood mist suddenly exploded from a sprinting mutant bird. It let out a shrill scream and staggered to the ground. But before it landed, the rest of the bird mutants had already flown towards it. As the black shadows shuttled back and forth, some bones and minced meat, as well as a large amount of blood, 
were sprinkled in the air in the blink of an eye. At the same time, the minibus also disappeared from the sight of Captain Guan and others amidst the sound of its engine. Captain Guan and others were stunned. It only took a few seconds, but the minibus had already overturned their views. Facing so many birds and monsters, Jian Lusher actually rushed out unharmed. His last shot was also terrifying. He was able to accurately hit a mutated bird that was invisible to the naked eye. Captain Guan realized that he underestimated Jian Lusher too much. That car is really surprising. Bai Jiayan was still staring at the door of the parking lot. The minibus had already disappeared without a trace. But the shadow of the minibus still seemed to remain in his eyes. He grabbed the steering wheel of the growler. But he didn't feel as proud and excited as usual. All he could think about was the minibus. Those monsters are coming towards us. John Haojing suddenly let out a loud roar. Captain Guan and Bai Jiayan glanced at each other and saw that the monsters had already eaten up the monster hit by Jiang Lushu. They had turned around and then flew towards them fiercely. These monsters fly like fighter jets, with huge wings spread out that even cover the sky. Their sharp claws and blood-red eyes are vaguely visible. Everyone felt a chill at this moment, like prey being targeted by a natural enemy. Get ready to fight! Captain Guan shouted. However, at this moment, a sharper whistle than before reached their ears. Before, they were far away and their feelings were lighter. But this time, many people couldn't help but make sounds of pain. Don't stand there! Fight! Captain Guan also had a splitting headache, but he could still stand and kept yelling. In the blink of an eye, more than a dozen mutant bird beasts rushed down like black lightning. Only when you face it personally can you know how terrifying these flying mutant beasts are, and how much fear they will bring to people when they pounce down. However, these warriors are experienced in many battles. Even if they are afraid and have headaches, they can still fight. The muzzles of the guns were all aimed at the mutant beasts in the air. And then, they spit out tons of fire, and fired wildly. Duh duh duh. However, these mutated birds fly too fast. The bullets cannot hit these bird mutants at all. Even if they hit the wings, they cannot cause fatal damage to these bird mutants. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Ah! The few warriors on the ground were like defenseless hares. They were instantly grabbed by the mutated birds. The sharp claws directly pierced their bodies, and warm blood splashed everywhere. The guns in their hands also fell to the ground. Click! The chimney of the growler, that was still spewing smoke suddenly made a snapping sound after the mutated bird beast passed by, and the roof of the car was lifted instantly. Under the claws of the bird mutants, the repeatedly reinforced growler and those black panther trucks were as if they were made of paper. What's going on? Captain Guan didn't expect that they would be at a disadvantage as soon as they fought against these mutated birds. Back off! Back off! Captain Guan yelled. Everyone fought and retreated, and quickly fled into the building. Bai Jiayan also had to give up the growler. These people rushed into the building, and the mutated birds were still attacking the windows ferociously, causing the glass to shatter. But it was finally blocked with the help of buildings. Wait for me! Wait for me! John Haojing took a gun and fired several shots wildly. He was tripped to the ground by a severed limb just now. And now, he was one step behind Captain Guan and the others. John Haojing looked at the mutated birds hovering above his head in horror. He did not have the courage to rush towards the building anymore. So he could only crawl under the truck like crazy. However, at this moment, he felt a sharp pain in his calf. Came, and then his body was lifted upwards and lifted off the ground. No! No! John Haojing grabbed the edge of the truck's chassis. On the verge of death, he unleashed all his strength and desperately grabbed the truck. In the severe pain, he felt something leaving his body, and the great strength also disappeared. Ah! Ah! Zhang Haojing screamed and climbed into the bottom of the car, looking at his lower body with a pale face. My legs! My legs! His calf was violently torn off. The minibus rushed far away in one breath and then gradually slowed down. And along the way, before the zombies on the street pounced, they were all knocked away by minibuses like hitting bowling pins. Holy shit! It's exciting! It's so exciting! John Hai and Sun Kun were sitting in the Dongfeng armor, feeling like they hadn't recovered yet. Along the way, they could hear the howling of the wind in their ears, and the constant crashing sounds of zombies crashing into them. Even the steel bars they used for protection had been dented. But looking at the minibus leading the way, it had experienced more collisions than them. But it was still no big deal. Moreover, this mechanical arm is strong enough. After all this effort, it still firmly grasps the Dongfeng iron armor and has not let go until now. 
There are actually such mutated birds in the city, Li Yusin said with some fear. She was sitting in the car. Although she knew that the car would not be easily torn apart, she still felt a sense of fear when she heard a sharp friction sound coming from the roof, and the whole car shook at that moment. This is human instinct. It seems that the two helicopters we are looking for crashed because of these mutant birds. Right. Jiang Zhuying blinked and said. With the terrifying nature of the mutated birds, it is not surprising that helicopters were torn into pieces by them in the air. The only good thing is that they don't eat iron sheets. And minibuses only need materials. And it doesn't matter whether the helicopter is complete or not. Jian Lusher nodded. When he just shot the mutant bird, he had already confirmed that the mutant beast was indeed just a mutant beast. Nothing special. But that familiar feeling of uneasiness is indeed there. The source of danger that makes even the star seeds feel threatened. Are these mutated birds? If that's the case, that would be great. Jian Lusher thought to himself. Although these mutated birds are terrifying, they can still be dealt with. They can resist the attack of these mutant beasts in the minibus. Just be afraid, and that's not the case. I wonder what happened to those people. Ran Shiyu looked out the window and said. However, Ran Shiyu was not worried or sympathetic. Jian Lusher had already warned them. And when the danger occurred, they chose to sit back and ignore it. In this case, there is nothing cold-blooded about them driving away. Ignore them. Let's find the helicopter first. The threat against the star seeds had appeared so quickly. And Jiang Liuxiu's sense of urgency became even stronger. The helicopter is right ahead. So it's important to prepare materials for upgrading the base vehicle first. While driving, Jiang Liuxiu repaired the damage to the minibus. Two mutated birds could damage the outer SH. L of the minibus with just one scratch. The current mutated beasts are really terrifying. Chapter 508, Hive. How? As the last scream faded away, Captain Guan and others in the small building felt weak all over. The sound of gunshots and the flapping of the wings of mutated birds have disappeared, and the surrounding area fell into silence for an instant. However, the broken glass on the ground and the terrifying scratches at the window made people scared. At this time, Zhang Haojing rushed into the small building on his feet. His chest was heaving violently. His face was as white as a piece of paper, and his body was covered in blood and dust. I survived. I actually survived. However, one of his legs was gone forever. John Haojing looked defeated. He originally thought this was an opportunity to get promoted and make a fortune. But he lost a leg. How many brothers were sacrificed? Captain Guan asked. Seven people. One of the soldiers replied. An encounter with a bird-like mutated beast resulted in seven deaths. Their vehicles were also heavily damaged. With the roof scratched to pieces and the glass of one of the vehicles broken. Where did those birds come from? Bai Jiayan came to the window and looked outside. People with superpowers have very good eyesight. At a glance, Bai Jiayan could see some black spots in the distance, flying towards a certain direction in the city. How? How? These mutated birds flew through the air and arrived at the ruins of a city. Then, they fell down one by one and stopped on telephone poles and rooftops. Their blood-red eyes seemed to be intelligent, silently looking at the ruins below. This used to be a prosperous area in the city. But now, buildings have collapsed. Roads are cracked. And among these ruins, there is something the size of a truck. Like a honeycomb. This honeycomb doesn't look like it's made of soil, but of wriggling flesh. Covered with layers of black hard SH. LS. The openings underneath the hard SH. LS look like mouths. From a distance, they look like it's a huge hornet's nest. What's even weirder is that this hive is still moving slowly. It squirmed past some fresh corpses on the ground. After it passed by, the flesh and blood on those corpses immediately disappeared without a trace, leaving only a few white bones. There are still a few living people. They are all survivors and soldiers in the Jiangming safety zone. No, no! Seeing the hive moving towards them, the survivors and soldiers all looked desperate and frightened. They were exactly what Captain Guan once mentioned, the team that came to the city center in advance to detect the situation. However, the ground cracked under them, and their bodies were stuck to the black flesh making it impossible to break free. They watched helplessly as the honeycomb kept approaching. Some of them still had guns, but bullets hitting the honeycomb were in vain. They could not penetrate the black heart SH. L at all. Only the piece of flesh would be dented a little, but it quickly resumed. Ah! Ah! The hive came to them, and this huge black piece of flesh was like a swamp, dragging them in. The screen suddenly disappeared. The honeycomb continued to move forward. Click. Click, click. 
a car was also run over. And then it seemed to be burned out, turning into a bare frame flattened to the ground. During this continuous movement, the size of the hive became larger. Squeak! 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 From the ruins, some more mutant beasts emerged. Like the bird-like mutant beasts. They all looked at the hive, quietly. There are a group of mutated rats as big as wild dogs. And a mutated cat hidden in the darkness. With only its eyes shining with a faint light. The hair on its body is like steel needles. Its fangs are exposed. And it is dripping with long saliva. Mutant dogs. The most common mutant beasts in the city all appear near the hive. How? One of the avian mutants flew down suddenly and landed gently on the hive. This mutated bird was holding a broken corpse in its claws. It dropped the body like an offering. The body was then swallowed up by the hive. The rest of the bird mutants also made the same move. Not only that, most of the mutant beasts that emerged from the ruins were dragging the corpses of zombies. The hive continues to devour these corpses. And its size is also increasing further. And the direction it is moving towards is the Jiangming safety zone. This strange and terrifying scene was hidden in the city, and no one noticed it. Everyone who saw this, honeycomb, had turned into bones on the ground. Brother, are you okay? Jiang Zhuying asked suddenly. Ever since she sensed danger before, she felt something was wrong with Jiang Lusher. She has lived with Jiang Lusher for 20 years, and she still knows her brother very well. Jiang Lusher looked calm on the surface, but that was because he was carrying the pressure all by himself. It's nothing, Jiang Lusher said, but after thinking about it, Jiang Lusher said again, Zhuying, please stop holding your tablet and watching anime every day for the past two days. Adjust your condition to the best. Among all the people in Shuring's team, his sister Jiang Zhuying is the most powerful in combat. Jiang Zhuying was stunned for a moment, then smiled and nodded. I understand. Brother, then I will take care of Luo Luo in the past two days. Luo Luo? Hmm. Okay. Jiang Lusher nodded. Luo Luo is still extremely timid and hides in the minibus all day long. Although she is a bit special, she has not shown much use. But Jiang Lusher couldn't care about the little mutant beast now. He was still thinking about those mutated birds. And the more he thought about it, the more he felt it wasn't that simple. Those mutated birds seemed to be heading towards him. Brother Jiang, we've arrived, Li Yusin said suddenly, holding a map and comparing it with the road signs and landmark buildings on the street. What is marked on the map is only the approximate crash site of the helicopter. It is not specific. And the Shuring team still needs to find it. However, Jiang Lusher looked around from the war room and found that there was no need to look for it. There, Jiang Lusher pointed to a building and said, The helicopter plunged into the building. The two helicopters seemed to be chased one by one from the sky and dropped one after another. The rotors were all twisted into twists. There were no corpses inside, only a patch of blood on the front of the car. Silently describing the tragic scene at that time, Zhang Hai, San Kuan, you go over there and fight. Ling, Ying, and Zhuing will be in charge of the other side. Shi Yu, be careful and do everything as quickly as possible, Jian Lusher said quickly. This is on the street. As soon as they parked the car, a large number of zombies immediately surrounded them, squeezing the minibus with all their strength. Their ferocious faces pressed against the glass, their bloody mouths wide open with sharp teeth, and they couldn't wait to face the car. The person inside made biting movements. At this moment, Jiang Zhuying and Ling emerged from the war room, and they jumped off the roof of the car one after the other. Lighting flashed in an instant, and while the zombies were being hit by the current, Zero's figure nimbly shuttled among them, with a flash of cold light in his hand, and a pile of corpses fell down in the blink of an eye. John Hai and Sun Kuan immediately started to attack in Dongfeng armor, and the sound of machine gun fire resounded throughout the street. Seeing these zombies being separated by Jiang Zhuying and others, creating tranquility for the minibus, Jiang Lusher immediately said, Let's go! The position of the two helicopters was not too high. After the minibus adjusted the angle, it stretched out its mechanical arms under the control of Jiang Lusher. The mechanical arm accurately hooked the helicopter below and then pulled it down. Boom, 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 bang. There was a huge muffled sound. A large amount of dust rose up and the helicopter hit the tops of several cars on the ground. A smile appeared on Jiang Lusher's face. The minibus then drove over and came to the two completely deformed helicopters. These are two two-ton light helicopters with rotors made of composite materials. Although the appearance of the two helicopters already looked like tatters, and they almost fell apart after being hit, Jiang Lusher felt excited. 
Both helicopters are well preserved. So we should be able to obtain a lot of materials. Jian Lusher thought to himself. Starseed. Turn on the automatic absorption function. Jian Lusher said. The minibus can automatically absorb materials through particle beams. After Jian Lusher turns on the automatic absorption function, he only needs to wait. As soon as this function was turned on, the absorbable target image provided by Starseed appeared in his mind. At this time, the vehicles and helicopters surrounding the minibus were all within the absorbable target range. Jian Lusher directly selected those two helicopters in his mind. With a flash of light, one of the helicopters disappeared out of thin air. The next moment, in Jiang Liosher's storage space, various materials that had been decomposed appeared neatly placed there. The other helicopter followed the same pattern and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, where the helicopter had been just now, there was only raised dust and dented abandoned cars. It's like the helicopter never existed. Squeak! Lua Lua was lying by the window watching this scene. Her ears stood up and her short furry tail was twirling. Okay! Okay! Let's go! Jiang Lusher said with satisfaction. After Xingzhong scanned the materials in the storage space, there were not many required materials left. He Jun Hong and Jiang Town should have almost prepared them. So fast? Ran Shiyu and Li Yusin were both stunned. They couldn't help but close their eyes when the helicopter crashed down. After that, it was covered with dust, and they couldn't see clearly. Of course, they didn't go out of their way to see it, because they thought they would spend a lot of time here. Why are you leaving now? Although Jian Lusher said to do everything quickly, it was too fast. Where's the helicopter? Don't you want it? Ran Shiyu turned around and looked, her beautiful eyes flashing slightly. The helicopter was gone. Modify special abilities. Ran Shiyu couldn't help but glance at Jian Lusher. To say this is a superpower would be too sci fi. In fact, not only Jian Liosher's modification ability, but also this minibus was becoming more and more incredible. But Ran Shiyu naturally wouldn't get entangled in this kind of thing. Especially Li Yusin. The minibus quickly drove to Ling and Jiang Juying. And Ying was also here to help. She only used a three-edged military thorn. Relying solely on her body strength and precise reactions to fight the zombies. She and Ling were both fast. Accurate and ruthless killing machines. But Jiang Juying stood there. Constantly releasing electric currents all over his body. And the place where the long knife passed was scorched black. But there were many zombies that fell and even more zombies came over. In the heart of the city, there is an endless supply of zombies. In a city of more than 10 million people, the number of zombies is simply unimaginable. Get in the car! Let's go! Jian Lusher stepped on the brake, and the door opened instantly. Jiang Zhuying and the others quickly killed the nearest batch of zombies, and then jumped into the car. Boom! As soon as they entered the car door, the zombies behind them had already pounced on them, clinging to the closed car door and beating wildly. Let's go! Jian Lusher smiled slightly. Chapter 509 The End of the World is Coming Again. Before the end of the world, Jian Lusher had already obtained the Star Seed. With the base vehicle bound to the Star Seed, Jian Lusher could go all the way until now. And now he has to protect the Star Seed in turn. After taking away the helicopter materials, Jian Lusher immediately rushed to a Jiang town without stopping. It's only been two days! Can he Jun Hong collect all the materials? Li Yuzhen was still a little worried. I have already found the most difficult part. Not to mention that he must be active for his own life. Jian Lusher said. He Jun Hong is now the boss of Hejiang town. But he also has Jian Liosher's knife hanging over his head. Which can make him fall from the boss position at any time. And he can't even save his head. In any case, Jian Lusher spared his life and gave him the position of boss. If he couldn't even find all the materials, there would be no value in his existence. The minibus and Dongfeng iron armor drove along the road one after another, and then turned onto the road to Hejiang town. Hejiang town is a suburb of Jiangning city, not too far away. Soon, Jian Lusher and the others approached Hejiang town. However, looking from a distance, Jian Lusher suddenly felt a strange feeling in his heart. Hejiang town appeared at the other end of the road like a black shadow. At first glance, it seemed no different from usual. When the minibus arrived in the town, Jian Liosher's strange feeling was confirmed. The buildings in Hejiang town were tilted this way and that, and the roads were torn apart, as if they had been plowed by something. Jian Liosher got out of the car, watched his surroundings vigilantly, and walked into the town. The vehicles parked at the entrance of the town seemed to have been burned away by the flames, leaving only partial wreckage. The guards and survivors who were originally guarding the entrance of the town couldn't even see the bodies. 
not to mention the human figures. Jian Lusher walked some distance and finally saw some bones among the ruins. What happened here? Jian Liosher's heart continued to sink. Ren Shiyu closed her eyes gently, then opened them again, and said with some shock, There is no one left. Not a single living thing. In her mental perception, the entire Hijiang town was empty, with nothing in it. A small town that was full of survivors before suddenly became more dead than the ruins in the apocalypse. There was not even a zombie, which made people think deeply. And not only were there no living people or zombies, there were no bugs or even plants. If you look carefully, the plants on the roadside have become bare, like a scene after a forest fire. Such traces extend all the way to the roadside, and then stop and disappear in a crack in the ground. The culprit that caused all this, no matter what it was, it should have left a Jiang town through this crack. Is it a wave of mutated beasts? Jiang Lusher stood on the road in the town, looking around with an unsightly expression. The traces here do not look like those left by a tide of mutant beasts. Although it can be seen that the survivors have fought tooth and nail to resist. The mutated beasts won't take away all the corpses and eat them all here. Jiang Lusher thought to himself. Only some white bones could be seen intermittently here. Jiang Lusher went to check and found that on these white bones. He could not see any signs of being chewed or broken by mutant beasts. Instead, they were complete bones. Everyone is dead? Jian Lusher felt heavy. He searched everywhere and came to the residence arranged by He Jun Hong for them when they were in Hijiang town. In Wei Fei Fei's residence, Jian Lusher accidentally found a note pressed on the table. I don't know if you will see me. Captain Jiang, something strange and a large number of mutant beasts have appeared. We have to escape. She left a note before running away. But I didn't expect that I would see it. Fortunately, he kept checking everywhere. It seems that not all the people in Hejiang town were wiped out. Many people should have escaped. A large number of mutant beasts can understand. What is the weird thing? Jian Lusher couldn't help but think of the mutated flock of birds that appeared today. Maybe that weird thing is the source of danger sensed by Starseed? Since Wei Feifei described it as a thing rather than a monster in the note, it meant that it was not a mutant beast. At least not an ordinary mutant beast. Squeak! 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 In this town, Luo Luo didn't know if he sensed any residual aura. But he huddled up nervously and let out a low cry. The materials can't be found. Jian Lusher walked around the town, feeling very depressed. He didn't know where Yi Junhong put the materials. And many buildings in the town were in ruins. If you can drive a car and turn on the automatic absorption function, you can search slowly. But the road is so bad that you can't even drive in. And Jian Lusher felt that he couldn't stay here for long. That weird thing might come back at any time. Now that thing hasn't come directly to him or to Star Seed. This is something Jian Lusher doesn't understand. Since it was targeting Star Seed, why didn't it come to Star Seed? Instead, it attacked Jian Town. Jian Lusher was confused. Brother Jian, what should we do now? Jian Hai also got out of the car and followed him. Seeing the surrounding situation, he guessed that Jian Lusher would not gain anything. Jian Lusher must be in a bad mood now. Let's go back to the Jianning safe zone first, Jian Lusher said. If it doesn't work, we can only ask General Zhang for help. The only one who can help him collect those materials now is the Jianning safe zone. Boom boom, as if a train was passing by underground. With a muffled sound, the ground cracked open, and groups of black objects immediately emerged from the cracks. After these objects covered with black scales emerged, they quickly merged together. In front of it, another black object emerged from the ruins of a building. The two black objects merged together, and the combined volume was like a two-story building. The surface of this black object is covered with scales, and the openings of the scales are full of black cracks, opening and closing like a bloody mouth. If you look closely, it looks like flesh, but it is different from flesh and blood. Then this black object like a small building continued to move forward. In the distance, a group of bird mutants were flying in the sky. And below it was a black object that had become as big as a house. This black object is no longer just like a honeycomb. The black cracks that are constantly opening and closing are like endless darkness inside. The two black objects continued to approach each other as if they were sensing each other. All the cars they ran over and the zombies they encountered along the way became part of them. Their bodies grew larger and larger. And when they finally merged together, they became like a real tall building. This huge black hive moves slowly and slowly in the city and continues to grow. What the H L is this? In a certain direction in Jiangning City, 
a group of people were looking at the looming and moving black shadow from a distance. One of them is Wei Fei Fei. And these people are the survivors of a Jiang town who finally escaped. They looked at the black shadow in horror. Is that really a living thing? They fired and attacked wildly. But all had no effect on the black shadow. On the contrary, the black shadow kept moving forward, devouring everything it encountered. In addition, it also brought a large number of mutant beasts. Those mutated beasts, regardless of species, are all controlled by it. The mutant beasts in front of it seem to be under unified command. This is even more terrifying than the mother beast in the beast's nest, which can only drive the mutant beasts. But the mutant beasts controlled by the hive will hand over all their prey to it and even send themselves up to be devoured. Only the cannons in the Jiangning safe zone can deal with it. Let's go to Jiangning safe zone. This thing is in Jiangning city. It's like the second apocalypse has come. We can't survive. Wei Fei Fei said in a heavy tone. In her team, she and Tazi were the only ones. And two other team members escaped. This was because Tazi was a psychic psychic. But even so, the rest were all sacrificed. That, hive, is more terrifying than zombies and mutant beasts. In front of it, the survivors who are struggling to survive in the apocalypse have their last way of survival cut off. That's right. We can only go to the safe zone. There are troops in the safe zone and a large number of thermal weapons. In the apocalypse, artillery fire and bullets can give people a greater sense of security. In the past, the safe zone would not easily admit survivors. But now a greater danger has come, and the safe zone can no longer shut them out. As for escaping Jiangming, it's not that easy to move in the apocalypse. And they are all from Jiangming. They have managed to survive the apocalypse until now, and they don't want to embark on a life-threatening escape at this time. I wonder if Captain Jiang and the others are still safe. Wei Fei Fei took one last look at the black figure in the distance. Feeling heavy. Jiangming City Safety Zone. Within the headquarters. Beep beep beep. A landline phone rang suddenly. And a female soldier who answered the phone immediately picked up the phone. This is the General Command Center. Please speak. Transfer me to Commander Jiang immediately. No. Transfer me to the Military Commission. The Commander. An excited voice came from the other end of the phone. Excuse me. What is your position number? The female soldier asked. Her expression slightly condensed. I'm from the Dragon Tiger Squad. I just escaped. Tell the military commission and the commander that I have something important to report. Shouted the other end of the phone. I understand. The female soldier immediately transferred a number. She vaguely felt that something unusual had happened. At this time, a soldier covered in blood just put down his phone at the gate of the safe zone. His face turned pale and it seemed that all the blood on his body was drained. Comrade, do you really not need to be sent to the hospital first? The soldier inside the gate looked at the soldier in surprise and asked. No, please give me a car. I'm going to the headquarters, the soldier said. His thoughts were elsewhere. Where are your comrades and captain? Are you separated from the team? The soldier asked again. No, the soldier shook his head. A trace of panic flashed in his eyes. They are all dead. What's going on? Did you encounter mutant zombies? Or advanced mutant beasts? A herd of beasts? The soldier asked in shock. However, the soldier still shook his head. None of them. It's a scarier thing. Chapter 510 Unknown Inside the headquarters of Jiangning Safety Zone Several military committee members from the Jiangning Safety Zone have gathered in the conference hall. These military commissions will only appear in one place, like this, when something more important happens. On the screen in the conference hall, a video and some photos were playing. Initially, the expressions of these military commissions were all calm. But as the video played, their expressions gradually became serious. At the beginning of the video, it was just some ordinary street scenes. It captured the current situation in Jiangning City. You can see a large number of zombies exchanging fire with the army. The army occupied a house and sealed the windows and doors to fight against the zombies. Everything is normal. At this moment, a house in front suddenly began to collapse. The inside burst open, and a black object the size of a truck appeared. What is this? Mutated beast? The voices of the soldiers came from the video. Duh duh duh. The sound of machine gun fire was heard. However, in the video, the black object kept approaching the army. There are snowflakes, distortions, and violent shaking in the footage. Subsequently, screams came one after another in the video. Ah! No! Save! The video ends here. Two photos appeared on the screen. The first one showed several soldiers being chased by the black object. In the next picture, 
the soldiers had disappeared, leaving only a few fragments of clothing on the ground. And not even blood could be seen. The black object became slightly larger. Quiet. These calm leaders were also shocked at this time. This thing makes people feel weird even if they just look at the videos and photos. Moreover, when the black object was captured in the video and photo, the lens was affected. This is reminiscent of the various ghost photos that were once popular before the apocalypse. What is this? A military commissar said. Is this thing lurking underground? It exists in the city. It seems to hinder our safety zone development plan. Another military commissar also frowned. The most important thing for them now is to build a large area. But they didn't expect to encounter such an unknown monster just at the beginning. It's indeed a troublesome thing. And it doesn't seem easy to eradicate. I wonder how many there are. Hearing the discussions among the military committee members. The deep voice of General Zhang. An old man with white hair standing next to the screen. Rang out. There is only one monster. Huh? Just one. That's no big deal. Yeah. Are we still afraid of monsters? The chiefs all breathed a sigh of relief. With only one monster, it won't cause much damage. What they fear most is loss. The number of zombies is generally less than before. But there are also fewer people alive. On the contrary, the number of mutant beasts has been increasing. Among zombies, the proportion of mutated zombies is also increasing. But, General Zhang said solemnly, this one is made up of who knows how many. What you see in the video is only a part of it. What's the meaning? General Zhang. What's going on? General Zhang said. This thing is divided into many different parts. Which are constantly being devoured in different places. And then put together again one by one. Just now. The survivors of Hejiang Town have fled to the safe zone. Part of this thing appeared in Hejiang Town. Destroying the entire Hejiang Town and swallowing up a large number of people. These survivors who escaped, they witnessed this thing merging with other parts. At the same time, our army was also attacked. It is enough to show that this thing was divided into many parts. Having said this, General Zhang took a deep breath. And, this is not some monster. The soldier who sent this video back escaped from the thing. He saw with his own eyes that the thing was not a real flesh and blood body. At least not the kind of flesh and blood body we understand. As soon as it approaches, there will be garbled sounds on the radio. And people's thinking will be affected. It can summon many mutant beasts. And these mutant beasts are all under its command and help it pray. It's still unclear what the reason is. Maybe it has strong spiritual power. Maybe it is releasing some special radio waves. So it affects the radio. This is a brand new thing. And it is constantly growing and integrating. What form it takes. How many parts it is divided into. And how far it has grown are all unknown. But no matter what. A part of it has devoured and destroyed Hejiang Town. This proves that its threat is already quite great. After devouring Hejiang Town, the next target may be the safe zone. General Zhang looked at everyone in the conference room. This is a big crisis in Jiangming safety zone. Having experienced the beast tide and the destruction of the Zhonghai safe zone, General Zhang is very aware of the horror of this apocalypse. A strong fortress may be destroyed at any time. Temporary safety cannot mean anything at all. As long as there is a catastrophic flame, it may turn into a raging fire that burns the mountain. These military commissions were shocked when they learned of this situation. They were stunned for a moment and then immediately started discussing. There are now nearly 400,000 people in the Jiangming safety zone and everyone is contributing their own strength to the construction of the Jiangming safety zone. This place cannot be destroyed and so many lives cannot be destroyed in one go. First of all, strengthen the defense. Secondly, let all the teams on missions return immediately. At the same time, send a special team to investigate and eliminate that thing. General Zhang said. What if it can't be eliminated? Asked a military commissar. This is also possible. If you can't eliminate them, then make all preparations to guard the safe zone. General Zhang clenched his fist and waved hard. He had already watched the Zhonghai safety zone be destroyed. An unknown number of survivors had died. And people were dying every day while escaping. This time, he must not watch the same tragedy happen again in Jiangming safe zone. Humanity needs to build large regions. Instead of being destroyed and bulldozed one by one. Now that the survivors of Hejiang town have arrived. Let's simply open up the safe zone and let all the survivor teams come in. If they want to survive, they must join us and defend the safe zone. Boom boom. A minibus and a Dongfeng armor rushed to the gate of Jiangming safety zone at full speed. Before the soldiers at the door came up to ask questions. 
the window of the minibus had already been rolled down. Stone Shadow Team Jian Lusher! Jian Lusher grabbed the steering wheel, stretched his head from the driver's seat, and said, running wildly all the way, without wasting any time. He rushed directly from Hejiang Town back to Jiangning safety zone. Timing is everything. General Zhang had already issued a pass to Shi Ying's team. He reported his name and saw that it was the iconic minibus. And the soldiers quickly let them go. Entering the safe area and passing the parking lot, Jian Lusher found that there was something different here today. There were many more vehicles in the parking lot that looked like they had been modified by the survivors. And there were many survivors talking and walking around. Are they the survivors of Hejiang Town? Jian Lusher thought to himself. He glanced over and did not see Yi Junhong or his mistress. It seems that he is either dead or did not escape to a safe area. In addition to the survivors in Hejiang Town, Jian Lusher also heard some survivors saying that they were from other places. The honeycomb suddenly appeared in many different places at the same time. However, Jian Lusher just glanced at it and drove directly through the parking lot. Chapter 511 The Lie Exposed After returning to the Jiangning Seiki Zone, Jian Lusher immediately went to the headquarters. However, he did not see General Zhang. At this time, the senior officials of the Jiangning Safety Zone were too busy, and the reception desk refused to even report. Jian Lusher had no choice but to leave the headquarters first. As soon as he came out of the headquarters, he bumped into an acquaintance. Captain Guan and Bai Jiayan were talking to someone at the door. After they escaped from the clutches of the mutated birds, they immediately rushed back to the Jiangning Safe Zone. A little earlier than Jian Lusher. Now they come to the headquarters to report the situation. After the hive appeared, many people came to the headquarters, basically to inquire about the situation. Only the top management of the safety zone knew the true situation. Most of the hundreds of thousands of people in the Jiangning safety zone did not know about the hive. The remaining people just heard some rumors and knew that the Jiangning safety zone was strengthening security and mobilizing troops. As if something big was about to happen. Captain Guan and the others, as a team that had just returned from the city, would naturally attract attention. Captain Bai, what on earth is this? Did you see it up close? I heard that you suffered heavy losses, but I just heard that one team was all sacrificed, and only one person escaped. People are rushing to ask questions. I heard that you set off with a team of survivors? What about that team of survivors? Maybe it's gone. The strength of the survivor team is definitely not as good as the army. Even the Black Panther team suffered heavy losses. It is normal for the survivor team to be wiped out. Captain Guan said with a low expression. No. They left first. I don't know what their situation is now. Left first? Did you run away? One of the men in military uniform raised his eyebrows and said. There was a female officer beside him. She smiled coldly when she heard this. Shuring team. Right. I know they are unreliable. And I will be scared out of my wits when encountering such a thing. This female officer was Wan Lan, who was responsible for reviewing new recruits, whom Jian Lusher and the others met when they first came to Jianning Safe Zone. Because of Jian Lusher, Wan Lan was punished and transferred from her post, and is now in the logistics department. As soon as she heard the word Shuring Team, she became furious. Excuse me, is this Shuring Team driving a minibus? Another female officer with a younger appearance hesitated and asked, How do you know? Wan Lan turned around and asked in confusion. The young female officer suddenly showed a look of surprise. And then said, I knew them when we were in the Zhonghai security zone. But they are not that kind of people. They... Okay. What do you know? Are you familiar with them? You know they are not that kind of people. Now the facts are in front of you. That Jian Lusher. I can tell by looking at him that he is not a good person. Wan Lan sneered. Then interrupted the young female officer. It's time again in the Zhonghai safety zone. Wan Lan became angry when she heard this. When General Zhang said this, she could only listen honestly. But this young female officer is nothing. So why should she buy into it? The young female officer was shouted at in public, and her face turned red. She hesitated for a moment, and then asked, Team Shuring, where are you now? I don't know. Captain Guan shook his head. Why are you asking? Maybe I won't be able to come back. Wan Lan said happily. She wished that the Stone Shadow team would not show up again, lest she feel uncomfortable when they see them. However, at this moment, she felt a sudden coldness on her back. Wan Lan was suddenly startled and turned her head hastily. Turning around, Wan Lan was frightened again. She looked at Jian Lusher in front of her in astonishment. Say it again, Jian Lusher said. Wan Lan was pounding in her heart. 
Why is this person here? And when Jiang Lusher looked at him like this, Wan Lan felt that her heart was almost scared out of her chest. But taking another look, this is the entrance to the command department. She was not afraid of Jiang Lusher at all. Although General Zhang was protecting Jiang Lusher, Jiang Lusher now took the initiative to abandon his army and escaped on his own. Even if Jiang Lusher is not punished, he will never be able to protect them again in the future. It was normal for Captain Guan and the others to even cause trouble and expel the Shuring team from the safe zone. Not only was Wan Lan not afraid, but she felt happy in her heart. Facts have proved that her previous judgment was indeed correct. A group of arrogant survivors like this are simply pests. Why does your mouth smell so bad? Didn't you brush your teeth? Jiang Juying asked with a frown. When she heard Wan Lan's words just now, she immediately came over angrily, walking faster than Jian Lu Shi. Wan Lan was stunned for a moment, and immediately retorted, I was protected by our team, but when I encountered danger, I ran away immediately. If it were me, I would have found a place to hide and not see anyone. I really don't know how thick-skinned this is, so I have the nerve to appear here. Really? Captain Guan, is that what you said? Jian Lu Shi looked at Captain Guan and Bai Jian. Captain Guan opened his mouth looking a little unhappy. You are back. Captain Guan spoke the first words with great difficulty. He didn't expect Jian Lusher and the others to come back so soon. Aren't they looking for a helicopter? Captain Guan didn't actually say that Jian Lusher and the others escaped just now. But he didn't tell the truth in front of so many people. That truth is so embarrassing. Now when he saw Jian Lusher, he remembered the huge difference between them and Jian Lusher, and recalled the shock and astonishment they felt after fighting the mutated bird. Captain Jiang and the others did not escape. They just acted separately from us. Captain Guan said, At that time, it was actually Captain Jiang who sensed the danger first. But I didn't listen to Captain Jiang's reminder. Captain Jiang left first. As soon as he left, the danger appeared. I suffered such a big loss this time. An unshirkable responsibility. Captain Guan said seriously. Everyone was a little stunned and started talking about it. The Black Panther team is also a famous special forces team in the safe zone. Why would they bow to a team of survivors? Wan Lan was even more unbelievable. She was stunned for a moment and suddenly remembered something. She pointed at the minibus behind and said, That's not right. Since he was in danger as soon as he set off, he should also be in danger. Right? So what? You suffered heavy losses. But nothing happened to him. The minibus was unscathed. And Jiang Lusher had no problems at all. But the car the Black Panther team drove back was in terrible shape. Even by Jiayan's awesome growler was in tatters. After Wan Lan said this, many people became confused. At this time, Bai Jiayan let out a breath and said in a deep voice, Captain Zhang's car is indeed too powerful. By saying this, Bai Jiayan had already answered Wan Lan's question. It's not that Jian Lusher didn't encounter danger, or that he resorted to any tricks. It was purely a difference in strength. Under the same danger, Jiang Lusher and the others suffered no losses, while the Black Panther team suffered heavy losses. Wan Lan was stunned. She felt that her brain was completely exhausted. Just now, she was gloating that Jiang Lusher and the others could get out. But she heard this in the blink of an eye? Not only Captain Wan, but also by Jiayan from the Huaxia region was convinced of Jiang Lusher. Moreover, Captain Wan even admitted his responsibility. Jiang Lusher would not be punished in any way. He sensed the danger first. But Captain Guan did not listen. In this case, we should instead thank Jian Lusher and apologize to Jian Lusher. At this time, Captain Guan lowered his head to Jian Lusher. What happened this time was that I was too blind and arrogant. I should apologize to my team members. And I should also apologize to Captain Jiang. We still have to report the intelligence. So let's not talk about it for now. Facing the gazes from everyone around him, Captain Guan no longer wanted to stay here. He and Bai Jiayan entered the headquarters building together. Everyone was talking about it. And at this moment, Jian Lusher looked at Wan Lan, who looked ugly. You have nothing to say? Jian Lusher asked. Wan Lan's face turned slightly pale. She glanced at Jian Lusher angrily. What else can I say? Don't be rude. Since you are so strong, why don't you save people? They all died because of you. Of? What are you doing? Wan Lan took a step back in fright when Jian Lusher looked at her coldly. At this time, the male officer who had asked the question immediately stood in front of Wan Lan. This is a safe zone. Do you want to take action here? The male officer asked with a frown. Lin Yuan, 
Wan Lan felt her heart pounding at Jiang Liuxia's indifferent gaze, hiding behind the officer named Lin Yuan and not daring to show her face. It's just a little misunderstanding. Let's forget it, Lin Yuan said stiffly. Jiang Liuxia looked at them indifferently and suddenly showed a smile. Zhuying, let's go, Jiang Liuxia said. Lin Yuan's expression remained unchanged. Watching Jiang Liuxia and the others walk away, he felt that Jiang Liuxia's smile gave him a chill in his heart. But this is a safe zone and is heavily guarded. What can Jiang Lu do? And to put it bluntly, regardless of whether this matter was serious or not, even if Jiang Lu was heartbroken, he would not be able to pay a heavy price for such a small thing. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't provoke him again in the future. I don't think he is someone to be provoked. Lin Yuan turned to look at Wan Lan and said, Wan Lan rolled her eyes. Can I still be afraid of him in this safe zone? Besides, how do I know he will be here? But thank you, Lin Yuan. You don't have to thank me. I only take care of you for your sister's sake. But if your sister knows that you are causing trouble like this, she will scold you. Lin Yuan said, Why does she scold me? Am I wrong? Even if I misunderstood the man named Jiang before, it is true that he refused to save him. Wan Lan said with a snort. Lin Yuan sighed in his heart. Wan Lan's character is too self-respecting and lacks the strength. If this continues, he will always offend the wrong people. That is to say, Jiang Lusher was a survivor. If he were a senior military officer, the matter would not be settled so easily. As soon as Jiang Lusher and Jiang Juying walked away, a man chased them from behind, and the sound of trotting footsteps was heard. Before the other party called him, Jiang Lusher stopped and turned around. Who? Chapter 512 Longing When Jiang Lusher turned around, the girl was startled. She was originally hesitant to say H, low to Jiang Lusher. Is that you? Jiang Lusher looked at the girl carefully and was stunned for a moment. This girl's name is Wang Shichi, and she is Li Yusen's best friend in the Zhonghai safety zone. Her parents were also elites who were sent to the safe zone in advance, and she herself is a nurse. Jiang Lusher naturally remembered her, and also remembered that she had a very arrogant personality. But when I saw her this time, she was wearing a military uniform and looked a little haggard. You come to Jiangning too. Why are you dressed like this? Jiang Lusher asked. Well, I'm a nurse with the army, and I usually help in the logistics department. Wang Shichi said. Follow the army? That's still very dangerous. To do such a dangerous job, you still need to help in the logistics department? Jiang Zhuying glanced at her curiously. Then his eyes suddenly lit up. He pulled Jiang Lusher and said. Brother, she was the one who spoke for us just now. When Jiang Zhuying rushed over angrily, he heard part of the conversation between this girl and Wan Lan. It turns out we are acquaintances. Jiang Zhuying smiled friendly at Wang Shichi and said. Jiang Lusher was also a little surprised. Wang Shichi would actually put in a good word for them. I'm just telling the truth. Major Wan Lan is too arbitrary. But that's her character. Wang Shichi said in a low voice. Jiang Lusher felt that Wang Shichi seemed to have changed a lot. She used to be pampered and pampered. But now she looked very tired. And her speech was not like before. She was showing her teeth and claws like a kitten. But she seemed a little scared. But I didn't expect you to come to Jiangning safe zone. It's really great. Wang Shichi said with a smile. Is Yusin okay? Yusin is fine. She's in the car. You can get in and talk to her. Jian Lusher said. Okay then. Wang Shichi nodded. By the way, I would like to ask. Are there any metal materials stored in the Jiangning safety zone? Various materials. On the way to the minibus. Jian Lusher suddenly asked. He didn't know when he would be able to see General Zhang. And now was the time when the Jiangning safety zone was busy. It would be better if there were other ways to solve the problem. Jiang Lusher is racing against time now, and cannot afford to wait. Is it metal material? Wang Shichi thought carefully. There should be some. Food. Clothes. And various building materials are all managed by the logistics department. I will go back and check for you. If it is found. Can it be sold to others? Jiang Lusher's eyes lit up. And he asked. Unexpectedly. He asked the right person casually. Also. These things are generally under logistics management. Selling? This is possible. Wang Shichi is very sure about this. Some categories are not for sale. But as long as the materials are not particularly rare. They should be able to be sold. It's not that rare. Jian Lusher was sure. Fortunately. He went to recycle the helicopter. He had already obtained the hard to find materials. And the rest were not so hard to find. Thank you then, Jian Lusher said. 
Wang Shiqi smiled slightly. Sure enough, a lot has changed. The destruction of the Zhonghai safe zone must have changed her personality. In fact, Wang Shiqi's nature is still good, but her personality is too arrogant. Now that her personality has changed, she is now a good girl. Yusen, who do you think is here? Jian Lusher said as soon as he got in the car. Li Yusen said strangely. What's wrong? She looked at the car door. As Wang Shiqi stepped onto the minibus, Li Yusen suddenly showed a shocked look and then rushed over in surprise. Shiqi! Li Yusen took Wang Shiqi's hand. In fact, after the destruction of Zhonghai safety zone, Li Yusen was not only worried about her relatives, she was also worried about Wang Shiqi. Regarding Wang Shiqi's situation, she also asked her grandfather and mother, but they did not know where Wang Shiqi was or where her family members were. Now Li Yusen is very happy to see Wang Shiqi safe and sound. It's great that you're okay. Where are your family members? Are they all okay? Li Yusen asked. Well, everything is good. You seem to be more beautiful. Wang Shiqi looked at Li Yusen and said with tears in her eyes. Would you like to sit at home? Li Yusen said expectantly. No, I still have a job. Wang Shiqi said awkwardly. Brother Jiang, shall we send Shirchi back? Li Yusen said. Yeah. Okay. Jiang Lusher nodded, and Ning immediately started the minibus and drove towards the logistics office of Jiang Ning Safety Zone. Li Yusen pulled Wang Shiqi to sit on the bed, and the two girls held hands and talked from the time Li Yusen left the safe area until now. Both girls were very emotional when talking about their experiences. During this period, Li Yusen's abilities have grown a lot, and Wang Shiqi has become more mentally mature than before. Jiang Lusher sat on the sofa and took Luo Luo from Ran Shiyu's arms. As soon as the mutated beast came into his hands, it behaved like a stuffed toy, almost motionless. Gigi! Luo Luo was gently caressed by Jian Lusher, but trembled under Jian Liusher's palm. Why are you shaking? Jian Lusher said calmly. Grumble! Luo Luo's body stiffened, and she suddenly stopped trembling. Her long ears drooped. Ah! I'm here! Wang Shichi glanced out the window, stood up hurriedly, and said, Jian Lusher! I'll check it for you when I get back. You can make a list for me, and I'll prepare it for you first. I'll let you know when it's ready. Okay. Jian Lusher nodded, quickly wrote down the required materials, and handed them to Wang Shiqi. Well, Yusen, I'll leave first. We'll see you next time. Wang Shiqi and Li Yusen hugged each other before reluctantly getting out of the car. Jian Lusher looked outside, and saw that the logistics office was a former shopping mall building. Many people were coming and going here and many vehicles were parked in the open space in front of the shopping mall. There are those who transport coal, and there are those who transport clothing. Wang Shiqi passed through these vehicles and walked into the gate. Before entering, she turned around and waved to them. Huh? Jiang Xiaochu? Jiang Lusher suddenly caught sight of a weak figure, struggling to carry the briquettes down. His clothes and exposed skin were covered with soot. At this time, Jiang Xiaochu seemed to notice Jiang Liusher's gaze. She raised her head and saw the minibus. And she suddenly showed a look of surprise. While distracted, she accidentally stepped on a briquette and immediately lost her balance. But before she fell to the ground, she was already held by a hand. Why are you here? Jian Lusher asked. Then Ran Shiyu also got out of the car. She looked at Jiang Xiaochu and frowned slightly, as if she had guessed something. Where is Jiang Haojing? Ran Shiyu asked coldly. Jian Lusher also looked unhappy. How could Zhang Haojing be so brave? He kicked us out of our place. Now we have found our own place to live. It's actually nothing. But the work is a little harder. Jiang Xiaochu said. Where are the foods given to you? Ran Shiyu asked. Jiang Xiaochu hesitated for a moment and said. We are eating. If he treats you like this, there's no need to cover it up for him. Ran Shiyu said. As a person with psychic powers, she noticed Jiang Xiaochu's lies as soon as she lied. Where is he now? Jian Lusher asked calmly. He lost a leg and was admitted to the hospital. Jian Xiaochu said. Jian Lusher raised his eyebrows. It turned out that Zhang Haojing had lost a leg. But why did he dare to do this? Don't you want the other leg too? It's okay. We have a place to stay now. The hospital is heavily guarded. So let's just forget about it. Okay. She you? Jian Xiaochu said uneasily. When Zhang Haojing came back, his crazy look made her even more uneasy. She was afraid that Jian Lusher and the others would get into trouble because of her own affairs. It's a pity that the only job she can find that pay relatively well 
and that she can do are making briquettes and carrying briquettes. Otherwise, she would rather work in a closed environment than let Ran Shiyu bump into her. Okay, Shiyu, forget it. Forget it. At worst, we won't have any contact with each other anymore. It's just a good time for us to be self-reliant. Jiang Xiaochu looked at Ran Shiyu pleadingly. Ran Shiyu's eyes were cold, and she said after hearing this, You are all relying on your own efforts. But seeing Jiang Xiaochu so worried, Ran Shiyu nodded. I know. But you are too tired. Why are you tired? I heard that the large area will be established soon. And you can return to the life before the apocalypse. This will give you hope. Although it is impossible to be the same as before the apocalypse. At least you can live a stable life. When the school reopens, I will become a teacher. Jiang Xiaochu said with some expectation. Once the district is built, facilities such as schools will be reopened. Jiang Xiaochu is also an elite returnee. So there is no problem in becoming a teacher. Actually, many people are like me. Although they are ordinary people who are suffering the most. They are very satisfied if they can live and look forward to the future. Jiang Xiaochu said, with a hint of smile on his face stained with soot. Sweet smile. Jiang Lusher said nothing. Ordinary people still didn't know about the appearance of Hive. The safety zone that was built in full swing was about to be destroyed. But it would only take a moment. I'll continue working. Shiyu, we'll talk next time. Jiang Xiaochu smiled and continued to move the briquettes. There are also two trucks of briquettes waiting to be unloaded and distributed to people who come to collect them. But ordinary people like Jiang Xiaochu, who is making briquettes, have no chance to get briquettes. The quantity is limited, and not many people can supply it. Although ordinary people can buy briquettes, they only earn so little, and they are not willing to spend it to buy these. Chapter 513 Infiltration It's really annoying, Ran Shiyu said with a slight frown. Jiang Lusha rarely saw her angry side, and it seemed that she was really angry this time. She drove out Jiang Xiuqiu's family, and took away the things she gave to Jiang Xiuqiu's family. Those things were all trophies that Ran Shiyu received after fighting again and again. It is not an exaggeration to use the phrase, exchange one's life, to describe them. But such a thing was blatantly taken away by that disgusting man Zhang Haojing. Thinking of this, Ran Shiyu felt sick. But we can't get into that hospital, Ran Shiyu said reluctantly. Zhang Haojing acted unscrupulously because he was lying in the hospital. They couldn't break in directly. On the one hand, Jiang Lusher also needed materials from the safe zone. And on the other hand, he also had to give face to General Zhang. General Zhang admired and took good care of Shuring team and Jiang Lusher. Forget it, Ran Shiyu sighed. But at this time, Jiang Lusher grabbed her. Then as long as it's not discovered. That's fine. Right, Jiang Lusher said. Ah? Ran Shi was stunned. Jiang Lusher smiled slightly. Zhang Haojing thought they couldn't get in. But in fact, the only way to get in was through the gate. After dinner, night falls. Except for some buildings in the Jiangning safety zone that were still lit. Most areas were hidden in the night. Like masses of dark shadows. Jiangning Hospital. The predecessor of this hospital is a hospital in Jiangning City. It was built only a few years ago. And the buildings and facilities are very new. There were soldiers standing guard at the gate. And a group of soldiers were patrolling back and forth. There is also a military camp next to the hospital and you can feel a solemn and murderous atmosphere from a distance. In an alley next to the hospital, a minibus stopped here silently. The car lights were turned off, and only the lights in the car were still on, but they were completely invisible from the outside. The partition between the cab and the carriage has been lowered, completely sealing the light inside the carriage. In the driver's seat, Ng sat motionless, looking ahead through the windshield with bright eyes. In her mind, the minibus's built-in camera was observing the situation behind. And the picture appeared in her mind, before. Jian Lusher, Jian Juying, Ran Shi, Li Yusen, and Ling were sitting around the sofa. At this time, Jian Lusher glanced at the sky outside through the window and said, It's almost done. Shi, let's start. Jian Lusher said, Okay. Ran Shi nodded, and then her eyes seemed to have passed through the minibus and into the distance. Ran Shi's gray eyes were like the Milky Way, making people feel addicted. Her mental vision had reached the hospital, bypassing the patrolling soldiers, and quickly spread towards the hospital building, like an invisible shadow, moving quickly without being seen by others. Ran Shiyu's mental vision came to the gate. I sense spiritual power, Ran Shiyu said suddenly. No need to force it, Jian Lusher said. In Ran Shiyu's mental vision, 
an invisible force was scanning the inside of the hospital. This power passed through those mental light groups. That is, patients, doctors and nurses. And these people did not notice anything. Ran Shiyu just paused and then continued. It doesn't matter. Her mental vision was like a flexible cat, passing through the power with great ease. The mental power kept scanning, but did not notice Ran Shiyu under his eyes at all. Ran Shiyu's mental energy was highly concentrated, contracted into a bundle, and passed through the narrowest gap. It's impossible for him to find me, Ran Shiyu said. A glimmer of confidence flashed across her face. Although Ran Shiyu looks weak, she possesses strong spiritual power. While speaking, Ran Shiyu had already locked onto the location of the spiritual superpower. He was in a ward, and in another ward next to him. Ran Shiyu discovered a group of spiritual light. Brother Jiang, I found him, Ran Shiyu said coldly. Jiang Haojing, let's go. Jiang Lu stood up immediately. The car door opened immediately, and Jiang Lu sure. Jiang Juying, and Ling quickly walked out of the car then jumped over the wall with a high jump. In an instant, a new picture appeared in the minds of Jian Lusher and the other three. This is the mental vision picture shared by Ran Shiyu. In the picture, they can also clearly see the bright spiritual light groups in the gray background, as well as the positions of these light groups from them. Huh? Why is there still a blue light group? Jiang Zhuying said in his mind in surprise. There were only three blue light groups. As soon as she moved, she found that the blue light groups seemed to be her. Jiang Lusher and Ling. This will avoid confusion. I can also change the shape for you. Ran Shiyu said. With a thought. The three blue light groups turned into three hearts. Wow. I like this. Jiang Juying said. The shared spiritual vision. To put it bluntly. Is what Ran Shiyu's mental power projects into Jiang Lusher's minds. It comes from Ran Shiyu's spiritual energy. So she can make all kinds of changes. It's just that changing is somewhat mentally draining. But today, they are not here to hunt mutant beasts or zombies. They are in a safe zone instead of the wild. So Ran Shiyu got naughty. Brother, you are a beating heart. Jiang Juying couldn't help but smile as she watched Jiang Lusher move forward. With the heart that represented him bouncing. Jiang Lusher. Be quiet. They used various covers to avoid the patrol members. And then entered the hospital building through a window. Next, I will wrap up the spiritual power of the spiritual power user and project some illusions on him. You don't need to pay attention to him. Just go directly over. Ran Shiyu said. Project him? Share his spirit with him. Jian Lusher said in surprise. Ran Shiyu had never done this before. Well, I want to give it a try. As long as I control my mental power to perfection. Nothing will go wrong. Ran Shiyu said. Sitting on the sofa of the minibus. Ran Shiyu took a gentle breath and her beautiful eyes flashed slightly. Everyone is evolving and improving. And the monsters are also evolving rapidly. Ran Shiyu also wants to do more things on her own. Trust me. Ran Shiyu said. Good. Jian Lusher no longer hesitated. Let's go! There were not many people walking in the corridor at night. And the wards in the hospital were not very crowded. Most of the people sleeping in the wards were injured soldiers. In the inpatient department on the fifth floor. Two young nurses were sitting and working at the nurse station. Suddenly, one of the young nurses felt a shadow flashing in front of his eyes. She raised her head and looked around. There is nothing in the corridor. Are you dazzled? The little nurse rubbed her eyes, lowered her head, and continued working. At this time, in a ward on the fifth floor, John Haojing was lying on the hospital bed, and his woman was sitting beside the bed. The woman was taking out the insulated lunch box. Have they been driven away already? John Haojing asked. Don't worry. I locked them out directly and left their ragged clothes at the door. They wanted to come in to get their luggage. But I didn't let them. Didn't you say that? I don't want them to step into our house again. Yes. The woman smiled and said. Yes. I don't want to see anyone related to Jiang Lusher anymore. Jiang Haojing said coldly. My legs are all thanks to him. Jiang Haojing looked at the quilt. Although there was a bulge in one area. It was only bulging at the knees and was soft underneath. That's where his missing leg should be. As soon as he saw the scene. Jiang Haojing's eyes turned red. And he hit the hospital bed so hard that the whole bed shook. The woman was startled. After Zhang Haojing came back, he performed further sutures and bandages. But it was impossible for his lost leg to come back. Even the leg had been eaten. And not even the bones were left for him. But he won't be easy. Originally, I just wanted to dig out Ran Shiyu, And I didn't want to do anything to him. Zhang Lusher. He is the one who brought this on himself. Zhang Haojing said. 
Is Zhang Yoshur's minibus really that powerful? Is the big guy you mentioned really interested in his car? Besides, didn't you also say that Jian Lusher is still holding the thigh of a general? Yeah, the woman said worriedly. She also wished to see Jian Lusher and Ran Shiyu in bad luck. But she was also worried about the risks involved. Of course I'm interested. As for General Zhang, he is first and foremost the general of the safe zone. He has to take care of the overall situation first. Even if he wants to protect Jian Lusher, he can't do whatever he wants. In addition to him, the safe zone also has a commander and a military committee. A cold look flashed across Zhang Haojing's face. Besides, if I'm not interested, how can I ask someone to protect me? Zhang Haojing said and glanced at the next door. The psychic psychic was also a wounded person, but he was specially moved next door to him, and he had been shrouding the hospital with his psychic powers. In fact, Zhang Haojing was still very afraid of Jian Lusher. So when he betrayed Jian Lusher, he put forward the condition that someone protect him. Now he lives in Jiangming Hospital. There is security at the hospital gate. There are two people standing guard at the door of a single ward. There is also a person with psychic powers lying next to the ward. The big boss also found it interesting when he saw that he was so afraid of Jian Lusher. But with this security right now, you can sleep peacefully. Zhang Haojing was indeed relieved. He didn't believe it. Could Jian Lusher still come to his ward and point a gun at his head? Is it stewed mutated beast meat and vegetables? John Haojing looked at the lunchbox the woman took out and asked. Well, don't tell me. It's really delicious. I just said that if I give such a good thing to John Xiaochu and the others, wouldn't it be a waste? Hey, I was in a hurry to bring it to you, and I haven't even eaten it yet, the woman said as she opened the lunchbox, and a fragrant smell suddenly filled the whole room. John Haojing smiled, and before he could speak, he heard a knock at the door. Chapter 514 Betrayal Dong Dong A gentle knock on the door made John Haojing's eyes flash. However, the mental superpower next door didn't react at all, and no unusual movement was heard at the door. John Haojing just tensed up instinctively, and then relaxed. He felt that he was too nervous. He felt his heart being tugged as soon as he heard the knock on the door. Who is it? The woman asked, standing up and walking towards the door. However, the moment she opened the door, the woman froze. John Haojing was holding the lunch box and was about to put a mouthful of stew into his mouth when he suddenly noticed something was wrong. What's going on? John Haojing looked at the door and asked. The woman stood there stiffly, looking at the person standing in front of her in horror. Jiang Liushi. The two soldiers stood on both sides of the door, but seemed to turn a blind eye to Jian Lushu and his party. They were naturally affected by Ran Shiyu's spirit. This kind of short-term manipulation was not a problem for Ran Shiyu. At this time, the woman did not dare to breathe out, because a sharp military thorn was pressed against her throat, and the cold blade was pressed tightly against her skin, causing her to get goosebumps all over her body. Ling stood next to Jian Lusher. The moment the woman opened the door, she took action quickly. The woman didn't even have time to react. Jian Lusher smiled coldly and made a gesture to the woman. Shoo! Where did this woman dare to speak? The tip of the knife had already cut her skin. At this time, John Haojing already had a bad premonition. The palpitating feeling from before when there was a knock on the door came back again and became more intense. He reached out to ring the alarm bell beside the bed without hesitation. But at this moment, a strong life and death crisis enveloped him. If you move, I will beat you to death immediately. You can try to see who is faster. You or me. Jian Liuxer's voice rang in John Haojing's ears. At the same time, John Haojing felt as if his head had been pricked by a needle and his scream for help was cut off in his neck. Zhang Haojing vaguely saw Jian Lusher sure, and others walking in and gently closing the door. The blur was only a brief moment. But when Zhang Haojing woke up in horror, he found that his head had been pressed against the cold muzzle of the gun. Zhang Haojing's movements froze together with the blood all over his body. He was never an opponent of the Shuring team. But when he truly stood on the opposite side of the opponent, he realized that he had still underestimated the terror of this enemy. Next to the military camp in the Jiangning safety zone, the Jiangning hospital, which is inaccessible to ordinary people, is still in the high-rise VIP ward, but the other party still seems to be in and out of nowhere. Neither the guard at the door nor the psychic psychic next door noticed anything. John Haojing's heart felt cold. He had miscalculated. He still did not clearly realize how insignificant he was in front of Jiang Lushu. You'd better cooperate. At this distance, no matter what you want to do, you have no chance. Jian Lusher said. Zhang Haojing's heart tightened. Yes, 
not only John Lusher, but also Ranshiyu. He was still enveloped by Ranshiyu's mental power. The feeling of despair has already surged into Zhang Haojing's heart. He wanted to break the cauldron and perish together with Jian Lusher. But he couldn't. He couldn't even ask for help from outsiders. On the surface, this hospital is still peaceful. Who would know that he is in this ward with a gun put to his head? If you want to kill, just kill him. Zhang Haojing said with eyes filled with death. Your treatment is good. Who gave it to you? Jian Lusher asked. Zhang Haojing chuckled. Why should I answer you? I said, can you let me go? He was not stupid. Jiang Lusher sneaked into the hospital specially just for his head. How could he let him go so easily? Begging for mercy has no meaning at this time. If you kill me, you won't live long. Your fate will not be any better than mine. Zhang Haojing said viciously. When he thought of Jiang Lusher's fate, Zhang Haojing felt a twisted sense of joy in his heart. And even his fear of death was reduced a lot. It's none of my business. Don't kill me. The woman trembled and begged for mercy. However, she didn't dare to speak loudly as Ling's military thorn was pressed against her throat. John Haojing suddenly looked at the woman with red eyes. Jian Lusher glanced at the woman and said, What do you know? Bitch! How dare you betray me? John Haojing's voice suddenly became louder. However, as soon as he spoke, a small electric current rushed through his body. John Haojing's whole body twitched, and his voice suddenly stopped. The huge pain of the electric shock made him fall down on the bed. Seeing Zhang Haojing's eyes nearly bulging out and his twitching pain. The woman was so frightened that her whole body was trembling. Jian Zhuying stood there handsomely. With a smile on her face. And circles of electric current wrapped around her fingers. Those electric currents were like pets to her. Just by hearing what Ran Shiyu said. She already disliked Zhang Haojing. Now that she saw Zhang Haojing in person. She felt even more disgusted. So naturally, she wanted to make Zhang Haojing suffer. Say! Jian Lusher looked at the woman and said, Zhang Haojing must have something to rely on for receiving such good treatment and daring to drive Jiang Xiaochu's family out and seize the things Ran Shiyu sent. Jian Lusher wanted to know what kind of backer he had found. After Zhang Haojing came back, he found a person and told him all about you and Ran Shiyu's past situation. But I don't know who that person was. He only said that that person was very powerful and that he could be an official in the future. Let him rise to the top. And he also said that he would let me follow him to enjoy the hot and spicy food. I was also deceived by Sean Haojing. I am a woman, and I don't have any means of livelihood. Of course, he said whatever he said, and I didn't dare to disobey him. He also insisted on driving Xiao Chu and his uncle and Ann out. And there was nothing I could do, the woman said hurriedly, while she was talking. John Haojing was continuously shocked with electric shocks. His facial features were distorted in pain, and his eyes kept staring at the woman. However, the woman didn't care about him at all. She didn't want to be a fatal couple with Zhang Haojing. She tried her best to distance herself from Zhang Haojing. Now she wanted to say that she didn't know Zhang Haojing. Bitch, bitch! Zhang Haojing squeezed out two words. Why are you scolding me? What I told is the truth, the woman said. You can betray Zhang Haojing. How can I believe that you won't betray me? Jian Lusher asked calmly. I, I really won't say anything. The woman's heart skipped a beat, and she looked at Jian Lusher and said. Jian Lusher didn't speak. Just looked at her calmly. Suddenly the woman screamed. Turned around and ran towards the door. Help! However, at this moment, she felt her neck heat up. And a stream of warm liquid continuously spurted out from her neck. Her, help, turned into a hoarse voice, and she did not shout out. The woman hurriedly covered her neck, fell to the ground with her eyes wide open. Her body twitched slightly, and soon she lost her breath. It's really stupid, John Haojing said. That woman was indeed not a person who could keep secrets. When Jian Lusher looked at her, she felt guilty. Otherwise she wouldn't have suddenly lost her mind and acted like she was seeking death. Give you one last chance. Who is that person? If you tell me, you will die faster, Jian Lusher said. Zhang Haojing was so painful that he was sweating all over, and there was no part of his body that was not in pain. As soon as he hesitated, Zhang Zhuying immediately released a new current. You'd better think carefully. As a person with superpowers, your physical fitness should be able to withstand it for more than an hour or two. Right. You will be burned from the inside out. All your organs will be destroyed, and your skin will be burned until it festers. That's ugly, Zhang Zhuying added, with her strength. She can burn Zhang Haojing to charcoal in an instant. But she can also choose to take her time. 
and the amount of current is completely under her control. It seems you want to give it a try, Jiang Zhuying said, with an evil smile on her face. Jiang Zhuying will not show any mercy to this person who wants to harm her brother. Laugh. Another flash of electricity flashed from head to toe. Zhang Haojing's eyes nearly popped out, and his skin became congested and red. Paralysis. Severe pain. Convulsions. Elevated blood pressure. Difficulty breathing. You will try all of these one by one, Jiang Zhuying said. Every time Jiang Zhuying said a word, he would shock Zhang Haojing once. Zhang Haojing finally couldn't bear it anymore. I, I said. Zhang Haojing was filled with unwillingness. He hated it so much. He desperately hoped that Jiang Lusher would meet a tragic end. But the pain was really unbearable. Zhang Haojing was in great pain. The two soldiers standing at the door did not hear any movement. Before Jiang Lusher and the others opened the door and came out, their expressions fell into a trance again. Then they watched Jiang Lusher and his party walk out. And Jiang Lusher turned around and closed the door. The two soldiers still had no reaction. They didn't wake up until Jiang Lusher and the others left the hospital. But they didn't know what happened just now. And they didn't notice anything. Little did they know that in the ward behind the door, the person they were guarding had turned into a corpse. Call! Returning to the minibus, Jiang Lusher let out a breath. Thank you, everyone. Ran Shi withdrew her gaze and looked at Jiang Lusher and the others. This time your spiritual power played the biggest role, Jiang Lusher said with a smile. Without Ran Shiyu, it would have been impossible to sneak into a place like this without alerting anyone. Psychic powers are really weird and difficult to guard against. Zhang Haojing specially arranged a spiritual power user to guard against Ran Shiyu, but he failed to guard him. They will find the dead person soon. Let's get out of here quickly, Ran Shiyu said. She has withdrawn her spiritual vision and the spiritual superpower will soon find that the two spiritual light groups next door have disappeared. It was there one second. Gone the next. Let's go! As soon as Jian Lusher spoke, Ng immediately stepped on the accelerator. The minibus quickly disappeared into the night. After the minibus left, a rapid siren suddenly sounded in Jiangning Hospital. Soldiers rushed to Jiangning Hospital from the military camp next door. Residents living in nearby buildings were also awakened one after another. They stood at the window, and looked in the direction of Jiangning Hospital. Look! What happened? People were wondering. This is the core area of Jiangning Safety Zone. Could there be mutant beasts or zombies? Chapter 515 Black Hole By the time the army went to the streets to investigate, Jiang Lusher and his party had already returned to their residence. Zhang Haojing actually sold us to people from the Huaxia region. Now that they are dead, the people from the Huaxia region will definitely suspect Brother Jiang. Right? Li Yusin said worriedly. Suspicion is just suspicion. Without evidence, nothing can be done to us. Jiang Zhuying said nonchalantly while sitting on the sofa, reading comics on his tablet. That's what I said. Ran Shiyu said. The people in the Huaxia region still have to be on guard. According to Zhang Haojing's explanation, he was not qualified to meet that person at all. The person was sent by the Huaxia region to supervise and guide the construction of Jiangning Safety Zone. He had a strong background. Even the commander of Jiangning Seiki Zone would sell his face. The soldiers are coming to stop him. Jiang Lusher said calmly. Back in the Zhonghai Safety Zone, he offended Commissioner Chu without any fear. It is impossible for people from the Huaxia region to openly mobilize their troops to do anything to him. Zhang Haojing's death was not even a small splash in the entire Jiangning Safety Zone. It wasn't until early the next morning, when the city's sirens suddenly sounded, that a huge wave really swept through the entire Jiangning Safety Zone. The residents of the safe zone woke up from their sleep, and they rushed to the windows and looked out. At first, many people couldn't see clearly, but gradually, some people discerned a black shadow among the tall buildings. What is that? Some people exclaimed. The urban area of Jiangning was filled with fog, and a black shadow was swaying in it. The black shadow seemed to have no specific shape, but was constantly changing. More and more people noticed this black shadow. At first, people seemed to be watching something novel, but gradually, people began to feel panic. This dark shadow is gradually approaching the safe zone. It didn't look like mist or dust, but something substantial. Constantly approaching them. But the distance was too far, and there was thick fog. They couldn't see clearly what it was. So they could only speculate and speculate. Jiang Lusher was also standing by the window, looking at the black shadow. Warning. Dangerous energy body detected. Danger level. Highest level. The cold mechanical sound of star seeds suddenly sounded in Jiang Lusher's mind. That's it. 
the intensity of danger sensed by Star Seed is even higher than before. This dangerous energy body, it was it that destroyed Hijiang Town. What is this? Jian Lusher asked Xingzheng hurriedly. Detection scan in progress. This dangerous energy body is a special life form with very strong growth potential. It can achieve rapid growth by eating a large amount of food. Its food targets include life forms and various metals and minerals. This kind of special life form can lie dormant for a long time. Once they wake up, they will eat a lot and return to their adult state. This dangerous energy body is a case of waking up after sleeping. Xingzhong quickly provided the scan results. I see. Jiang Lusher estimated that when Star Seed first sensed this energy body, it was still very weak. But now, it has become much stronger. With his eyesight, he could see clearly the true appearance of the black shadow through the gray fog. The surface of the black shadow seemed to be covered with layers of thick scales. But under the scales, there was no actual flesh and blood, but a mass of black. It was impossible to tell what it was. After looking at it for a long time, there is also a feeling of snowflakes appearing on the eyeballs and black spots all over the field of vision. Wherever the black shadow passed, zombies and metal were slowly devoured. Passing a car. The car becomes a frame, passing a building. Even the metal window frames on the building and the railings on the balcony will all disappear. The zombies were much faster than the black shadow and could have escaped originally. But when the black shadow approached, the zombies stood there motionless, allowing the black shadow to come and devour them. Those residents couldn't see this, but Jian Lusher could see it clearly. This scene made Jian Lusher feel cold in his heart. This thing actually just woke up from sleep. Did it appear together with the apocalypse? There is everything after the end of the world, and it would not be surprising even if such a monster appears. It's just that ordinary monster star seeds are not afraid of it. At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly felt a strong sense of crisis. Although there was no change in the black shadow, Jian Lusher immediately felt that the black shadow was looking at him. It found him. When Star Seed scanned it, it also noticed the existence of Star Seed. Immediately afterwards, the speed of the black shadow's movement seemed to increase. Damn! Jian Lusher cursed in his heart. Regardless of the number of people in the safe zone, as well as the Star Seeds, they are all targets of this black hole. However, it was impossible for the safe zone to sit still and wait for death. And Jian Lusher was even less likely to do so. Wang Shichi should contact me today, Jian Lusher said. The streets below were filled with military vehicles roaring past, and troops running quickly towards the city wall. At the same time, several cars were driving around the streets and alleys, using their loudspeakers to deliver announcements and orders. All residents remain calm and all life and work continue as usual. People with special abilities and survivor teams, please wait for notification. Such notifications were repeated over and over again. After the destruction of Hijiang Town, many new groups of survivors came to the safe zone one after another. Now that the safe zone is also facing a crisis, these survivor teams naturally have to stand up and fight. Unless they abandon their safe zone and escape on their own. I feel very uncomfortable with this thing. It should be a very strong spiritual energy body. Ran Shiyu said with a slightly pale face. With the current strength of Ran Shiyu's mental power, the energy body that makes her feel uncomfortable just looking at it must be terrifyingly strong. In other words, if Ran Shiyu wants to directly attack it mentally and kill it in this way, it is impossible. Even if Ran Shiyu uses mental power to detect it, it may be risky. Shiyu, don't touch it yet. Just pay attention to how far it is from the safe zone. Jian Lusher said. Yeah. Ran Shiyu nodded. Jian Lusher glanced at the landline phone in the room. He was in urgent need of those materials now. The closer the shadow was to him, the stronger the threat Jian Lusher felt. Inside the headquarters of Jiangming Safety Zone. What's going on? How could this happen? The surveillance screen clearly showed the approaching black shadow. As it approached the safe zone, the black shadow continued to grow little by little at a speed that was difficult to see with the naked eye. If this continues, it will be like a big black mouth swallowing up the entire safe zone bit by bit. The homes that hundreds of thousands of people in the safe zone rely on for survival will eventually be destroyed and disappear, with not even a scrap left. Sitting in the conference room at this time were almost all the senior officials of Jiangming Safety Zone. Those who didn't come were also on the city wall, intensively strengthening the defense at the gate of the safe zone. As a gathering area for humans, the safe zone will naturally attract groups of zombies, mutant beasts, and various monsters. These things come just by smelling them. And living humans are a huge attraction to them. 
But it's not as weird as this time. It only took a few dozen hours from the time they received the report to the time the monster appeared. This monster has grown so much. Now it looks like a two or three story building. Didn't we send a team to eliminate it? Even if it can't be eliminated, at least the news should be sent back. How could it be? A military commissar said angrily. This thing appeared directly in their field of vision. That team was completely wiped out. General Zhang said solemnly. We named this crisis a black hole. According to analysis, the black hole seems to have swallowed enough energy and then suddenly completed the fusion. Our team encountered part of the black hole when it merged and they were swallowed at the moment the black hole merged. An entire regiment, nearly 2,000 people, 2,000 living lives, were gone in the blink of an eye. There was no fierce resistance, no crazy exchange of fire. It was just gone all of a sudden. The whole army was wiped out. No one survived. The person who passed the news back was the superpower sent out to investigate. Every word spoken by General Zhang made the atmosphere in the conference room more solemn. 2,000 people. Gone. Chapter 516 Meeting. There was silence in the conference hall. Although there have been sacrifices in previous animal and zombie waves, there have never been such huge losses. And what caused this consequence was not tens of thousands of zombies or a large number of mutant beasts. It was just a black hole. In addition to swallowing and growing, this black hole is also very defensive. Judging from the current situation, bullets will not have much effect on it. Old General Jean continued. If bullets don't work, we will use cannons. This black hole has also attracted a lot of mutant beasts. I suggest that we take the initiative to surround and destroy this black hole so that it will be eliminated before it can reach the safe zone, General Zhang said passionately. In the conference hall, many committee members did not take the words immediately. An elite team of 2,000 people was gone at the last word. And if they were asked to send people to exterminate them, they felt a little nervous. General Zhang stood at the table. His brows suddenly frowned slightly. Back in Zhonghai, there were factional disputes, and everyone was making their own plans. Forget it if it's normal. But at this time, you don't want to hack. And I don't want to hack either. In the end, everyone will die together. When my third army wiped out the insect nest in Zhonghai, many brothers died. When we came to Jiangming, there were not many left. But my brothers in the third army and I are still willing to do this this time. Be the first to stand up, General Zhang said in a deep voice. The bounden duty of a soldier is to protect the homeland and the country. Protect the homeland and the people. And do not hesitate to die on the battlefield for this. This is what you and I should do. I wonder if you still remember your identity now. Have you forgotten it? Bar! General Zhang asked with a cold tone. These words made everyone present feel a little silent. Lao Zhang is right! A committee member over 50 stood up suddenly and said. This man's eyes were as sharp as an eagle's. Although he was thin, he gave people the feeling of containing great power. Like a lion. I don't have many soldiers. But they are basically all superpowers. I myself am also a level 2 superpower. Bullets don't work on that thing. So we superpowers can always go up and beat them up. Let it go. This member's surname is Luo. And among the military committees in the Jiangning safety zone. He has the strongest personal strength. The 2,000 brothers this time are all under my command. Commander Huang spoke slowly and said sadly. He really couldn't bear to let his brothers suffer huge casualties anymore. But if you don't kill that damn thing, how can you be worthy of those 2,000 brothers? Commander Huang raised his head, slammed the table and said, The Jiangming safety zone was just a small camp at the beginning. We built it up little by little. In this damn apocalypse, this is our home, and it is the place we must fight to the death to defend. Hundreds of thousands of people, their lives and safety depend on us. No matter how heavy the burden on our shoulders is, we must stand up straight. For a time, these people were filled with passion. Commander Huang and others were originally local troops. They had watched Jiangming become A.H.L. And many people screamed and fell on the way to escape. Although they knew that there were still many people in Jiangming city. They could only retreat. The same tragedy cannot happen again. In this case, let's plan now how to eliminate this black hole dot. Commander Huang said. But at this moment, the door of the conference hall opened. All the command and power centers of the Jiangming safety zone are now located in this small conference hall. Even the officials of the Jiangming safety zone cannot barge in like this. But facing these people who appeared at the door of the conference hall, Commander Huang and others looked serious and said, Major General Han Yuan is here. The leader was a man in his thirties, followed by two women and three men. 
one of whom was Bai Jiayin. But Bai Jiayin, known as Captain Bai, was just standing silently at the back. Standing next to Han Yuan were a bald man and a woman. The bald man's face was covered with crisscrossing scars, and he looked very ferocious. While the woman gave people a cold feeling that no one should approach, the two men, one on the left and one on the right, held Han Yuan in the middle. However, no matter how fierce the auras of the two of them were, they were suppressed silently by Han Yuan. The leader, Han Yuan didn't look fierce, but rather gentle. But standing there, he was impossible to ignore. He was not originally a soldier, but was awarded the rank of Major General in the Huaxia region. Now in the Jiangning safe zone, he represents the Huaxia region. The committee members and commanders present were all powerful bosses when they walked out, with soldiers and guns in their hands. But behind Han Yuan is the entire Huaxia region, which people have to treat with caution. Moreover, this Han Yuan also gives people a feeling of deep thinking. For example, if General Zhang comes into contact with him, he will not know what this Han Yuan is thinking. I already know everything. Han Yuan sat down on an empty chair naturally. When I came in, I happened to hear something. Black hole. Right. Then Major General Han should have heard it. We have determined to destroy the black hole at all costs and never give it a chance to threaten the safe zone. Old General Zhang said. Of course. I am in the safe zone now. And I should also contribute to guarding the safe zone. The people in my hands will go all out. I will also inform the Huaxia region about the situation here. Han Yuan nodded. It would be great. For a time, everyone felt the same hatred and hatred. Even the Huaxia region is fully helping to fight back any black holes. Since you want to encircle and suppress the black hole, you should first find out the situation of this black hole. I am willing to be a pioneer, but I still have a few people on hand. Han Yuan said. Han Yuan took the lead and impressed everyone present. The first people to approach the black hole must be the most dangerous. If you're not careful, you may end up like the team of 2,000 people. Never to return. Han Yuan took the initiative to take the risk. Whoever you want, I'll give it to you. General Zhang was the first to express his stance. There is no need for soldiers. It is better to leave this kind of thing to people with powers. Han Yuan said. People with special abilities are more flexible and have stronger personal combat effectiveness. What I want to lead is not an army but a special sharp knife. A glimmer of light flashed in Han Yuan's eyes. Moreover, this black hole may not be what you think. Eliminating it may not be the best solution. Han Yuan continued. These words made everyone stunned for a moment. Not to eliminate them? Ha ha. Don't worry. I just said that. Everything will have to wait until the situation is found out. Han Yuan suddenly smiled and said, Chapter 517 Wang Shichi Coming out of the conference hall, General Zhang had a look of passion on his old face. As if the passion of his youth had returned. Although the danger is right in front of us, the entire safe zone is united. Such a safe zone will not be easily defeated. General. Brothers. Just go up. You should stay in the safe area and take charge. The adjutant suggested with some concern as he walked beside General Zhang. General Zhang is already very old and was seriously injured in the battle at the Beast Nest in Zhonghai. Although he was rescued in the end, he was not a superpower after all, and his age showed that he had permanent hidden injuries on his body that had never healed. After listening to the adjutant's words, General Zhang stopped and then slowly spoke. Actually, in this apocalyptic world, everyone can ask themselves a question. If you watch your comrades, brothers, relatives, lovers, and friends die tragically, or turn into monsters, you have not tried your best to rescue or be with them. After fighting together, Will you regret it in the end? If the answer is that you will regret it, then go for it. When I was young, I chose to be a soldier, and I was never afraid of death. I can't watch my compatriots die, and watch the land where I grew up end. It has become a ruin with no living people. If I survive and survive, I will regret it and hate myself. General Zhang took a gentle breath, and his eyes became calm and firm. I am old, and it is precisely because I am old that I should fight with all my might. Otherwise, what is the point of hiding in a safe place and slowly dying of old age? Is there any point? As the saying goes, people live not just for the sake of living. The adjutant was silent for a moment, then stood up straight with a snap, solemnly performed a military salute, and said, I am willing to live or die with Jiang Ming. Has Major General Han Yuan ordered the selection of a team of survivors in the safe zone? General Zhang asked. Yes, the order has been issued. The adjutant nodded. 
Well, is that team still in the safe zone? If Major General Han Yuan can persuade him, the operation will be more secure. Old General Zhang said. Is this the team that you are very optimistic about? General? The adjutant asked curiously. He heard General Zhang mention that team more than once. In this case, wouldn't it be better to invite them directly into the army? The adjutant asked. Now in the Huaxia region and the Jiangming safety zone. Survivors are welcome to join the army. The Jiangming safety zone has been implemented for some time. Although many people were dissatisfied, it was still implemented. The biggest problem of the survivor team is that they are not subject to regulations. But if a special special team of superpowers is established, this problem will be partially solved. He doesn't want to. Maybe he will agree this time. When the region is established in the future, he also needs to have roots. Old General Zhang said with some hope. If Jiang Lusher and his Shuring team are willing to stay in the Jiangming safe zone, General Zhang will naturally wish for it. Let's go back and let the brothers prepare for this battle. Old General Zhang said. At this time, several other people coming out of the conference hall were looking at the backs of General Zhang and his adjutant. These people were Han Yuan and others. This old general is really energetic, Han Yuan said. They all heard what General Zhang said. With people like him here, there's no need to worry about keeping this safe zone. Even Commander Huang and others were infected by General Zhang and inspired their original passion. But after he finished speaking, Han Yuan's expression changed slightly. And he asked lightly, Who is that? Zhang Haojing. One of the women replied immediately. This woman didn't look as powerful as the others. She wore a pair of glasses with thick lenses and stood at the end. Not conspicuous. Oh, yes, I forgot. Thank you. Wan Yiling. Han Yuan nodded to her and said gently. But this Zhang Haojing died just last night. Han Yuan said. Bai Jiayan's eyes flashed suddenly. But he didn't speak. Actually, I don't care about Zhang Haojing but he keeps saying that he is not safe and will be retaliated against. Which makes me feel a little incredible. That's why I sent someone to protect him. I just want to see why he is so afraid of retaliation. Is this really possible? Han Yuan said calmly. If Zhang Haojing could still hear these words, he would only feel a chill in his back. Han Yuan sent people to protect him not because he valued the information he gave him, but just because he was a little interested. In the end, neither the mental superpower nor the two soldiers noticed anything and they were killed in front of their eyes. Can you do it? Han Yuan asked. The strongest man and woman beside him shook their heads. Wan Yiling pushed up his glasses and said, If you are a very powerful spiritual power user, you can make it invisible to others. Didn't Zhang Haojing say that? There is a very strong spiritual power user in that team. Han Yuan nodded, with a look of interest flashing in his eyes. It seems that that team is as valuable as Zhang Haojing said. Bai Jiayan, you have acted together with them. Tell us everything you know in detail. Wan Yiling, record it down. Han Yuan said. Okay. Wan Yiling responded. Jian Lusher waited in the room all day, but never received Wang Shichi's call. I'll go directly to Wang Shichi. Jian Lusher couldn't wait any longer. They had already visited the logistics department once. Ng drove a minibus and quickly took Jian Lusher there. As the crisis emerged, the logistics department became busier. Jian Lusher followed the flow of people into the building and came to a desk. Hello. I'm looking for Wang Shichi. Jian Lusher said. Wang Shichi. The office worker behind looked up at Jian Lusher and was about to shake his head when suddenly Jian Lusher recognized a somewhat familiar voice among the many noisy voices. Put it here. Yes. Put it all over here. Wang Shichi was wearing work clothes and was struggling to help move the clothes. All the clothes were packed in large woven bags. Each bag was more than one meter high. It was difficult for her to push it. Wang Shichi. Jian Lusher followed the sound and came behind Wang Shichi, patted her on the shoulder and asked. Wang Shichi was startled. And when she turned around, her expression suddenly became a little unnatural. Jian Lusher. I'm sorry. I've been busy today and didn't have the chance to call you. Wang Shichi said. Why are you doing this? Jian Lusher asked. There are not enough manpower. Wang Shichi said with her head lowered. Ing, call John Hai and Sun Kuan to help. Jian Lusher said directly. He took Wang Shichi aside and asked. Have you found my materials? Now he lacks those materials. Wang Shichi had a guilty look on her face and said. We have found all the materials. But Major One said that now is the war preparation period and these things will not be sold to outsiders. I argued with her. But it was of no use. I have no power and can't make any decisions. Not only was there no result, 
She was also sent here to do these hard work. The reason was, short manpower. If she had time to help outsiders, she might as well help her own people. Wang Shichi had already hidden it from Wan Lan. But Wan Lan still found out. Is that the woman named Wan Lan? A cold look flashed in Jiang Liuxia's eyes. He didn't take Wan Lan seriously. But this woman was like a fly. Always buzzing around and making people sick. Where is she? Jiang Liuxia asked. Wang Shichi was startled when she heard Jiang Liuxia's calm question. She already understood Jiang Liuxia's behavior. Jiang Liuxia. Wan Lan manages the logistics department. She has the right to make decisions. No matter what happens to her, she won't be able to get the materials. Now the most important thing is to get the materials. Right, Wang Shichi said. She knew that Wan Lan had made Jiang Lusher feel disgusted. Jiang Lusher was silent for a moment. If it were an ordinary fly, he would just slap it to death. But Wang Shichi was right. And even if he didn't care, Wang Shichi still wanted to live in the safe zone. She was here to help herself. And it would be bad if it brought her any trouble. Don't worry. I'm just making a deal with her, Jian Lusher said. Really? Wang Shichi asked cautiously. Seeing her reaction, Jian Lusher found it a little funny. Are you so afraid of me? Jian Lusher asked with a smile. Seeing that Jian Lusher didn't look like he was bluffing her, Wang Shichi breathed a sigh of relief, patted her chest and said, Honestly, although you don't look like you're going to bite, I'm really a little afraid of you. That's you. Shin Tsai thinks you are very gentle and thinks you have all the advantages. Really? Jian Lusher touched his nose. Did Li Yusin praise him like this in front of her best friends? Yes. She kept saying this when we were in the Zhonghai safety zone. Otherwise, why would she follow you without hesitation? She said that walking with you feels like walking with a sword in the movie. That might be a way out, which is far better than living in a safe zone. Wang Shiji said, Jian Lusher was surprised that a quiet and gentle girl like Li Yusin would have such romantic dreams in her heart. If he hadn't heard Wang Shichi say it, he would never have imagined it. Wang Shichi went to ask about it. And when she came back, she said a little regretfully, she is busy and can't see you. Jian Lusher knew in his heart that it was probably not that he couldn't see him, but that he simply didn't see him. But he wasn't annoyed. Call her. Jian Lusher said. She also said not to make phone calls. She said that she wouldn't help people like you if you refused to save people in the safe zone. She also said that since you know General Zhang, you should hug the general's thigh and let the general out get the materials for you. Wang Shichi said in a low voice. She was really worried that Jian Lusher would let minibuses rush in in his rage and destroy the logistics office building. Chapter 518 Danger There was indeed a surge of anger in Jian Liuxia's heart. Wan Lan doesn't have much power in his hands. But he uses chicken feathers as arrows. Before the end of the world, Jian Lusher once encountered a woman who worked in the street office. She was obviously serving the grassroots people, but she relied on her power and had a bad attitude to embarrass the people who came to do things, making them do a lot of useless work. In Jian Liuxia's opinion, Wan Lan was this kind of person, because her arrogance was not satisfied by Jian Liuxia. She made things even more difficult for him, specifically trying to make things difficult for him. Jian Liuxia didn't know where she got the confidence to be so arrogant, but he had already tolerated it once. But this woman was so shameless. that. Wang Shichi originally wanted to say a few more words of advice. But when she looked at Jian Liuxia's eyes, her heart skipped a beat, and she did not dare to speak any more. But this is the government office of the safe zone after all. If anyone dares to cause trouble, the army will arrive immediately. It is not worth making trouble for a person like Wan Lan. Wang Shichi was uneasy and worried about Team Shuring. She reached out and grabbed Jian Liuxia's sleeve, looked at Jian Liuxia with her eyes and said, I'll think about it again and I will definitely find a way to get these materials for you. Is that okay? Jian Lu sure? At this moment, a piercing alarm suddenly sounded. Then, there was a burst of screams outside the gate. What's wrong? Wang Shiji was startled. Mutation energy detected. At the sound of Xing Zhong's prompt, Jian Lu sure grabbed Wang Shiji's shoulders and said, You wait here. I'll go out and take a look. After saying that, Jian Lu sure turned around and ran towards the door. Jian Lu sure. Wang Shiji shouted anxiously, seeing Jiang Liuxia's back quickly disappearing at the gate. Wang Shiji hesitated for a moment, but still stood there obediently, but stamped her feet anxiously. The mysterious black hole was discovered just yesterday. Could it be that the black hole has reached the safe zone? Wang Shiji thought in confusion. And this is exactly what Jiang Liuxia is worried about. It stands to reason that it cannot be so fast. 
although they can already see the black hole. The black hole is actually still a long way away from the safe zone. There is still some time for the safe zone to prepare and react before the black hole arrives. But if the black hole has suddenly arrived in the safe zone, then the safe zone will be in danger. Even Jian Lusher was unsure whether his base vehicle could withstand the black hole since it had not yet evolved. Jian Lusher rushed out of the building frantically. At this time, many people staying outside were screaming in terror and running towards the building. Previously, these people were busy transporting and unloading goods in the square outside. But now, they were all scrambling to escape. Jian Lusher looked around and suddenly heard a sharp scream coming from above his head. As soon as this sound sounded, the ordinary people who were running away immediately held their heads and screamed. And even Jian Lusher felt his ears ringing. Some of the ordinary people who were in poor health and were seriously affected fell directly to the ground. They ignored the severe pain of falling and rolled on the ground holding their heads. At this time, several huge black shadows covered the sky above the square and pounced down. Ah! Help! Those who could still run suddenly lost their minds and ran faster, while those who fell on the ground struggled to get up, and each one made a desperate cry for help. These black shadows are all ferocious flying mutant beasts. If caught by them, they will be torn into pieces alive in the air and then eaten. It's the kind of bird that attacked us before. Jiang Liosher's heart skipped a beat. Now it seems that these birds are probably commanded by the black hole. Whoosh whoosh. When these black shadows rushed down, there was a sharp sound of breaking through the air. Their speed was too fast. Even the superpowers couldn't hold them back, let alone these ordinary people. Their figures are located under these black shadows, like lambs waiting to be slaughtered, with no ability to resist at all. At this moment, a gunshot was suddenly heard from the doorway of the crowded building. With the sound of gunshots, a black figure that had just rushed over the two residents and was about to grab them lost its balance, fell sideways, hit the ground heavily, and then flapped. He struggled with his wings. Blood splattered everywhere. The two residents survived the disaster and experienced ups and downs from the despair of death. They looked at the flying mutant beast in disbelief. One of the wings of this beast was smashed into a big hole, and its flesh and blood were blurred. The body that fell to the ground was almost as big as a small truck. The panicked residents were also startled. Who shot this? Run! A roar came from the crowd. Only then did people see the shooter. He was a young man. His eyes were like the deep night sky. He was looking at the sky intently, with no look of fear on his face. Jian Lusher has activated his brain power. These flying monsters flying all over the sky slowed down infinitely in his eyes. As long as his brain power is strong enough, he can keep looking at these flying monsters like this. Their terrifying speed is no longer terrifying to Jian Lusher. Boom! Jian Lusher fired again. And another flying monster hit the ground directly during the dive. At this time, the crowd also reacted. They got up from the ground one by one and ran towards the building as hard as they could, no longer caring about the raptors above their heads. A minibus parked in the square also stretched out its gun barrel and fired at the raptors. Jian Lusher was secretly frightened while firing. He looked up and saw that the sky was filled with dense black spots. Hovering over the entire safety zone, black shadows swooped down to different places from time to time. And there were screams and gunshots everywhere in the safety zone. The logistics department building was just one of the locations that was attacked. There were more black spots above residential areas and factories. Bang bang bang. After killing three raptors in a row, these raptors seemed to find that they could not defeat them. They no longer dived, but instead aimed at the logistics office building and rushed toward the windows. Boom! Windows were smashed directly by these raptors, and a large number of glass fragments fell crazily. Some residents who had just rushed to the building were suddenly scratched by the fragments and shed a lot of blood amidst the screams. Several of the residents were bleeding profusely, were seriously injured, and fell to the ground all of a sudden. Go drag people in! Jian Lusher shouted to the people around him. There were only five or six soldiers here in the logistics department. They started shooting and fighting with Jian Lusher. After hearing Jian Lusher's voice, they immediately went to carry the injured in. During this period, you have to bear the falling glass shards, which is also quite dangerous. As the residents evacuated into the building, the minibus made a screeching sound and rushed to the door of the building. Then it swung its tail and aimed the door at the door of the building. The body of the minibus blocked most of the door. There is a section of roof above the minibus, which provides a little shelter for the minibus. In this way, those raptors can no longer attack the crowd. Quack! Those raptors kept screaming in the air, and the sound was clearly transmitted into the building. 
making the residents deeply afraid. Survive! I'm alive! Many people said in disbelief. Brother! Thank you! Thank you! A soldier came over and saluted Jean Lusher and said excitedly. Those raptor mutants appeared so suddenly that he was confused. But the reaction of the young man in front of him was extremely calm. And his shooting skills were also very terrifying. In contrast, this soldier felt a little ashamed. It was their duty to protect these residents. But his reaction was slower. This soldier is the squad leader in charge of security here. And his soldiers have gone upstairs to support and check the situation. The people upstairs were attacked. And those who stayed upstairs were also screaming and running downstairs. Now most of the people had crowded into the hall. The residents also looked at Jian Lusher gratefully. But saw Jian Lusher talking to the squad leader and did not come to disturb him. At this time Wang Shichi also came over. Although she was standing there honestly just now. She also saw the black image suddenly appearing like lightning. But even the monster that could not be seen clearly was shot down by Jian Lusher. Although she was standing far away. She still felt her heartbeat speeding up and she was extremely nervous. She still hadn't regained her breath until now. Every time she saw a black shadow. She felt like her eyes were blinded and she couldn't see clearly. But Jian Liosher's gun hit him. She was afraid that if one of Jian Liosher's shots missed, the monster would immediately cause bloody casualties. And maybe many people would die at once. Looking at Jian Liosher now, Wang Shichi still felt like she hadn't come back to her senses. How did he stay so calm? Needless to say these kind words. You have tried your best. But now those birds are still surrounding this place. When will your rescue arrive? Jian Liosher waved his hand and asked. Chapter 519 Materials We are already asking for help. By the way, what is your name? Asked the squad leader. Jian Lusher. Shuring team. Jian Lusher said. At this time, the hall on the first floor was crowded with people, most of whom were unarmed ordinary people who had no power to resist those raptors. Everyone is hiding here for the time being. Staying away from the windows. It should be fine. But many people are injured now. The squad leader said. However, at this moment, a loud noise came. The whole building seemed to shake. And there was a burst of frightened exclamations in the hall. What's wrong? Jian Lusher glanced at the ground and shouted. Spread out! As dozens of residents fled in all directions. The concrete floor with marble floor suddenly bulged and cracked open. Boom! The sniper rifle bullet shot into the gap instantly. Everyone looked at the crack in shock and panic. Inside the dark crack. Mud. Cement fragments and broken steel bars were mixed together. After the gunfire, the crack did not continue to open. But many people saw a pair of blood-red eyes flickering in the dark gap. And then suddenly disappeared. There are mutant beasts even underground. There are many mutant beasts that can burrow into the ground. Although deep foundations were laid in the Jiangning safe zone when building the city wall. There were usually many people with powers on guard. But after the large number of raptors that appeared in the sky distracted their attention. These mutant beasts got in from the outside. These mutated beasts can follow the smell. Sense. And even echo with the raptors in the sky to directly come to the most densely populated areas. Not only under the building of the logistics department. These mutated beasts may have appeared in many places. What should we do? The residents were all frightened. They had just escaped and escaped the raptors outside. But mutant beasts also appeared underground. With nowhere to go. Everyone is worried that a crack will suddenly appear under their feet and drag them in. But they had no place to hide. Many people stood on chairs and tables. Their faces pale and trembling. Although Jiang Lusher was there and the monsters couldn't get through the cracks. The fear still existed. And at this time, people heard a strange sound coming from the ground. What are those mutated beasts doing? The squad leader also panicked. Ran Shiyu's voice reached Jiang Liosher's ears. About a dozen mutated beasts are chewing on the underground steel bars and destroying the foundation of the building. The intelligence of mutant beasts has been improved. After they discovered the threat of Jiang Liosher, they changed their focus to destroying the foundation. In this way, these people in the building will either escape and be killed by the raptors, or they will wait here for the building to collapse and then be buried to death. Despair spread immediately, and many people couldn't help sobbing. The residential areas have been violently attacked, and a large number of mutant beasts and zombies have appeared outside the walls. There is no way to support us now, so we are waiting for rescue. A soldier who is responsible for contacting for help reported after returning. There are hundreds of thousands of people in residential areas, and whether the wall can be defended involves the entire security area. In comparison, a building with hundreds of people is not a priority enough. 
The monitor's face immediately became extremely heavy. Procrastination? How to drag? If we break through, we will definitely cause huge losses. But these mutant beasts, they are underground, and we can't attack them. The more the squad leader thought about it, the more desperate he became. Even with John Lusher, a sharpshooter, he couldn't get through such a barrier. Thick steel and concrete to shoot those mutated beasts next to each other. Right? I can only fight as hard as I can. Let's break out. The squad leader had a sad look on his face. Breaking out was better than waiting to be buried alive here. But this was also a desperate move. Breakthrough? Breaking out is very dangerous. At this time, a figure squeezed out of the crowd and couldn't help but say, when Jian Lusher saw this person, his eyes suddenly turned slightly cold. This person is Wan Lan. Wan Lan had just rejected Jian Lusher and was feeling secretly happy. Unexpectedly, danger would suddenly come because she was attacked by raptors upstairs. She also hurriedly escaped. After seeing Jian Lusher shoot and fight off the mutant beast's attack from the ground, she secretly hid in a corner and did not come out. Now Jian Lusher is everyone's reliance. And if she and Jian Lusher don't deal with each other, she will naturally not go out of her way to find trouble. But after she hid aside and heard the squad leader saying there was no support, she couldn't stay still. Without support, wouldn't we just have to hide here and wait to die? As for breaking out, it was too dangerous and she was unwilling to do so. The squad leader said with a heavy expression, There is no other way now. Why is there no way? All the ways have been thought of. You are here, and there is a team of survivors. Wan Lan said. She didn't want to die, and she didn't want to take that huge risk. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment when he heard that Wan Lan actually mentioned him. He couldn't help but feel a little funny. At this time, Wan Lan took the initiative to look at Jian Lusher and said, Captain Jiang, the people here are ordinary people. You can't bear to let them endure that kind of danger. Right. In their eyes. You are now a hero and belong to everyone. Hope. On behalf of everyone. I would like to express my gratitude to Captain Jiang and your team. Thank you very much. Wan Lan looks sincere at this time. But after hearing Wan Lan's words, Jiang Lusher felt as disgusted as if he had eaten a fly. He could listen to others' thanks. But hearing Wan Lan's thanks made him feel sick to his stomach. You change your attitude very quickly. Jian Lusher said indifferently. Wan Lan's expression condensed for a moment. Then she said with a smile, Captain Jiang, I actually follow the rules. Materials need to be reviewed before they can leave the warehouse. This is my responsibility. Although she dislikes Jian Lusher, she can't help it. Now that she is here, she has to rely on Jian Lusher. Actually, I'm already reviewing these materials. I originally planned to notify Wang Shichi in two days and ask Captain Jiang to pick them up. But this process is indispensable, Wan Lan said, seeing Jiang Lusher still looking at him with a half smile. Wan Lan bit her lips and said, Let's do this. I'll make the decision and allocate these materials to Captain Jiang in advance. Although this will make me punished, I'm willing to do so. Sorry, Captain Jiang. You just saved everyone. In comparison, I just violated discipline. Come here. Go get those materials from warehouse number three. Wan Lan shouted immediately. She was secretly depressed. She didn't want to give these materials to Jiang Lusher from the bottom of her heart. But now she took the initiative to take them out and gave them away with her own hands. But there was nothing she could do. For the sake of her immediate safety, she had no choice but to give in first. Chapter 520 Strength Limits Imagination Jiang Lusher watched with a calm expression as Wan Lan anxiously organized people to carry the materials. Soon, four large boxes were stacked on a trolley and pushed out of the warehouse. Captain Jiang, there are a lot of all the materials you need. And they are all here. I even checked them once to make sure there are no problems. Wan Lan said with a smile. Wang Shichi rolled her eyes as she listened. She had found all the materials. As for counting, Wan Lan had indeed counted them. But at that time, in order to ensure that no materials were stolen by Wang Shichi, she secretly gave them to Jiang Lusher. I didn't expect that she would use this matter to openly claim credit. Seeing Wan Lan fawning over Jiang Lusher, Wang Shichi also felt a little dramatic. Wan Lan, who was arrogant before, now relies on Jiang Lusher to ensure safety. In such a close place, only Jiang Liusher's team is strong enough to contend with these monsters. Wan Lan has no backer and no capital for arrogance. Jiang Lusher glanced at Wan Lan and said calmly, Jiang Hai, come and help carry these to the car. With the strength of Jiang Hai and Sun Kuen, these things were quickly placed in the cockpit of the minibus. 
Jian Lusher still stood there. But Star Seed began to scan silently. Metal material detected. Analyzing. Then Zing Zi continued to report the name and quantity of each metal material. Okay. Let's see if the materials for upgrading the base vehicle are complete. Jian Lusher said in his mind. Scanning. The base vehicle upgrade conditions have been met. Do you want to start the upgrade? Xing Zhong asked. It's finally complete. At this critical moment, all the materials were finally gathered, including two mutated blood cores. They had already been in Jiang Liosher's hands. Upgrading the small parts of the base vehicle is also more difficult from level to level. But these are not as difficult as upgrading the entire base vehicle. The Type 1 base vehicle, also known as the primary base vehicle, has been accompanying Jiang Liosher since the beginning of the end of the world until now. Now it's finally the turn of the base vehicle's overall improvement. Upgrade! Jian Lusher said these two words excitedly in his heart. During the upgrade of the base vehicle, all functions can be used normally. The upgrade will take 72 hours. Upgrade started. Current progress, 0%. In an instant, Jian Liosher's accumulated mutant blood cores, a large amount of materials, and the materials of the two helicopters all disappeared. These things turned into a progress bar on the star seat panel. There is a line of words next to it, Type 1 Base Vehicle, Primary, Type 2 Base Vehicle, Secondary. Jian Lusher took a deep breath, and his mood inexplicably calmed down again. From the Primary Base Vehicle to the Secondary Base Vehicle, Jian Lusher has survived all the way until now. The base car is getting stronger. And so is he. After the base vehicle is upgraded this time, it will immediately face the Black Hole Crisis. This feeling is like facing the end of the world after getting the base vehicle. No one except Jian Lusher and Ying knew about the evolution of the base vehicle. And no one noticed his communication with Starseed. Wan Lan watched Jian Lusher accept the materials with a smile on his face. Captain Jian, what are you going to do now? I suggest that we go to the stairs on the second floor to defend. We can have two soldiers guard near the window. As for the mutated beasts underground, there are tear gas canisters in the warehouse. If the tear gas canisters are thrown into the cracks in the ground, the mutated beasts may rush out. And Captain Jiang can just kill them directly. That won't work. What if many mutant beasts rush out at once? Moreover, if tear gas is thrown into the ground, it may not be effective. Instead, it will escape and affect the people in the hall. The squad leader said immediately. Wan Lan thought she was the only one who came up with this method. In fact, she had no idea what the specific effects of tear gas were. Besides, the underground environment is complicated. And it's all filled with mud. Throwing tear gas canisters not only failed to stimulate the mutant beasts, but also affected everyone in the hall. Then what should we do? This won't work. And that won't work either. Captain Jiang, please think of a solution quickly. After Jiang Lusher accepted the materials, Wan Lan felt confident to talk more to Jiang Lusher. At this moment, another roaring sound came from the underground. And the building seemed to be shaking. Many people immediately screamed. And some began to cry involuntarily. It's terrible. It seems like the building is about to collapse. But there is no solution. Wan Lan also turned pale. Although she had tried hard to hug Jian Liusher's thigh, Jian Liusher had no choice in this situation. So she would still be in danger. It's okay. We must break out immediately. Otherwise everyone will die. The squad leader said seriously. At this time, Jian Liusher suddenly said, I have a way to use my car as a cover to move the people here safely. Is there a car here? Let these people get in the car. Really? The monitor asked in disbelief. Really? One land's eyes also shone. Boom. At this time, there was a loud noise outside. A raptor pounced down and pecked the minibus hard. But the minibus only shook a little. Instead, a dazzling current came out of the car. Like lightning. And at the same time several guns fired fiercely. The raptor suddenly let out a wail. Stumbled and flew a certain distance. And then landed with a crash. The air was filled with the smell of gunpowder smoke and the smell of burnt flesh. Jiang Zhuing came out of the car, his eyes flashing with silvery white electricity. What a powerful superpower! The monitor's eyes widened in shock. A car with terrible defense. It turns out that this team not only includes Jiang Lusher, but also cars and people with superpowers. In this way, it is indeed possible to break through. The squad leader wanted to break out, but his breakout was an act of desperation. The entire army might be wiped out, and only a few people might be lucky enough to survive. Wan Lan also looked excited. She originally wanted to hug Jian Liosher's thigh tightly to ensure her safety. But she didn't expect Jian Liosher to be so fierce. 
Great! Let's hurry up! With so many mutant beasts underground, the building may not be able to support it for a long time. One Mon said excitedly. But this building will collapse soon. With so many people, it will be too late to transfer them to cars. The monitor's excitement quickly turned into anxiety. The mutated beasts underground were so destructive that the building was already crumbling. Zhuing, come here, Jian Lusher said. Jian Zhuing nodded, and she came to the edge of the crack in the ground. No one dared to approach that crack, but she walked to the edge calmly. Seeing Jian Zhuing approaching the crack in the ground, many people were sweating for her. But looking at Jian Zhuing's expression, not only was there no fear, but there was also a sense of relaxation. Sister Ran, spiritual vision, Jian Zhuing said. Okay. Ran Shiyu's mental vision was immediately shared with Jian Zhuing. Those mutated beasts hiding underground turned into spiritual light groups, which were clearly displayed in Jian Zhuing's mind. These mutated beasts are frantically destroying the foundation of the building. It only takes a few minutes for them to collapse such a building. The mutated beasts are hiding underground. And gas bombs are useless and cannot be hit. The squad leader, Wan Lan, and all the residents didn't know what the outcome would be. Everyone looked at Jian Zhuing anxiously. At this time, Jian Zhuing looked at a steel bar in the crack in the ground. Dry soil is non-conductive. But it is different when there are steel bars in the soil. What's more? Jian Zhuing didn't want to kill these mutant beasts. He just wanted them not to affect the evacuation of these residents. This is not a difficult thing for Jian Zhuing, who is already a level 2 superpower user. She smiled slightly, reached out and grabbed an exposed steel bar, and then waited silently. Suddenly, there was a strong electric current in her palm, and the silver-white electric current wrapped around the steel bars. Suddenly, a shrill roar came from the ground. One after another, the current was running wildly, illuminating the entire seam in the ground like a silvery white. Everyone clearly saw a huge mutated mouse appearing in the cracks in the ground. But it was twitching and screaming miserably. This scene made everyone scalp numb. These currents continued to spread underground along the steel bars. The vibrations of the building suddenly disappeared. And the ground stopped shaking. Seeing such a scene, the monitor and everyone present were stunned. Until Jiang Zhu clapped his hands and walked back as if nothing had happened. They all looked at the crack in the ground in surprise. This? Is this solved? Each of them felt a desperate crisis. To put it lightly, disposed of? But the ground no longer trembles. The underground no longer makes terrifying gnawing sounds. And everything is quiet shows that this is true. The building won't collapse. At least not now. And they don't have to worry about a monster suddenly appearing underground. Wan Lan also felt frightened. But at the same time, she felt lucky. Fortunately, she recognized the situation in time and temporarily established a relationship with Jian Lusher. Incredible. The squad leader was surprised and happy. This gave him enough time to organize a breakout. Wan Lan said enthusiastically. It's really amazing. However, Jian Lusher ignored her and said to the squad leader. Go prepare the vehicle. After all, those mutated beasts are hidden underground and they have not all been electrocuted. It is better to hurry up. Hearing Jian Lusher's regretful tone, the squad leader didn't know what to say. Not all were electrocuted. That means a lot of people were electrocuted. This is already amazing. You know, if it were them, there really wouldn't be anything they could do with one. This is true. It can only be said that it is their strength that limits their imagination. I'm going now. Have everyone ready in three minutes. The squad leader said solemnly. They can't all rely on Jian Lusher and the others. As soldiers, they have to do what they can. Chapter 521 Conditions there were originally some vehicles used for material transportation parked at the entrance of the logistics department building. But some were too far away. And the closest ones only had three. But these three vehicles, plus John Hai and Sun Kuan's Dongfeng armor, were barely enough. Several soldiers carefully rushed into the cars under cover. And then drove the cars to the gate. One Lan shouted loudly in the hall to the residents to line up and prepare to evacuate. If she stands up now... She will also have a share of the credit for organizing the evacuation. She can ask her sister to report this achievement. Because of Jian Lusher. She was demoted to this age, Lish place. Where she had too much work to do every day. But thanks to Jian Lusher. She had another chance to be promoted this time. Maybe it will be higher than the previous position. There is no danger. And achievements can be obtained easily. Wan Lan is actually grateful for the appearance of these monsters. You can get on the bus now. But excluding the driver. There are only four of our soldiers left. 
and they can't stop those raptors at all. We still need to ask Captain Jian to cover us. The squad leader said to Jian Lusher sincerely. Those raptors are so fast that even their guns may not be able to hit them. Covering is okay. But I have a condition. Jian Lusher said. Are there any conditions? Wan Lan rolled her eyes calmly. It was just a cover. But Jian Lusher came up with conditions. Of course. She won't say it now. She is still organizing the residents to line up. The squad leader nodded repeatedly. That's right. Captain Jiang actually has no obligation to help us. But he has provided us with great help and is now willing to escort us. I will definitely report this matter. Give credit to Team Shuring. Captain Jiang, if you have any requests, just say them directly. My request is simple. Jiang Lusher said, suddenly looking at one lawn. I don't want to escort this woman. Oh? The monitor was stunned for a moment. The surrounding residents were also stunned. And suddenly many eyes gathered on one lawn. Wanlan himself was even more shocked. What do you mean? You can't do this. Wanlan blurted out. If you don't want to escort her, doesn't that mean you have to abandon her? Jiang Zhuying sneered at the side and said, Why can't it be like this? I'm an officer. I even gave you the materials. Even if we had a little misunderstanding before. Do you, a man, have to argue with me like this? You are not only refusing to save me. You basically want to kill me. Wanlan said excitedly. Everyone is judging. Why would he abandon me? I am also helping everyone. And I helped him. Right. Wanlan asked. Have you helped everyone? Jiang Zhuxiang almost laughed out loud as if he had heard some funny joke. Wanlan was clearly seeking advantages and avoiding disadvantages. He did nothing but said a few words. As for organizing the evacuation, is it necessary? In this case, there is actually no need for her at all. Whether she did something or not, Others are not fools. It can be seen from the reactions of those soldiers. As an officer, Wan Lan was the last one to escape from upstairs and never fought with them. So when Wan Lan showed his role here, none of these soldiers spoke. Why didn't I help everyone? I have been doing my best to direct the evacuation. Wan Lan said in a sharp voice. Oh, so you think you are the one directing? Jiang Juying accurately captured the word and said sarcastically. I, I didn't mean that. Wan Lan said angrily suddenly hearing that she was about to be left behind. Wan Lan was so angry that she became speechless. Jiang Zhuying's words completely revealed her thoughts. And Wan Lan felt that something was wrong with the way those soldiers looked at her. Although she did think so. With her sister here, it is not difficult at all to place the main part of this achievement on her head. After Wan Lan finished speaking, she felt a chill in her back when she realized that no one spoke. She looked over one by one. The residents all looked away silently. And no one spoke for her at all. Without Jiang Liusher's escort, it would be impossible for them to break out safely. Jiang Liusher, you are still not a man. Why do you do this? Wan Lan became more and more desperate. She looked at Jiang Liusher and shouted. Jiang Liusher said calmly, I don't want to. Who he wants to save, and who he doesn't want to save. Of course, all depends on whether he is happy or not. Jiang Liusher didn't have the slightest fondness for the woman Wan Lan. If there hadn't been an accident before, he would have even rushed upstairs to pull this woman out. How could he feel disgusted with himself now and go to save her? The squad leader glanced at Wan Lan. And he knew something about Wan Lan. Now it seemed that Wan Lan was finally disgusted enough to fight. And what was worse was that she fell into the opponent's hands. Ultimately, this is Wan Lan's fault. To protect Wan Lan or to protect so many people? Everyone, get in the car quickly. Send the injured up first. The squad leader yelled suddenly and stopped looking at Wan Lan. You can't do this. You can't do this to me. Wan Lan rushed out like crazy, but was stopped spontaneously by the crowd. She wanted to rush towards Jiang Liusher again, but when she saw Jiang Liusher's cold eyes, she felt frightened and lacked the courage to rush forward. Wan Lan just ran around, watching desperately as people got into the car. I hope you were all killed by mutant beasts and killed by those raptors. Wan Lan screamed hysterically and rushed towards the cracks in the ground, screaming loudly below. Come out quickly. They are leaving. Jiang Lusher looked at Wan Lan's actions and shook his head. If you run to the second floor and hide now, you may be able to wait until rescue arrives. But if you do this now, you will ruin your last chance of survival. Wan Lan's body stiffened, and she vaguely felt a vibration coming from beneath the ground. At this time, Jiang Lusher had already pulled Wang Shichi into the minibus, and then closed the door. Let's go! Ah! Wan Lan screamed hysterically again. Amid Wan Lan's screams, 
The minibus had already arrived at the square. In front of the minibus were three military trucks and an off-road vehicle. These vehicles were full of living people, which immediately attracted the attention of the raptors in the sky. There were bursts of screams in the air, which made people feel chilled in their hearts. All vehicles are driving at full speed. Don't worry about those raptors. Ren Shiyu conveyed the mental command. The squad leader and other soldiers who received the order were worried that their vehicles might not be able to withstand the claws of those raptors. Do they really not need to worry about those raptors? Listen to Captain Jiang and the others. The squad leader made the decision. Without Captain Jiang, they would have suffered huge casualties a long time ago. Now they should trust Shuring team even more. Open the war room. Xuing, come with me. Jiang Lusher said in the minibus. At the same time, Ying stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. And amid the loud sound of the engine, he quickly and flexibly shuttled through the convoy. How? Several birds of prey rushed down with a roar. Bang bang. Gunshots rang out and two raptors fell down. But there were still two other raptors that had already jumped on the roof of one of the cars. The soldier driving the car was covered in sweat. He really couldn't help but turn the steering wheel to try to avoid these two raptors. But the mental command I received before. That cold female voice seemed to still echo in my mind. Drive full speed and don't worry about anything. Can it really be ignored? The soldier gritted his teeth as he listened to the various sounds. Cries and prayers coming from the carriage. Believe it. He stepped on the accelerator hard. Gripped the steering wheel with both hands. And stared straight ahead. Everything is left to the stone shadow team. Laugh. A dazzling electric current suddenly illuminated the top of his head. The moment the minibus quickly approached the car. A power grid suddenly appeared. And at this time. Jian Lusher had the opportunity to shoot again. Boom. A huge and ferocious black shadow fell on the roof of the truck and then was thrown heavily under the truck, through the rear of the car. Everyone saw this scene. It's so exciting. My heart is pounding. It's really a critical moment. As long as there is a slight mistake, the lives of the people in the car will be at stake. This minibus, as well as the people on it, are both fast and accurate. At this time, the squad leader also understood that Jian Lusher was treating the minibuses as mobile fortresses and firepower points. They only needed to keep driving forward and the minibuses would shuttle among them, constantly helping them block the attacks of the raptors. This requires extremely superb driving skills and accurate judgment of the battle situation. And the Shuring team has all of these. They could only run for their lives under the attack of the raptors. But the Shuring team not only did not run for their lives, but also helped a large group of them escape. I was extremely lucky to meet the Shuring team at the logistics office today. Not only did the squad leader think so, but so did the residents. They discovered that instead of praying and crying there, it was better to cheer for the Stone Shadow team. I don't know who shouted the first call, but many people started shouting, Stone Shadow team! Kill these monsters! The squad leader's car led the way, and within a few minutes, he led the convoy to an underground parking lot. As the vehicles rushed into the underground parking lot one by one, the raptors roared unwillingly, and then returned to the sky again. This underground parking lot has been transformed into a shelter after the establishment of the safety zone. And the military has been enforcing security here. As soon as the motorcade stopped, someone immediately came up to inquire about the situation and asked the residents to move upstairs through the stairs. All the windows upstairs have been urgently sealed. And many residents are now taking refuge above. But how did you escape? An officer asked in surprise. Chapter 522, Black Light. Now there is an emergency everywhere. And many places are struggling to support themselves. Only these people rushed out and fled to shelters on their own. And the number of soldiers was very small. But judging from their condition, they did not suffer any major casualties. It was the Shuring team who escorted us out. The squad leader said quickly. Stone Shadow team? The officer was stunned for a moment. Then his eyes lit up slightly. Where are they? The squad leader pointed in the direction of the minibus. Yes, minibus. The officer patted his head. When it came to the symbol of Shuring team, which was the minibus. He actually forgot about it. This minibus is unique in the safety zone. But at this moment, the minibus was stained with the blood of the mutated bird, making it look even more eye-catching. Inside the minibus, Jian Lusher returned to the carriage from the war room and looked outside. Many places on the car windows were covered with blood, and the thick plasma was dripping down the car body bit by bit. Through the relatively clean part of the car window, Jian Lusher looked at the shelter. The floor of the shelter is paved with a steel plate, thickened with cement, and there are many fire points at the door. The shelters were filled with wounded people, and there were many sounds of crying. 
At the same time, many soldiers were urgently preparing for battle. And then, they rushed out of the shelter one after another and rushed to various places for support. Jian Liuxia's eyes darkened. The black hole had already dealt a heavy blow to the safe zone before it really reached the safe zone. There are a large number of mutant beasts, and they are not afraid of death. They wreak havoc in the safe zone and pose a great threat to the safe zone. For example, mice can have more than a dozen offspring in a litter, and their reproductive ability has not changed even after they mutated. Jian Lusher had already foreseen that the battle between these mutant beasts and the safe zone might become a tug of war, while the mutated beasts continued to consume the combat power of the safe zone. The black hole gradually approached silently, and finally began to slowly engulf the safe zone. An unknown thing. With the awareness of internal and external cooperation, it may have realized that this safe zone is not so easy to capture. So it adopted such a method. This wisdom is terrifying. At this moment, Star Seed suddenly reacted. Special energy detected. Absorbing. Huh? Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. Absorb? What energy is Star Seed absorbing? At this time, he turned his attention to the blood on the car window. What the Star Seed is absorbing is the energy in the blood? What kind of special energy is this? Is it related to the black hole? Jian Lusher asked quickly. This special energy has the same origin as the source of the threat. Starseed replied. Jian Lusher took a breath. It meant it was relevant. These mutated beasts are all controlled by black holes. And it is not difficult to understand that the energy in their bodies has the same source as black holes. But Jian Lusher always thought that the black hole only posed a huge threat to himself and the star seeds. He never thought that the energy of the black hole could be absorbed by the star seeds? The star seed has absorbed a trace amount of special energy. This energy is detected as black light. When the black light energy reaches a certain level, the main control panel of the star seed can be opened. As soon as Xingzhong's cold electronic sound sounded, Jian Lusher almost jumped up. What's the situation? What kind of main control panel does star seed have? Jian Lusher always thought that he had fully mastered the role of star seed. Unexpectedly, now that his base vehicle was about to be upgraded, he realized that that was not all a star seed. It wasn't until star seed absorbed this black light energy that it activated its function in this area, letting Jian Lusher know this. After all, Jian Lusher had no idea what the star seed was and how it came about. Now that star seed suddenly has new functions, there is no surprise. So, just like a car burning oil, this black light energy is the energy needed by star seeds? Jian Lusher thought to himself. Speaking of which, some new energy sources have appeared since the end of the world. For example, mutated beast meat, such as the evolutionary crystal extracted from mutated crystal nuclei, is the energy source for human superpowers. The mutated blood core can also be used as a one-time energy source for base vehicles. From ancient times to the present, the history of the development of human civilization is the history of the development of energy. For example, the birth of fire has epic-making significance in human history. Since humans first learned to make fire, they have drawn a line with animals. Human beings invented the steam engine and entered the steam age. Later, more energy sources were available, such as solar energy, wind energy, nuclear energy, and so on. Burning gasoline and diesel is actually a relatively backward energy source compared to the new energy sources that will appear after the end of the world. The black light, energy needed by the star seed, is a newly emerged special energy. Both living things and machines require energy and energy to be driven. As an energy source that can drive black holes, there is no doubt about the power of black light. If the base vehicle can use black light as a power source, the base vehicle will also be reborn. Unfortunately, the black light energy contained in this blood was too little. Although Jian Lusher was as curious as a cat's paw scratching his heart, he only got the insufficient energy prompt. Absorb more of this energy. Jian Lusher made a decision immediately. The base vehicle is Jian Lusher's reliance. But the star seed is even more fundamental. Jian Lusher could know the end of the world in advance. Make preparations. And then scan and bind the base vehicle. All because he got the star seed. If there were no star seeds and Jian Lusher was not a superpower. He might be like those helpless ordinary survivors. Struggling amid various threats. He might die easily at some point without even having a chance to struggle. No. Therefore. The star seeds are too important to Jian Lusher. The star seeds need black light energy to charge. And he naturally has to absorb this black light energy. I'm afraid there are thousands of mutant beasts coming to the safe zone this time. Go and absorb them all. 
Jian Lusher thought excitedly. At this time, a voice suddenly came from outside the car door. Is Captain Jian here? I am a subordinate of General Zhang. The officer just now strode to the minibus and shouted outside the door. Jian Lusher came over, opened the car door, and said, I am Jian Lusher. Captain Jian, I am Jian Feng, and I serve as a battalion commander under General Zhang. Battalion Commander Jiang gave a military salute of, okay, with a hint of excitement in his eyes. Battalion Commander Jiang heard about Shuring Team in the Zhonghai Security Zone and knew many of Shuring Team's deeds. Moreover, General Zhang also admired Shuring Team very much. Soldiers like Battalion Commander Jiang truly admired strong men like Shuring Team and Jiang Lusher. Battle Commander Jiang, can you tell me what the current situation is like? Jiang Lusher asked. The situation is worse. These monsters appeared too suddenly and were caught off guard. Battalion Commander Jiang said immediately. But now the army has rushed to everywhere. I believe the situation will be under control soon. The focus now is to relocate residents to avoid more casualties. Which place is the most serious? Jiang Lusher asked again. Battalion Commander Jiang replied without thinking. The accommodation areas and factories in districts 1 to 7 are the most serious. The other one is military camp number 4. These places are all densely populated. And military camp number 4 is also the largest one in the safety zone. However, the military camp is a little better. Because most of the soldiers have been mobilized to defend the city and prepare for war. The most serious problems are the accommodation areas and factories. Especially the factories. It was daytime at this time. And many residents were working overtime in factories. On the contrary, there were fewer people in the accommodation building. The coal plant and auto repair shop have the most people. The situation is very critical now. We are already making preparations and will be there soon, said Battalion Commander Jiang. His soldiers were gathering urgently. He was seizing a little time before the battle to express his gratitude to Jiang Lusher and see what Jiang Lusher was like with his own eyes. In fact, Jiang Liusher's appearance surprised him. He originally thought he might be very fierce. But he didn't expect that he was just a young man with cold eyes. Just as Jian Lusher was about to speak, another group of people rushed in. The leading car braked suddenly, and three people jumped out. Jian Lusher just glanced at them casually, but unexpectedly found that he knew two of them. One is Lu Tianyu, whom he met in Hejiang town, and the other is Ji Xiangming, whom he met when he first came to the safe zone. There was also a woman who looked like a logistics worker, wearing glasses and looking elegant. Jian Lusher didn't recognize her. Ji Xiangming also joined the special operations team? Battalion Commander Jiang said in surprise. They came here and should be going to the auto repair shop. At this time, Lu Tianyu had already seen Battalion Commander Jiang, and the three of them strode over. Battalion Commander Jiang also hurriedly greeted him and gave him a military salute. Although the special operations team is small in number, it is directly under the jurisdiction of the commander and has a special status. After graduating from the special operations team, it is possible to be promoted to a general in the future. The members of the special operations team are all superpowers. And they are also special forces selected from a thousand. When Jian Lusher first met Lu Tianyu, he had no confrontation with Lu Tianyu. But now that he saw Lu Tianyu, who was dressed in military uniform and full of evil spirit, he was still very different from when he saw him in Hejiang town that day. Battle Commander Jian, the members of the special operations team have been assembled and are leaving immediately. A minute late may cost a few more lives, Lu Tianyu said. They also saw Jian Lusher, but Lu Tianyu's expression changed slightly. At that time, he witnessed the battle between Jian Lusher and the local snake, which was simply crushing. He also came to the safe zone? But that's normal. Hejiang town has been destroyed. Battle Commander Jian, I'll go with you, Jian Lusher suddenly said. Now even Ji Xiangming looked at Jian Lusher. Why would a team of survivors take the initiative to make such a request? Only Camp Commander Jian was overjoyed. That's great. If Jian Lusher is willing to go, that will give him an extra guarantee. Although he didn't know why Jian Lusher was willing to go with him. It was something he wished for. Battalion Commander Jian knew that General Zhang really wanted Jian Lusher to join the army. It's just that when he was in Zhanghai, there was still Commissioner Chu who was obstructing him. Ji Xiangming's eyes flickered slightly. As far as he knew, many people were unwilling to cooperate with a team of superpowers. Because the teams of superpowers were often extremely arrogant and would not listen to orders at all and would mess around. Camp Commander Jiang didn't know why he was so happy. And Lu Tianyu also remained uncharacteristically silent, actually acquiescing to it. Then let's set off quickly. 
Jian Lusher said. He was a survivor, but he seemed more anxious than the army. This made Ji Xiangming's look even weirder. And Liu Tianyu's expression was also weird. He had seen Jian Lusher kill people. And he didn't believe that Jian Lusher was the kind of person who couldn't wait to save people. If he just did it casually, Jian Lusher might not refuse. But taking the initiative to take risks? Forget it. Let's go! Liu Tianyu said. Chapter 523 Regular Army. More than 20 military vehicles, together with Jian Liusher's minibus and SUV, drove out of the shelter and headed for the coal plant and auto repair shop. Dense black spots appeared and disappeared in the sky. Screams kept coming. And at the same time, intensive gunshots came from everywhere. And the entire safe zone instantly turned into a battlefield. I don't know why Jiang Lusher followed us. What if they don't obey the command? Ji Xiangming said worriedly in the car. Lu Tianyu said calmly. Don't worry about them. As long as they don't affect us. That's Jiang Lusher? So that minibus is the one in the rumors. The woman wearing glasses suddenly said with a look of interest flashing in her eyes. The rumor? Lu Tianyu asked with some confusion. You don't know yet, but he is already famous in the safe zone, the woman wearing glasses said, with a smile on her lips. By the way, Secretary Wan, don't you need to go to the logistics department building to have a look? I should have asked about the situation of the logistics department building just now, Ji Xiangming asked hesitantly. No need, the woman wearing glasses said calmly. Ji Xiangming wanted to say something else but he gave up the idea when the words came to his lips. Secretary Wan was originally from the safe zone. But somehow, after the people from the Huaxia region arrived, she suddenly transformed and became Major General Han Yuan's personal secretary. Ji Xiangming always felt that this woman had an elusive temperament. Although she seemed harmless, Ji Xiangming felt that he kept her at a distance in his heart. Wan Lan was her sister. And since she didn't seem to care much, Ji Xiangming, as an outsider, naturally stopped trying to persuade her. The auto repair shop and the coal factory are more important, Wan Yiling said. A glimmer of light flashed in his eyes. Ji Xiangming and Lu Tianyu both thought Wan Yiling was talking about rescue. And they stopped talking. The convoy arrived first at the auto repair shop. Jian Lusher had already encountered an attack in the logistics office building. He was already mentally prepared for the situation in the auto repair shop. But when he saw the appearance of the auto repair shop from a distance, he was still stunned. I saw that the auto repair shop had turned into a ruin. And among the ruins, several huge earthworms with a diameter about the same as a car tire were drilling around in the ruins. One of them suddenly came out with a lot of cement fragments, etc. The mutated mouthparts, which were full of sharp teeth, opened and roared, facing the hail of bullets and hitting the soldiers not far away. The soldiers were holding guns and shooting around the ruins. But the bullets seemed not to be enough of a threat to these mutated earthworms. Only throwing grenades could shatter the flesh and blood of these mutated earthworms. And it's not enough to just blow them up. The remaining parts of these mutated earthworms can continue to move. There were also mutated earthworms that suddenly emerged from the soldiers' feet. And their huge mouthparts swallowed up a large living person. How could it be these things? Ran Shi frowned. Jian Lusher didn't look good at Li Yusin or Ling's expressions. It seemed the girls were more afraid of this kind of software. Sure enough. It's here. Wan Yiling's eyes lit up on the military off-road vehicle. Seeing Wan Yiling's suddenly excited expression, Ji Xiangming and Lu Tianyu were a little confused. Deploy support immediately, Wan Yiling ordered. In the past, she had no right to command the special operations team. But now according to the resolution of the meeting at the summit, the special operations team has been under the unified command of Han Yuan. And Wan Yiling came to the special operations team as his representative. Yes, Lu Tianyu replied immediately and then gave orders to other military trucks through the intercom. Machine guns were immediately set up, and dozens of special operations soldiers jumped out of the vehicles and rushed directly towards the mutant earthworms. They flew close to the mutated earthworm and nimbly dodged its attack. The moment the mutated earthworm opened its mouth and approached them, they immediately pulled the fuse of the grenade and threw it directly. The mutated earthworm swallowed the grenades directly. After a few seconds, there was a muffled sound and the middle parts of their bodies immediately tore apart, and their flesh and blood exploded. Moreover, these special operations soldiers knew how to cooperate with each other. It was obviously a very dangerous move, but under the care of each other, no mistakes occurred. When Lu Tianyu saw the scene, he was also very satisfied. This was the result of long-term training, and the actions were highly unified. Dozens of people looked like one person. In addition, everyone was a superpower, which made it even more 
efficient. He couldn't help but glance at the minibus parked aside. Lu Tianyu had no grudge against Jian Lusher. But he was shocked by Jian Lusher at first. And now, he finally shocked Jian Lusher. After all, it is a team of survivors who work alone. Although they are very powerful, they cannot match the effectiveness of the regular army on such a large battlefield. As soon as the members of the special operations team came on stage, and with the cover of machine gun fire, it was a violent and bloody show. A one-sided massacre of these mutated earthworms. Through the windshield in front, Lu Tianyu vaguely saw Jian Lusher sitting in the passenger seat. Jian Lusher frowned slightly, as if he was not paying attention to the battlefield, but to something else. This made Lu Tianyu frown. What was Jian Lusher looking at? At this time, Wan Yiling was paying full attention to the situation on the battlefield. As the mutant earthworms were killed one by one, Wan Yiling's eyes flashed with excitement. Out! As a person with superpowers, Lu Tianyu had sharp ears and eyesight. Although Wan Yiling was just whispering to himself, Lu Tianyu still heard it. But just as he showed a look of confusion, and before he could ask what came out, he suddenly heard a scream. Lu Tianyu's expression suddenly changed, and he hurriedly looked towards the battlefield. From the ruins, a huge mutant snake suddenly rushed out. The mutated snake opened its mouth and sprayed out a large mouthful of dark green venom, turning into a cloud of mist in the air and directly covering several warriors in front of it. These soldiers immediately let out miserable screams in the mist. As soon as their exposed skin came into contact with the poisonous mist, it immediately began to fester. Their eyes became red and painful. And then, they could not open their eyes. Although they rolled away immediately, just a moment of contact was enough to make them lose their combat effectiveness. At this time, the mutated snake had turned to the other soldiers who came to support it. With a flick of its long tail, the fierce attack immediately threw these soldiers against the wall. Its body immediately emerged from the ruins and was revealed to everyone. This mutant snake is extremely thick, with its thickest part comparable to a truck tire. Its triangular head is raised high, making it look extremely dangerous. All the scales on its body reflect cold light in the sun. There it is, just a pile of huge things, which makes people feel chilly in their hearts. But the most concerning thing is that part of its body seems to have turned into a black mist of nothingness, with spots scattered all over its huge body. Chapter 524, Killing an Egg Against a Stone Black Hole Jian Liosher's eyes suddenly changed. As soon as he arrived here, Starseed sensed that there was a stronger energy here. It's just that the energy is erratic, and Jian Liosher can't tell where it is. Now that he saw the mutated snake, he understood the reason. The mutated snake had probably been burrowing underground. So it was difficult to locate its location. The mutant snake in front of me is completely different from those mutant earthworms in terms of breath. This mutant snake is not only controlled by the black hole, but has been partially assimilated. What is this? Lu Tianyu glanced at Jian Lusher. No wonder Jian Lusher looked like he was waiting for something just now. He was probably aware of the existence of this mutated snake. But it doesn't matter if Jian Lusher notices it. What matters is, Lu Tianyu suddenly turned his head to look at Wan Yiling. His heart skipped a beat when he saw Wan Yiling's expression. Although Wan Yiling quickly regained her calm expression, the trace of excitement was still captured by Lu Tianyu. You know this monster is there? Then why didn't you warn me? Lu Tianyu asked angrily. Those were the lives of several members of the special operations team. If Wan Yiling had warned them just now, they might not have died. Wan Yiling glanced at him, pushed up his glasses and said, I don't know what is there. And if we don't kill those mutated earthworms, this thing may not come out. This thing has a certain amount of wisdom. It knows that there are many people up there and may not be willing to show up. But those mutated earthworms were slaughtered. And it emerged from the ground in anger. Lu Qianyu was even more angry after hearing this. Wasn't this using his people as bait? But now is not the time to argue. The mutant snake is wreaking havoc among the crowd. Its extremely huge body moves as fast as lightning. And it constantly sprays out poison. The machine gun fired wildly. And the bullets hit it, causing sparks of metal collision. But they only broke its scales and got stuck in its muscles. Not only were the soldiers of the special operations team retreating steadily, but the soldiers who were shooting around also had to retreat. The mutant snake's long tail swept away one piece, and even the vehicles parked on the roadside were swept into two pieces by it. And where it passed, the corpses, including the corpses of mutated earthworms, were swallowed up by the black mist on its body. After being swallowed, the mutated snake grew even larger in size, and the area of the black mist became larger. If this continues, I wonder if it will turn into that black hole, Ji Xiangming said in fear. 
Lu Tianyu also felt his heart sinking. He knew what that meant. This is equivalent to the black hole entering the safe zone in advance. Moreover, judging from the current intelligence, the black hole is difficult to destroy with just guns and cannons. The black hole suddenly caused so many mutant beasts to attack. It seemed that it was not only to consume the power to weaken the safe zone, but also to hide such means. Attacks everywhere may just be a cover-up, and the real danger is hidden underground. Those mutated earthworms come out to attack, while the mutated snakes hide underground to absorb energy and gradually grow stronger. This kind of wisdom appears in such a monster who doesn't know the details, which makes people feel even more chilled in the back. What's even more terrifying is that the monster doesn't even look like a flesh and blood body. How can it have such wisdom? Attack with all your strength. The body of this mutated snake must be left behind. Wan Yiling ordered. Secretary Wan, do you know anything more about the mutated snake and the black hole? Lu Tianyu asked coldly. Maybe this kind of monster has appeared in the Huaxia region or other safe zones. Do Han Yuan and the others know about it? You just attacked. There is no need to pay attention to these issues. Wan Yiling said. Lu Tianyu frowned, and the anger in his heart rose again. At this moment, an engine sound suddenly came from the side. Lu Tianyu was shocked and quickly turned his head to look. I saw a stream of black exhaust gas spraying out from the rear of the minibus. Then it accelerated suddenly and rushed forward. No way! Lu Tianyu showed a look of disbelief. He watched helplessly as the minibus rushed out. And then, he crashed directly into the mutant snake. No one could stand around the raging mutant snake. Only the firepower point not far away was still shooting wildly. At this time, no one dared to get close to the mutant snake. But this minibus suddenly rushed out at this moment. The size of the minibus was smaller than the surrounding military trucks. And it also looked very fragile compared to the mutant snake. It was like hitting an egg against a stone. Lu Tianyu had seen the cannon fired from the minibus. It was indeed very powerful. But this mutant snake was so flexible. Could the cannon hit it? It was too rash to rush forward like that. However, Lu Tianyu didn't have time to say anything. Because the minibus was extremely fast and rushed within 10 meters of the mutant snake in the blink of an eye. The mutated snake also noticed the iron lump that suddenly rushed towards it. It was already in a state of madness and swung its tail wildly. When it saw the iron lump appearing, it immediately had a target. It raised its tail high and lashed out hard. Past, the whistling wind came. And as soon as the cement fragments of the buildings on the way touched the tail, they immediately turned into powder. Everyone has no doubt that if they are hit by the tail, the minibus will immediately transform and fly out. And the people inside will be killed or injured. Even those with superpowers cannot bear it. But this minibus had no intention of dodging at all. Seeing this scene, Lu Tianyu didn't even have a chance to shout and shoot. Everything was too fast. Boom. The moment the mutated snake's tail hit the minibus, the minibus swung its front as hard as it could and passed by its tail. Didn't you get hit directly? Lu Tianyu felt his heart relax a little after being lifted up. Although the minibus had nothing to do with him. As a bystander, he couldn't help but feel nervous when he saw the minibus was about to be drawn. But this does not mean that the minibus is safe. It is now almost close to the mutant snake. Wan Yiling looked at the scene, frowning slightly at first. And then a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes. She had heard about the power of this minibus. If this minibus could seriously injure the mutated snake, it would save a lot of effort. And it was just a test to see if this minibus was really as powerful as the intelligence said. The guy named Zhang boasted about the minibus so much that even Bai Jiayan felt inferior when he said it. Leaving Han Yuan Du felt curious. Although Wan Yiling had repeatedly analyzed the intelligence and believed it was very credible, he had never seen with his own eyes what the minibus was capable of. And now was the time to see it. At this time, the mutant snake that did not hit the minibus seemed stunned for a moment, and then became even more angry, raising its head and letting out a hissing sound. Chapter 525 The Energy Delivered to Your Door Duh duh duh. The sound of gunshots nearby didn't stop for a moment. And bullets were pouring into the mutant snake's body crazily. The mutated snake's body was just immune to bullets. But it wasn't completely invulnerable to bullets. It was already in great pain. And it wanted to kill all the tiny living people into a pulp. Unexpectedly, such an iron lump suddenly appeared. The mutant snake's anger reached its peak after failing to hit the iron knot. It is already an extremely powerful mutant beast. And it is still getting stronger. These living people are just its prey. How dare you provoke it like this? Just like sheep dare to tease wolves and rabbits bare their teeth in front of lions. Mutant beasts are intolerant of human provocations. Hearing the roar of the mutated snake, 
Ji Xiangming and others felt their hearts skip a beat. Those weaker warriors, as well as ordinary people, instinctively felt a sense of fear. What are these minibuses rushing towards? They could have been targeted with precise firepower. But now they are in the way, Ji Xiangming said with a frown. The reason why we used the super warriors first was because we were in a safe zone and using artillery sh. LS would cause considerable losses. If nothing can be done, shoulder-mounted rocket launchers, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, mortars, and armor-piercing sh. LS can all be used together. A few more mutated snakes can be blasted into pieces. As for the damage caused, the area will not be rebuilt at all. Faced with millions of zombies and countless mutant beasts, the safe zone can still stand firm and shelter hundreds of thousands of people. Not because of superpowers, but because of the terrifying firepower of the modern army. Those mutated birds in the sky now have shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles. And medium and low-altitude short-range surface-to-air missiles were launched, causing explosions in the air and raining blood. If helicopters and fighter jets could take to the air, the fighting would become even more intense. This is also the reason why many people with military backgrounds don't look down on the team of superpowers. No matter how strong the team of superpowers is, it cannot match the modern army in terms of true large-scale combat capabilities. But teams of superpowers are often very arrogant, thinking that they can do whatever they want with the power in their hands. This alone makes it difficult to deal with the army. Let's watch first, Lu Tianyu said in a deep voice. This minibus is also very flexible, and the mutant snake may not be able to do anything to the minibus. Maybe the minibus can find an opportunity to unleash that invisible shot. Although the artillery sh. ls are ready, it would be best if we could not fire in the safe zone and get the best results with the minimum loss. At this moment, several mutated earthworms suddenly emerged from under the minibus. These mutated earthworms opened their mouths and bit into the tires of the minibus. But they were dodged by the minibus by drifting away. Suddenly, the mutated snake moved. Its speed was already very fast. And when it was angry, it became even more thunderous. Like a sudden black lightning, it rushed towards the minibus. But this time it didn't try to sweep the minibus. Instead, it wrapped its body around the periphery of the minibus and formed a circle. Only then did the mutant snake show its true body length, which was nearly 30 meters. No matter how flexible the minibus is, as long as it surrounds the area where the minibus is located, no matter which direction the minibus goes, it will hit the body of the mutated snake. The moment it entangled the minibus, the mutated snake tightened its body suddenly as if it were dealing with a real prey and was about to strangle the minibus. With the terrifying power of the mutant snake, if it entangled an off-road vehicle, it would directly twist the person and the vehicle into a pile of scraps. Lu Chanyu originally thought that the minibus would fire at this time, but he didn't expect that the minibus did nothing and was directly entangled by the mutant snake. What is this doing? Lu Tianyu was also surprised. He thought that the minibus was relying on the cannon when it rushed up. After all, the invisible cannon was indeed very big and it was difficult to do so without knowing it. Beyond guard. As a result, this minibus was actually allowed to be entangled by a mutated snake. The minibus was entangled by a giant mutant snake and looked extremely fragile. Many people could imagine the next scene. And despite being hit by bullets, the mutated snake had no intention of letting go. The mutated snake vaguely sensed that there was something extremely delicious and delicious in the minibus that was attracting it. Making it very excited, only Wan Yiling looked at this scene with great excitement as if he was vaguely expecting something in his eyes. Oh my god! In the minibus, Li Yusin covered her mouth with a look of fear on her face. The mutated snake's huge body surrounded the entire minibus, sliding slowly outside the window. Its sharp scales scraped against the car body, making a creepy sound. At the front of the car, the mutated snake suddenly lowered its head, its blood-red eyes looking at the people in the car bloodthirsty and coldly through the windshield. Although he had an inexplicable trust in Jian Lusher, Anyone would feel frightened if such a monster entangled their car. Let alone a girl like Liusin, who was powerless. Click. 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 The mutated snake kept tightening its body. Trying to flatten the minibus. There were noises coming from the minibus everywhere. But how could a minibus that had been strengthened many times be so easily deformed? As the mutated snake's entire body was wrapped around the minibus. Jian Lusher suddenly shouted. Do it! He allowed the mutated snake to roll onto the minibus. How could he not prepare it for its next attack? Okay, brother! Jiang Zhuying stood in the war room, with electric light flashing in her eyes. Then her two fair and delicate hands gently opened, and electricity suddenly gathered. The current gathered more and more. 
and gradually resembled a small ball lightning. At this time, the minibus was already entangled with a mutated snake, swaying this way and that, and was almost dragged off the ground. At this moment, Lu Tianyu's expression suddenly changed. He saw white electric light flashing crazily in the round object on the top of the minibus. And then streams of electric current poured out of the round object like water. The power of the level 2 superpower finally manifested itself at this time. The entire minibus seemed to be wrapped in a telescreen. Precise control allowed these currents to be maintained on the surface of the minibus. But there was no fully exposed to minibuses. As soon as these currents appeared, they naturally rushed towards the mutated snake that was wrapping around the minibus. When he first obtained this power, Jiang Zhuying's current was only enough to light up a light bulb. But now how strong the current is, even Jiang Zhuying himself can't tell clearly. She only felt that the endless power in her body was rushing towards her palms crazily, turning into terrifying electric energy, which was continuously released outward. But in the eyes of Lu Tianyu and others, they could clearly see the terrifying power of this current. The silver-white electric current poured down and completely enveloped the mutated snake's body in an instant. At this moment, a loud crackling sound rang in everyone's ears, and the smell of burning flesh and blood immediately spread in the air. Hiss! The mutated snake which was just going crazy when being shot by bullets, finally suffered a serious injury at that moment. Its body twitched and spasmed, and its skin was torn all over. Its scales could protect against bullets, but they could not protect against electric current, even though they were dozens or hundreds of meters apart. Lu Tianyu and others sitting in the car could feel the terrifying current that made their hair stand up and their skin tingle. It was too strong. If a living person were caught in that current, it would be burned from the inside out in an instant. Even a dozen people can live and die in just an instant. Even the mutated earthworms next to them were electrocuted. Their vitality was far inferior to that of the mutated snakes. When they got close, most of their bodies were instantly charred on the outside and tender on the inside. The terrifying mutated energy raging in the current made all the superpowers present feel terrified. This is a level 2 superpower. No wonder they dare to do this. Ji Xiangming's expression suddenly changed. And he put away his original dissatisfaction with the Shuring team. This energy is really amazing! Lu Tianyu was also surprised. Only Wan Yiling didn't think so. Even if he had such power, it would be too risky for Jiang Lusher to do this. She had heard about the defensive power of that minibus. But now that she had seen it with her own eyes, it was indeed very strong. Ji Xiangming and others thought that Jiang Liusher's trump card was the second level superpower. But Wan Yiling felt that Jiang Liusher's trump card was still the minibus. Without the formidable defense of minibuses, they would not dare to do this even with such electric current. The minibus kept shaking as the mutated snake struggled painfully. And the people in the car had to wear seat belts or hold onto places where they could be fixed. Why not use the air cannon? Ren Shiyu asked doubtfully. That would be such a waste. Jiang Liusher's eyes flashed with anticipation. Waste? Ren Shiyu and Li Yusin didn't know what Jiang Liusher was talking about. Wasting attack power? Even they couldn't imagine that the waste Jiang Liusher mentioned was the blood of this mutated snake. The mutated snake's flesh and blood contains black light, energy. If it explodes to pieces all of a sudden, the blood will be splashed everywhere. And the black light, energy that the minibus and star seeds can absorb will be greatly increased. Decreased? That's why Jiang Lusher used this method to let the mutant snake take the initiative to send all the blood to the minibus. This is energy delivered right to your door. Black light energy detected. Absorbing. As soon as Xing Zhong's voice came, Jiang Lusher felt happy. Being electrocuted by Juying, the mutated snake had wounds almost all over its body. And the energy contained in the blood flowing out was absorbed by the star seed. But this mutated snake is intelligent after all. After being severely hit by the electric current, its body will let go of the minibus and prepare to distance itself. This originally inconspicuous iron lump made it feel a strong life and death crisis. But the star seed was absorbed so well. How could Jian Lusher let it go? Shi Yu. Ling. Jian Lusher said in a deep voice. Ren Shiyu's spiritual realm was always open. As soon as he heard Jian Liusher's words, he instantly understood Jian Liusher's intention. Her mental power immediately gathered into a line and attacked the mutant snake's triangular head. At the same time, Zero rolled out of the war room and jumped directly onto the mutant snake's body. She ran wildly along the mutated snake's charred and smoking body. Where she passed, the wounds on the mutated snake's surface were suddenly deepened by sharp spines and blood surged wildly. The mutated snake wanted to swallow this tiny human right away. But at this moment, it felt a stabbing pain in its head. Hiss! 
The mutated snake was wounded inside and out, and in great pain. It stared at the people in the car, with its blood-red eyes, and opened its mouth suddenly. All the venom was mobilized by the mutant snake at this moment. It was going to spray out the people in the car to death in one breath. Its venom was extremely corrosive. Even this iron lump would be corroded together. At this moment, a black gun muzzle protruded from the war room, faced the mutant snake's open mouth, and suddenly pulled the trigger. Boom! In an instant, a stream of red liquid spurted out from the mutated snake's mouth, instantly staining the entire windshield red. The mutated snake was shot to death before it could spit out venom. Is this the end? Ji Xiangming was stunned. Just now, he was accusing the minibuses of being reckless and affecting the military's battle. But in the blink of an eye, the mutated snake was quickly killed by the people on the minibus with thunderous means. But its body was still wrapped around the minibus. And blood was pouring out from all parts of its body, including its head, which had a big hole blown out, making the entire minibus bathe in blood. How decisive and calm this is. Although it is not a heavy weapon, it is clean and noisy at all. Lu Tianyu was also shocked. He thought he had understood the power of Jian Lusher and his group, but he did not expect that this power was stronger than what he saw in Hejiang town that day. Only Wan Yiling let out a breath. It was indeed very powerful. Others were not only paying attention to the minibus, but also to the two girls who suddenly appeared in the car, as well as the mutant snake's days when it was attacked for the second time, and the decisive shot at the end. But Wan Yiling's main concern is only minibuses. She has seen many people with strong personal abilities, such as Han Yuan, who is very strong. But this was the first time she had seen such a powerful car. The power of the mutated snake was so ferocious. But the minibus was not damaged at all. And according to intelligence, this is not the full strength of the minibus. It just shows its defensive power. Go and talk to Captain Jiang, Wan Yiling suddenly said. Lu Tianyu suddenly recovered from the shock. He was the captain of the special operations team. As the commanding presence on the battlefield. Even if he was shocked, it could only be momentary and he had to calm down immediately. What did you say? Lu Tianyu was still brooding about Wan Yiling's previous attitude. It was only because she was Major General Han Yuan's secretary that he didn't ask about the previous incident. But he already distrusted Wan Yiling in his heart. Get the body of this mutated snake. Wan Yiling's eyes flashed with excitement. Corpse? Lu Tianyu didn't know what Wan Yiling wanted the corpse for. This is Major General Han Yuan's order. I am working with you to kill or even capture this monster and then bring the body back. Wan Yiling said. It's understandable to kill Lu Tianyu. But what the H, L is capturing? Mutated snakes are not like the golden pythons of the past. They can be kept as pets. And they cannot be kept to lay eggs or be fattened for meat. Kill those mutated earthworms quickly! Lu Tianyu ordered through the intercom. Jiang Lusher has already solved the most difficult mutant snake. And the remaining mutant earthworm army cannot wait any longer. Otherwise they will lose their face.